I am a nationally protected waste. It is a locally grown red tower mountain gold gradual layer. Every day, either I am eating or on my way to eat. Occasionally, after eating a full meal, we'll also perform the eighth set of national radio calisthenics under the exclamation of tourists. On this day, I was just like usual. After doing radio calisthenics, lie down on the grass and sunbathe. While the zookeeper Xiao Hong was live streaming, she led a group of tourists into the tiger park to play. Everyone, look at that little guy flipping over his belly. It is the first baby tiger born this autumn, so the size is much bigger than the other little guys. The tourists are looking at the round and chubby little tiger that looks like a ball. Smiling, he asked Xiao Hong, is the name of this little tiger called Fat Diju? You see how fitting this name is. Not really. His name is Xiaoju, Little Red, who was listening to these words, smiled and said, as for whether he will be called Fat Orange in the future, it depends on whether he can grow that fat. Laughter spread loudly among the crowd. You laugh at me for being fat. I laugh at you for not having the chance to get fat. Listening to the surrounding laughter. I continue to lie down without caring. These guys have no idea how happy I am right now. In my opinion, they are all a group of very pitiful people. Busy every day for a living. To bow and grovel before the boss for a meager salary. In order to have a family. I took on car and home loans at a young age. It will take several decades of working to afford a house and a car. Unlike me who at such a young age already enjoys a life of having food and shelter provided, and lacks nothing in terms of clothing and daily necessities. Fat Orange is so leisurely. Zookeeper's sister, can the little tiger eat meat now? A girl came over and asked. Yes, but the meat needs to be manually chopped before it can be done. Xiao Hong walked up to me and rubbed my little belly. Everyone is watching you, little orange. Don't lie down, okay? Just move a little bit. Hearing this, I turned over and continued lying down. I'm dying of laughter. This is a real lazybones. The onlookers saw, couldn't help but smile and said, you little rascal, just a little movement, that's all. Xiao Hong couldn't help but smile helplessly at the situation. A little movement is already good. I want to sunbathe. I muttered upon hearing these words. This little lazy bug. Xiao Hong shook her head involuntarily upon hearing the words. Recently, when she heard the animals calling, I can always hear what they are saying. At first, she thought she was having an illusion. But as the days go by, this situation is becoming more and more common. She thinks she shouldn't be having hallucinations. But instead, like those superheroes in movies, awaken superpowers. Although this superpower cannot combat crime. But for her, as a caretaker, it is a very useful ability. She can understand the situation of the animals. So she can communicate with them better. When will the meal be served? I'm hungry. Just as Xiao Hong was thinking this, I suddenly started complaining. This lying down is really comfortable. Unconsciously, my stomach is growling again. This glutton. Hearing this, Xiao Hong couldn't help but have black lines all over her head. Put the phone on the stand and go get the small iron bowl next to it. There is food. Seeing this scene, I immediately became energized. A carp struggles and flips over, then gets back up and follows along. You little greedy cat. You are not proactive when it comes to doing work, but you are quite diligent when it comes to eating. Xiao Hong said angrily upon seeing the situation, watching me stumble following Little Red like a clingy bug. The onlookers were laughing and recording videos with their phones. I didn't pay attention to what was happening around me. At this moment, my attention, all on the iron bowl held by Xiao Hong, watching the diced meat and eggs mixed together and poured into an iron bowl. I immediately squatted down beside Xiao Hong's feet. Several little tigers that were running around everywhere immediately rushed up when they saw it. I saw it and immediately opened my mouth, issued a milk-sounding roar, facing my warning. The little tigers also roared unwillingly and rushed over. You bunch of bastards. Watch how I deal with you. Seeing that my threat was being ignored, I immediately confronted them. At least I was born a few days earlier than these guys. Just because they want to snatch food from me. What a joke. Look at my powerful tiger fist. I kicked my hind leg off the ground. I pounced on the few little tigers that were rushing towards me. With the advantage of its weight, it directly pressed down on the open mouth little tiger. These little tigers were pressed down by me and directly lay on the ground. Do not wait for them to stand up. The fluffy tiger paws slapped them in the face. They were beaten down again. Little orange. Do not bully your younger siblings. They have only recently grown teeth. Can't eat much meat. Little Hong. Who was in the process of advancing. Quickly picked me up from the little tiger when she saw the situation. The little tigers that I knocked down are whimpering. Xiao Hong immediately put me down when she saw the situation. Holding them one by one in my arms to comfort them. Stop crying. It's Xiu Ju's fault. Sister. Can I have a hug? Good opportunity. Seeing Xiao Hong comforting the little ones, 
I immediately took small steps and rushed towards the iron bowl that Little Red placed on the ground, started to eat heartily. Now I have the advantage of weight over these guys, even though I was born so much earlier, barely managed to protect one's livelihood. If you don't eat a little more to grow stronger, it is uncertain whether the rice bowl can still be protected after a few months. So once there is an opportunity to make oneself stronger, it must not be missed. Little Orange, you're burying half of your body inside the bowl. At this moment, a chubby-faced girl came over carrying milk. After seeing my eating appearance, they quickly lifted me up from the edge of the bowl. Let me go. I want to eat. I open my mouth, wave my claws, and growl low. Shall we put Xiao Ju down and let him eat? Little Red, who is soothing the little tigers, spoke up. Okay. Hearing this, Sun Xiaoyi immediately let me down. I immediately pounced on the iron bowl after it fell to the ground. Big glutton. Big lazybones. I can't do anything else. But I'm really good at eating. Okay. Xiao Yi. Come over and feed these guys. Xiao Hong comforted the crying little tiger. Said to Sun Xiaoyi. Little Orange finished eating. Just in time to come and collaborate with me on the live stream. His chubby appearance will definitely be able to complete the task assigned by the principal today. Sun Xiaoyi nodded when she heard the words. He came to the little tiger with a bucket carrying a bottle of milk. I just finished eating meat and saw it. Immediately I walked quickly towards this side. These little guys want to drink milk too. Only by doing this can one grow the strongest and secure their own livelihood. You have finished eating the meat. Xia Ju, wait a moment before drinking the milk. Let's first cooperate with sister to complete the task. At this moment, a pair of hands appeared in front of me. I was directly lifted up. And the owner of these hands is Xiao Hong. Xiao Hong came directly to the front of the mobile phone. Hello everyone, this is the Red Tower Mountain Northeast Tiger Park. And this is Ziyaj, a two-month-old baby tiger. As cute as this little tiger. There are still a lot of tigers in our tiger park. Miss, if you want to hug, then go ahead and hug. Can you please not mention my nate meat? My scalp feels so tight. I feel a tightness in my forehead as I am being carried by Xiao Hong, who is familiar with me, waving its little claws, trying to break free, but I couldn't reach Xiao Hong's hand. What's wrong? Little orange? Xiao Hong is speaking in the live broadcast room and noticed my puzzled expression. So she asked, tight skull. I kicked my legs in response to the words. I found that the hand held by Xiao Hong suddenly let go. Suddenly, an expression of disbelief appeared in the eyes. This female zookeeper seems to understand what I'm saying. Think about just saying that you're hungry. The young lady immediately went to get the meat. Now saying that the head is tight, the young lady let go again. From various aspects, this female zookeeper is quite extraordinary. But just to make sure, I continued to shout. I'm so hungry. I want to eat. Still hungry. You big bad egg. After eating so much meat, you still have the audacity to say you're hungry. Little Red, who heard these words, slapped my buttocks. Don't just eat without doing any work. Now cooperate well with your sister to do the live broadcast. Sister will cook a special meal for you later. After finishing speaking, he continued explaining in front of the live broadcast room. And at this moment, I am already certain that this young lady in front of me can truly understand what I am saying. I am very happy in my heart. Since the young lady can understand what he is saying. What does he want to eat and do in the future? Can't you just say it directly? Little Orange, cooperate a bit. Don't get distracted. Quickly make an angry face towards the camera. Little Red, holding Little Orange in one hand and a cell phone in the other. I found that I actually squinted my eyes. Somewhat speechless, Little Orange was really too lazy. Asking him to help with the live broadcast, he actually squinted his eyes to go to sleep. The viewers inside the live broadcast room were asking if she was holding a tiger doll. Otherwise why was she not moving at all? Ow ow, hungry hungry. Hearing this, Cheng Hao reluctantly opened his mouth and owed twice, displaying his special hungry tiger growl. If it wasn't for the fact that it would be more convenient to ask for food with the keeper's sister in the future, he wouldn't want to exchange feelings with the keeper. Ha ha ha, this little chubby tiger really screamed. It looks like apart from the keeper miss sister, there is really no, what kind of person shouts at him ah? Yeah, what a little slacker. As Cheng Hao's bark rang out, the tourists taking pictures around him couldn't help but laugh and say, Little Orange you're not being mean. You're totally shouting about being hungry. Sister Honger said somewhat speechlessly, while others couldn't understand what Little Orange was talking about. She could. She hoped that Shao Tangerine would show everyone a vicious tiger roar instead of a hungry tiger roar. Ow ow, hungry hungry. Chang Hao, who heard this, still shouted hungry regardless. Partly because he really didn't have enough to eat, and partly because he was playing dumb. He couldn't show that his IQ was too high, so that he could cheat food from the keeper's side. In fact, he did not understand why a small tiger can eat so much. 
Obviously his current size is at most similar to a cat. There is no need to eat so much. But he still feels that his stomach is always not full. If it wasn't for the fact that he wasn't hungry after he ate, he would have thought that he was suffering from duodenitis. After all, when he got duodenal ulcer in his previous life, he just couldn't get enough to eat. Good good. Sister knows you're hungry. You first behave. Okay? Later on, elder sister will find delicious food for you. Hearing this, Sister Honger touched Chung Hao's head and said, Little Orange's appetite is just big. Obviously, she had prepared food for Little Orange according to her previous experience in taking care of Little Tiger, but Little Orange just didn't have enough to eat, and was always shouting for hunger day after day. Fortunately, when she was taking care of Xiao Tangerine's milk, she discovered this situation and had already reported it to the top, and the top also knew that Xiao Tangerine's appetite was relatively large, and specially added a food allowance for him. Otherwise on the little orange every day with her shouting hungry, she but also very difficult to do ah, ow ow, good. Hearing this, Chang Hao nodded his head and sat on Sister Honger's lap in a disciplined manner to help with the live broadcast. Actually, it was quite good to help Miss Breeder Livestream. At least lying on Miss Sister's body was much more comfortable than on the ground. At least it's not as hard as the ground ah, perfect for sleeping. Little orange you don't squint again to sleep. Sister but find you over to help live active atmosphere ah. Seeing Chung Hao's confused look of falling asleep again, Sister Honger helplessly touched Chung Hao's belly. It wasn't that she had to hold on to Little Tangerine, but of all the little tigers, Little Tangerine was the most honest. No matter how she moved it, it wouldn't resist, and apart from loving to sleep, it was simply a very good plush doll. If it were the other little ones, they would have been screaming to get away from her. What you do, what you don't do, what you don't eat, what you don't leave, who do you want me to be? Northeast Gold Gradient Layer. Just as Sister Honor was helplessly holding Chang Hao's eyelids open at the, at that time, a pop-up screen appeared again inside the cool live broadcast room. When Sister Honger saw it, she immediately held up Chang Hao, who was curled up with his short legs like a doll, and said, Welcome to the new water friends to watch our live broadcast. We here is the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Garden. We this side of the life of more than a hundred Northeast Tigers, from big to small all have ah. Now start to buy tickets can also enjoy a discount of 95%. Buy tickets link is in the video below. You can take a look ah. Miss you speak properly, but do not lift me up ah. After detaching from the comfortable meat cushion bed, Chung Hao somewhat helplessly sat on his face, revealing a look of lifelessness too. That's funny. Is the little tiger being grabbed and resigned to its fate by the keeper lady? Definitely. Take a look at his melancholic little eyes. And the little eyes that are hiked up. I can tell even with my toes that he's very helpless. After Chang Hao's appearance appeared in the live broadcasting room. He immediately attracted the attention of many people. And the cool live broadcasting room was once again bustling with activity. Apart from Chang Hao, everyone revealed a smiling face. Perhaps this was the legendary smile that wouldn't disappear. It was just transferred somewhere else. Little Lee, what do you think of this baby tiger? Just as Sister Honger was broadcasting live, the man with a duck tongue hat holding a water bottle under his hand asked, Wasn't this the year of the tiger coming up soon? So of course you have to find a mascot to pay tribute to the general public. And what mascot to look for in the year of the tiger? Isn't it very obvious? Of course it's to find the cute little tigers. They walked around and found. The tigers were either too skinny or too lively to bring to the news recording site. After all, he didn't want the whole recording room to be a mess when the time came. And he had to catch little tigers everywhere. Originally, after strolling around for a while, he was about to dismiss this idea. But now he had a new discovery. Look at that quiet little tiger. Except for a pair of sleepy eyes not too smart look. Completely his ideal mascot ah. And the most important thing is to look fat and round. At a glance is very lucky. Such a people love cute little tiger. He thought that no one will refuse it. This little tiger is indeed good and quiet. If we can bring him back, it should fit our conditions very well. Hearing this Shaoli held his eyes and opened his mouth. From the appearance of this little tiger, and his character, it is a very suitable little guy to bring back. Now the only problem is to negotiate with the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park to borrow their little tiger. But the problem should not be too big right. They are going to take the little tiger to the news broadcast ah. Uh, then help him mention the garden I think the garden will be very happy to agree. After all, from the current situation of the tiger garden, cannot be considered very good ah. Uh, sparse photo tourists as well as also rely on the live sale of tickets to the tragic situation. All show that the tiger garden is not good. Then go visit Mr. Park Director over here and deal with them. The man said with a smile. His own right hand man had said so then it must be that this little tiger was indeed the mascot they were looking for. Now, okay, head. Hearing this Shaoli said back, and the two of them took a step towards the tiger park's director's office. 
and not long after the two of them left, Chang Hao was finally lying on Sister Honger's lap once again, and this time, Sister Honger had rewarded him for cooperating well with the live broadcast and helping the garden sell tickets, specially prepared a big bowl of potted milk for him. Chang Hao immediately jumped down from Sister Honger's lap when he saw it, and started sucking along the side of the bowl. The pots and pans of milk prepared for them by the Northeast Tiger Forest Park are all goat's milk, like this good stuff, he hadn't drank it before, and now that he's become a Northeast Tiger, he's able to luxuriate in it. Little Orange drink slowly, no one with you to steal. As long as you cooperate with your sister's live broadcast in the future, she will guarantee that she will have all the food and drinks at that time. Seeing Chang Hao's gurgling drinking, Sister Honger couldn't help but smile and say, holding up her cell phone, she gave the crowd in the live broadcast room a live broadcast of what was called whale sucking. Seeing this scene, the viewers in the live broadcast room could not help but be shocked. I finally understand why this little tiger is so fat and so different from the other tigers. I don't need you to say it. I also understand. Look at his eating style is really rare. Just like a starving ghost. That's right. On his eating style, it's hard not to get fat. Good can eat little guy ah. No wonder can eat out a fat peer. Yes, really small belly cannot be measured ah. The audience in the live broadcast room and the time of emotion. Around the tourists saw also cannot help but say. Everyone pay attention to protection. I'm done. Right now my throat is dry and itchy. And my brain and leg muscles hurt. Coo coo. Goo goo. For the sounds around him. Cheng Hao simply ignored them. Immersing himself in the world of his own dry rice. Anyway. Listening to these guys won't make him grow meat. And working hard on dry rice is the right thing to do. Only the stronger he grows. The more he can eat inside the tiger park. And this is his current priority. After becoming a tiger, he doesn't have to worry about the house and wife and so on. He only needed to make sure that his meal would not be robbed by the other tigers. Then the task was considered done. What a delicious goat's milk. But it's a pity that it's a little too little. I've been working so hard. Why don't you give me a little more? After drinking the goat's milk, Cheng Hao licked the iron bowl. Still somewhat unfulfilled. Little orange don't lick anymore. Look at the iron bowl has been scratched by you with your tongue. If you continue like this, then be careful that there will be no bowl for rice. Seeing this, Sister Honger snatched the iron bowl from under Chang Hao's mouth. Little Orange licked it too cleanly, licking the bowl all over. It's not like he was mistreated in the tiger park. Why did he end up eating like this? Don't joke. This is an iron bowl. I'm still a little tiger. How can I do this? Chang Hao, who was licking the milk on top of his fur, heard this and couldn't help but bellyache in his heart. He was just a tiger cub that hadn't been born for a few months not an adult tiger. How could he possibly scratch the bowl? It seems that the keeper is wrongly accusing him. The discerning can see that he is just a small tiger with no power. After all, on his current situation against the big rooster, really not necessarily beat. Even if the breeder's sister had wronged him, she would have to find a better excuse. Why else would it be called fat orange? Yes, this fat big orange is close to swallowing the bowl. The viewers in the live broadcast room couldn't help but laugh and tease as they watched the iron bowl that Sister Honger had seized be filled with dense scratches. Little Orange, you always eat enough this time. Can you help Sister work? You this little bad egg. After looking at the iron bowl and determining that there was nowhere, Sister Honger put the iron bowl aside and asked Chung Hao, who was lying down again. Ow ow, still almost. Chang Hao, who heard this, felt the movement of his stomach and said out loud, almost on the line. You little bastard still really want to eat propped up ah? Beware of the time to hold up vomit you come. Sister Honger sniffed and said in a bad mood, lifting Chang Hao up from the ground. Chang Hao, who was grabbed up, didn't resist, and directly squinted his eyes, enjoying the comfortable human cushion. This little villain of yours is really lazy. Are you planning to sleep after you've eaten enough? Seeing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but sigh, carefully rubbing Chang Hao's belly with her hand, lest he really fall asleep. Be a good girl and open your eyes for the live broadcast. If you perform well and sell a few more tickets, sister will reward you with a tasty treat later on. Good food? Hearing this, the drowsy Chung Hao's eyes widened with a brush. In fact, he didn't care about any delicious food, but mainly wanted to help the park share its worries, so that it wouldn't close down when the time came. He wanted to help share the park's worries, so that it wouldn't close down in time. My god, this little tiger although naive but is still very smart to listen. The keeper missed said eat eyes instantly opened. Seeing this scene, someone in the live broadcast room was surprised. Completely did not think that a two-month-old tiger cub would actually be smart like this. This is not related to cleverness. Right. It's completely awakened to the attribute of eating. It is estimated that the breeder sister did not memorize any other words, but simply memorized the word eat. The others sniffed and said carelessly, the keeper sister for him for so long every time must say to eat, 
So this little tiger maybe simply did not understand what the keeper sister said? He just heard eat and thought it was time to eat. Very likely. After all, tigers are very smart animals. Cannot underestimate their intelligence ah. Some people in the live broadcast room also voiced other opinions. But they didn't argue for long and returned to the fact that this little tiger was a glutton. Little Orange obediently reached out to sister. Okay? After sister Hong or placed Chung Hao on the ground, she thought carefully about how dry chatting wasn't a solution. Then she started to reach out her hand to Chung Hao, intending to increase the effect of the program. Of course, as for whether Chang Hao was cooperative or not, in fact, she did not have much preparation in her heart. A two-month-old tiger is almost good enough to understand some simple commands. What else do you expect him to do? But to Sister Honger's surprise, after she stretched out her hand, a small paw soon came up. At once, a delighted look appeared on Sister Honger's face. Little Orange is so smart. Later on sister will give you a small stove and give you delicious food. I'll go. I always thought that this fat big orange would only mingle with food and drink. I didn't expect it to be so smart. Someone in the live broadcast room was stunned. It was the first time he had seen the little tiger cooperate with the keeper so much. What's so rare about this? You give your family's dog a few times to train. He will also be. It's not that it's hard to do. What's the big fuss about this? Of course inside the live broadcast room, there were also people who retorted. The tiger's IQ wasn't low. A little food induced training for a couple times. He would soon do it. What's the fuss about it? Little orange come. Stretch your left paw. Regarding the very lively discussion inside the live broadcast room, Sister Honger paid no attention to it at all. Her entire mind was now on the little orange in front of her. It's so troublesome to stutter these days. Chang Hao, who heard this, helplessly stretched out his paw and drooped inside Sister Honger's palm. Little orange is awesome. Seeing this, Sister Honger said happily, Already certain that although Little Orange was rather tasty and lazy, his IQ was very high. It was only two months, and she already understood her commands. This was smarter than those one and a half year old tigers. So if she broadcasts live in the future, there could be a show to do. I don't know if it's great or not, but you have to give me the food first. Chang Hao heard this and couldn't help but sigh. How easy was it for him to want food? Selling his art and selling his body was so close to selling his body. Next, Sister Honger began to say some simple commands including get up and sit down. And after a set of training, Red Sister is finally out of a bowl of reward Chang Hao, Little Orange slowly eat it. These are all rewards for you. As long as you listen well to your sister in the future, there are still very many more opportunities like this to open a small bowl. I think it would have been better if you guys had brought the food to me to begin with. Chang Hao, who heard this, muttered in his heart. Although it was said that cooperating with Sister Honger to play such a childish game was a bit socially dead. But compared to working from 8 to 10 and still needing to work compulsory overtime it was still very easy. So he just thought of it as fooling the audience in the live broadcasting room to tease them. After all, being teased by people who do not know that is being teased by others. But if they are clear but still cooperate, that is to tease others. Moreover, these guys who have been fooled are still clamoring and will send gifts to buy tickets. From another point of view, he was also teasing others for the sake of the whole tiger garden to be able to run. So every piece of meat eaten by the tigers inside the garden had his credit. So what was wrong with him grabbing his earned meat from the mouths of other tigers? Alright, Little Orange really is finished with the live broadcast. Looking at the more than 300 tickets touted to be sold out, Sister Honger very happily lifted up Chang Hao and said, Little Orange is a great contributor to the tiger park. There will be a lot of viewers coming to see you tomorrow. You have to listen to your sister well by then, okay? Sister will prepare several pots of meat for you to eat then. Ow ow, well. Chang Hao, who heard these words, pretended to nod his head in a very understanding manner. When Sister Honger saw this, she became even happier. The little tiger that the two of you are talking about is that one? The head gardener brought the two of them to the enclosure where the tigers were playing, and pointed at the little tiger being held by Sister Honger and asked, Yes, it's this little tiger. The man with the duck tongue hat nodded and said, We just need to borrow him for a little while, and we guarantee that we won't delay your tiger park's business. Moreover, when the time comes to pay tribute to everyone, we will also mention the name of your hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park, so we won't let you help for nothing. Then can the recording time be changed to the evening? Little Orange is our Tiger Park's gold medalist. Hearing this, the head of the garden also understood that the conditions given by the other party were indeed very generous, but even more generous could not delay Xiao Tangerine's appearance. Knowing that in just one hour of live time, Xiao Tangerine had sold 300 tickets to Tiger Garden which meant that 300 people were going to come and see him. And when Chao Tangerine grew up a little bit more, the number of people who would come to see Little Orange would only increase. What if they bought the tickets and realized that Chao Tangerine wasn't there? Therefore, 
The recording of the program should not be done in the daytime when the Tiger Park is open. The reputation should be spread, but he also had to earn money. This is naturally no problem. But if you send Shao Tangerine back at that time, I'm afraid it'll be a little late. The man with the duck tongue cap smiled and said, Anyway, the recorded video was to be broadcast in the new year, and it was still far from the new year, so he wasn't in much of a hurry. It doesn't matter. We'll have the keeper personally accompany them and bring them back as soon as Orange is done filming. The gardener said with a smile, indicating that it didn't matter if it was later. Their breeders would personally transport and accompany them anyway. Then there's no problem. The man with the duck-tongued hat laughed. Well, let me first take you to get to know Xiao Tangerine's breeder. And when the time comes, you can ask Xiao Hong to help cooperate with whatever you need Xiao Tangerine to do. The head gardener saw that the discussion was almost done and said to the two. Okay. The two who heard this nodded and headed towards the little tiger kindergarten. What are you eating? Little orange? Why are you even eating grass? Sister Honger, who had closed the live broadcast, turned around and realized that Chung Hao, who she had placed on the ground, was eating something that looked like a small carrot under the roots of the sour pulp grass with his little paws, and immediately picked Chung Hao up with some tears and laughter. This little foodie is really digging into the ground, actually not even letting go of the grass. This is called meat and vegetables. Just ate so much meat. Of course you have to eat some vegetarian to supplement the vitamins. This way you can grow tall and strong. Chang Hao, who had been lifted up, gnawed on the crystal radish and belabored. These small radishes were old acquaintances. In his previous life, when he was a child and didn't have food, he would eat to find these small carrots to eat. You don't say this small carrot is quite delicious. Moreover, the growth is fast and do not have to worry about eating extinction. In addition to these sour pulp grass, he also saw the plantain, horse tooth water pipe as well as dandelion and other edible. One day he wants to eat all of these and become the strongest tiger inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. How else can you be called an eater? The man who walked over said with a smile, his eyes sizing up Chang Hao for a moment, realizing that this little tiger was so happy looking. Celebration, especially this big face with gills since childhood. How to look at it. How to know that it is blessed. Head gardener, who are these two? Sister Honger, who was holding Chang Hao, asked out loud as she taught the two to arrive. The other party was able to come with the garden manager and I don't know what kind of people they are. It couldn't be the shareholders of the Tiger Garden, could it? These two are the director and editor of the news station. Isn't it about to be the year of the tiger? So the TV station is planning to film the little tiger to pay New Year's greetings to everyone, and it just so happens that they picked Little Orange. The gardener spoke out to explain, letting Little Orange film the New Year's greetings news? Sister Honger couldn't help but hear her eyes light up, flipping over to Chang Hao and saying, Little Orange. Did you hear that? You're going to be on the newscast soon. By then it will become a very famous tiger. And more people will come to see you inside the tiger park in the future. So it can be added? Chang Hao, who was held in Honger's arms, muttered in his heart. This fame can't be eaten or drunk. Why do you need this? And tigers are afraid of fame. Pigs are afraid of the shape. When a bunch of people come to annoy how terrible ah. After all, as long as you can dip into the heat, some people are capable of doing anything. Orange what's with this expression of hopelessness? This is a great opportunity for you to become a famous tiger. Seeing Chang Hao showing a dumbfounded expression, Sister Honger said helplessly, A tiger is a little tiger who doesn't understand the benefits of becoming a star tiger. Not only will the treatment be increased, but you can also live in a single room, without having to squeeze in with everyone else. Moreover, even after the next batch of tigers are born, they don't have to be locked up. They can come out and meet with everyone. Little Red you're telling this to Little Orange. Of course he won't understand. The head gardener smiled at this and said, When you give him extra meals later, he will know the benefits of becoming a star tiger. Well, he'll understand by then. Sister Honger nodded in approval as she listened, then looked to the director and editor at the side and said, Then may I ask if there's anything I need Little Orange to do? Or is it that when the time comes to record, Shao Tangerine just needs to sit still? As long as he doesn't run around when the time comes, stay honestly on the table and be able to let the camera capture it. It's just 10 to 20 seconds won't be too long. The man wearing a duck tongue cap said with a smile. It's just a New Year's blessing. It won't take much time. So it doesn't need little tiger to do anything. As long as he doesn't run around on the line. And of course he can't sit still. Otherwise wouldn't that become a statue? Then director you can rest assured. Little tangerine is sitting and won't stand. He won't sit if he can lie down. Sister Homer laughed. She had taken care of Shao Tangerine for so long. But she knew very well how lazy Shao Tangerine was. Other little tigers might not meet each other's requirements, but little orange definitely had no problem. That's good. The director smiled as he listened and said, that I will notify you in advance when the time for filming comes. Okay. 
Sister Honger nodded her head as she listened, and after the director of the Red Tower Mountain TV station finished speaking, he exchanged pleasantries with the garden manager for a while before leaving. Little Red during this period of time you take Little Orange with you and take good care of him, don't let him get sick. Looking at the back of the two leaving, the head gardener seemed to have already seen the crowded scene of tourists inside the tiger park. Okay, I'll go get a cat's nest at night and bring Little Orange back to the dormitory to sleep. Sister Honger returned. That'll do. You take Little Orange back. You don't need to worry about the rest. Just focus on taking care of Little Orange. The head gardener said. And Sister Honger carried Chang Hao towards the dormitory. Little Orange stay obediently inside your sister's room. Don't run around. And don't tear down your sister's home okay? Sister is now going to bring you the nest. Sister Honger, who had brought Chang Hao back to the single dormitory, hugged Chang Hao's armpit and said seriously. Ever since she had learned that Little Orange's IQ wasn't low, she had begun to use the means of coaxing small children. After all, the younger tigers were curious about everything, so they would develop the behavior of tearing down the house. Not to mention that when she went to get a nest and came back, Little Orange demolished the dormitory. Ow, oh, good. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head. He was an era how could he possibly tear down his home? After the young lady left, the first task was of course to find Fu Da. He believed that Miss Breeder's sister, a girl, hiding some food inside the dormitory was a normal thing right? After all, he was under a lot of pressure right now. There were a lot of little tigers that had already made their first appearance, and had the tendency to overtake him in weight, so he had to desperately hoard fat in order to keep his job this way. This is what you said ah, if later, sister came back and found that you did not keep the agreement and demolished the house, sister will have to swollen your ass off. After hearing Chang Hao's promise, sister Hong replaced Chang Hao on the ground. As soon as he landed on the ground, Chang Hao immediately put on the appearance of a good boy stating that he would just wait honestly on the side for the other party to come back. For one thing, it would take time to find food, so he first pretended not to care and sniffed where there was the smell of food first. Secondly, the young lady's sister was right over here. It wasn't good to be so bright. Sister is now gone ah. You honestly stay over here. Don't move. Sister Honger said as she saw the situation and closed the door, then stood in the doorway and pressed against the door to listen. Once there was any movement coming from inside, she immediately rushed in to give Little Her a hard lesson. This way Little Orange wouldn't dare to demolish the house. Miss Breeder, is this intended to be a fishing expedition? It's really scary. Hearing no footsteps coming from outside, Chun Hao knew that Miss Breeder hadn't left. Pressing down, he didn't dare to look for food. Although he said he could already smell the food. No sound? It looks like Little Orange is still very good. One second and two seconds passed. Until a minute passed with no sound of home demolition, Sister Honger left with a sigh of relief. Finally, she's gone. Listening to the sound of footsteps drifting away, Chang Hao immediately jumped up towards the chair, and then landed on the table with another jump, taking a bite of the meat muffin placed inside the fruit plate, and tearing it hard with his claws pressed against his teeth. With a hissing sound, the bag of the meat muffin was torn open. Chang Hao immediately took a bite, moving his upper and lower jaws to swallow inside his mouth. Miss Keeper's little life is really good. Looks like coming to the dormitory is the right thing to do. Let's hope that Miss Breeder can be delayed a little longer on the way. So I'll be able to eat two more. After Chang Hao finished one of the meat muffins in three tries, he immediately ate the second one. After finishing the second one, he didn't dare to eat the third one. Otherwise, if there were too many meat muffins on the table, it would easily cause the feeder to be upset. If there were too many meat muffins on the table, it would easily arouse the suspicion of the lady keeper. After biting into the bag of meat muffins, Chang Hao jumped down from the table and went to the trash can to throw the bag into it. After doing this, Chang Hao came to the closet and opened his mouth to see if there were any problems there. And when he realized that there were still meat threads on his lips and teeth, he hurriedly licked them clean with his tongue. Now Missy shouldn't be able to tell that I stole the meat muffin. After all, everything I did was seamless ah. Chang Hao, who opened his mouth and realized that he hadn't revealed any cracks, honestly sat on the ground and waited. Soon the sound of hurried footsteps came from outside. It could be seen that the person who came over was very anxious, fearing that his family had suffered during his absence. Miss Breeder this need to run back? Chang Hao, who had just sat down, listened to the commotion coming from outside and couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Fortunately he wasn't greedy and only ate two meat muffins. Otherwise if he ate more than a couple of them and didn't have time to deal with the aftermath, he would have to be caught by the young lady. Little Orange. Have you been a good boy? Sister Honger said with a deep breath and pushed open the door to the room. Upon seeing that the inside of the room was pretty much the same as when she left, she couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. It looked like Little Orange had behaved herself while she was away. Ow ow, there. Chang Hao, who heard this, 
returned with his mouth open and immediately walked towards Sister Honger, lest the other party discover the bags inside the trash can. After all, he wasn't sure if the breeder sister had memorized the number of meat muffins. Little Orange, what a good boy. Hearing this, Sister Honger put down the cat's nest, grabbed Chang Hao with both hands and hugged him. Tonight you'll sleep inside your own nest now? Don't run to the bed ah. In the past, when she took the little tiger to sleep, the little tiger liked to run to her bed in the middle of the night, using her hair as a nest or directly lying on top of her stomach to sleep. This resulted in her waking up the next morning with a sore body and thinking that she had been beaten up while sleeping. Ow ow, good. Meat, Chang Hao nodded as he listened, and began to beg for favors. He wasn't interested in going to Miss Breeder's sister's bed. On the contrary, he was very interested in the food that Miss Breeder had hidden. Taking advantage of the young lady's sleep, he can do a warm water boiled frog, slowly eliminate some of the Breeder sister's snacks. Take a look at how skinny Miss Keeper was. This look is usually eat too many snacks. No meal caused by. As long as there is no snacks to eat, Miss will certainly eat more. He can be all for the good of Miss Ah. You little glutton. But also with sister talk up the conditions. Sister Honger touched Chung Hao's head helplessly, then walked to the small refrigerator and opened the door, took out a chicken leg and started to pick the bones with a kitchen knife. Seeing this, Chung Hao realized that the small cabinet-like contraption next to him was actually a refrigerator. Then it looked like he had a long way to go to help Sister Honger quit snacking. Just now when Sister Honger opened the refrigerator, he saw that there were a lot of sins inside that he needed to help eradicate. Don't think any bad thoughts about your sister's refrigerator okay? Especially don't bite the wires or be careful that the electricity will make your mouth crooked by then. Sister Honger, who had finished picking the bones of the chicken leg, immediately opened her mouth when she saw Chang Hao standing in front of the refrigerator, taking Chang Hao to the side. She seriously educated him. She didn't want her beloved little refrigerator to perish under the merciless iron mouth, because the little tigers would really bite the wires. Ow ow, don't bite. Don't bite. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head back, muttering in his heart that he had a brain problem before he couldn't think of asking for the wires ah, he was just taking a look at how to open this little refrigerator, so that it would be easy to get down at night, this is the sister's good boy, sister Honger said with a smile, placing Chang Hao in front of the iron bowl filled with crumbled chicken, Chang Hao immediately gorged himself, sha sha, sha sha, when the sound of the wind blowing the leaves came from outside the cold window, Chang Hao, who was nestled inside the cat's nest, opened his eyes with a swish, and after looking around to make sure that the main characters had already gone to bed, Chung Hao sneakily climbed out of the cat's nest, carefully came to the red sister in front of the bed, small legs a stirrup jumped up, with a paw to pull the red sister, but the red sister didn't react at all, Chang Hao couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief, Miss Breeder looks like she's already asleep, so I'm the one who'll be in charge of this house next, thinking of this, Chang Hao couldn't help but happily jump down from the bed and slowly came to the refrigerator, using his small paws to clasp the refrigerator door handle and pull it outward. This thing is really tight. It's still better to use human fingers. Although it was said that it had become the envy of everyone to protect the waste at the national level, but this suddenly lost its flexible fingers. You can't say that it really wasn't quite adapted to it. Luckily pulling open this tiny refrigerator door is not a problem. Otherwise tonight will be a lot of late night snacks. Let me take a look at how much delicious food is hidden inside Missy's refrigerator. Right? After Chang Hao loosened the refrigerator door, he crossed his tail and scrutinized in front of the refrigerator. The things inside the refrigerator were quite mixed. There were chicken leg meat, chicken breast, shrimp, and fish of unknown origin. It could be balsa fish or dragon fish. Anyway, no matter what kind of fish is it, Chang Hao only knows that today's midnight snack is very sumptuous. The lady's refrigerator hides so many delicious food. He casually ate a little bit. The other party should not find it right. Thinking of this, Chang Hao nonchalantly probed into the refrigerator and bit into the shrimp. After all, everything else can be eaten, but this shrimp is too difficult to come across ah. He lived here for two months. Even a little seafood foam have not seen. Take this opportunity to eat more seafood to replenish a good. Not able to replenish the trace elements to do. Only in this way can he grow stronger than the other tigers. Under the orange light, a little tiger lying on the ground. Two little paws holding the shrimp. Open mouth carefully eat. This scene looks to be how warm and cozy. Really delicious shrimp ah, a long time without eating taste is different, can be more delicious than what meat, only a pity that the number is a little too small, eat too much is easy to be found by the keeper, Chang Hao, who smashed his mouth and didn't even let go of the shells, looked at the shrimp inside the plate with some pity, if it wasn't for the fact that there was only one plate of shrimp inside, and the number of shrimp was still very small, he would have wanted to have two more, it was a pity that the number of shrimps was so few and the risk of him being found out if he ate one was just one more point, 
For the sake of his own fattening plan, Chun Hao finally held back and didn't continue to eat the shrimp, but stared at the sight of the fish and chips, here are eight or nine packages of fish and chips, he casually opened a packet to eat, the lady should not be able to find out right. Thinking of this, Chun Hao will be directly under the mouth dragging the bag of fish and chips, came to the garbage can next to the tearing up, while tearing up he also did not forget to observe the bed of the red sister, at any time to be on guard, the other side heard the sound to climb up, but the good thing is that until he tore open the bag and began to feast on it, the other party did not have the slightest reaction. This allowed Chun Hao to confirm that Sister Hong's sleep quality was very good. As for whether she was the kind that was still sleeping even when the sky was falling was unclear. However, knowing that Sister Hong sleeps well, he didn't have to tiptoe around so cautiously, and could be a little more daring. So Chun Hao looked for the chicken legs inside the refrigerator. Originally, he didn't want to gnaw on the chicken legs, but the breeder's sister had such a good quality of sleep, so he felt that he had the chance to gnaw on the chicken legs without disturbing the breeder's sister. Furthermore, this refrigerator only had the most chicken legs inside, and it would be easy to arouse suspicion if he moved anything else. Therefore, in order for him to be able to dominate among his own kind, Chun Hao held the chicken leg and then went to his mouth. One bite of the chicken leg didn't seem to be as strong as he imagined. His teeth biting on the chicken bone he felt that he should be able to eat it after a little bit of force. After discovering this, Chang Hao was very happy. Chicken bones are good for calcium. As long as he can chew a little bit, can be swallowed. Thus, the quiet dormitory came from the crunching chewing sound, and this movement soon woke up the sleeping sister Honger. Wake up the red sister opened her eyes and saw a scene never seen in her life, only to see her beloved small refrigerator door was pushed open. Orange refrigerator light. A small tiger paw holding a chicken leg, chewing the appearance of the light is clear. And what she did not expect is that a two-month-old tiger cub chewed up the chicken leg actually effortlessly. The chicken leg was chewed like sugar cane and fell down to the stomach. This scene all gave red sister look silly all. Until a second or two later, she finally is back to God. Let out a voice full of anger. Little orange you this big glutton. Actually take advantage of sister sleep to steal food. Ow ow. Chang Hao, who was fully concentrating on his struggle with the chicken leg, heard sister Honger's voice and instantly his hair stood up in fear and the entire tiger jumped more than a meter off the ground. He never thought that Sister Honger, who had such a good quality of sleep, would actually wake up, so much so that he had no defense whatsoever. Looking at the open refrigerator, Chang Hao who landed on the ground slapped on the refrigerator door without thinking, biting the last remaining bit of chicken leg and rushed towards the cat's nest. You little villain caught in the act by your sister. Still want to run towards the nest? Hurry up and stand still for sister. You little glutton. You can't eat chicken legs at such a young age. You'll scratch your esophagus when the time comes. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger, angry and amused, scolded, got up from the bed and caught Chung Hao and lifted him up from the cat's nest, and started to pick the chicken leg from inside his mouth with her hand, but Chung Hao bite is not let go. He ate into the mouth of the meat, where there is a reason to spit out ah, even if the miss sister in the same reason, you'd better give sister obediently spit out the meat in your mouth, or don't blame sister for being impolite to you ah, fee nine bulls and two tigers. Still did not snatch out the rest of the chicken leg Chun Hao. Words cannot help but bring a few points of threatening meaning, if you do not spit it out. The future pots and pans of milk halved, every time the meat last one to feed you. You'd better think clearly before deciding whether you want to go against your sister. You have to think clearly only listen to your sister's words to let go of the meat. She knew that Xiao Orange was so smart that she would definitely be able to understand. From playing the game today it was obvious that Xiao Orange had a very high IQ. Ha, huh? it's not. Is it? I just stole a chicken leg. As serious as that? Hearing this, Chang Hao couldn't help but freeze, and honestly let go of the remaining chicken leg in his mouth. It couldn't be helped. This threat was too serious. If he was to be allowed to eat meat at the end, who knew if he would still be able to eat it? Only then did Sister Honger smoothly take out the chicken leg that was left in the size of a fingernail cap, the bone with the skin part. You little glutton how two months teeth so sharp ah, actually even so hard chicken bones you can give chewed. Looking at the remnants of the broken chicken bones, Sister Honger could be sure that Chung Hao's teeth really couldn't be compared to an ordinary little tiger, and it was estimated that he didn't have to worry about the problem of the bones being too sharp and scratching his esophagus, and just this teeth of his biting the bones into this, the bones had turned into bone crumbs altogether. However, still have to make sure that the small orange esophagus really does not hurt. So Red Sister put down the hands of the chicken leg root eyes looked at Chung Hao, Chang Hao, who was looking at him, expressed a little panic. As the saying goes, catching a thief and taking the stolen goods, and he was caught on the spot right now, to say that it was impossible not to be panicked, if it wasn't for the fact that his furry face didn't show a blush, his face could be a steamed egg right now, sister will not beat you, 
but you have to honestly answer my sister's question. Have you felt where you are uncomfortable or feel a sore throat? You'd better think clearly to answer sister. Otherwise by then if you get hurt, you can't eat meat. Sister Honger said, adding a heavier tone to can't eat meat, emphasizing it in particular. Ow, oh, no, after hearing that the breeder sister wasn't ready to scold him, but was concerned about him, Shang Hao couldn't help but send a sigh of relief back. He was really scared to death. He almost thought that Miss Breeder was going to whip out seven wolves. Fortunately, Miss Sister wasn't that tough. Really? Sister Honger sniffed and reconfirmed. You have to tell the truth to your sister oh. Only honest little children have pots of milk to drink. Ow ow, no. Cheng Hao sniffed and shook his head again. That's good. Next time you're hungry you tell your sister. No sneaking around and stealing food yourself. It's not like my sister is saying she won't give it to you. Hearing that the answer she got from tempting with pots of milk was still no. Sister Honger then breathed a sigh of relief and picked Chung Hao up, and after gently touching Chung Hao's rounded tummy with her hand, her face changed slightly. You little glutton must have stolen more than just one chicken drumstick, right? My god, just how much can you eat? You little villain? Saying this, she put Chung Hao down, opened the refrigerator and started counting, but after counting, she really didn't know what she was missing. You little villain, you wouldn't have eaten all the bags in. Right? Sister Honger chanted and suddenly thought of something? Immediately walked towards the trash can. Little Orange so smart. Maybe we'll really learn her to eat things to throw the bag into the trash can. It's over. Now the plan is lost. Watching Sister Honger walk towards the trash can, Chang Hao's whiskers drooped. He knew that he wouldn't be able to hide it now. Turning around, he rushed towards the cat's den once again, hoping to evade Sister Honger. This is the bag of balsa fish, and the bag of meat muffins. Just how much did you little villain eat behind your sister's back? Sister Honger, who was rummaging through the trash can, quickly saw the melting ice on the table bag, and immediately understood that it must have just been unwrapped not long ago, and the originator of all of this was none other than Chang Hao, who was already nestled inside the cat's nest. I don't know anything, I didn't see anything, just now, everything is a dream, it has nothing to do with me. Chang Hao nestled inside the cat's nest, his four paws firmly supporting the cat's nest, vowing to live and die together with the cat's nest. Cat's nest, I didn't. Don't talk nonsense, get out of here. Cheng Hao, no, I don't want you to think. I want me to think. I think you want me to stay inside. That's all. Little Orange you don't think you can escape by hiding inside the cat's nest, do you? Sister is very angry right now. Sister Honger couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when she finished rummaging through the trash can and made sure that there were only bags of meat muffins and balsa fish. It's a good thing she doesn't sleep too much. Otherwise she wouldn't even know that the refrigerator was emptied for orange. But this bad guy did something wrong and hid quite quickly. Actually shrinking inside the cat's nest. Ow ow, don't come over. Hearing this, Chun Hao immediately opened his mouth and roared lowly, trying to scare off Sister Honger who came over. But as an old breeder who had taken care of several sessions of baby tigers, Sister Honger would be afraid of Chang Hao's bluff. She had dealt with even the fiercest little tigers. The scene in front of her eyes was just child's play only to see Sister Honger bring a teasing stick with feathers from the cabinet next to the bed, waving it around in front of Chung Hao. What does this breeder sister want? Could it be that seeing that hard doesn't work? She's planning to go soft? Looking at the feather floating around in front of him, Chung Hao's gaze couldn't help but be attracted. Russell, as the feather landed on Chung Hao's face, Chung Hao subconsciously opened his mouth to bite it, and his brain stuck out. And when Sister Honger saw it, she immediately reached out and grabbed towards the back of Chung Hao's head catching the flesh of the back of his neck. Not good. Fooled. When Chung Hao reacted, he had already been brought to the cat's nest by Sister Honger. You're a little villain who still wants to fight with your sister. Aren't you clear about how much you weigh? Let you out and not to beat you. As to be afraid into this way? Give Sister honestly loosen your claws. Don't want to stay inside the cat's nest pretending to be a turtle. You ate too much. Easy to indigestion induced stomach discomfort. Sister is going to rub your little tummy. Hurry up. Said put the cat's nest on the lap, reached inside to explore, when touched the round bulging belly gently rubbed up, other little tigers which have like you like this once dry rice so much ah, you really did not learn the good, but learn the bad, sister just open a refrigerator, you this little bad guy also learned to come to steal food at night, sister did not find out, you are not planning to eat the stomach to blow up ah, can't you let your sister have a good night's sleep, she was kind of convinced that little orange was a glutton, stealing so much food and not afraid of bracing himself to death, does he know that he is still a little tiger? Where are the other tigers that he can eat so much? Ow ow, can. Chang Hao, who was rubbing his stomach and squinting comfortably, returned with his mouth open. In fact, he had a sense of proportion in eating, and wouldn't hold himself up at all. Miss Breeder didn't have to worry so much. 
Still able? Can a hammer? Sister Honger heard this and scolded without any good humor. Thanks to sister's quick discovery. Or else you, this little fool, is going to be the first ever little tiger to prop itself up in two months. Really pissed off sister. If it's not that you're still small and can't be punched now. Sister said what she had to reward you with a beating to make you remember. Ow ow, don't. Chun Hao immediately revealed a pitiful look. If he were to get a beating, he might have to lose a few grams of meat. This is looking at the imminent winter. This gram are in the cold winter life-saving capital A. Ah, then good good obedience. You do not think that sister pain you will not beat you. Tell you sister hit like a little tiger hand will be more ruthless. Sister Honger threatened, then continued to rub Chung Hao's small stomach, and found that Chung Hao's small stomach actually deflated a lot more than just now. She said how the little orange was always crying out for hunger. The feeling was in the digestion speed was too fast. No wonder the size was so big in only two months. Ow ow, obey, obey. Chung Hao nodded his little head back. All right, you go to sleep. If you're hungry, press this no. Sister Honger felt that Chung Hao's stomach had recovered to about the same size, and pointed to a few buttons placed on the ground and said, Buttons? Hearing this, Chung Hao couldn't help but look towards where the other party was pointing, only then realizing that there were actually a few buttons placed on the ground. Speaking of which, he had seen them in his original room, but at that time, he only wanted to look for food and didn't pay attention to this thing. What are these things for? Chung Hao curiously drilled out from the cat's nest and landed on the ground. Looking towards the several grids on the ground, he saw that the buttons on the top said hungry, want to cuddle and want to sleep. Isn't this something that the pooper scooper bought for the dog? Seeing the words written on it, Chun Hao finally understood what this thing was. If you're hungry, just press this button, okay? At that time it will make a sound, and your sister will get up and bring you food. Seeing Chang Hao come out from the cat's nest and run to the button, Sister Honger put down the cat's nest and came over, pointing at the hungry button and said, ow ow, good. Although Chang Hao was a bit speechless, he still nodded wisely. That's a good boy. Quickly go to bed. Tomorrow morning you still have to go out with sister to receive tourists. Sister Honger said with a smile, lifting Chang Hao towards the cat's nest, and then after stuffing Chang Hao inside the cat's nest, she herself returned to the bed to continue sleeping, being woken up by Shao Tangerine in the middle of the night. She was really sleepy. Fortunately, nothing happened to Little Orange. Eat up and sleep. Looking at Sister Honger turning off the lights. Chang Hao also closed his eyes. Sleeping can only be done when your stomach is warm. Otherwise how can you sleep when it's empty? The next morning, the sun had just risen. Chang Hao, who had his heart set on eating, also got up. He looked up and saw that the sky was bright outside the windowsill. So he drilled out from the cat's nest, and came to the button and pressed it with his paw. Immediately, the room was filled with the sound of hungry and hungry. This noise quickly woke up Sister Honger. You this little villain. You're hungry so early in the morning? Sister is really afraid of you. Cloaked and yawning. Sister Honger helplessly got up from the bed and went inside the refrigerator to take chicken breasts to prepare breakfast for Chang Hao. It was still early and not time to open the garden. She still wanted to sleep a little more. She didn't take the chicken legs out to pick the bones. Directly chopped the chicken breast. Beat two eggs and put them in. Then carried an iron bowl and put it on Chang Hao. Sister has now gotten you food. Ready to go back to sleep. You remember not to make noise. Okay, let sister have a good rest. Otherwise if sister gets sick, you little bad egg will have no one to take care of you then. Ow ow, no. Chang Hao, who had his eyes fixed on the iron basin, nodded back and couldn't wait to eat. Seeing this, sister Honger returned to her bed to continue sleeping. Smash it smash it. A bowl of chicken breast was not a few times for Chung Hao to eat clean. Finished Chung Hao smashed his mouth and began to lick up the iron bowl. As he licked a lick, his tongue gradually came out with more scum looking down to find that the stainless steel bowl had already been licked and spent. Am I that good? Stainless steel bowl can be licked for me. Chung Hao looked at the bowl that was brushed with a steel wire ball. He looked at the bowl that looked just like a steel wire ball, and couldn't help but freeze. He thought that Miss Breeder had wronged him when she said he licked the bowl, but now it looked as if Miss Breeder hadn't wronged him. But how could he be so powerful? Could it be that he is not an ordinary tiger is too like a tiger? After all, the Breeder Miss Miss are able to understand the language of the beast. He seems to be slightly peculiar. There is nothing wrong with it. What does he belong to though? A kitty with a sharper tongue? If that's the case, it seems like this ability isn't bad at all. At least it allows him to lick the bones a little cleaner, eliminate food waste and such, and be able to fully replenish himself with energy. Thinking of this, Chang Hao couldn't help but feel that his ability was quite impressive, and then spat the iron slag on his tongue into the trash can. Although he was rather gluttonous, he still knew what the hell he could eat and what the hell he couldn't eat. Like this kind of iron scraps obviously can't be eaten. Eat it definitely need to get a knife to do surgery. Sha Sha. 
Russell, just as Chang Hao had just finished spitting out the iron slag, a sizzling figure caught his attention, and as soon as he lifted his head, he saw a cockroach as big as a small mouse crawling around. I'm going to go. Miss Breeder doesn't give me all the snacks? This is great. Raising a cockroach that's almost as big as my palm to come. Chang Hao's eyes widened. After making sure once again that the cockroach was indeed a live cockroach and not a toy, he couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. They say that the cockroaches in the north are small, but this thing isn't small either. It looks like it can be bigger than the ones in the south. However, Miss Breeder didn't need to worry. With him, the sage of cockroach removal, he guaranteed that this guy would not be able to escape again, and wouldn't bring any worries to Miss Breeder. Little bastard, still want to run? Stand and stay for Master Tiger. I won't let you disturb Miss Sister's sleep. Cheng Hao landed in front of the big cockroach walking along the wall with a hungry tiger pounce, directly blocking the other party's route of advance. Sha Sha, faced with its front path being blocked, the big cockroach didn't have the intention to run away, but instead, after tilting its head, it rubbed its foot limbs. Afterward, fluttering its wings, it flew towards Cheng Hao's face. Puff, puff. In response to this big cockroach pouncing towards him, Cheng Hao, without even thinking about it, used his ancestral stance, cat cat fist, and slapped the pouncing big cockroach on the ground. Dang, the big cockroach that fell to the ground made a crisp sound, like the sound of a small metal bottle cap hitting the ground. Good guy, not only is he bold but his body is even tougher. After receiving a cat fist from my specialty, he actually hasn't rotted yet. Looking at the big cockroach falling on the ground and still alive and kicking, Chun Hao called out good guy and hurriedly ran over and pressed it with a claw. If such a big cockroach was let loose for him, I don't know how many small cockroaches there will be next year. Until they all grow this big, then Tiger Garden could be called Cockroach Garden. Ka ka ka. Ka ka ka. After the cockroach lying on the ground was pressed by Chung Hao, he was still not honest and repeatedly twisted and wanted to climb up. The key was that his strength was also a thief, and he directly propped up Chung Hao's claws. I go. This cockroach can be really strong. Worthy of being a small strong that can't die. Chung Hao didn't expect this guy to be so strong. If he didn't use his claws as a cage to lock it, he almost let the other party run away. It looks like you have to solve each other right away. Want this mileage how bite towards the cockroach. Not he does not want to use claws. Really in the cockroach's body bones are too slippery. Just like wearing a piece of oil armor. However, just bite to death. If it is not eaten into the stomach, there should not be much problem. Besides, even if it is eaten, there are insect repellent medicine inside the zoo to eat. The problem is still not big. Crunch. Crunch. The big cockroach was bitten in Chung Hao's mouth. The armor he was wearing and the tiger's teeth made a crisp sound. Chung Hao couldn't bite it down, and once again exerted his strength before he managed to pierce through the big cockroach's body. Z, as the cockroach was bitten through, a stream of warmth splashed out and flowed into Chung Hao's throat, directly drilling into his mouth. Not good. After Chang Hao realized it, his face changed drastically and he hurriedly spat the cockroach into the trash can and began to spit frantically. He was unlucky. Did not think that the cockroach will also explode, if the viscera water is better, if the feces can be finished, let him haul small brain axe A to this thing, if you want to eat, you should also eat meat, okay, gulp, Chang Hao started sucking on the bowl of water, then shook his head to gargle, only after 3 or 4 times did Chang Hao gradually stop, it wasn't because he felt almost clean, it was mainly because the fresh water that Miss Breeder had prepared for him was finished gargling by him, he couldn't disturb the young lady's sleep, so he could only stop there. Little Orange woke up. Now it's time to work. Don't keep sleeping. When Shang Hao woke up again, he was woken up by Sister Honger. Seeing that Sister Honger was arranging the quilt, Chang Hao immediately climbed out of the cat's nest and ran over towards Sister Honger. Ow ow, come come. Sister is organizing the bed. What are you doing calling Sister over? You little devil? Sister Honger, who was organizing, curiously said, but still put down the work in her hand and followed Chang Hao to the trash can, and saw a cockroach the size of a small bowl. Although she had seen many big cockroaches in the south, this was the first time she had seen such a big cockroach, which could be called the ancestor of cockroaches. It looked like she had to report to the tiger park and do some pest extermination work. What a big cockroach. Did you bite it to death? Little orange. Sister Honger was slightly stunned, then asked towards Chun Hao, since Xiao Tangerine let her come over. It must be an invitation to take credit. Luckily Xiao Tangerine didn't have the bad habit of cats that like to bring cockroaches. Snakes rats and other things to the bedside. Otherwise she would have to collapse. Ow ow, M. Chang Hao nodded his head and said. Then his eyes looked towards Sister Honger revealing a look of anticipation. He had helped the other party to solve a big troublesome matter. Didn't Miss Breeder have a little bit of indication? Little Orange did a really good job. Sister Honger, 
who was being watched, rubbed Chang Hao's head and said, Sister didn't love you for nothing. Keep up the good work in the future you know? Help your sister to make all the cockroaches and rats and such inside the room clean. What? Rats still need me? Chang Hao, who was looking forward to the reward, couldn't help but freeze when he heard this, knowing that if he didn't open his mouth to ask for it, Miss Breeder wasn't going to give the reward. Ow ow, meat meat. You want meat again? Sister Honger listened to the hand rubbing Chang Hao's head turned into a lift, lifting Chang Hao on the hand, reaching out to touch Chang Hao's stomach, your glutton digestive speed is really fast. That piece of chicken breast but there is more than a caddy of ah, this two hours less than you give to eat it all? You are still so small. You can eat so. If you grow up, don't eat the tiger garden to pour ah. Other tigers at this time are eating cut up small minced meat slowly fed, which is like a small orange dry is dry a caddy of meat ah, this is still not a morning only after less than two hours. Moreover, he ate so much last night. Little orange this is also too able to eat a little bit, and then so eat on ah, the tiger garden may not be able to afford to feed all. Are you kidding? This is the tiger garden. Nothing else can not have meat? Isn't there still national support and local support? It's not a difficult thing to raise him. Chung Hao couldn't help but mutter in his heart. Isn't Tiger Park a state-supported project? Isn't it easy to approve 70 to 80 million dollars every year? How could he not be able to afford to feed him? How much can he eat? Moreover, the meat he eats is frozen. So he can't spend any money. You little villain. Honestly wait for sister over here. Sister will cut some more chicken breasts for you to eat as a reward for catching bugs. After Sister Honger chanted for a while, it was Chung Hao who put down and went to the refrigerator to get the chicken breast. No matter how poor you are, you can't afford to have a poor child, let alone a little tigress, and a little tiger that only wants to eat meat? Ow ow, yeah yeah yeah. Hearing this, Chang Hao couldn't help but cheer happily. Following the breeder lady sister is good. Every day you can enjoy the happiness of having a small stove. Alright, don't be so excited. Sister Honger put the iron bowl in front of Chang Hao and said, This is the last game before going to work ah. Later on you have to cooperate with your sister's work before you get an extra meal, or else you'll just have to wait and eat with the other little tigers. Ow ow, okay. Chang Hao nodded as he listened, his head already buried inside the bowl. With so much meat, he didn't believe that there was still that little tiger that could outgrow himself? If there was, then the other party must have a physique that would gain weight even if he drank water knowing that he was eating several times a day all the time. So good. Sister Honger smiled and said, stroking up Chang Hao's little head as she ate a meat muffin and drank pure milk, waiting for Chang Hao to finish his meal. The head gardener now only let her greet Xiao Tangerine, a little tiger. Her time can be leisurely. I hope Xiao Yi and the other colleagues can be busy ah. Knock knock. Knock knock. Just in such a moment of her days, the meat in the iron bowl had already been eaten by Chang Hao. Chang Hao saw Sister Honger's days and patted the iron bowl with his little paw, indicating that he had eaten well and could go to work. Why are you eating so fast today? And you're not licking the bowl anymore? After Sister Honger heard the voice and came back to her senses, she saw that there was actually egg liquid inside the iron bowl and couldn't help but smile. I don't want to lick the bowl of rice and cause there to be no bowl of food left. After knowing that his tongue could lick the bowl to spend, Chang Hao could take away the habit of licking the bowl. Otherwise, if he licked it like this, even a meter thick bowl wouldn't be able to restrain him from licking it. All right, let's go to work. Seeing that Chang Hao didn't reply, with this dumbfounded look, Sister Honger carried Chang Hao out of the dormitory and walked towards yesterday's old place. Along the way, there were roars of tigers everywhere, but for Sister Honger she was already accustomed to it, and when she passed by the free range area of the big tigers, Sister Honger would still hold Chang Hao and point to the big tigers that were separated by the electric fence and say, Little Orange see what they look like. In the future, you're surely going to have to grow even bigger than them, so you can afford to eat this much more food. Ow ow, M. Chang Hao listened and barely responded. His eyelids couldn't help but fight. He had some control over wanting to sleep R. Little orange cheer up ah, don't really fall asleep. We still have to go over to see the tourists. Hearing Chang Hao's breathless and lazy reply, Sister Hong are reminded. She also didn't dare to stay any longer, lest Chang Hao really fall asleep on the way. Sister Hong you're a bit late today. After Sun Xiaoyi put the four little tigers into the fence, she looked at the late arriving Sister Honger and said with a smile. She already knew from the head gardener's side that Sister Honger had to take care of the little tangerines so that she could go to the TV station for filming. And in her heart, she was envious. It would be great if the little tiger in her care could also go to the shooting. It's a little late. Listen to me tell you about it later and you'll understand why. After Sister Honger put Chung Hao inside the fence, she immediately took a broom and started cleaning the outside of the fence. While cleaning, she told Sun Xiaoyi about what happened last night. No way. Is Little Orange so smart? Actually able to open the refrigerator door to. 
Sun Xiaoyi felt incredible when she heard it. How could such a small tiger pull open the refrigerator door? It's true. When I let him open it for you at night, you'll know how smart he is, Sister Honger said, indicating that the other party could show her a live performance if she didn't believe her. Okay, Sister Honger. Sun Xiaoyi nodded at her words, and then Sister Honger talked to her about the super large cockroach, and Chang Hao, who stayed inside, didn't stay idle either, and started to put his mouth on the horse's tooth conduit. Although this thing is a bit sour, but it's a famous wild vegetable ah, eating a bit more is quite good for the body. Thus, the first batch of tourists who came over to see the tiger cub this morning got to see what it means to be a vegetarian tiger. Is this little tiger starving mad without eating in the morning? Or does it just like to eat grass? It shouldn't be that it didn't have breakfast. I've heard that these little tigers have a full stomach before they go to work. Yes, as for eating grass is even more unlikely. The size of this little tiger is not like eating grass can eat out ah. Looking at Chung Hao, who was gnawing on the crunch of the horse tooth bamboo, the college students who came in a group couldn't help but stare. If this little tiger hadn't eaten breakfast, but his stomach was so round, but if you say he loves to eat grass, but is there a grass-eating tiger that looks so round? This is the tiger garden inside the small orange, born big greedy, in addition to can not eat, everything to eat two bites. It's not that he's hungry or likes to eat grass, it's pure gluttony. Sister Honger, who was cleaning up, heard their discussion and spoke out to explain, lest the tourists misunderstand that they, the keepers, have abused the animals. Then if it was spread as a rumor, it would have a bad impact on both them and the tiger park. Such a greedy little tiger? The college students who heard this couldn't help but freeze, but after seeing Chang Hao's size they couldn't doubt it. Well, there really didn't seem to be anything wrong with this explanation. Yes, otherwise he wouldn't be able to grow so fat. Sister Honger seriously replied back, and after putting down the broom in her hand, she went into the fence to grab Chang Hao away from the horse tooth conduit. She just cleaned up, and little orange was over here eating wild vegetables and letting the tourists get the wrong idea. It was really tiring. Ow ow, put me down. I want to eat. Chang Hao, who was nibbling on the leaves of the horse tooth water pipe, made a sound while struggling. He wasn't stealing food or robbing other tiger cubs of their food. Wasn't the keeper lady's control a bit too wide? You have to know that he was weeding the tiger garden. Ah, a hard-working tiger cub like him can't be found by lanterns, laughing me to death. This is the first time I've seen a tiger that has become like this in order to eat veggies. The college students who were holding their cell phones and snapping pictures were delighted when they saw it. Yeah, that's grass and not meat. This little tiger is also too excited. Right, right. This tiger park is really not in vain. No wonder they said this site is fun. Now I do believe it. Aha, uh -huh. hurry up and make a video to show everyone what is called a little tiger that loves to eat vegetables. That's right, I've seen a lot of meat-eating little tigers. This is the first time I've seen a vegetarian one. The crowd laughed as they began to take pictures ready to record this happy moment. Don't eat it, you little villain. Didn't you already eat a lot just now? Why do you still want to eat? Sister Honger was a bit speechless when she heard this, and could only patiently say, cooperate well with your sister's live broadcast, and later on, your sister will give you some meat, okay? You are a tiger not a sheep. Don't always eat vegetarian ah. How could there be such a greedy little tiger? How could there be such a gluttonous little tiger that wouldn't even let go of wild vegetables? It's really unheard of and unseen. Ow ow, to add meat. Chang Hao, who was nibbling on the leaves of the horse tooth water pipe, thought about it and opened his mouth. It was fine to work without eating wild vegetables, but it has to add meat to make it work. He's not that easy to get rid of. Okay, 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 as long as you are obedient. Sister will give you extra meat plus pots and pans of milk. Sister Honger smiled helplessly. Little Orange the small age actually learned to add meat are, really is a big glutton. Ow ow, that's more or less the same. Chang Hao heard then satisfied spit out the wild vegetables in his mouth, lest he ate too much later on, causing him to be unable to eat the meat later on. This is what a sister's good boy is. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger smiled and put Chang Hao on the ground, clicked on the hand live broadcast ready to give everyone a live broadcast of the Tiger Garden's daily life. Little tiger come over not? I have delicious things over here yo. As long as you come over to you right away. Yeah, hurry up and come over. Seeing Chang Hao being placed on the ground again, the visitors who came immediately took out a variety of food to lure them. Facing their temptations, Chang Hao was simply unmoved, because he knew that these people would not give him food. The park also does not allow them to feed the tiger cubs. Once caught, but they have to be fine so they are just teasing. They won't give food at all. Isn't this little tiger very greedy? How come it doesn't fall for it? Someone flung the ham half a day but saw the chubby little tiger not reacting at all, and then wondered, isn't this nonsense? A sight of the girl said, even if you are fishing, 
You have to spread some bait down ah, you do not give anything, do you really think he is a fool, is not it? The man could not help but froze, this little tiger even ate grass, is not a fool is what? After all, where is the little tiger that eats grass? Good morning everyone, welcome to the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, today for your continued satisfaction is still small orange Ohio, sister Honger smiled into her cell phone and said, little orange quickly come over and say hello to everyone, ow ow, good morning. Chung Hao said with an open mouth as he sniffed, and lazily laid down, Little Orange is saying good morning to everyone oh, Sister Honger said to the live broadcast with a smile as she listened, Really? Breeder's sister, we don't understand beast language, don't lie to us, yeah, none of us have ever read a book, there were soon replies inside the live broadcast room, that's for sure, as a professional breeder, I won't cheat everyone, that's what Little Orange said, Sister Honger smiled and said, Little Orange, don't you think so? Ow ow, yes. Chung Hao nodded his head and opened his mouth to reply back. In order to eat he was really miserable enough, and had to cooperate with the breeder's sister to sell her art. Hopefully, the meat given by Miss Breeder will be a bit more later on. Little Orange all admitted it herself oh. Sister Homer laughed. What performance program would everyone like to see today? As long as it's not too difficult Little Orange can do it. Dancing. Comedy. Singing. Pendulum playing. A string of strange contraptions immediately appeared inside the live broadcast room now. Your requests are too weird. Even if I want little orange to do it. Sister Honger said with some tears and laughter when she saw it. How about I just let Sha Tangerine perform one of his best shots at the ball for everyone. After saying that, without waiting for the crowd to reply, she went to get a leather ball. Seeing this, Cheng Hao once again ran towards the horse-toothed water pipe over there, which was a long way away from the payment given by the breeder lady. I don't know when, it was better to eat some wild vegetables to fill up his stomach first, I go, nowadays, are all the little tigers lives so bad, how dare they humble themselves to the point of eating wild vegetables, 555, the little tiger is so poor, actually hungry all started to eat wild vegetables, there is no one with me to save, poor little tiger ah, together together, I'm the person who can't stand to see, the little tiger is starving, quickly send me to feed him, the viewers in the live broadcast room, the crowd saw could not help but open their eyes wide. Some can not see the suffering of the world. Immediately said to send him over to feed the little tiger. I say is there a possibility that he likes to eat? After all, he is a notorious little glutton. Yeah, he's the one who can dry an iron bowl of meat in one bite. There were viewers who knew Chang Hao, but they knew very well what this little tiger was really like. It was the one who couldn't do anything but couldn't do anything but couldn't eat anything left over. Although it looks like eating wild vegetables is pitiful and aggravating but eating it is not to mention how happy it is, look at the way he eats, does he look like he's being abused and starved, he doesn't look like that at all, okay, at most, it was just a change of taste, little orange sister just went to get you a ball, why did you start eating wild vegetables again, sister Honger, who came back with the ball, saw Chang Hao, who was a match for a sheep, and couldn't help but say helplessly, ow ow, boredom, Chang Hao sniffed as he chewed back, even if it's boring, you shouldn't be over here chewing on wild vegetables, later on everyone will say that I'm abusing you again, sister Honger couldn't help but listen with her head full of black lines, other little tigers being bored is sleeping, this boredom of little orange is chewing on wild vegetables, this is really special enough ah, be a good boy and put down the wild vegetables first come over to play ball, play ball will not be bored, sighing, sister Honger put the ball on the ground and waved towards Chang Hao, seeing this, Chang Hao could only let go of the unevenly bitten amaranth and came over to play ball, while playing he also looked enviously at the other sunbathing tigers. How come the other tigers didn't have so many things to do while he still had to work? Why does this little brain axe have a sad face? Does he need a hug from his sister? At a glance it is in need. Suggest sending it to my home for me to give it a good hug. You're doing this math. I heard it all abroad. I heard it in space. I heard it all on Mars. Chang Hao's sad face playing with the ball looked very aggrieved, and soon aroused the love and care of caring people. Little orange don't be sad face ah. Play the ball happily, sister said she would give you meat later. Looking at the screen of the cell phone live broadcast, sister Honger sighed and said, it's really a meaty aggression ah, no wonder so many people inside the live broadcast room began to motherhood overflow. Ow ow, not happy without meat. Drooping Chang Hao roared, his paws picking at the leather ball, his face full of unhappiness. All the other cerebellar axes didn't need to work, but he needed to be able to be happy to be a ghost. Unless, of course, Miss Breeder gave almost as much food. Otherwise, blank checks didn't energize him at all. Okay, okay, sister went to get you some meat to eat okay? You don't look sad all day ah. Sister Honger listened and opened her mouth. 
letting Sun Xiaoyi help look after it a bit, and went to get some meat. Breeder's sister really favor him ah, this is to take the meat to go. Yes, yes, it's true that growing so fat isn't without reason. With the breeder's sister pampering him, the viewers in the live broadcast room couldn't help but discuss as they listened. Has Miss Breeder left? Watching Sister Homer leave, Chang Hao then once again ran towards the horse tooth kettle, the horse tooth water pipe, which only had a few poles left, seemed to let out a heartbreaking cry under the sunlight, don't come over, but what responded to it was only Chang Hao's merciless iron mouth. Gah! The teeth bit down on the branch of the horse toothed water pipe, sending out a crisp ringing sound. My god, this wild vegetable is too pitiful, getting bitten three times. Yeah, this little brain axe comes over and eats wild greens every chance it gets. This wild vegetable probably wants to curse the tiger's heart. Right, right. For the first time I feel so pitiful for the wild vegetables. Watching the persistent little brain axe laying its mouth on a horse toothed water pipe. The viewers inside the live broadcast room now didn't pity the little brain axe anymore. And started to pity the horse toothed water pipe. While they were pitying, the last bit of horse tooth water pipe had already entered Chung Hao's stomach, leaving only the root left to be poisoned. Little orange you should stop eating. If you keep eating, the turf will be gone. Seeing this, Sun Xiaoyi, who was taking care of the other cerebellar axes, immediately ran over and lifted Chung Hao up. Little orange, this bad guy, was now desperate and hungry to this point, he actually started chewing on grass. No wonder it can grow so fat has become a small fat peer, already eaten, will not gnaw again rest assured, being lifted Chung Hao also does not struggle, mouth chewing the last bit of amaranth leaves, exhausting the fishing knot story he still knows, he just wants to give the top to eat, but did not think about the root below the mouth, so the other side could rest assured, the turf was definitely there, and he was still very measured in what he put in his mouth, all just, left for just one trip, what bad thing did this little villain do again, sister Honger, who came back with the meat, Saw Chang Hao being lifted up and inquired. This little villain ate the entire wild vegetables. If I don't stop him, I guess that if it's a little later, the turf won't even be left. Sun Xiaoyi opened her mouth and explained. Really? This little glutton is getting more and more lawless ah. Sister Honger sighed as she listened. Put the meat on the ground. And took Chang Hao from Sun Xiaoyi's hand. You little villain sister went to help you get food. And as a result, you're over here making a mess? Ow ow, no. Chang Hao yanked his voice back. The corner of his mouth still stained with the leaves of the horse tooth water pipe. You little villain. Still trying to trick sister. Take a look at what's this. Sister Honger said as she pinched the leaf at the corner of Chang Hao's mouth. Ow ow, grass. Chang Hao sniffed back unwillingly. Isn't it just eating a little bit of grass? Could this be called messing up? He was clearly helping the park weed. Okay? Knowing it's grass and still eating it. You little badass. Sister Honger said in a good natured manner. Taking out a piece of meat from the box and stuffing it into Chang Hao's mouth. Be good and go play ball. As long as you play ball, you'll have meat to eat. Ow ow, good. Chang Hao chewed the meat while returning. After being put down, he honestly went to play ball. And from time to time, he also opened his mouth towards Sister Honger. Sister Honger could only helplessly use tweezers to clip the meat and put it inside his mouth. Looking at this scene, the water friends inside the live broadcast room instantly envied. What a cozy scene. This scene reminds me of the scene when I was a kid playing ball while eating. Yeah. I also ate like this when I was a kid. Right. Right. Same world same mom. Everyone has this kind of experience. This little fat orange won't commiserate now. It looks much more comfortable than the other little tigers. Yes. The other little brain axes are so pathetic. When the others saw this, they couldn't help but nod in agreement. Look at how leisurely this little fat orange is now. Someone feeds him meat and a ball to play with. While the other little tigers were left to starve and smell the meat. Really want how miserable? Just how miserable ah. Little Orange is happy now, right? Sister Honger looked at Chung Hao who was playing with the ball and said, Don't go eating grass anymore, okay? You're a little tiger. You should do what a tiger should do. Ow ow, good. Chung Hao nodded his head as he ate the meat. Only a fool would go back to eating grass when there is meat to eat. Is that the breeder? The long-haired man looked over and opened his mouth to ask, his gaze carefully staring around from time to time. Yes, it's her no mistake. The man with a somewhat thin body and pale face nodded. I've been observing her for quite some time now. She's talking to that tiger cub. And the speech wasn't the kind that was pre-verbal, but the kind that was really understandable. She's definitely not an ordinary person's. Yeah, hearing this, the long-haired man couldn't help but have his eyes light up. Go inquire about her live room. Go back and watch her live. And make sure of the words, less will be your share. Okay, thank you brother Cohen. The man who heard this said happily, immediately farted around and went to inquire. Brown bear brown bear. This is Coyote. The target has appeared. 
He's currently speaking to an inch-headed man in his 30s. The other party is between 1 meter 60 and 65. His weight should be between 50 and 60 kilograms, wearing black sneakers, green jeans, and a beige jacket. Likes to walk hunched over with his hands in his pockets eyes often fixed on the ground. Not far from the two, the girl nibbling on an apple and wearing a duck-tongued hat said softly into her headset. Brown bear received. Keep an eye out for new targets immediately. Coyote please do not break away from the pack. Prey is dangerous. A gruff male voice came from the headset. Coyote copy. The girl nibbling on an apple said back and took a step towards the fence where the skinny man had gone. MS. Keeper you guys still have a live stream at Tiger Park? What's the live broadcast number? My daughter loves to see the little tiger. This time something did not come into being. I want her to watch on top of the phone. Big brother you platform search our name to check. Every morning 9.30 to 3 p.m. have live broadcast. Okay. Thanks ah. The girl munching on an apple heard this as soon as she arrived and immediately pressed down the microphone to record the conversation. Why is this guy lewd and lewd? He doesn't look like a good person? Looking at the man who struck up a conversation with Sister Honger, Chang Hao smelled the flavor named bad guy. The other party reeked of blood. And he usually didn't know what kind of work he did, but it was definitely not a decent job. Who doesn't work on weekends? Hontushan Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Search the live broadcast to watch and see what's different about Miss Keeper? After hearing the conversation that Coyote had overheard, the two-meter tall strong man at the base of operations spoke. Yes, brown bear. Hearing this, the staff within the search base immediately searched, and soon the image of Sister Hong Ren Chang Hao playing appeared on top of the screen. Little orange, the bowl of meat is already finished for you oh, there really isn't any more. Sister Hong Ren spread her hands and said, you be good and play with the ball first. Okay, later on, sister will get you some more meat to eat. Ow ow, good. Chung Hao who heard this nodded his head and could only play ball helplessly. How meaningless is playing ball? Miss Breeder let Chow Tangerine perform a spinning in place for us? Yes. Doesn't Little Orange still stretch its claws? Let Little Orange stretch its paws and play. The live broadcast viewers who watched Chung Hao's perfunctory ball playing said that it wasn't pretty at all. This little tiger had a perfunctory look from the inside out. They had never seen such a perfunctory little tiger before. Okay. Then I'll have Little Orange come over and play the game. Seeing the screen swipes in the live broadcast, Sister Honger shouted towards Chang Hao. Little Orange come over and play the game ah. Don't play with the ball. Okay? Ow ow, play games? Chang Hao sniffed and looked at Sister Honger and asked helplessly. He was just touching the fish. How can he touch the fish if Miss wants to play games with him? Yes, playing games. Little Orange hurry up and come over. If the performance is good, but there are rewards. Sister Honger smiled and beckoned and Chang Hao walked over with small broken steps. It didn't matter if there were rewards or not or anything. The most important thing was that he liked playing the game. Stretch your paws. Sister Honger said with a smile and reached out. So Chang Hao stretched his paw. Sister Honger then commanded Chang Hao to jump and spin in circles. Initially, this keeper has the ability to talk to animals, or at least can definitely understand them. There were several times when she spoke to the tiger cubs, and the tiger cubs reacted with feedback and actions thus showing that she wasn't talking to herself. Seeing that there was already a rough guess on this side, the staff voiced out a report on the situation. From the live broadcast, she was 70% certain that she could conclude that this breeder lady, after being irradiated by the light of evolution two months ago, had definitely become an evolved person, because she lives and works inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, so after being irradiated by the light of evolution and unlocking her gene lock, she evolved in the direction of a beast whisperer? The commander who heard the report rubbed his chin and nodded his mouth. A very good use of the ability. Whether it's to spy on intelligence or in combat it has great value. From now on, listen to her phone calls 24 hours a day and send people to guard the area around the tiger park. Once you find any signs of her leaving the tiger park, immediately activate the squadron for protection. Yes, commander. The taller man sniffed back and pressed down the microphone. This is brown bear. The wolves continue to track the target. And the bee swarm stays around the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Hongta Mountain to protect Miss Keeper's safety. Be careful not to expose your identity and arouse the target's suspicion. Wolf pack received. Wolf pack is stalking. Swarm received. The swarm is looking for a suitable location. Inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, the wolves and the bee swarm that had received the message began to continue tracking the target while continuing to loiter in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Mr. Commander you want to invite this keeper lady to join us? The brown bear asked curiously. Just for protection. Sending out a squadron would be a bit of a fuss. Wouldn't it? Moreover, it's just an evolved person who understands beast language. Is there a need to take it so seriously? Yes. Like this kind of evolver is very hard to see. It can even be said that it is not too much to say that it is a phoenix. 
Do you know how big the impact of the light of evolution that appeared two months ago was? According to the investigation found that under the shroud of the light of evolution, many creatures have undergone mutations, like those wide tropical rainforest appeared changes can be even greater. According to the satellite map of the latest show, through the satellite has not been able to see the situation of the rainforest, there is a very powerful magnetic field in the influence of the operation of precision instruments, and this is only the light of evolution affects the world for two months only. This means that the next our human proud technology will slowly decline, and at this time to pass information only with the most primitive way, but no matter in which era, information is the top priority. You should understand that her ability has importance, right? The commander said lightly, revealing the information that really shocked the people in the base. Although they also knew that the light of evolution had a great impact on the world, they didn't expect it to be as great as this. This light of evolution would actually cause the magnetic fields of the plants inside the rainforest to affect satellites and modern equipment? Then what is the situation inside the rainforest now? Commander, after the shock was over, a staff member asked out loud, It's complicated. The commander who heard this had an expression on his face. Some people have claimed to have seen walking trees around the rainforest, and there are also people who entered the rainforest and were killed by the trees, so it can be said that there is an intense evolution going on inside the rainforest. No way. The trees under the light of evolution are so terrifying? The brown bear felt a little numb as he listened. If the plants were hunting creatures, then would there be a safe place on earth in the future? Yes, because the more advanced beings need more energy, and these trees that have been irradiated by the light of evolution to break through their genetic locks have no way to get the energy they need from inside the earth, so they'll start to hunt and kill creatures like animals. The commander said lightly, tens of millions of years ago, we humans also came from this step, which led us to the top of all living things. And now that evolution has begun once again, but it's hard to say if it will still be us humans who will win, but first we have to eradicate the black sheep among humans. Bastards like these who fight amongst their own kind to prey on other evolved beings must not be allowed to live, and for them to taste the power gained from their own kind is the same as opening the Pandora's box of evil. Yes, commander, inside the base, the people who heard this returned. Ever since humans had been irradiated by the light of evolution, some people had to otherwise discover their strange changes but their abilities were weak, so they began to want to become stronger. No one would object to getting stronger through cultivation and exploration, but I don't know which heartless guy actually took his own meat to study, from which he got the conclusion that evolved people eating each other can enhance their strength, and even if he knew it himself, he actually spread it out. The key is that some guys also believe, actually really hunting evolved people to share food, and they finally did become stronger, but also became not a person, but an animal. You know the reason why people are called people that is based on all the complexity of morality. And these guys when it comes to the same kind of people have already left the category of human beings. But they didn't care. All they wanted was power. Very powerful power. So they started to forage. From the short video to look for those who like to show off the target. Or in the crowded place to look for those who are different from the norm. As long as these people show too special. Then they will be targeted. It was also because of this look between just two months. There had been many cases of evolved people hunting. Little orange is so good. You behaved well today. Sister will add an egg for you tonight. Okay? In the afternoon. After the tourists slowly retreated, the park began to clean up the garbage. And the keepers also held the little brain axes as they prepared to go back to their cages. Sister Honger also picked up Chung Hao and said with a smile. Today sold more than 300 tickets. The little orange can be said to take the credit ah. Ow ow, meat. Hearing this, Chang Hao hurriedly shook his head. Eggs where meat is delicious ah, miss don't think he's easy to fool just because he looks like a little tiger. He knows that meat is even more delicious. Alright then, let's give you meat meat. You little glutton. Sister Honger couldn't help but smile at her words, holding Chang Hao in her arms and striding towards the dormitory. That breeder left. When are we going to do it? Seeing Sister Honger leave with Chang Hao in her arms, the thin man asked towards the long-haired man beside him with some urgency in his eyes. Being an evolved person. But his ability was a thin blood vessel that bled easily and stopped bleeding easily, making his entire body numb. Although it was said that this ability made his original bumper business even more brilliant, but other people's ability was either like a gecko that could climb rocks and walk on walls, or hair that could stab people to death. What the hell was the use of this kind of broken ability? Luckily, he heard that after an evolved person became stronger, their abilities could further evolve. And now he couldn't wait to become stronger and see what his abilities would look like after they evolved? Don't be in a hurry. I just watched this tiger garden inside a lot of people. And everywhere is monitoring. You want to come here hard as want to feed the tiger? Long-haired man smoking a cigarette said lightly. Since she is a keeper of the tiger garden and can talk to the tiger. In the tiger garden inside the advantage is in her. 
We have to wait for her to come out from the tiger garden on vacation and then do it. What they did was a life-threatening job, and if they really did it inside the tiger park, it would be good if the other party didn't let the tiger bite them to death. Although they are evolved, but against the tiger or younger brother, Tiger King of Beasts is not a joke. They may even move against the ability to have no opportunity to hang. Therefore, it was a completely unwise idea to make a move inside the tiger garden. Only outside would they have a chance. Then when will she be on vacation before she comes out? Ah, the skinny man muttered when he heard this. He this still wanted to become stronger, but he still had to wait for the other party to leave the tiger garden on vacation. Who knew what vacation this tiger garden was on? It shouldn't be too long. I just inquired. They basically do six off or ten off. The long-haired man walked towards the mouth of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park while speaking. During this time you keep a good eye on this side and don't run around. The person I contacted is already on the way. As long as there's an opportunity, they'll do it immediately. After you finish this job with us, you'll understand how intoxicating it is to become stronger. Then when the time comes, I can become a core member of the organization? The skinny man sniffed with concern. As far as he knew their organization had quite a few members, but only the core members could participate in the hunts time and time again. And the more times they hunted, the stronger the participating members would be. If he wanted to stand out more than others he would definitely need to enter the core members. This will depend on your contribution. As long as the more evolvers you are able to find, the higher your status inside the organization will naturally be. The long-haired man smiled and patted the other's shoulder and said, Keep a good eye on this side okay? I'll introduce you when the organization's people come. Okay, brother long hair. The skinny man smiled and nodded, looking at the long-haired man as he left. His heart had already begun to long for his joining the organization and becoming a core member of the organization. Boss, a new evolver has been discovered. The location is in the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Honta Mountain. After the long-haired man left the Red Tower Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, he took out his cell phone and reported. In addition, I also found an evolver who wants to join us, but his ability is pretty useless. He can only bleed himself and stop the bleeding at any time. I'm using him now to keep an eye on the target. Let's wait until the time is ripe to finish utilizing him before we do him all together. Very good. Discovering two evolvers at once. I'll give you first credit this time. I'll bring everyone over right away. The person on the other end of the phone was happy to hear that and said, their organization liked people, but they didn't want all the trash. Since they ignored laws and morals, what they needed was naturally the elites amongst the evolved. Okay, boss. The long-haired man nodded at his words and hung up the phone now. That idiot is being used as food and still doesn't even realize it, and is still counting money. The police officers in the eavesdropping car around the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Honta Mountain couldn't help but say after hearing the long-haired man's conversation. Although they already knew that this group of guys were a bunch of heartless people, they didn't think that they were actually vicious to this extent. Yeah, this group of guys are really heartless. They actually didn't even spare the ones who helped with the work. The others in the bugged car couldn't help but speak up as well. How else would they be dangerous? The captain leading the team sneered and said, Guys like this who casually trample on the law can't be easily spared, or else the consequences that will arise will be very serious. Ah, yes, captain. The police officers who heard this nodded their heads, and in their hearts, they resolved to catch these guys. The world was too dangerous even if they couldn't let this kind of people roam the world. Orange is not allowed to steal food tonight okay? If you're caught by sister, it'll be a spanking education. Sister Honger looked at Chung Hao who was nestled inside the cat's nest and said, Today she had fed Xiao Tangerine a lot of meat. Xiao Tangerine can't come out in the middle of the night to steal food again. Ow ow, got it. Chang Hao, who was nestled inside the cat's nest, nodded his head. He had already eaten enough today, and was not interested in stealing food. That's good. Sister Honger nodded with satisfaction as she listened, before going to bed. Seeing this, Chung Hao nestled inside the cat's nest and went to sleep. So tired of cooperating with the breeder's sister in acting today, he was almost sleepy. Z, Z, at midnight, Chang Hao was sleeping in the cat's nest, when suddenly the sound of rats in the room woke him up. What's going on? Why are there so many critters in Miss Keeper's room? I haven't even laid a hand on Miss Keeper's snacks yet. Why do you guys keep coming uninvited? It's cockroaches in the morning and rats at night. Chang Hao really convinced this group of uninvited guests ah, obviously he hasn't even laid a hand on them yet. Where is the turn of these guys? Don't they know who was covering this place? Actually coming over in the dark, he more or less had to give the other party a big earful before he could do so. So Chang Hao quietly groped his way out of the cat's nest, and then his whole tiger froze. Miss, did this used to be a pig farmer? The cockroaches in the room are so big. Why are the rats so big? A few more pounds are almost as big as him. Under the night curtain, a solid black shadow was sitting on the ground. The hairless gray tail appeared to be so obvious. 
at this moment was holding a piece of meat muffin with a grip and nibbling. Squeak, the rat that was gnawing on the meat muffin, didn't even know that it had been discovered. It had been mixing with various dormitories for many years, and had long since turned a blind eye to the people inside the room. But what it didn't even think of was that inside this dormitory, there were more than just people and a tiger. And, or a very careful tiger, you dry his rice in front of his face. Chang how can tolerate, this shall not fuck you. So, it's over. The meatloaf was eaten two seconds ago, and the mouse was gone two seconds later. When Shang Hao tiptoed close to the big fat rat, the other side is still immersed in the delicious meat muffin. Shang Hao saw up as to pounce on the throat biting the big fat rat's neck. Then it is a pouncing fling will be the big fat rat to the ground vigorously smashed. Do not give the other side to struggle for a chance. Eat the meal of laborers, right? Still eating in front of the face of the laborers, right? I can't make you die. Shang Hao cursed in his heart while his claws pressed the big fat rat to death. Squeak, squeak, was bitten by the big fat rat issued a beg for mercy sound, but bite it is not what the rat, pressure will not let go of the mouth, but the cat and cat fist set of greetings, what's wrong, orange, what are you doing, are you stealing food again, didn't sister tell you not to steal food, the sleeping sister Honor was woken up by the smashing sound of the big fat rat smashing the ground, as soon as she woke up she saw a dark shadow on the ground and hurriedly turned on the light to, when the light illuminated the whole room, red sister could not help but startled, she looked at the several pounds of rats to make sure that it is not bamboo rats or groundhogs. The whole person's silly. She did not think that her dormitory actually came in such a big rat. Fortunately Xiao Chang caught it. Otherwise, if it ran into the bed at night and bit her, it would be very bad. Little orange you use some force ah. Do not give up the strength. Later this mouse has a heavy. Sister will give you how much meat to eat. Okay? Looking at Chang how biting the mouse. Sister Honger spoke out to encourage. Fearing that Chun Hao will not make any effort, if the mouse runs away, she will not be able to sleep peacefully in the future. Hearing these words, Chang Hao's mouth is even more vigorous. This mouse has at least 5 pounds of weight, which is 5 pounds of meat, enough for him to grow a wave of fat. In Chang Hao's efforts, this big fat rat soon did not breathe, body gradually stiffened up. With a tiger claw shot a few rats to determine the other side of the end of the calf after Chang Hao this loose mouth. This big rat can be fat ah, bite his mouth of fat oil. But this rat's blood is good slightly with some warm. Let him feel warm body. Little orange is great. He can beat such a big rat. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger praised, and then took a rope and tied up the rat's neck and hung it on the doorknob, lest the rat pretend to be dead and run away later. In addition, such a big rat actually living inside the dormitory is really scary. Tomorrow, I have to take this big fat rat to meet the headmaster to discuss the matter of exterminating rats in the dormitory. Ow ow, meat. Shang Hao followed behind Sister Honger and was a bit surprised that the other party's courage was really big. Other girls saw such a big rat and became sopranos. But the other party actually wasn't afraid at all. No wonder they are in the breeder's business. The breeders are really bold and courageous. Later, okay, sister will first wipe your mouth and sterilize it with alcohol. These rats are dirty and carry a lot of bacteria. Sister Honger, who heard Chang Hao's urging, turned around and stroked Chang Hao's little head and said, then went to get alcohol cotton to wipe Chang Hao's mouth. Actually, there's no need to be so troublesome. I'm a tiger. Chen Hao who was wiping his mouth was helpless. He wasn't even afraid of living rats. Was he still afraid of dead ones? Miss Keeper can really underestimate him. Like this kind of rats that don't know how to die and dare to steal food. He can fight two of them with one tiger without taking a breath. This way it becomes a clean cerebellar axe. In the future when you catch a big rat and kill it, don't eat it no? Sister Honger touched Chen Hao's little head and admonished. Bring it over to sister to deal with. Sister will give you the same weight of meat to eat, and will also reward you with pots of milk to drink. Little Orange is still a baby now. He can't eat anything indiscriminately, especially when he's eating a rat full of bacteria. It would be bad if it got infected with any germs. So it's better to be a good boy and eat meat. Like some big rat? Wait until you grow up with a strong immune system before you eat it. Ow ow, okay. Chang Hao sniffed and nodded his head. Even if the breeder lady's sister didn't say it, there's no way he'd be interested in these fat and oily rats. These guys are full of oil when their mouths go down. They can't even see the meat. Not to mention the matter of whether it's disgusting or not. It's not healthy to eat such greasy things. Moreover, how troublesome is it to peel the skin of this rat by yourself? Or chicken legs in chicken breast is delicious. Clean and hygienic and not fat. The most important thing is that Miss Breeder also rewarded pots of milk to drink, which is more attractive than meat. Little orange is so good. What a hardworking little brain axe. Hearing Chang Hao's promise. Sister Honger praised while taking out a chicken leg from inside the refrigerator to give Chang Hao an extra meal, and also didn't forget to prepare Chang Hao a reward of pots of pots of milk. 
Seeing this, Chun Hao happily ate it. He was rewarded for his work, and ate it with peace of mind, and he couldn't wait for the next big fat rat to come over. When the time came to dispose of another one, he wouldn't worry about not being able to add to his meal for the next few days. Little orange you eat slowly. Sister is going to sleep first. Looking at Chang Hao's wolfing down, Sister Honger said with some sleepiness, and went to bed first. Chang Hao also ignored the situation. And after finishing the chicken leg and drinking the tub of milk, he contentedly laid down inside the cat's nest and went to sleep. What a comfortable midnight snack. He felt that he had grown much stronger after eating this meal. Now he would definitely be able to widen the gap with the other small brain axes. Shall we come over here for a moment? I have a good thing over here to show you. In the morning, Sun Xiaoyi had just gotten up from her bed and was about to go over to the little brain axes to feed them when Sister Honger's voice came from the door. She opened the door and saw Sister Honger standing in the doorway, and behind her, she seemed to be holding something that was smiling at her. Sister Honger you don't need to take care of Xiao Tangerine so early in the morning. Why did you come over to find me? Sun Xiaoyi asked with muttering in her heart. Of course because there are good things to tell you ah. Sister Honger said with a smile, and slowly took out a big fat mouse from behind her and shook it. How is it? You've never seen such a big fat rat. Such a big bamboo rat is seen. The rat is still the first time. Seeing the shaking rat, Sun Xiaoyi shook her head and said curiously, Sister Honger you don't sleep in the middle of the night. How do you run to catch a rat to play ah? I would like to catch them, but I have to dare to catch them as well. Sister Honger smiled as she listened and explained, This is what Xiao Tangerine caught last night. This big fat mouse was stealing meat muffins inside my room and was caught by Xiao Tangerine. Little Orange, you know, is a tiger that is particularly protective of its food. This big fat mouse was stealing meat muffins in front of him. Do you think he can spare it? That probably can't be spared. Xiao Tangerine it's fine for you to occupy his nest, but if you dare to eat his food in front of him, then he's going to fight for his life. Sun Xiaoyi listened and nodded and said, other little tigers who dared to rob Xiao Tangerine's food would have to get a fat beating. This big fat mouse ate the bear's heart and leopard's guts and dared to eat the meat muffin in front of him. It really doesn't know how to write the word death ah. Yeah, so it lies down. Sister Honger shrugged her shoulders and said, but it's not a good thing to have such a big cockroach inside our garden first, and now such a big rat. It's not good if it bites someone that day. We'll have to talk to the garden manager about getting rid of the pests. Originally, they thought that since this was the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, they should be able to have fewer snakes, insects, rats, and ants, but now it seemed to be useless. These artificially bred tigers didn't have a strong deterrent effect on snakes, insects, rats and ants. Well, Sister Honger, are you going to tell the director of the garden? Sun Xiaoyi sniffed in agreement. Such big rats have appeared. I don't know what else will appear later. We have to get rid of these four pests in advance, or else they'll all be stealing food from the little brain axes by then. That's right, I feel the same way. Sister Honger nodded with a smile and said, I'm going to find the head gardener now. Please take care of the live broadcast first ah. All right, leave it to me. Sister Honger just go without worry. Sun Xiaoyi said with a smile, and Sister Honger then carried the big fat mouse and left the dormitory with Chang Hao in her arms. Are you there, Mr. Gardener? I have something to report to you. The garden manager's office in the early morning seemed very quiet, but with the arrival of Sister Honger, the quiet atmosphere was broken. What's wrong with Red? What's the matter? The head gardener smiled and inquired. It was another beautiful day, and it was wonderful to hear the tigers barking in the morning. Yes, something big. Sister Red walked inside the office carrying the body of the fat mouse. Uh, Red, I know you have a lot of guts, but you don't catch rats for fun. The head gardener who saw this scene froze before saying, his gaze looking at Sister Honger with some emotion, as if to say again that the female children nowadays are really something. Reckless ah, uh, Mr. Head gardener, I didn't catch this mouse, it was little orange who caught it. Sister Honger explained with black lines all over her head. Is she such a girl who likes to catch rats in the head gardener's mind? Little Orange caught it? Hearing this, the head gardener couldn't help but be slightly surprised. Then Little Orange is awesome. Reward him with five pounds of pork to eat. Ow ow, good. Chang Hao, who was being hugged, expressed that he was really happy. Coming over to see the head gardener actually got five pounds of pork. Then when the time comes, is it that he will brush a wave of meat on the young lady's side? and then come back to the head gardener's side to brush another wave of meat? Aren't you going to ask little orange where she caught the rats, master gardener? Sister Honger said helplessly when she heard Chung Hao's happy voice. Oh, right right. The head gardener smiled and quickly spoke. Where did little orange make the fat mice ah? It's only been a few days since I've seen them and they've actually learned to catch mice. They're really well behaved. Caught it right inside my dormitory. The gardener. Sister Honger said helplessly. 
Eh, little red you have nothing to do inside your dormitory. What are you doing raising such a fat rat for? The head gardener heard could not help but froze and said, Xiao Hong this is not satisfied with the old age tiger has begun to raise up rats? But you do not say. This rat is really fat enough. If not he recognized it, also thought it was a bamboo rat. Sure enough, when he went to the school to recruit Xiao Hong was not wrong. Xiao Hong is indeed very pig potential. It looked like that pig farm director who fought with him for Little Red to stay in the pig farm as a veterinarian back then was not without examination. Did you really wake up from your nap today? Gardener, what are we doing raising this inside the dormitory when we have nothing to do? I am trying to inform you that if we don't clean up the four pests in our dormitory, they will soon be able to eat people. Sister Honger said helplessly. Is the head gardener suffering from Alzheimer's? She let go of the cute and cuddly little tigers and ran to raise these fat rats. I'm afraid that she has some kind of serious illness. Just kidding. Just kidding. The head gardener who heard this finally came back to his senses, holding up his presbyopic glasses and said, These rats are really lawless ah. They actually eat so fat. It looks like they must be properly cleaned up before they can do so. Little Red what do you want to do? Just say it directly. I will fully support you. I want to take advantage of the fact that there's no one inside the dormitory during the day to directly carry out an extermination. Sister Honger hugged Chung Hao and said seriously, But this requires you, the head gardener, to hire someone to do it. We have to take care of the little tigers so that they don't run around. It was now morning, and when the garden manager hired someone to come over to, to exterminate the dormitory, it would be just right to go to bed at night. Moreover, it would be easier to kill the poison during the day when people weren't inside the dormitory. Well, you have a point. The head gardener sniffed and thought for a moment. Then I'll make a call now to have someone come over to carry out the extermination. So you can take little orange back first. It was indeed a bit too outrageous for such a large rat to appear inside the tiger garden. And speaking of which, it had been a long time since they had carried out an extermination in the tiger garden. It was just right to take this opportunity to kill the poison bar completely, and force out all the four pests inside the dormitory. Okay, head gardener. Sister Honger nodded at her words, hugged Chun Hao and left the office. Seeing this, the head gardener started to look up the four rat pests phone numbers, but after searching around he realized that the phone number he had originally remembered. He didn't know where it had gone? Not by some headache rubbing his chin, is it really my age? Actually even a phone number have forgotten to transcribe where. Knock knock. Knock knock. Just at this time, the office door was knocked once again. Who is it? What's the matter? The gardener poked his head in and inquired loudly. Hello, Mr. Gardener. We are Zhangbo Biological Control Extermination Limited Company. Please ask your side need to kill rats. Cockroaches and bedbugs? Our company is now engaged in promotional activities are discounted 60% oh. Wearing a suit with a briefcase of men at the door said with a smile. Since listening to the keeper lady knew the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park appeared big rats. They realized the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park inside the creatures began to evolve. This is not a good thing. Don't look at these rats are just stealing food now. When time passes, they will definitely lay their hands on people. In order to avoid unnecessary tragedies. The organization decided to exterminate the dormitories of Hongtishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park, and disguising as a biological control company was the best way to do it. On one hand, they could eliminate the evolved creatures inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, and on the other hand, they were able to install miniature cameras in various places of the dormitories and buildings to ensure the safety of the keepers. After all, the ones who had set their eyes on the keepers were a group of vicious beasts, and when their numbers were gathered, they would probably force their way into the Red Pagoda Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. At that time, the security guards of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park could not stop them. Really? Please come in quickly. The head of the garden, who was having a headache of not being able to find a phone, immediately said happily upon hearing this. You guys came at the right time. Recently our tiger garden is being plagued by rats. That's normal. It's going to be winter soon. So the rats will be even more rampant. The man in the suit smiled and said. But you don't have to worry. Mr. Gardener, we are professionals when it comes to dealing with rats and also cockroaches and these creatures. Really? That's really great. The gardener said happily. I wonder how your company charges. When can you start working? This depends on the gardener. Whether you intend to carry out the decontamination of the entire tiger garden or just the dormitory area. If it's the entire tiger garden, the price will naturally be much more expensive. Just the dormitory area will be relatively cheaper. The man looked at the head gardener. Smiling, he said. From a professional point of view, I suggest that you, the gardener, carry out the entire tiger garden extermination. After all, if you only deal with the dormitory going, those rats will still hide in the underground sewage channels. And by the time the medicine has evaporated to nothing, they'll go back again. 
but I'm afraid the cost of a large-scale extermination like this isn't low, right? The director of the garden revealed a constrained look as he listened and said, we have more than a hundred tigers to raise in the tiger garden, although we say that there is a subsidy from the state, but the expenses of such a large tiger garden is still a big problem, can you see if you can get a little more favorable? Don't worry, I won't let you get a discount for nothing, the park director said, took out a stack of tickets from inside the drawer and pushed it to the man, this is the ticket for our Hontishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park, which is valid within half a year, inside here are a hundred tickets, whether you give them to your colleagues in the company or not, or to relatives and friends as well, all of them can come to visit our tiger park for free. This, said the man looking at the tickets in front of him with some tears and laughter, Mr. Park Director, don't worry, our company is a conscientious company, the charges won't be very expensive, plus today's big promotion, help the entire Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park elimination, only charge material and labor costs 4,000, guaranteed that the price is the lowest in our line of work. Don't believe the garden manager you go and ask around to see who charges less than us? Surely there is none. Then when can you work? Hearing this, the gardener asked anxiously, $4,000 to dispose of the entire tiger garden? That's really not a high fee. One could even say it's for charity. One must know that at $1 a square foot, their entire Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park was more than this cheap. Immediately, Mr. Gardener you tell the security guards, I'll have my colleagues come over, the man said with a smile. Okay. The head gardener listened and nodded, then dialed the number of the security guards at the entrance and told them to see the car of the four pests removal company and let it go. Little tiger don't follow me, okay? We are professionals in getting rid of the four pests. We don't have meat on us. Yeah, don't follow us, okay? The staff of the evolutionary action department, who had disguised themselves as professionals in getting rid of the four pests, looked at the follower behind them with helplessness in their eyes. Why would this little tiger keep following them? They hadn't brought any food on them either. And this little tiger was also carrying the keeper who was broadcasting live behind it. So how else could they install a miniature camera this way? Nonsense. Of course I know you did not bring food, but you clothes written on the words of the four pests. Follow you to catch mice is not easy, right? This is called the mantis catching cicadas, the yellow sparrow in the back. Chang Hao, who was listening to this, muttered in his heart that the breeder lady had said that the rats could be exchanged for meat. Then of course he would follow these people, they would drug them in the front, and he would sneak up on the big fat rats directly in the back. Isn't the meat coming in just a few clicks? What's the difference between this and going to a buffet and picking out ingredients? Little orange come over here, don't disturb other people's work you know? Sister Honger followed these crying and laughing at the back, just now a water friend proposed to release little orange to roam around inside the tiger park, so that everyone could see what was going on inside the tiger park. She thought about it and thought it made sense so she released little orange. But it didn't occur to her that after Little Orange saw the workers of the four pests, she immediately followed up and became someone else's follower. How can the workers work? With such a follower following them, they were worried about hurting Little Orange, right? Ow ow, catch the mouse. Chang Hao, who heard this, continued to follow the workers while replying back. He was chasing meat, not people. Miss Breeder didn't misunderstand. He wasn't interested in the workers. He was only interested in the rats. You little villain. The reckoning is very loud. Others are in the front to get rid of the rats. You are in the back to pick up the rats? Sister Honger couldn't help but say every time she heard this in a good mood. She really didn't think that Chow Tangerine had gotten so sophisticated to such an extent that she had actually hit the workers on the head. No wonder she was following so vigorously. Early knew not to say to Little Orange to catch a mouse to give the same meat. Ow ow, no. I catch it myself. Running Chung Hao shook his head and said, although he followed behind to pick up rats, he would still move his mouth to bite them to death. Okay? It wasn't like the breeder lady thought of waiting for rabbits. He would take the initiative ah. Really? Then my sister would like to see how you can actually catch it yourself. If you dare to sneak around and take someone else's mouse as your own, my sister won't give you any meat to eat. Hearing this, Sister Honger immediately threatened. Shao Tangerine would still catch mice herself? She would like to see how Little Orange planned to catch them? Ow ow, got it. Chang Hao returned while continuing to follow the workers with small steps. This little guy really intends to keep following. The evolvers disguised as workers were helpless. If it were normal to have such a cute little tiger following them, naturally, they would be very happy. But not now. They were on a mission. Where could they be followed by a little tiger? They are on a mission. They were planning to discuss with the keeper whether they needed to take the tiger away or not. When Sister Honger took the initiative to come up. Sister Honger took the initiative to come up and talk to them. Everyone, I'm really sorry. Little Orange is a bit active. You don't need to pay attention to him. Just let him play by himself. I won't let him disturb you all. 
I'll be watching from the side, but the gas we use to deal with rats is poisonous, I think you'd better take him farther away. Hearing this, the staff's faces instantly turned bitter. They had hoped that the other party would take this little tiger away, so how come they not only didn't leave but instead followed them like that? Yes, the tiger cub is so young. It wouldn't be good if it inhaled harmful substances that would affect its body. The female member of the team followed and said, such a cute little tiger. She did not want the other party to be poisoned ah. Therefore, it was better to honestly walk away and not follow. I'm afraid this depends on whether little orange is willing or not. Sister Honger listened to look at the four legs bouncing very quickly Chun Hao helplessly said. A few steps walked to Chun Hao in front of a ring embrace hug up Chun Hao, little orange you heard it? They are going to use a poisonous gas to exterminate rats ah. By the time you are poison stun, you can be finished. Be good and go back with your sister. Okay? Sister will give you meat. Ow ow, not good. I'm staying outside the house, not going in. Chang Hao, who was being held in his arms, replied that there was always a day when this meat would be finished, and now that winter was coming, he had to save more meat for himself to survive the winter. At that time, when there was no meat to eat, he could take it from the breeder lady. Do you roam outside the house without going in? Sister Honger listened and thought about Chang Hao's stubbornness nodded and said, Well then, let's make an agreement. Ah, you can only wander outside and not go in. If you dare to go in, sister will take you away right away. The workers exterminating the four pests were working inside. Little Orange was wandering around outside. With her watching there shouldn't be any problems. Ow ow, okay. Chang Hao sniffed and nodded, indicating that he agreed to the other party's request. Seeing this, Sister Honger was also finally relieved and said to the evolvers in overalls, I'll bring Little Orange outside won't go in and cause trouble for everyone. That's good. As long as you don't come in then there's no problem. Yes or else if we poison the little tiger at that time, we won't be able to get paid for our work. The evolvers who heard this couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. If they just wandered outside the building and didn't come in, then it wouldn't cause them any trouble at that time. They could also let loose and install things inside the dormitory building. It's not that serious. Guys don't be too nervous. Sister Honger smiled and said. Her eyes looked at her phone to find that the number of people inside the live broadcast room had grown a lot more. Everyone was very curious about little orange catching rats. Can't wait to see the little tiger catch the big fat rat. And while she was staring at the screen, the dormitory building had also arrived. Chang Hao didn't enter the dormitory as promised, but instead pricked up his ears and stared around, ready to deal with the rats that were going to run out. After all, these rats weren't just rats, but food that could make him grow strong. As long as he caught the rats and chewed them to death and placed them in front of the young lady, then this wouldn't be considered him taking credit from these staff members, right? Did you all see that? Little Orange is now observing the surroundings, ready to strike and capture the rats at any time. It looks like Little Orange has gotten serious this time in order to eat meat. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger held up her cell phone and explained to the viewers inside the live broadcast room. The viewers inside the live broadcasting room heard this and immediately discussed it with their mouths. Really? Little Orange started earning meat at such a young age? It's awesome. Yes, the first ever working tiger. Poor Tangerine. So young to have to work. Really poor. I suggest that I send me to Tangerine to eat, no matter how hard it is, no matter how hungry, 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 cannibalism is against the law. Oh, all the water friends please calm down a little. Sister Honger couldn't help but smile when she saw this. The water friends inside the live broadcast room are really interesting. Moving to make cat food for Shao Tangerine to eat. In fact, the meat that Shao Tangerine eats also has requirements. Not any meat can be. So, it was fine for them to think about it. Miss Side can be really joyful ah. These big rats also hurry out ah. Don't nest inside the nest to sleep ah. I'm so lazy now I'll get up all. Chung Hao looked around and muttered in his heart. His body gradually creeping. Ready to go out at any time. Z. Squeak. Along with the white smoke. It followed the central vent into the various passages inside and soon filled the entire dormitory building. Not long after the entire dormitory was stirring, the rats and cockroaches hiding in the various corners of the dormitory building ran out one after another. Coming, Chang Hao, who had noticed the sizzling commotion coming from inside the dormitory, couldn't help but widen his eyes and tense his body to the limit, and when he saw the big rat running out, he leapt and catapulted himself towards it to chase after it. Although this rat was much smaller than the one he had caught at night, it was still much larger than the other rats, and since he was going to catch it, he would definitely have to pick the big one. Hiding in the dormitory building inside the cool big fat rat, was smoked out after the face of the hot sun. The whole rat still knows I'm not quite adapt to the time. 
A figure pounced down, a bite in its neck. Suddenly the big fat rat struggled up, but soon he realized that his usual flexible body, in this moment actually seemed heavy. Years of experience in the life of a rat told it that it had been hit, hit by the human's poison. No matter how much it struggled there was no way for it to break free. It was unwilling it was desperate. The inside of its small eyes were filled with the desire for life. Little Orange has found the target and has gone out. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger immediately held her cell phone and chased after it up. Little Orange is really great. Actually really knows how to catch mice. Yeah, it's an eye-opener today. The audience in the live broadcast room said excitedly. And through Sister Honger's perspective, they were able to see that a yellow figure scurried out with a swoosh. When they looked at Little Orange again, Little Orange had already bitten a big rat up, and the big fat rat that was being bitten was letting out a painful sound, constantly struggling. Still moving? Where else do you want to run to? Feeling that the meat in his mouth was still restless, Chang Hao waved his claws and delivered a skull-crushing palm, directly slapping it honestly. Feeling the big fat rat's heartbeat gradually stop, Chang Hao then got up and walked towards Sister Honger, ready to redeem the originally negotiated meat. Little Orange is so powerful actually catching a rat in one go. Sister Honger couldn't help but widen her eyes when she saw this, not thinking that Chung Hao had struck so sharply and actually caught a mouse. It looked like Little Orange wasn't being lazy, he just usually didn't want to move. Sister Honger was stunned, and the audience in the live broadcast room was equally stunned. This cat catching a mouse and dog catching a mouse had all been seen, but a tiger catching a mouse was still the first time they had seen it. What a big mouse ah, Little Orange is really smart actually will still catch the mouse to find the keeper. Yes. Little Orange is great. It's better than the civet cat and the hyena to catch mice. Of course, Tiger is the king of all beasts. It's easy to catch mice. Not to mention mice. Even catching a groundhog is just a slap in the face. Groundhog, I'll really thank you guys. Ow, meat. Chun Hao came over with a big mouse in his mouth. Not coming over to listen to compliments. What he wanted to see was the meat promised by the feeder lady. After all, after becoming a tiger. Besides food. Outside of food. There was nothing more that he cared about. He was now truly a tiger who had enough to feed his whole family. The meat will be given to you. You don't have to be in such a hurry. Sister Honger heard this, holding the cell phone and said with a smile. Little Orange continued to go catch the big rats. Sister this help you remember to come. Definitely won't be missing your meat. Just continue to catch rats at ease. Ow ow, good. Hearing Sister Honger's words, Chan Hao was then relieved to continue catching rats. When he had just caught this big rat. He noticed that the other rats were walking a bit unsteadily, and it looked like they were suffering from heatstroke from the heat, so he had to rescue them and bleed them for treatment. When Sister Honger saw Chang Hao embarking on the rat-catching journey again, she held her cell phone and said while filming, Did everyone see that? Xiao Tangerine is very powerful. When she says she's going to catch rats, she really catches rats. Do you all want to come inside the zoo to see Xiao Tangerine? Click on the link below and you can buy a ticket to see Little Orange. Ha! Huh? Little Orange caught the mouse again. That's awesome. As she was talking, Sister Honger realized that another mouse had been caught, and immediately trotted to follow for a live broadcast. Squeak. The rats that had absorbed the smoke in the dormitory building became extremely slow, and just after leaving the dormitory they were still able to hop around. But after running far away, one by one they turned into limp shrimps. When they saw Chang Hao come over, they were so scared that they immediately fled. But they simply couldn't run far before they collapsed, and Chang Hao chased after them in three or two steps and his bike directly ended their lives without taking a breath. These guys are very fat ah. Uh. It looks like the dormitory inside the food is good. To raise them all fat and strong good winter. Chang Hao, who had a mouthful of rats, was very envious of these guys who were all fat and strong. To know that he is not ready to winter fat, still desperately saving, really is the beast than the beast angry beast ah. Uh. But the good thing is that these guys grow so fat or cheap, all become his and the breeder sister exchange chips. Soon he would also be able to eat well and grow a layer of fall fat to cope with the cold winter. Little Orange you're so quick with your mouth. You actually killed so many rats. Sister Honger, who was following closely, couldn't help but smile bitterly when she saw the rats all over the place. Some miscalculation. Did not think that Little Orange's ability to catch rats is so strong. This time the tiger garden will suffer. We have to give Little Orange a lot of meat. Ow ow, there are still rats. Chang Hao, who was exterminating the rats scanned the surroundings and didn't let his guard down. And when he found that there were still fish in the net, he directly threw down Sister Honger and continued to catch the big fat rats that were still running away. Compared to the praise of the young lady, it was still more important to have rats that could be exchanged for meat. Little Orange, run slowly. You've already caught a lot of big rats. There's no need to rush. Sister Honger opened her mouth and shouted, once again following Chang Hao. Little Orange, 
This glutton, when he heard that there was food, he did his job with vigor, and this didn't even need her to urge him on, so he couldn't wait to catch the rats, it looked like there was going to be an extermination of the rat family now, why is it a big cockroach, I thought it was a rat, Chang Hao, who trotted up, was a bit speechless when he saw the big cockroach fluttering its wings, but his mouth still quickly bit on it, as the saying goes, you can't let it go even if it's here, right, what if this cockroach can also be exchanged for food, what did you catch again, orange, sister Honger, who was following closely, asked as she looked at the winged contraption Chung Hao was biting in his mouth, and saw Chung Hao spit out the deflated large cockroach, big cockroach, when sister Honger saw this, she immediately held up her cell phone and laughed, have you ever seen a cockroach as big as a small bowl for dinner, if you haven't seen it, you can come to our tiger park to see it, guaranteed to make everyone's eyes wide open, definitely bigger than the cockroaches in the south, after saying that, he also stretched out his hand and compared it with the cockroach corpse, indicating that he was not lying, Miss Breeder that's because you definitely haven't seen our southern cockroaches, our southern cockroaches can ride to school, yes, Miss Breeder this cockroach of yours is too small, the cockroaches that we travel and ride on this side can be much bigger than this, that's right, that's right, I was ticketed by the traffic police this morning when I rode my beloved big cockroach out, that's right, our big cockroaches fight, you have to drive an excavator to talk them down, as sister Honger's words fell, the viewers who claimed to be riding their cockroaches to school said that this cockroach bitten to death by little orange was the younger brother, and that their cockroaches in the south could be big, riding to school for a hundred kilometers only need to consume a steamed bun, is really a necessary pet for home travel, riding a cockroach to school, lost these guys also set out, really want to see so big cockroach, I'm afraid they run faster than anyone ah, the police officer who was watching the live broadcast of the northeast tiger forest park in Hongta mountain said breathlessly, he was not groping for fish, he was collecting useful information to prevent innocent citizens from being attacked, but the viewers of the live broadcast were also too outrageous, he as a southerner found these outrageous, these guys really thought that rumor mongering wasn't a crime, they were actually talking about ghosts and monsters that were cockroaches so big that they could ride them to school, although they're talking a little bit outrageous, they're still not wrong about one thing, the commander who was idly watching the live broadcast as well said, the cockroaches in the south have grown to the size of a face basin according to recent studies, so maybe in a few years, it will really be possible to ride them to school, but whether we can tame them or not is an unknown, cockroaches are omnivores, and a light armor is more than a joke, ever since the light of evolution had appeared, all creatures had evolved, and cockroaches were naturally no exception, they became bigger and more ferocious, and the armor on their bodies also became harder, they recently found a cockroach as big as a faceplate in the south, it was a real cockroach bully, facing a person directly pounced on it that is, an electric baton didn't even manage to knock down this big cockroach in one go, it ended up being smashed with a blast shield, no mistake, you heard right is smashed stunned, not smashed to death, this big cockroach's armor is too hard, the vitality is even more terrible toughness, and this is still just a cockroach the size of a faceplate, can you imagine those cockroaches can really ride, and still need a digger to persuade the fight, to what extent would they be fierce, at that time, I'm afraid that ordinary rifles won't be able to penetrate the opponent's defense, it's better to forget about it then, the picture is too beautiful, I just can't dare to imagine it, hearing this, the girls in the command room immediately shivered, a cockroach that big, were they riding each other or not, or were they going to deliver food to each other, ha, huh? but that's the way it's going to go, whether you guys like it or not, the commander sighed, evolution wasn't something that wouldn't happen if you didn't want it to, all creatures were evolving, some were getting bigger and bigger, others were starting to transform into animals, the only good news, was that the vegetables inside the greenhouses were still honest now, and there wasn't such a strange situation, of course it's not that these vegetables are honest, it's mainly because they were harvested and sent to the table before they could evolve, otherwise, if you want to eat vegetables now, I'm afraid I still have to fight with the vegetables to do so, but with the deeper and deeper impact of the light of evolution, some people have found that the wild cabbage has been able to run away, this cabbage found that there is a danger close to the ground, it will be pulled out from the ground roots to migrate to other, just like those who follow the water to run the same tree, in short, this world is more and more strange, the human beings can do is to keep up with the footsteps of evolution, lest they be abandoned by the times, little orange can take a break, after running for so long, you must be tired, right, sister Honger looked at Chang Hao who was finally lying down and opened her mouth to laugh, ow ow, meat, Chang Hao, who was gasping for breath, opened his mouth and said, it doesn't matter if you're tired or not, it doesn't matter if he's tired or not, the main thing is how much meat has been stored in his food bank, is it enough to fatten him up, don't worry, sister have remembered will not be less your meat, 
Sister Honger couldn't help but laugh and said, Little Orange really fell into the meat eye, all spitting out her tongue, still not forgetting the meat, really is a big eater ah, ow ow, that's good. Hearing this, Shang Hao stood up again and continued to look for the big fat rats, he couldn't believe it, the entire dormitory had only this many rats, there must be even fatter rats out there, doesn't little orange want to rest a bit more? Seeing Shang Hao climb up again, Sister Honger asked out loud, this little orange's energy for jumping around and catching rats was really good enough, she was almost tired of walking along, but little orange was actually still so energetic, but the only thing that responded to her was Chang Hao's disappearing tail tip, Sister Honger could only helplessly follow her when she saw it, and while walking, she said to the audience in the live broadcast room, Little Orange went to catch rats again, everyone wait a little, I'm a little tired of walking, I can't keep up with Little Orange, everyone forgive me, Little Orange's spirit is really great, Little Orange is so diligent, a good cat that loves to catch mice, to be more precise, it should be a good tiger that loves to catch mice, its ability to catch mice is much better than a cat, yes, Little Orange is great, my family needs such a diligent Little Orange, I wonder what kind of sack Little Orange likes, criminal, I'll look at criminal, this idea is very handcuffable on first listen, it's simply too criminal, there was no response inside the live broadcast room to Sister Honger's voice, they were still hotly discussing how many steps were needed to bring a tiger home, after their careful observation and research, they found that it would only take two steps, first prepare the meat, then a cage would be enough, next the tiger would grow inside the cage, of course, this is limited to tigers less than 50 pounds, more than 50 pounds, that would be left to fate, this little tiger is really active, do you think he's evolved too? On the corridor of the third floor of the dormitory building, the girl in protective clothing, gazing down at the small head bouncing around and catching mice, asked towards the companion beside her, with so many fat rats coming out of the entire dormitory, this little tiger must have evolved as well, this is unclear, theoretically he stays with the keeper sister, the possibility of evolution is high, after all, the little tiger is only more than two months old, before two months ago it must have been with the keeper sister, needing her to get up and take care of it, hearing this, the slightly taller boy spoke up, theoretically the longer one was exposed to the light of evolution, the greater the possibility of becoming an evolutionary, and amongst them humans, there were some who hadn't become an evolutionary, and some who had become an evolutionary earlier than the others was the reason for that, because, when the light of evolution appeared two months ago, many people were sleeping inside their rooms, and the animals as well as the trees were more exposed to the light of evolution, so it was the animals as well as the trees that were producing evolution now, this breeder lady must have gotten up at night to take care of the tiger cubs when they were exposed to the light of evolution two months ago before she became an evolved person, just like him, who was originally a police officer patrolling at night, after being exposed to the light of evolution, all of his body indicators showed growth, somewhat turning into a little superhero, that's right, and have you guys noticed that this little tiger is very smart, much smarter than normal little tigers, I suspect that what he has evolved may be in terms of intelligence, the boy who was also groping the fish on the side also spoke up, he had watched the live broadcast and found that this little tiger and the keeper lady were communicating without any obstacles the whole time, as if it was like two people were talking to each other, therefore, the direction of this little tiger's evolution was definitely intellectual, don't look at the intelligence evolution as if it wasn't very powerful you know, the tiger is the king of all beasts, originally strength and agility points full, if there is a big intelligent brain, but it is very scary, very likely, its team members listened and couldn't help but nod their heads, they all felt it made sense, you guys analyzed it well, but now is not the time to analyze it go take a look at how well the rats and cockroaches are being exterminated, just at this time, the voice of the commander came from their ears, they then remembered that they were still on the phone with the top and hurriedly went to work, exterminating rats and getting rid of the four pests was very simple, as long as the configured agent was put inside the central air conditioner, these rats and such would slowly die, then they need to do is to wait slowly, and then these rats and cockroaches body collective recycling, and now they would have to go and recycle the bodies of the rats and cockroaches, lest these evolved rats pollute the environment, one pound for this rat, two pounds for this one, three pounds for this one, the team members in protective suits picked up the rats while sister Honger's voice was heard in their ears, after seeing a rat being thrown into the trash can, sister Honger visually reported the weight of the rat, beside him was Chung Hao who was keeping a close eye on it, after all, the weight of these rats was related to the weight of its food bank, so it had to be reckoned out in person, ow ow, this one is big, it should be 4 pounds, Chung Hao looked at the big fat rat that was actually underreported in weight by sister Honger, and immediately let out a sound of protest, he had worked hard to catch the rat, how could the breeder sister fool him like this, 
he had never weighed a rat, but it didn't mean that his mouth was vegetarian. How much did the rats that were bitten to death by him weigh each time? He still has a number. Not with the breeder's sister so pit him. He is doing physical labor ah. Okay, okay, four pounds is four pounds okay? Now it's a total of 164 pounds. Little orange you remember it clearly. Looking at Chang Hao jumping up and down in anxiety, Sister Honger immediately said in a soothing manner, Xiao Tangerine is too smart. Deducting pounds are not very good deductions, thanks to not taking the scale. Otherwise, 160 pounds could not be beaten. Breeder Sister, can I take the liberty of asking Little Orange will memorize so many numbers? The female team member who was picking up the mice couldn't help but ask. She knew that the other party was an evolved person who could communicate with the little tiger. But the little tiger was able to count? She felt that little tiger might not be able to remember such complicated numbers at all. Of course, the main reason was that the little tiger was too cute, and with such a close contact, she couldn't control herself a bit to want to touch it. The other little tigers aren't too sure, but little orange should be able to memorize it. Sister Honger sniffed and looked at Chang Hao who was staring at the garbage can with a serious face and said, Don't look at little tangerine sitting obediently on this side. If I report the wrong number, he'll immediately wail. Although little tangerine was a little tiger, it would be wrong for you to think that he couldn't count. After her observation, Xiao Tangerine not only could count, but also counted quite fast. So powerful? The female team member was a little surprised. Looking at Chung Hao with a curious look, Little Orange you are so powerful, can I touch you? Said, rubbing her hands with some anticipation. Growing up so big, she has not touched the little tiger. Ow ow, no. Chung Hao who heard this immediately spoke out. They don't even know each other. Still want to touch him? The door is not even there. If the other party sent him a 50 or 60 pounds of food, maybe he could still consider it. Little Orange said no. You'd better not touch him rashly or he'll bite you. Sister Honger on the side spoke up. This sister was really in a hurry. If she took some food and played with Little Orange for a while, maybe Little Orange could still reluctantly accept it. But to just directly try to touch Little Orange like this, there was no way Little Orange would agree. What then? The female team member heard some loss and asked. The little tiger was in front of her but she couldn't touch it. It was really too hard to bear. Moreover, this little tiger was still looking at her with its head tilted in a cute and adorable way, which was clearly asking her to touch him quickly. Chang Hao, I'm staring at. My mouse. Don't think too much. You'll just have to give up. There's nothing I can do. Sister Honger helplessly spread her hands and said, If you want to touch little orange, you first have to deal with him. The best way is to feed him meat. This way he will be willing to get in touch with you. But how much meat you have to eat and will still be willing to give a touch is unknown. Little Orange could get familiarized by giving meat. It could be much easier to contact than the other little tigers. But exactly how much meat should be given, she couldn't say for sure. Depends on how voracious Little Orange is and how much the other party and coaxing little tigers are capable of. Generally speaking to successfully jerk a baby tiger, it would have to come at least a couple times before she could do it. Eh, so troublesome? The female team member couldn't help but freeze when she heard this. This touching a baby tiger is so troublesome? Isn't it the case that you can touch it just by paying money inside a normal tiger park? Yes. Sister Honger nodded seriously and said, Little Orange is a tiger with only a personality, so you can't touch him if you want to. However, you can try touching the other little tigers who aren't as aggressive and aren't as big, but they aren't as cute and furry looking ah. The female team member said weakly as she listened. The little orange looked round and fluffy, and it looked like it was good to touch. Where were the other little tigers so fat and round? Then there's nothing I can do. I can't help it. Sister Honger opened her mouth as she listened. It was impossible for the other party to want to touch Xiao Tangerine again without wanting to spend time. If you give me a touch, little orange, I'll buy you some meat to eat, okay? After the female team member thought about it, she directly squatted on the ground and said to Chung Hao, since the breeder could talk to little orange, there was no reason why she couldn't. She thought that little orange was so smart that she must have understood what she said. Otherwise, what Miss Breeder said, how did Little Orange understand it? Ow ow, how much meat? Chang Hao had planned to ignore the other party, but since the other party said to give meat, then he said that it was actually still possible to negotiate. After all, it's not like you'll lose a piece of meat by touching it, and you can still earn meat. You glutton. Your attitude just now wasn't like this. Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but laugh and scold. Little Orange was reluctant just now, but now she changed her mind when she heard that others were giving meat to eat. She changed her mind very quickly. Breeder sister. What does little orange say? The female team member saw Chang Hao make a sound and asked somewhat anxiously. The other party knows what Xiao Tangerine said? She didn't know ah. And now that the live broadcast was over, the other party could have just said it. Now that it was just the two of them here, 
It wasn't like she was going to spread the word about the other party being able to understand Xiao Tangerine's words. Little Orange the big glutton, he asked how much meat you can give, Sister Honger said helplessly, feeling all a bit ashamed for Xiao Tangerine. Xiao Tangerine really did not want to lose his face for the sake of food. He had started to mark up the price. 30 pounds of meat. Little Orange do you think it's okay? The female team member who heard this held up three fingers and inquired in a consultative tone. Ow ow, no way. Shang Hao who heard this shook his head, indicating that the other party took him for what? 30 pounds of meat was just too little to buy him off. At least double it almost. 30 pounds of meat isn't enough? Then how about sister adds a little more? How about 50 pounds of meat? The female team member saw this and opened her mouth to ask. And sure enough, just as she thought, Little Orange understood. And understood quite a bit. It looked like Little Orange wasn't just an ordinary little tiger. It was also an evolved tiger Ah, Ow ow, still too little. Chun Hao continued to shake his head back. The other party had added 20 pounds of meat at once. But it was still so much less for the expectations in his heart. Still not satisfied? You're really a greedy little tiger. The female team member saw this and said in a bad mood. 60 pounds of meat is my limit. If you're willing to say yes, we'll say so. But if you're not willing to do so, we'll have to part ways. You'd better think clearly ah, after this village but there is no more this store. Ow ow, that's fine. After Chang Hao listened and thought about it, he felt that 60 pounds of meat was quite a lot. So he nodded his head and agreed to the deal. That's good behavior. A cute little tiger. Seeing Chang Hao agreeing to it, the female team member said happily. Meet later, I'll discount it to the breeder's sister in the form of cash, so hurry up and touch it for me. With that, she couldn't wait to reach out to Chung Hao, they had negotiated this price. The little tiger couldn't back out and destroy her credibility. If she let her jerk off comfortably this time, she would be coming back next time. Commander, there's no problem with letting the coyote have contact with the feeder, will this look be exposed? Looking at the images of jerking cats that appeared on the top of the screen, as well as the laughter from the bottom of his heart. The brown bear opened his mouth and inquired. Everyone was working, but the coyote was jerking off a baby tiger. This was a bit of a difference. He could already hear the rest of the crew, gnashing their teeth all over. No. Instead, she's indirectly established two things by doing this. The conductor smiled as he shook his head and said, There's absolutely no mistaking that this breeder is an evolved person. And in addition this little tiger is definitely an evolved animal. Through the chat between the keeper and the coyote as well as the reaction of the tiger cub, both proved that this man and tiger were not ordinary. As for the issue of exposure, it didn't exist at all. This keeper didn't seem to be too aware of his situation, and just thought of himself as an ordinary keeper answering the questions of a layman. After all, not everyone felt like they were the chosen one. Then is there a need to take special care of this little tiger? The brown bear listened and asked. After all, this was a tiger that had grown up in captivity. If it grew up in the future, it would surely become a good helper for them, right? This is not necessary. He is too young. Really wait for him to help? I'm afraid it'll be years later. The conductor sniffed and shook his head. This little tiger was only a few months old. What help could he be? And there were so many animals in the human feeders. If they really wanted to help, finding animals that were adults was obviously better than a small tiger. In addition, although the influence of the light of evolution is large, but it has not exceeded the scope of human control. With the heavy weapons currently in the hands of human beings, it is still more than enough to deal with these evolved creatures. There is no need for a tiger to do what? Therefore, paying special attention to a small tiger could not be necessary. That's true. Hearing this, the brown bear nodded thoughtfully. During this period of time, the department had recruited too many newcomers, causing him to have some divine nerves. No matter what he saw as an evolved person, he wanted to recruit them all. He almost forgot that this was the evolutionary department, not a zoo. Ow ow, enough. Almost. After Chang Hao was jacked up and flipped his belly, he held up his paw to block the other party's hand that continued to invade. The meat given by the other party was enough for so much time. If you still want to touch it then it's a different price. Orange hurry up and let go. I gave meat. You can't go back on your word like this. The female team member who was blocked said that she just jerked off for a while. How come this little tiger wouldn't let her continue orange? To know that she gave but 60 pounds of pork guys ah, even if it is according to $15 a pound, that is also not a lot. Little Orange said time is up. Sister Honger on the side secretly threw a few rats into the trash can after opening her mouth. What? It's just time? Hearing this, the female team member couldn't help but widen her eyes, looking at Chung Hao and saying, you're a bad cat who collected so much meat from me, and you're only letting me touch this time? I'm telling you, this is a treacherous behavior. Be honest and let go of your paw to let me continue jerking off. Otherwise I won't come over next time. 
This tiger is made of gold? Or is the tiger hair made of gold? She just touched it for such a short while and told her that time is up? This is definitely a treacherous businessman. And a super treacherous one at that. Ow ow, gotta add meat. Chang Hao, who heard this, rolled a lazy donkey and disengaged from the other party's hand and said, it was now a seller's market. So the market conditions were up to him. You bad kitty cat stand still for me. Don't wanna run away like this. I paid for the meat. The female team member shouted at the situation and chased after him. Chun Hao immediately ran when he saw this. He's a little tiger. Four legs still can't beat two legs? He was really underestimating him. Let's see how he'll sneak up on the other party today. Good chance. Sister Honger, who saw this scene, silently grabbed the rats and threw them inside the garbage can. Since little orange ran off to play. How many pounds of rats this side has next could be her call. You guys hurry up and help me catch this little villain. Obviously negotiated a good price. He let me touch it for a while and then ran away. The female team member chased Chung Hao for a while and was slipped around by Chung Hao. Seeing that her companions were coming down, she immediately greeted them to help catch this little treacherous tiger. Not good. The other side has helpers. Chung Hao heard this and immediately made a sharp turn towards the distance. The other side has many people can't fight with the other side. The 36th plan is the best plan. Aren't you picking up rats over here? Why are you still playing with the little tiger? The evolved person who was pulling the garbage heard it and looked at Chung Hao who ran away without a trace, and asked the female team member. Everyone was working, why was the other party still messing around with the little tiger? Of course it's to spy on intelligence. I have an important discovery. After the female team member looked around, she said seriously to her companion, this little tiger is definitely an evolved animal, cunning as hell, will still bargain with me? After taking my 60 pounds of pork, let me touch it for a while and run away. Don't ever let me catch him, or I'll jerk his head bald. Eh, you're just simply trying to jack the little tiger, right? Seeing the other party's gnashing teeth, the evolutionist pulling the trash can weakly said. The other party couldn't get away from jerking the little tiger in three sentences. Don't think he couldn't see that the other party was looking for an excuse. Nonsense. I paid 60 pounds of pork to pry out this information, and just touched it for less than 10 minutes. The female team member aggravated her tone and said, in order to probe the bottom of this little tiger, she paid too much, and I don't know whether the organization will give reimbursement in the end ah, after all, 60 pounds of pork is quite expensive, it's good to be able to touch it, don't count so much, those meat will be taken as sucker to the little tiger. Hearing this, the male member's head was filled with black lines, the other party was purely concerned about only touching for 10 minutes, so he pointed to the top and reminded, don't forget that we're on a mission now ah, Hurry up and finish catching the rats and hurry up and leave. Well, that's the only way. The female team member saw the situation then reacted in the execution of the mission, but still gritted his teeth and said, This bad bad tiger give me weight. The two of us will not be so finished. I, Su Lele, or the first time I fell for such a big pawn. I can't swallow this breath even if I say anything. Almost done. Get to work. The male team member said, and continued to pick up the rats. Seeing this, Su Lele also ran towards her own trash can, only to realize that the rats on the ground had been picked up at some point, and Sister Honger had also disappeared. Ow ow, my meat. On the other side, Chang Hao, who had run far away, quickly found Sister Honger after circling around again, and immediately jumped out to ask for meat. He had just earned 60 pounds of meat from that stupid girl. The breeder's sister couldn't let him keep it. It was all his. For the sake of these meats, he has endured humiliation, lying in wait for the courage of your meat is stored on sister's side, it won't be lost. Seeing Chang Hao jumping out, sister Honger couldn't help but smile and say, in addition, sister has finished counting the rats you caught, no more, no less just about 250 pounds, plus the meat you just earned, a total of 310 pounds, ow ow, 250? Hearing this not so lucky number, Chang Hao couldn't help but freeze, gazing at sister Honger with a few scrutinizing flavors, the breeder Miss Sister wouldn't think that he wasn't too smart and purposely scolded him, right? Yes, it's 250 pounds. Facing Chang Hao's crooked head kill, Sister Honger nodded and said seriously, Sister is so good to you, can she still swallow your meat? You have to know how to trust your sister no? Ow ow, okay. Hearing this, Chang Hao, although he didn't believe it at all, but there was no way the meat was in the other party's hands, he could only bow his head. That's right, that sister's obedient tiger. Sister Honger saw it and said happily, quickly go back to the dormitory with your sister. Sister will give you a bath and wipe your mouth. Ready to start dinner. Take a look. You've turned into a dirty tiger today. Ow ow, oh whoa. Oh. Chang Hao, who heard this, helplessly followed. He could be sure as well as certain that Miss Breeder definitely pitted his meat. Otherwise, 
Why was Miss Breeder so happy? It was just like New Year's Eve. Boss, it's this Breeder. If you look at her performance inside the live broadcast room, she's definitely the evolutionary without fault. Inside the dimly lit room, a Cohen pointed at the recording screen on his cell phone and said to the yellow-haired middle-aged man, you don't need to show me again, I've already seen it before I came here. There's no mistake that this woman is indeed an evolutionary. What I want to know is when did she come out from inside the tiger garden? The middle-aged man looked at a Cohen and opened his mouth to ask. All of their core members came this time, for the sake of this big meal ah, but this time, the place where the target person lives, really some let them headache. The other party actually live in the tiger garden inside. Usually, the target they are interested in. At most, they live in a high-rise building or a rental house. When did they live in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Even if they are not afraid of death, they don't dare to break into Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Park. There are so many tigers in there. It's not easy to clean them up, right? There was nothing wrong with them being evolved, but they hadn't evolved to the point of being able to fight tigers. Therefore, if the target doesn't come out voluntarily, they really wouldn't dare to go in. Currently, we have inquired about this breeder, who is going to take the cerebellar axe on a shooting trip to the Hauntishan City television station in the near future. Ah Cohen sniffed and immediately opened his mouth to report up, what he had recently inquired about. This matter is not difficult to inquire. Casually in Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park's security guard smoked down. The other party will know all the things to spit out. Yes, know the exact time? Hearing this, the middle-aged man couldn't help but say as his eyes lit up. As long as the other party left the tiger park, then there would be more opportunities for them to strike. This is not too clear at the moment, but it's definitely not too late. Ah Cohen sniffed and said with conviction, it's already November now, and it will soon be December. This little tiger is so big again, if we let it grow any longer, we probably won't be able to participate in the TV program. So I think there's still a few days at most before she definitely has to go to the TV station. Makes sense. Can't tell you're quite smart. Ha, huh? the middle-aged man nodded after hearing this. Then spoke. Then what method are you going to use to trick her over? In a place with so many surveillance cameras, it definitely wouldn't work to do it the hard way. As soon as the police took a look at the surveillance cameras, they'd be out in force right away. Therefore, the best way was to use deception. As long as the other party obediently came with them, then when the police realized that something was wrong again, they already didn't know a few days later. I've already investigated the route. There are a lot of surveillance on the road between Hauntishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park and Hauntishan TV station. It's very difficult to do this without a sound. Ah Cohen listened to the chest and said, So I'm going to let that guy who wants to add us to do it. Let him bring that breeder to the remote place. This way even if the case is found, it can't be found on our head. Didn't you say that guy's ability is pretty useless? Sure it can be done? Hearing this, the middle-aged man felt that there was something not quite reliable. That guy's ability was so weak. Could he accomplish such an important task? It's definitely not possible to ask him to fight head-on. But this, guy's old job is to touch porcelain. Ah Cohen said with a smile, especially since he can still control how much he bleeds. It would be no problem for him to pretend to have been hit by a car and use the breeder's sympathy to trick her into coming over. Of course it's still a good idea to have some medicine for him just to be on the safe side. A man covered in blood. Who would be on guard against him? As long as he was smart enough to catch the breeder relaxing, a towel would cover him up and he would still easily put the other person down? By then, he would have done away with this guy, and then the clues to this matter would be cut off, and the police would not be able to find out that they were involved even if they were very capable. That's a good plan, but in order to prevent the prey from not taking the bait, there's still a little more safeguard to be done. The middle-aged man tapped on the table and said after hearing this, the probability of relying on one person alone to succeed was too low. What if an enthusiastic crowd came along the way and took the person first? After all, there was quite a lot of traffic on this one road. So, one would also have to prepare a backhand to make sure that one could at least trick the person over. Then leave it to me. The old granny who fell down on the road is anxious to go back to see her grandson. I don't think every caring person would refuse, right? The woman with heavy makeup on the side spoke up. As an excellent evolutionary, she was able to manipulate the tightness and looseness of her skin, and dressing up as a grandmother could be said to be very simple. It was also because of this skill of hers that she was able to leave unharmed after several crimes. After all, who could have thought that a wrinkled grandmother would be the one to commit a major crime? By you? That's a good alternative. The middle-aged man nodded at his words and said, but you'll have to do it after that guy doesn't succeed, and if he does, you'll stay out of the way and try to expose as little as possible. The other party's ability could be much more practical than that useless guy. He didn't want the other party to expose his ability if he could. After all, the moment he appeared in the police's line of sight, he would arouse their suspicion. Okay, 
Boss, the woman nodded at his words and said, Well, continue to observe the movements of this breeder. Once you find out that she's leaving the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, act immediately. The middle-aged man spoke. Yes, the crowd that heard this nodded and then dispersed. Ah Cohen continued to go and squat at the entrance of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, while the others searched for a place to get their hands on a share of the food when the time came. After all, a corpse's cells were most active only when it was freshly dead. They believed that drinking the freshest flesh and blood of an evolved person would allow them to absorb the evolved substances inside. Brown bear, brown bear, I'm white wolf, the target has appeared in Huanggang Slope. The vendor riding a tricycle dressed as a garbage collector said into the headset he was wearing after his gaze swept over a compound. Behind him, on the somewhat rusty tricycle, a loudspeaker was continuously broadcasting water bottles, scrap iron, old refrigerators, color TVs, brown bear receives, white wolf continues to move forward. When the brown bear inside the command center heard this, he turned to the commander and said, the target has appeared, is the wolf pack being sent to follow up, blue wolf, red wolf, and green wolf check if it's the day to collect the electricity bill in Huanggangpo, give me a go to install miniature cameras near the target as well as bugs, black wolf, yellow wolf, coyote, silver wolf, and chai wolf get in the pickup truck and bring a mixer to build a road near the target and keep track of their personnel outings, the commander said as he looked at the map of yellow grange slope, half of the remaining wolves in the pack are responsible for providing support at all times, the other side give me various identities to penetrate inside Huanggang slope, Make sure to figure out for me if they are sending out everyone this time. It's forbidden to make a move until we figure it out. These guys have been roaming around the country for more than a month now. The number of evolvers killed at their hands is as many as two hands. We must catch them this time. Commander, will it be alright for so many of us to suddenly enter inside a small village? Someone heard this and opened his mouth to ask. Wouldn't it be a bit too noticeable for so many people to come down from a village that was right next to the city center? Don't worry, the local village chief will help you. The commander smiled and said, the corn, wheat and soybeans planted inside the village recently all need to be picked, so you guys driving a harvester over to break the corn cobs definitely won't arouse suspicion. Ha, huh? we're going to break corn? Hearing this, the members of the wolf pack's faces instantly darkened. They hated breaking corn the most, and you and they will go break corn? They had broken enough of it when they were kids. Yes, this is the mission. The commander nodded and said, I'll move in now, there's no time to explain. Roger. The team members who heard this said breathlessly, reluctantly heading to Huanggangpo, this is the smartest and most handsome little orange inside our Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, if everyone wants to touch his paw, you can spend three dollars on a small people leg on the side to feed him. Inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park in the morning, Chang Hao was brought out for business alone, and beside him was Red's second sister with a microphone. By Chang Hao's heroic performance of catching rats a few days ago, it attracted a lot of admiring tourists inside the live broadcasting room. Plus the fact that Su Lele paid 60 pounds of meat just to touch Chung Hao for 10 minutes gave the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park important inspiration. So, Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park decided to let Chung Hao earn their own meal money. After all, $3 to touch the tiger's paw paw. You can't buy can't lose by can't be fooled. There is no intermediary to earn the difference in price. If you know that in other zoos, $3 want to touch the tiger's paw paw. Simply a daydream. I think the words of the keeper lady has a problem. The little orange is beautiful is not beautiful is not clear, but is definitely the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, inside the fattest and roundest little tiger? Hearing this, a tourist spoke up. That's right, and it's also the most gluttonous of all the tigers inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Other tourists followed suit, saying that all the other tigers were so skinny, but little orange was so fat. One could see how gluttonous little orange was. I'm a glutton, but what does it have to do with you guys if I eat all by my ability? Chang Hao who was brought out for business, couldn't help but slander in his heart when he heard this, he doesn't have to go to work, he doesn't have to pay the mortgage, he doesn't have to raise a child, can't he eat a little bit more, besides, he ate hauntish in northeast tiger forest park, with these tourists have anything to do, the other side to buy tickets to come into play, he also cooperated with the amusement of them ah, by this point their trading relationship is overall, little orange is indeed very gluttonous, so does anyone want to spend three dollars to buy a people leg for little orange to eat and touch his paw? Sister Honger smiled and inquired. Little orange was indeed voracious, but it was precisely because of that voraciousness that they were able to spend the price of a people leg to touch little orange's paw. Otherwise, it was very difficult for them to even think about touching little orange. Yes yes, if I buy four people legs will I be able to touch little orange's four paws? As Sister Honger's words fell, immediately a tourist opened his mouth to ask. 
Little tigers that were a few months old were the most fun, especially with their fleshy paws, so how could one paw alone be enjoyed? Of course all four were touched together. I'll buy four peepa legs as well, but is it okay if I want to touch little orange's belly? Just touch it a little. Someone then asked, Shao Tangerine is so fat, his belly must be very nice to touch. What's the difference between a tiger's tummy and a kitten's tummy that he wants to touch? Oh oi, touching the belly is a different price. Okay, can a tiger's belly be touched casually? Hearing this, Cheng Hao couldn't help but roll his eyes. The stomach is the most fragile part, and you want to touch it with four people legs? It's a dream. A people leg can only touch the paw once, and each person is limited to one. Sister Honger sniffed and held up the microphone and said, After all, Xiao Tangerine can't eat too many chicken legs and being touched all the time will also be impatient. So, visitors who want to shake little oranges, tourists who want to shake hands will have to come quickly. If you just touch and buy whatever the tourists say, wouldn't that lose its novelty after a while? Of course it's going to be limited. This way they'll come back a second time. Alright then, the tourists who heard this, although they felt that it was outrageous to only be able to touch paws and still limit the number, but after thinking about $3, which is more than the price to buy an ice cream these days, they didn't bother very quickly pay, by people legs to touch Chung Hao's paw, Chung Hao sat on the ground like a cat, collected chicken legs to their own bowls, after shaking hands with tourists, in the beginning, it was quite smooth, after all, you paid for the chicken legs, give you to touch the paw, there is no thing, but with the arrival of the fluffy controllers, some trouble gradually appeared, my god, little orange's paws are so thick and warm, especially the meat pads are soft to the touch, the female tourist who held Chung Hao's paw let out an exclamation of surprise. This little tiger's meat pads, touching them could be bigger than a cat, bringing a completely different feel. Have you touched enough, miss? You just paid for one chicken leg. Do you still want to touch three chicken legs in time? Chang Hao, who was being held and wouldn't let go, was speechless and had to pull his claws back from inside the female tourist's hand. Time is life. There are still many people holding chicken legs to give to him. This young lady don't block everyone's way. I'll add a few more chicken legs for you, and touch the meat pads for me, okay? The female tourists who were marveling felt empty in their hands, and their hearts couldn't help but be empty, reaching out to touch Chun Hao's black claws. Ow ow, no. Chang Hao saw while backing up and issued a warning. He is not such a casual tiger. He is a tiger with principles. This beautiful girl, little orange is a bit rebellious. Please don't come hard yet. Seeing this, Sister Honger immediately spoke out to stop it. All right then. The female tourist who heard this was a bit lost, but after looking around at the waiting tourists, she still got up and left. It's my turn. It's finally my turn. He he he. After the female tourists left, the mushroom head guy wearing a mask and sunglasses let out an ecstatic laugh. This guy shouldn't be suffering from any major illness, right? Hearing this laughter Chung Hao subconsciously took two steps back. He felt that the other party could be much more dangerous than the young lady who just left off. This pervert's laughter was not a serious person once he heard it. Little kitty cat don't back off ah, I have delicious chicken legs over here, you hurry over and let me touch a pink pawpaw. The boy wearing a mask saw Chang Hao retreating, waving the chicken leg in his hand and said, the voice was already a bit perverted all because of the excitement, this handsome boy you are slightly normal ah, you may have scared little orange. Sister Honger saw this and had to open her mouth to say, the other party was wearing a mask and sunglasses, it couldn't be a pervert, right? Really? I'm really sorry, I really like tigers so I can't control myself a bit, he he he. Hearing this, the boy smiled and said, but I'm definitely a good person and won't hurt the little tiger, so you'll only hurt people, right? Hearing the other party's words, Sister Honger, couldn't help but twitch at the corner of her eye, but still said to Chung Hao, little orange come over here quickly, it's just a touch of a paw, it won't be anything, alright, I'll bear with it. Chang Hao sniffed, and although he was reluctant, he had to endure it for the sake of the food, after all, so many people were watching from behind, if it wasn't open for business, it would hurt his next income, oh, you're so cute you're so fat, you're simply the love cat of my dreams, this feel is so great, he 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 after touching the soft meat pads, the boy was instantly excited as if he had committed a crime, frightened Chung how quickly retracted his claws and backed away, although he knew that the other party wasn't normal, it was the first time he had seen such an abnormal guy, ah guang, calm down, pay attention to your image, don't talk to him about this, this guy is sick again, hurry up and rack away. Right at this moment, a few people suddenly came out from behind, and directly set the boy up and dragged him away. Let go of me, I haven't touched the little tiger enough. The boy who was being racked shouted and said, he was just a bit unable to control his happiness. It's not like he would do anything out of the ordinary. 
No, you can't control yourself when you're happy. Must, calm down before you do. That's right, you have to take care of your image. The few people who had racked the boys away said, disappearing at the end of the road to the stunned stares of the crowd. Everyone can come over here and continue to touch Orange, but all of you calm down a little bit and don't be like the one just now. Hongersan said to the tourists after she came back to her senses. What scary tourists? If it wasn't for the fact that they weren't wearing any kind of hospital gown, she even thought it was a psychopath coming. Probably won't be able to learn what he looks like. Hearing this, the tourists thought weakly in their hearts. They can all be people who want to face. They don't want to die socially ah. You guys quickly let go of me. Today is the rest time ah. The youth named Aguan was still struggling after being racked by his companions into the car. He had worked intensely for so many days and just wanted to come and touch the little tiger. Why was it so difficult? Ah Guang, calm down. If the fans see you, your image will be all gone. Yes, if the fans know that their favorite Ah Guang is a perverted catsucking maniac, it will be troublesome. The manager's assistants advised, can this big star save them some heartache? The other party's career was on the rise now, and if word got out that he was a catsucking pervert, it would be the end of him. If it gets out, it gets out. It's not illegal to suck on cats these days. Ah Guang cursed and said, still wanting to go out, but we're stopped. There's nothing wrong with saying that, but you have to pay attention to your image. The assistant blocked the car door and said, yes, we got the big beaver for you. Will you go back with us? Inside the home you can jerk off big beaver as much as you want. Don't ever run out. The agent followed suit, and without giving the other party a chance to continue, he had the driver quickly drive away. Fearing that the paparazzi would capture this scene, one people leg, two people legs, three people legs. After the tourists left at dusk, Sister Honger and Chang Hao were dividing the spoils. No, it should be said that they were counting the people legs that Chung Hao hadn't finished eating. Chung Hao squatted aside and quietly watched, lest the breeder's sister fool him. Today's people legs were all earned by him. In order to earn these people legs, he had contributed both labor and effort. There are still 63 people legs left. These people legs elder sister will keep them for you and take them out when you want to eat them. Okay, little orange. Sister Honger said to Chung Hao after putting the last people leg inside the bucket. There were so many people legs that little orange simply couldn't finish them all at once, so all of the frozen chicken legs had to be distributed to the other tigers. However, Shao Tangerine didn't have to worry about the other tigers eating some of his people legs. His people legs were all counted. Ow ow, good. Hearing this, Chung Hao silently counted in his heart, making sure that the number of people legs was correct with what the young lady said before nodding his head. Little orange is so good. Let's go back and rest. Sister Honger smiled and said, then led Chang how to prepare to return to the dormitory. Little Red Yu and Little Orange are ready to return to the dormitory? Just at this time, the head gardener's voice rang out. Yes, head gardener. Sister Honger nodded as she carried the bucket and looked at the gardener who came over. What is it that you are looking for us for? It's like this. Someone from the TV station called, asking if you can take Little Orange to the TV station now? The head gardener said with a smile his eyes sweeping over the bucket full of people legs with great satisfaction. This is just the beginning of the experiment. Actually sold out all the people legs. Looks like this kind of activity can be vigorously implemented in the future ah. Is the TV station going to film it tonight? Wouldn't it be a bit too hasty? Hearing this, Sister Honger froze and said, the TV station is planning to film the New Year's Blessing so soon? They've just finished their work. They've only just finished their work. And Orange is a bit tired right now. It's a bit fast. But Kotaru is not lightweight now. The head gardener sniffed and looked at Chung Hao, who was chubby and round, more than a circle larger than the other cerebellar axes, and said, if we wait for him to grow for another month, I'm afraid that we'll really have to stage a little tiger making a fuss in the studio by then, and if Shao Tangerine gets a little bigger, it won't look as cute. The reason why the TV station was looking at little tangerine was because little tangerine's current appearance, chubby and cute and adorable, wouldn't look so good if he grew up a bit more and entered the awkward stage. That's why there was such a rush to carry out the filming. All right then, then I'll take Little Orange to the TV station right now. Hearing this, Sister Honger spoke up, although she was a bit tired after working all day. But luckily, it was Shao Tangerine who was on the job next, not her. Well, I'll have Little Lee accompany you. You've talked so much today too. I'm sure you're tired, so it should be easier to let him drive for you. The gardener said with a smile. Forget it, I'll just take Little Orange there myself. It's not a big deal no need to be so troublesome. Sister Honger shook her head as she sniffed and said, and I'm concentrating on taking care of Little Orange now. I can't help with anything else in the garden, so I won't cause any more trouble for everyone. There weren't many people inside the tiger garden in the first place, and if Brother Lee were to drive him again, 
Then the tigers would have to start dinner late tonight. It would affect the tiger's mood for tomorrow's work. So it would be fine for her to bring little orange herself. All right then, you remember to be careful on the road. The head gardener instructed after hearing this. The tiger park was not particularly far from the city. Plus little red was an old driver. So she should be fine on the road. Well, I will pay attention. Sister Honger nodded and said. After putting down the bucket she was carrying, she carried Cheng Hao to the parking lot, and when Cheng Hao was put into the back seat, she specially blessed and said, Little Orange obediently sits well in sister's car, okay? Not allowed to make trouble. If you bite the sister's chair, then you this little bad eggs exist in the sister's side of the money to the sister to repair the car. Ow ow, got it. Cheng Hao nodded his head earnestly, and then lay down on the seat to sleep. He was really tired after acting with the tourists all day today. He just wanted to sleep now. Where was he in the mood to dismantle the car? Moreover, dismantling the keeper's car. Isn't this asking for trouble? Does he look like such a stupid tiger? Little Orange is so good. After seeing Chang Hao get into the car and honestly close his eyes to sleep, Sister Honger was very satisfied and got into the main driver's seat to drive. In a short while the car started and left the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Older brother whose car is that? Ah, Cohen, who was smoking with the security guards at the entrance of the tiger park immediately opened his mouth to ask after seeing it. He just seemed to have seen the keeper go out, but wasn't too sure. You said that car? That car is Miss Honger's car. The guard took a drag on his cigarette before speaking out. Really? Then if she ran out so late, was she planning to go home? Ah, Cohen immediately perked up his ears when he heard that. It shouldn't be. It's not time for vacation yet. Maybe there's something going out. The security guard thought about it and said. So that's how it is? A cun nodded at that. Already guessing what it was about? Then he made an excuse to inform his partners of the news that the target had gone out. Miss Breeder has left the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Team 1 and 2 follow. When the team members in the eavesdropping vehicle near the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park saw this, they immediately said into the walkie-talkie. A vehicle soon followed Sister Honger's little red car. Commander, the keeper has left the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. The target squatting at the entrance of the Tiger Park also called with the gang. Inside the base, the brown bear reported with the commander. Very well, inform the wolves to load their guns and prepare to surround the target. The commander sniffed excitedly. This time, the breeder has left the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. I don't believe that this group of guys can still hold their ground. When fighting, these guys might be absent, but when dividing the spoils, these guys will definitely all be there. Just grab this opportunity to wipe out these guys. After waiting for so long, it was finally the time to close the net. It was really great. Yes. When the members on Huanggang Slope heard that it was finally time to act, they were almost so happy that they even had tears in their eyes. They were having a really miserable time over here ah. Every day they had to peel corn and sunbathe in rice. People over here were getting tan all the time. The target came out and is now heading to the city. Everyone get ready. Ready to start. The middle-aged man in the other place also said happily after hearing the news from Akuan. Yes, boss. When the people inside the room heard this, their eyes couldn't help but flash with scarlet light like a wild beast in the dark night. Happy New Year's Day, everyone. Little Orange it's really been a long time. You've grown so much stronger again ah. Downstairs at the Red Tower Mountain City TV station, the editor looked at Sister Honger hugging Chung Hao over and immediately said with a smile and greeting. But all that responded to her was Chung Hao grunting. What's wrong with Little Orange? The editor froze at the sight and asked. How come the little tiger was still sleeping? And still the kind that she couldn't even wake up by shouting. Little Orange was a little tired after a full day of business today, so she fell asleep on the way here. Sister Honger, who was holding Chung Hao, said with a bitter smile, she tried to shout Little Orange up, but it unsurprisingly failed. The sleepy Little Orange wasn't willing to get up. Really? Then he's really miserable. The editor smiled and said, take Little Orange to rest up there first. The program recording will be a while. Okay. Sister Honger nodded as she listened, then followed the editor into the TV station's working building. So this is the little tiger that's ready to be filmed? He looks really chubby and round. Yeah, at a glance it's a little well-behaved tiger. After Sister Honger carried Chung Hao into the TV station, the TV station staff immediately surrounded them, and some of the bold ones went straight for it. They had heard that a chubby little tiger was coming to shoot New Year's blessings tonight, but they hadn't expected that the one coming was actually so fat and cute. This round and furry look simply grew on their hearts. One hand from the east and one hand from the west. Soon Chang Hao's body was piled up with hands that were touching it indiscriminately. Everyone, don't gather around. Go do your own thing. Seeing this scene, the editor hurriedly came up and separated the crowd. Little Orange did a day's work inside the zoo today. He's very tired now. Let him take a good rest. Otherwise, 
the shooting won't be finished later. All right then. The staff members who had gathered around heard this. Although their hearts were reluctant, they still left honestly. After all, if the recording of the program didn't go well, the director and the station manager would be furious. I'm really sorry. Everyone hasn't been this close to the little tiger. So they're a bit excited. Miss Honger don't mind ah. In fact, everyone doesn't have any bad intentions. After seeing everyone disperse, the editor said with a smile. It's fine. I understand this kind of thing. I've encountered a lot of them inside the tiger park as well. Sister Honger smiled back at her words, not really thinking that this kind of scene was anything. While working, there were also very many tourists who would come close. Most of them didn't have any malicious intent. They were mainly just attracted by the tiger cubs. That's good. The editor couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief as he sniffed, then looked at the time and said, Has Miss Honger eaten yet? It should be mealtime now, right? If you haven't eaten, you can eat with us. Really? Then I'm sorry to disturb you ah, because I was in a bit of a hurry to bring little orange over, so I really haven't eaten. Hearing this, Sister Honger originally wanted to say that she wasn't hungry, but after smelling the aroma of the meal, her stomach still got a little upset. It was strange to say that lately, she did feel more easily hungry. What's there to disturb? Speaking of which, we're still troubling you, Miss Honger, the editor said with a smile, and went to get the boxed lunch for Miss Honger. It smells so good. What kind of delicious food is this? Chang Hao, in a daze, smelled the aroma of the meal and the whole tiger squirmed uncontrollably. Little orange you bad guy when you eat, but you have a good nose? After discovering the restless squirming cat bug in her arms, wanting to break free from the rear embrace, Sister Honger said in no good humor. Her hands hugged Chang Hao tightly. Less Chang Hao smelled the aroma of the meal and directly flew out with a catapult start. After Chang Hao, who was bound, couldn't break free, he finally came to his senses from his dazed state. Ow ow, meat. After Chang Hao came to his senses, he sniffed the air and smelled the aroma of food, and his round belly cried out. Fortunately sister has prepared, otherwise you this little bad guy will wait to starve. Hearing this familiar voice, sister Honger said in a good-natured manner, holding Chang Hao, she sat on a chair, took out the chicken leg in a box from inside her backpack, and handed it to Chang Hao's mouth. Be good and eat. My sister knew that during the shooting, this big glutton of yours would be hungry. Ow ow. Facing the chicken leg handed to his mouth. Chang Hao opened his mouth and gnawed on it. If it wasn't for the fact that Miss Keeper wasn't willing to give him food, he actually wanted to eat. Speaking of which, after he turned into a tiger, he hadn't eaten a meal for quite a while, and had almost forgotten what a meal tasted like? He's almost forgotten what food tastes like. This being a tiger had its benefits, but being a human had its benefits as well. Ah, ha, Orange woke up? The editor who came over with the box lunch saw Chang Hao who was gnawing on a chicken leg and said with some surprise, Yes, this little villain was craved awake by the aroma of the meal, Sister Honger said as she stroked Chang Hao's head, reaching out to take the boxed lunch handed over by the editor. This way, then why don't you eat, Miss Honger, and I'll help you bring little orange, the editor said with a smile, her gaze fixed on Chang Hao, who was holding a chicken leg, revealing a look of interest. Speaking of which, she hadn't touched Xiao Tangerine until now after she went with her boss to the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Hantishan to determine Xiao Tangerine. This has to depend on whether Xiao Tangerine is willing or not. He's stubborn and doesn't like to be approached by strangers. Sister Honger sniffed and looked at Chang Hao who was lying on a chair and chewing on a chicken leg and said, Then it shouldn't matter if I try, right? If he resists, I'll just not touch him. The editor said with a smile. She saw that just now Xiao Tangerine was so good being touched without reacting. Now as long as she doesn't grab Xiao Tangerine's food, it should be fine, right? Eh, I suggest you'd better wait until Xiao Tangerine finishes eating the chicken leg before you try it. Little tigers have serious food guarding behaviors when it comes to eating meat. Sister Honger reminded with her boxed lunch. Even if Little Orange had a good temper, it was when he wasn't eating. If you moved him while he was eating, he would slap you with his cat fist. And even though it was said that Little Orange didn't extend his claws, it didn't mean that his claws didn't hurt when he slapped someone. Like this? I'll wait a little then. The editor sniffed and hastily withdrew the hand he had just extended. Back, staring at Chung Hao, who had easily crushed the chicken bone and swallowed it, she couldn't help but be a little surprised that such a small tiger's teeth were actually so sharp, and indeed the name of the king of beasts wasn't for nothing. Thanks to her, she didn't take the risk of reaching out and touching it, or else she would have been bitten by it. I'm afraid that a row of holes would have to appear on her hand. Ka chow, ka chow, a chicken leg didn't have a couple of tails of meat. A few bites were eaten cleanly by Chang Hao. Chang Hao, who had finished eating, couldn't help but stare at the rice served by Sister Honger, his eyes filled with the color of leaping. You little villain, your appetite is getting bigger and bigger. 
eating a people leg actually so fast? Seeing this, Sister Honger once again took a chicken leg from the box and handed it to Chung Hao's mouth. Little bad egg eat this. Don't stare at sister's rice. What sister eats? You little bad egg can't eat it. When you eat diarrhea, is to be injected. Said. Also reached out and slapped on Chang Hao's butt to intimidate. Don't scare me. A tiger's stomach isn't that fragile. Chang Hao, who was gnawing on a chicken leg, belabored that the breeder's miss sister's ability to scare the little tiger was a masterpiece. Miss Hongra you take the meat from inside the little orange's mouth. He won't guard his food? The editor asked curiously as she saw that nothing at all happened after Sister Honger handed Little Orange a chicken leg. He will definitely protect the food. Only to say that he won't bite me is it? Sister Honger listened and explained. And don't look at him now he's not much. Want to snatch the meat from inside his mouth? It's impossible without tools. She still remembered the time when Xiao Tangerine stole food. She had gone through a lot of effort but couldn't snatch the chicken leg from inside Xiao Tangerine. So she could see how hard it was to snatch the food from inside Xiao Tangerine's mouth. Little Orange is so small. And her mouth is so tight? The editor was shocked to hear that such a small tiger actually had to use tools to snatch me from inside its mouth? That's really tight enough. Yes, that's why it can grow so fat. Sister Honger said with a smile, touching Chang Hao's round head. After you finish this chicken leg, you're not allowed to eat it ah. Uh. Sit obediently on this side. Don't sleep. It's almost time for shooting. After the shooting is over. Sister will take you back to drink pots of milk. Okay? Ow ow, good. Chang Hao, who licked the meat foam on his paw, nodded his head and sat quietly on the chair. Little Orange is responding to you? Miss Honger. The editor watching from the side saw the scene and couldn't help but ask curiously. After Miss Honger San finished speaking, Little Orange actually answered, looking as if she was actually having a conversation. Yes, Orange replied back to me that he knows. Sister Honger smiled and nodded back. Really? That sounds so amazing. Miss Honger you actually understood what Orange was saying? It's just like the legendary druid again. The editor sniffed in amazement. It was said that after a long time in a line of work, one would naturally become familiar with it. But it didn't occur to me that the other party was actually able to understand the language of the tigers. It was just like the druids in the western legends. Being able to communicate with the animals. No. No la. Sister Honger, who heard this, sniffed and hurriedly explained. I can't say I understand it. After all. I've been in this business for quite a long time, so I can still understand a little bit about the roars of the little tigers. Although it was true that she could understand what the little one was saying, she definitely couldn't tell the outside world that she had this kind of ability ah. Otherwise, it might be time to be captured and studied. But this is also very impressive ah, it's equivalent to knowing one more foreign language. The editor listened, and although he felt that the other party wasn't a druid, it was still impressive to be able to understand tiger talk. You can say that too. Sister Honger smiled and nodded, looking around at the staff who were busy and pulling away from the conversation. Is this the filming that's going to start soon? I see that everyone seems to be busy. This time is almost time for filming. But you don't have to worry. M.S. Honger, I can help you carry Xiao Tangerine in. Just eat in peace. The editor looked at the time and said with a smile. His eyes couldn't help but look at Chung Hao, revealing a look of eagerness. People get sleepy when they're full. The little tiger is probably about the same when it's full. Maybe if she holds Tiny Tangerine now, Tiny Tangerine won't resist. I think you might not be able to control him. He's not the kind of little tiger that looks obedient. Sister Honger reminded as she listened. Little Orange looked well behaved, but it was only on the surface. If the other party actually hugged Little Orange, then they would know how disobedient Little Orange was. No way. It's clear that he looks obedient. The editor listened and opened her mouth, reaching out to go over and hug Chan Hao. But before her hand could touch it, a dark shadow jumped off the chair and landed on the ground staring at her. Little Orange obediently go with your sister to film the program no? Your breeder's sister is eating right now. You can't disobey ah. After the blow landed, the editor looked at Chung Hao and said seriously. Then he reached out his hand and prepared to come a second time. And without any surprises, Chung Hao easily dodged it again. Sorry, I can disobey. Chang Hao, who had dodged it, muttered in his heart, not intending to just succumb to the other party's clutches. He was a tiger. Not some kitten. If just anyone wanted to hug him, wouldn't he want to lose face? Little Orange you have to be good and obedient yo. Do not play a little temper no? Otherwise sister can be serious. The editor who didn't hug again indicated that Chang Hao had aroused her competitive. Heart. Ow ow, come on. Come on. Chang Hao disdainfully looked at this unselfconscious human in front of him. Just because the other party's agility level also want to catch him? Don't be a fool. Okay? Miss Honger. What is Little Orange saying? Is he preparing to admit defeat? The editor sniffed and inquired towards Sister Honger at the side. 
Just by looking at his majestic appearance, I understand that he definitely can't be admitting defeat. Ah, Sister Honger, who was asked, smiled and said, It looks like he's ready to accept your challenge. Is that so? Then he's going to be out of luck. If I get serious, there's no kitty that can't be caught. The editor sniffed and rolled up his sleeves to hold up his glasses and said, looking at Chung Hao and flinging his hands out in a vicious tiger pouncing action. Seeing this, Chung Hao couldn't help but be on guard, ready to walk away to avoid the other party's outstretched claws. Little Lee what are you doing? The director who had come out from the studio saw the scene and couldn't help but faintly freeze. I'm grabbing this disobedient little tiger to the studio right now. Head. The editor stared back while staring at Chung Hao. You wait for me a little bit for a few minutes. I'll be able to catch him in no time. Forget it. You don't want to get yourself involved. It's better to let M.S. Honger bring him in. The director who heard this was a bit sweaty. The program will be recorded soon. Don't try to be brave. Just literally small arms and legs still want to catch a small tiger? Don't get yourself involved in the program. Don't look at the small size of the tiger. Bite up people or very painful. Professional things or let the professionals better. All right. I'll spare you this bad bad tiger today. When I have time later, I'll spar with you again. Hearing this, the editor expressed his exasperation. But after all, it was during working hours, so he still had to listen to the top before doing so. Then you'll still lose all the way. Woman. Chung Hao sniffed and muttered carelessly in his heart. The other party doesn't even know what kind of enemy they are facing, and he dared to speak so generously like this? It was really too underestimating him. Giving the other party a day's worth of effort he wouldn't be able to touch a single tiger hair of his. What do you need me to do? Director? Just as Chang Hao looked at the editor with contempt in his eyes, he suddenly realized that he had actually been arrested by Sister Honger. Sure enough, in terms of this aspect of Go, he was no match for Sister Honger no matter what. You don't have to do anything. Just let Chao Tangerine obediently sit on the table and listen to the host of the news broadcast finish his words. The director opened his mouth to hear this, then looked at Chang Hao, who was a little less peaceful, and inquired towards Sister Honger, this should be doable, right, Miss Honger? It can be. Miss Honger nodded at her words and turned Chang Hao around to face herself, saying, You have to be obedient. Okay? Don't mess around on the table. The shooting will be over soon. After the filming is done, sister will take you home to drink pots and pans of milk. Okay? Ow ow. Good. Chang Hao sniffed and nodded his head, stating that as long as there was pon pon milk to drink, this matter wasn't impossible to agree to. That's a good boy. Seeing this, sister Honger smiled and said to the director, there's no more problems. Little Orange will be obedient. Good. Good. Little Lee you take Miss Honor and Little Orange to the studio. The director sniffed and then came back to his senses. Just now if he wasn't mistaken. Shao Tangerine seemed to nod her head. Right? Although he knew that tigers had a high IQ. But such a small tiger could understand what the keepers were saying? It was indeed a bit outrageous. But this was a good thing for him. At least it would ensure that the shooting went smoothly. After all. A disobedient little tiger was a disaster inside the studio. Got it. Head. The editor replied back and led Sister Honger into the studio. Inside the Hauntishan studio, the news hosts who had already prepared their scripts couldn't help but see Chang Hao's eyes light up when they looked at Chang Hao who came in. This is the little tiger that came to shoot? It's really round and furry looking. Yeah, it's really cute. There's nothing wrong with cute. But Sister Wen and Brother Chen, you guys shouldn't be fooled by his appearance. The editor sniffed and opened her mouth to warn. This little villain of his can be mischievous. He belongs to the type that can't even be caught. And when he is touched, he will directly eject and start. As an editor she felt she needed to remind them. Don't say that later on when Sister Wen is talking and reaching out to touch. Little Orange will directly run away ah. Then how can the program still be recorded ah? Ah? Uh, so exaggerated? The hostess who had been planning to reach out and touch it immediately stopped when she heard this. The hand that had just been ready to reach out. A little tiger that could directly eject and start. How would she dare to touch it? The male host on the side also subconsciously kept a distance from Chang Hao. Lest Chang Hao directly start performing the catapult start. Pretty much. But as long as the two of you don't touch him, he'll stay honestly on the table. Sister Honger, who placed Chang Hao on the table, smiled and said, If you need Little Orange to cooperate, you guys can just say it to him. Little Orange understands. He understands the words? Then what kind of actions does it all do? The hostess couldn't help but hear her eyes light up. Since he understands words, then isn't it possible that this little tiger will also perform some skills? The general handshake sitting up and spinning in circles is no problem. But he will only match each action once that is. Unless you are willing to give him meat to eat, he will continue to match. Sister Honger said and stretched out her hand. Chang Hao then stretched out his paw to match. That means no work if there's no meat, right? The male host smiled and said, yes. 
You could say that. Sister Honger nodded back. I see then. Thank you for telling us this ah. The hostess laughed. Already a little impatient to record the program. You're welcome. This is all what I should do. Then Xiao Tangerine will trouble the two of you to help take care of ah. I'll go out first. Sister Honger said. And walked towards the door. Okay. Please take care. The male host laughed. And then gazed towards the camera. Ready to start filming. Good New Year everyone. In the New Year. The Red Tower Mountain City Television Station, with all of its staff, wishes you all a Happy New Year. I wish everyone a Happy New Year and all the best. Good health and happiness for all families, and a better and better and more prosperous New Year. Inside the studio, the host said to the camera, and then the camera turned to Chang Hao, who was sitting down, and as the camera drew closer, Chang Hao's appearance gradually zoomed in on the camera. Only that Chang Hao was a bit sleepy at this time because of the meal. The whole tiger was a bit sleepy and looked as motionless as a statue. Move, don't stay still. The director saw it from the side, and immediately shouted in a hurry. Xiao Orange don't just sit still ah. How bad is the effect of this shooting? Xiao Tangerine should show a slightly more lively side of herself. There is no such thing as a little tiger that doesn't move when it comes to New Year's Eve. There's no vigor in this way. Little Orange move a little, okay? After hearing the director's shout, the hostess whispered, ow ow, really troublesome. Chang Hao, who heard this? snapped back from his somewhat sleepy state and turned his head impatiently. This look isn't good enough. You have to move you know? After seeing Chang Hao move his head, the director couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief, and then continued to shout. What's the use of just moving your head? The body also has to follow and move to take two steps. Where is the little tiger so lazy? Alright, what a pain in the ass. Hearing the director's shout, this time without the host's reminder, Chang Hao slowly stood up from the table and waved in front of the two hosts with small broken steps. Say your lines quickly. After seeing this, the director nodded in satisfaction and shouted towards the hosts. The two hosts who heard this, then began to speak according to the contents of the script. Today, we have a special little guest in the studio, here to pay his respects to everyone. Facing the camera, the male host said with a smile. The female host on the side immediately took over the words and said with her hands in a cupped position. Dang dang dang, he is the small orange of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. As a cute little tiger. Small Orange wish everyone in the new year inside the family happy fortune again and again. Ow ow. Hearing this, Chang Hao cooperated and called out. Although the voice was not big, but because close to the microphone was very loud in the studio. Good. Good. This is the effect we want. The tiger's roar to welcome the new year. The director saw this and nodded with satisfaction. This tiger whistle at this time can really be called a masterpiece. Simply too perfect. Everyone has heard it. Little Orange is wishing everyone a happy new year. The female host was the closest, and looking at Chung Hao's adorable appearance as he tilted his head, she couldn't help but smile and say, Yes, little orange is so polite. Let's see what news is happening at home and abroad. Shall we? The male host followed and the director saw out. Very well let's stop here. Kotaru and all of you are perfect. As a new year blessing it's enough. Okay, director. Hearing this, the two anchors smiled and said, Is it done? Then I can slip away first ah. Hearing, Chang Hao who heard this, he scattered and jumped off the table. Ah, be careful, little orange. The hostess was startled at the sight and quickly shouted. But the only thing that responded to him was Chung Hao's little tail. Who are you looking down on because of this height? Isn't it still a random jump? Hearing this, Chang Hao disdainfully ran towards the door? This little guy is really strong. Yes, it's true that the king of a hundred beasts is the king of a hundred beasts. Even at such a young age, he can't be underestimated. The studio staff couldn't help but smile when they saw it. Did the little orange you behave yourself inside? You didn't give everyone any trouble, right? Seeing Chang Hao was scurried outside once the studio door was opened, Sister Honger asked as she picked him up. Ow ow, no. Being hugged Chang Hao said back, opening his mouth and yawning. He only wanted to go back to sleep quickly now. As for other things, it didn't matter anymore. It had nothing to do with him anyway. Little orange just performed very well. M.S. Honger you don't have to worry. The director who came out heard this and said with a smile. Xiao Tangerine is very kind to face the camera without being timid. It's a good material born to be an actor. Do you want me to introduce you to some directors? I've heard that some directors are planning to make a tiger documentary recently. And with Xiao Tangerine being so photogenic, I think they should be very satisfied. A tiger documentary? Sister Honger sniffed and touched Chung Hao's little head enchanted. This sounds very good. It can help the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park to raise its popularity. And it can also make Xiao Tangerine known as a star tiger. In this way, the head of the small orange food garden will certainly be allocated a lot. After all, it was already a well-known star tiger, so it couldn't eat too poorly. 
Yes, and it's a Northeast Tiger documentary. The director nodded his head and said, I'll speak to the garden manager at that time. You and Little Orange are responsible for waiting for my good news. Okay, thank you director. Sister Honger said gratefully as she sniffed. You're welcome, it's just a small token. The director smiled and waved his hand and said, The shooting is over. You can take Little Orange back to the Red Tower Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. I just saw him looking sleepy. He does doze off when he's full. Sister Honger hugged Chung Hao and laughed. Then I'll take Little Orange back first ah, director. Well, go go go. The director laughed. And Sister Honger hugged Chung Hao towards the entrance of the TV building. After the editor saw it, he immediately chased after Chung Hao and touched his buttocks while Chung Hao was off guard. You little bad tiger got caught by me in the end, didn't you? I told you that you can't get away. After quickly withdrawing her hand, the editor said triumphantly. Not only did she catch this little bad guy, but she also touched his butt. Who said that a tiger's butt can't be touched? Didn't she just touch it? Ow ow, you sneak attack. Chang Hao, who was lying in Sister Honger's embrace and squinting his eyes, couldn't help but curse when he heard this. He had never seen such a despicable and shameless guy, actually taking advantage of his unpreparedness to steal and trick him a little tiger. All right, all right, we should go back to the tiger garden. Be good little orange, or else sister will let you walk back by yourself ah. Finding Chung Hao standing up in her arms, Sister Honger quickly spoke out to comfort him. Little Orange's weight of more than 20 pounds was no joke. If she didn't move, she could still hold it with her two hands. But if she struggled, she really couldn't do anything about Little Orange. That is, outside. She was afraid of Small Orange hurt talent hold. Otherwise placed in the Red Tower Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park inside. She is to let the Small Orange own walk. Damnable woman, I remember you. Hearing this. Chang Hao could only lie back in Sister Honger's embrace. There was no way that Sister Honger would let him. Right now, give the other party a catfight. Other than lying down, what else could he do? Miss Honger, take care. After seeing Chang Hao unwillingly lay down again, the editor smiled smugly. Happily, he waved his fists, incidentally recalling the feeling of touching a tiger's butt. Well, see you later. Sister Honger smiled back as she listened, and then hugged Chang Hao as she walked towards the car leaving the building towards the car. Boss, the target has already left the TV station building and is now walking towards the car. Ah Cohen who was guarding the entrance of the TV station building immediately reported. Very well, notify that guy to get ready. Once the target's car is found to appear immediately implement the plan. The middle-aged man who heard the report said. And the skinny man who was guarding the downtown area of Hauntishan heading to the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Hauntishan got ready. Commander, the breeder is getting into the car. The target is making a phone call. Should we capture the target first? Not far from Akuan. The police officers disguised as passersby had unknowingly surrounded all the other parties' retreats. Wait for the breeders to leave before taking action. The commander within the base who heard this spoke. If we do it now, it would be easy for the target to call out. They would have to wait a while to make sure the target wouldn't contact the criminal gang again before striking. Okay, commander. Hearing this, the disguised police officer returned, and then gazed at the red sedan exiting the parking lot. Done. You can go back and prepare for the opening. Seeing this scene, Kuwen was happy. His surveillance mission was over, and now he could go back and wait for that breeder to be tricked into going back. Hopefully, he would be able to share a lot of meat this time. After all, he was the one who found the target this time. Just when he was thinking so, suddenly came a person who bumped into him. Was bumped a Kuwen just wanted to be angry. But the next body came from the sharp pain and also tingling sensation. Directly let him turn into a curled up prawn. Only see in the hands of the person hit a kun, holding a ZZ sounding electric rod. This electric rod is very long, was hidden in the sleeve inside the other side. But the strange thing is that this current in the electric a kun, holding the electric rod of the man but did not have the slightest reaction, as if the blue current was just jumping like a light, and could not bring any harm to him. You, a Cohen whose voice trembled from being electrocuted. Seeing this scene, a huge sense of crisis couldn't help but bubble up in his heart, although he could no longer speak. He could be certain that the other party was definitely not an ordinary person, but an evolved person like him. This was the only way to explain why the other party had no reaction at all despite holding the electric rod that was generating electricity. Don't let go. Keep electrocuting him. Don't give him a chance to struggle. This guy's long hair is not for show. The surrounding police officers immediately gathered around upon seeing this, and directly began the work of Mr. Tony, using carbon fiber scissors to cut Akuan's hair. According to the information they got, this long-haired guy in front of them can control his hair at will, although it is said that the ability is not particularly strong, but if you are hit or stabbed by this thick hair of his, it was also something that would be injured in a not-so-small way. 
Is it a crime for a man to have long hair these days? How come they just cut it on the side of the road? Yes. What a tragedy. Unknown passersby couldn't help but TSK and TSK after passing by. It was the first time they had seen someone being pressed to the ground to get a haircut. Everyone stay away. This person just escaped from the mental hospital. And now we're about to take him back. Seeing the crowd of onlookers, the police officers immediately flashed out their credentials, lest they be photographed and put on the hot seat later. Since he escaped from the mental hospital, why did you cut his hair? Yeah, what's the point of doing this? Looking at the documents that the police officers took out, the onlookers asked curiously. Even if this mental illness escaped from the mental hospital, then there is no need to cut his hair, right? Because this guy likes to hit people with his hair. After cutting his hair, he has no way to hurt people. The police officer who heard this continued to make things up. Plus if he runs out again, being bald always makes everyone subconsciously stay away from him. And it also serves as a protection for everyone. So that's how it is. Then we understand. The passersby nodded once they heard this reasoning. You don't say this bald guy's words, they would really subconsciously stay away from each other. After all, only fresh out of that kind of, of guys who were bald. Well, everyone, if there's nothing else, please disperse quickly. We're going to escort it back to the mental hospital. Seeing that the passersby believed this reason, the police officer couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Okay, okay. The passersby nodded their heads and left one after another. What's there to see in a mental illness? It was better to go back to eat early. It's finally done. Being watched by these people is really stressful. After seeing the passersby leave, the police officers exhaled in unison. They could neither expose the existence of the evolved person. At the same time, they couldn't reveal what they had caught this guy doing, lest they cause social unrest. It was really hard for them, but it was good that this mission had finally been successfully completed. Police, after a Cohen, who had been caught up, recovered slightly from his electrified state. He couldn't help but be filled with horror. Although he had no hair now, he knew that his situation would be even more miserable than having no hair. Since these guys had already arrested him, what they had done must have been exposed. Thinking about what he had done, Cohen felt that he was probably finished for the rest of his life, or maybe there was no rest of his life. A crime as heinous as cannibalism of the same kind, no matter what country it was put in, it would definitely require the death penalty, right? Yes, that's us. The police officers who had tied our Cohen up spoke. The thing you have committed has been issued. Honestly go back with us to accept the sanctions of justice. Ah, hearing this, Ah Cohen's face could not help but turn pale. His body lost the strength to act, although it had long been expected, but hearing the other side say it with his own ears, he still felt very desperate. All right, escort him away. Don't bullshit with him. We have to deal with the rest of the guys next. The captain looked at the paralyzed Ah Cohen and said to the other team members. The crowd then escorted Ah Cohen away. On the other side, Sister Honger drove her beloved little red car gradually left the city and appeared on a suburban road. The skinny man who was wandering around was staring at the road while calculating how fast he should rush out. Don't think that bumping into a porcelain is a simple task. You have to know that there are a lot of people who die in bumping into a porcelain every year. And this time the target is still a female driver. If he doesn't count it well, it is very likely that he will be bumped off directly. Therefore, once the target appeared, he had to react quickly with his superior skills to make himself look very miserable without actually getting hurt at the same time. What's the situation on your side? Did that idiot intercept the target? At a distance from the skinny man, an inquiring voice came from inside the cell phone held by a wrinkled old woman. The target hasn't appeared yet, but it looks like that idiot is ready. Looking down at the bam man, the old woman spoke. That's fine. If he fails, you make it up immediately. The middle-aged man on the other end of the phone listened and spoke. Okay, head. The old woman sniffed and nodded back, her gaze continuing to watch the road. Soon a red sedan came into her sight. Line of sight. And even faster than her line of sight was the skinny man who had dashed off. This guy is quite desperate ah. Seeing this scene, the old woman could not help but twitch the corners of her mouth. The red car was not fast, but it was not slow either. This guy actually directly rushed out. Have to say that although the ability is weak, but this don't want to die style, still let her quite admire. Now is the time to test the acting skills. I won't lose to anyone when it comes to the ability to eat. The running, skinny man thought in desperation, and lay down directly when the little red car was still 10 meters away. This position was the best position he had calculated. Just enough for the other party to break without hitting himself. He just wanted the other party to stop the car. It's not like he really wanted to get hit. Ah, Sister Honger, who was driving the car, did not expect that someone actually rushed straight over, and hastily stepped on the brakes. Little red car in four years of driving career has been well maintained. 
and today is finally reflected a car maintenance is how important. In the distance from the skinny man is still 5 meters away from the car steadily braked. Of course, this is limited to the car brake only. As for the car inside there is no brake? That was definitely not the case. What's going on? Chung Hao lying in the back row bam sound. The whole tiger rolled forward, rolled into the back of the foot gap, but also because of this roll to the whole tiger to fall awake. Chang Hao, who hit the chair solidly, was somewhat puzzled. Didn't the keeper lady drive well when she came? How come this time the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park but driving so pull crotch? Could it be that the lady driver's fault is finally going to kick in? Thinking about this, Miley Chao couldn't help but think of those tragic car accidents he had seen, and pondered whether he should abandon the car and run back to the tiger park to be safer. Are you alright? Why do you suddenly want to kill yourself? I don't have any money I'm telling you. The cars I drive are junk. Just when Chang Hao was a bit confused, Sister Honger had already run out from inside the cab. She never thought that she drove such a broken car. Actually one day can still run into the bumper car. This is simply too outrageous. The other side wants to bumper car also want to go to bumper car better ah. We do not raise the book oh. The new book need to read the support. Thank you, Omega. Miss you misunderstood. I was trying to cross the street but suddenly got a leg cramp. The skinny man who heard this, just wanted to open his mouth and say you bumped into me. But on second thought the line was not right. And quickly changed his words. My god. This big brother do you have some kind of disease? How did you fall and put yourself in this state? The other side of this lying on the ground does not get up okay. A up Homer sister the whole person is shocked. Only to see the other side of the face. Legs in wearing white clothes on all the blood stains. So much blood. The other party just like this flow? It hurts her to look at it ah? It's an old problem. The skin is thinner so it's easy to bleed when you fall. Seeing sister Honger's frightened appearance. The thin man was very satisfied. Then continued. This young lady can you trouble you to send me to Huang Gangpo ah? Big brother you're bleeding so much and you're not dizzy at all? Otherwise I'd better call you an ambulance. Hearing that the other party was not a bumper. Sister Honger couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. And took out her cell phone and was ready to call an ambulance for the other party. The other party actually wanted to take her car to Huang Gangpo? With all due respect to her. The speed of the other party's bleeding. There are at least a few hundred cc's right. And it looks like it's still flowing. Don't you go to the hospital to get patched up? How to run to Huang Gangpo? Although there is also a health center there. But can it stop such a large amount of blood? It's fine. The bleeding will stop in a while. The skinny man who heard this hurriedly stopped it. He did feel a little dizzy in the head. But in order to do enough drama. He had put down blood money this time off. If the other party called an ambulance, then wouldn't he have shed so much blood for nothing? Even if that's the case, I still can't take you there. There's a tiger in my car. And you being covered in blood will cause him to be aggressive. Sister Honger shook her head when she heard this and said, although she said that there was a car recorder that could prove that she hadn't hit the other party. But what if the other party got into the car and aroused Shao Tangerine's wildness once he got into the car? Now Shao Tangerine was a tiger of more than 20 pounds, not some little guy anymore. If a bike goes down, the other party would definitely be finished. How big of a tiger can you fit in your car? I really have urgent matters to return to Huang Gangpo. Trouble you send me back. If it's really not possible, how about I pay you? Hearing this all the skinny man of course knew what the other party's tiger was, but what can such a small tiger do? It is at most bigger than a cat. He is at least an evolved person. Can he still be afraid of a bigger cat not? That. That's fine. But the words first said in advance ah. If you have any uncomfortable words you have to hurry to say ah. Sister Honger thought about it and said. The other party has fallen into this appearance do not want to go to the hospital. But also want to rush back home. May really be something. But the other party this appearance is really scary ah. Do not sit in her car suddenly died. She doesn't want her car to become a plutonium car ah. Then in the future she will panic when she drives alone. No problem. I will pay attention. The skinny man assured. And in his heart. He couldn't help but be happy that he had managed to sit in the other party's car. When the time came, all one had to do was to take out the prepared vials plus the woolen. Towel would be able to successfully handle it. Little orange, you sit obediently in the back. Don't move, okay? Sister has just given you a meal. Oh, you can't hurt anyone. After returning to the side of the car, Sister Honger opened the rear seat door. She didn't want to be seen later on. Her passenger seat was sitting on a person covered in blood then maybe she would be directly invited to the bureau to drink tea. Ow ow, good. Chang Hao, who heard this, nodded and sat down a little on the seat next to him. Miss Breeder's sister was really lucky that she didn't run into the guy who touched the porcelain, but this guy seemed a bit familiar. It seemed like he had seen the other party somewhere, but where to not be too clear. Thank you, beautiful lady. The thin and weak man then got into the car and said gratefully to Sister Honger, 
His eyes couldn't help but scan Chung Hao, and after realizing that Chung Hao was just a small tiger, he didn't care. You're welcome, Sister Honger said, and started the vehicle towards Huanggang. Right now, she just wanted to send the other party back earlier, and then bring Little Orange back to the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. When the other party climbed up just now, it really scared her a bit. Oh, this guy seems to be the immodest guy from that day. Staring at the skinny man for half a day, Chung Hao finally remembered who the other party was through the other party's dark red bloody face. Wasn't this the guy who had asked Miss Breeder where she was live streaming in the first place? They actually met up with each other. Was this a coincidence or did the other party have ulterior motives? Thinking of this, Chung Hao couldn't help but be on guard. Miss Breeder is his meal ticket. Who wants to move Miss Breeder? He'd have to see if his claws agreed. Head. That guy managed to get into the target's car. Looking at the little red car far away, the old woman holding the phone said, Very good. Come back soon. The banquet is about to start. The man on the other end of the phone said happily, Huanggang Slope at this time a group of old people had already fallen asleep. Very suitable for them to make a move to open the banquet. This was also the reason why they chose such a remote village? Okay. Head. The old woman sniffed back and closed the phone ready to take a taxi to Huanggangpo. This old woman why are you still wandering around so late at night? Like this do you want me to give you a ride? Not long after her words, a cab pulled up in front of her. Yes. Thank you young man. You are a really good person. The old woman looked at the cab stopped in front of her and said happily. Really want to doze off on the pillow. Originally she was worried that this ghost place cannot hit the cab. Did not think of a cab stopped in front of them. Sure enough, there are still many good people in this world. They're there. Of course we should help each other when we go out. Besides there are no buses at this hour. The driver who was driving the cab said with a smile, and the old woman had already come to the door of the car, pulling the handle to open the door. But as the door opened, what appeared was not the seat of the cab, but the blackened barrel of a gun. Don't move, if you dare to run, I'll just shoot you. On the back seat 3, police officers dressed in black said in a cold voice, the guns held in their hands were already aimed at all parts of the other party's body. What are you? You guys doing? I'm just an old woman. Where do I have any money on me? You guys want to rob also go rob others ah. Facing the blackened gun barrel, the old woman said that she was numb, but still stammered and pleaded on her behalf. She never thought that she could actually fall for this kind of trick one day, and it was all because of the opaque film installed on the back of this damn cab. An old woman with no money? You're really good at flattering yourself. It's hard for you to disguise yourself like this. A voice came from the side of the road, followed by da de de footsteps that surrounded the entire cab. The captain leading the team sneered. Wang Suihua, female, 31 years old, do we need to continue reading the next words? You've been issued. Honestly go back with us to accept the sanction. Ah, the old woman who heard this was dumbfounded as a whole. The other party was actually here to arrest. Not to rob? Don't be ah. Go with us back to the station after and be properly surprised. Your other companion that guy called Akuan, has already gone to our bureau first as a guest. The police officer opened his mouth after cuffing Wang Tsuewa's hands. It was unexpected that they had caught the other party so easily this time. They thought it would be tough. What? Ah Koen has been arrested? Hearing this, Wang Tsuewa's face couldn't help but change drastically. The other party actually caught Ah Koen first, so it must not be now that they are targeting them. Yes, just over an hour ago, in front of the Hongtishan City television station, the police officer smiled and searched out the cell phone as well as bottles and cans from Wang Tsuewa's body and said, Unsurprisingly, the stronghold of Huang Gangpo is also closing in, so soon you will be able to reunite with your companions. Ah, hearing this, the surprise on Wang Suewa's face couldn't help but turn into fear. Even the boss had been targeted, so they were completely screwed this time ah. The targets scattered outside have all been captured. The wolves can go out now. Under the silent moonlight of Huang Gang Slope, the wolves that were waiting for orders couldn't help but raise an excited gaze in their eyes when they heard this. Afterwards, one by one, they felt their way to the target's yard, throw tear gas smoke bombs, force them out. The snipers on the high ground have their thermal imaging turned on. Once the target is found, kill them directly. Prepare the drones to monitor the scene. Once the escaped criminals are found, the swarm will immediately make up for it. The commander in the base gave the order, and a buzzing sound appeared in the sky above Huanggang Slope. What's going on? What's going on outside? The gang, who were waiting for news inside the room, Heard the sound of a drone coming from outside and couldn't help but pull open the curtains to look outside. But before they could, see what the drone flying in the sky actually looked like? The whole compound inside the sound of thud 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 metal landing sound, did not wait for them to shout out what? Thick smoke quickly obscured the entire courtyard. Then a flaming rocket, directly smashed the glass into the room issued a dazzling white light. 
Instantly inside the room came screams. My eyes, my eyes ah. I greet your 18 generations of ancestors. Not good. Everyone run. We're exposed. The middle-aged man whose eyes had briefly fallen into blindness immediately shouted as he listened to the screams of his companions. But at that moment a clear sound resounded inside the room filled with thick smoke. The middle-aged man who stood up. Only to feel something through the head? The whole person then directly fell down in response to the sound. When that familiar and warm liquid splashed down on the faces of the screaming crowd. It instantly made them understand what had happened. The man who had led them through countless successes was the first to fall before this operation had even begun. Bumper. Bumper. But before they had time to grieve, there was once again a commotion from outside, and a penetrating bullet pierced through the yellow walls, and at the same time passed through their bodies. All of a sudden, the entire inside of the house was once again filled with screams of misery. Reporting to base, all targets inside the house have been successfully hit. The snipers lying on the roofs of the surrounding houses reported into the walkie-talkies after looking at the falling figures inside the houses one by one. Good. The wolves can charge in now. Remember to pay attention to the criminals who are injured and ready to doggedly jump over the wall. The commander inside the base listened and immediately ordered. Yes, we will be careful. The evolvers who had waited around the courtyard heard this and kicked open the courtyard gate, then rushed towards the inside of the house with their blast shields raised. However, when they entered the house and looked at the criminals who were all screaming and incapacitated, they all subconsciously froze. They had prepared so well, and they came in to see this kind of scene? These guys are those vicious criminals? How did they fall so fast? Yes, we haven't even made a move yet. Why did they fall? Can you give some face? The evolvers were cursing and swearing while pointing their guns at the criminals. They were pointing their guns at the criminals who were screaming on the ground. They had thought of countless scenarios before they made their move. But they never thought that before they made their move. These guys would all be put down by the snipers. This thought these guys as evolutionary. Will be a little means. Did not think actually so unbearable. Simply to let them disappointed ah. Well, don't be disappointed. Hurry up and arrest the living ones, and make sure the dead ones are really dead. The commander inside the base spoke out, interrupting their complaints. The situation was just as he thought, although these guys were evolved. But their physical qualities as well as their vigilance were still too weak. Far from being the kind of tricky criminals, it was also because of this appearance that their plan could succeed in one fell swoop and take down all of these guys. Reporting to the base, the breeder's car is about to arrive at Huanggangpo. Do we need to make a move? Right at this moment, the squad that was following Sister Honger, after watching the little red car about to arrive, spoke out and asked, there's no need to make a move first, wait for that guy to make a move, then we'll make a move to save the breeder. The commander who heard this spoke after ringing for two seconds, the breeder's ability was very useful, they would love to recruit the other party in, but the other party most likely wouldn't be willing, so at this time, they would have to show off the abilities of themselves and the others before they could do so. Alright, who phone squad receives? The squad that heard this replied back and followed far behind. Big brother, where does your family live? Sister Honger, who had entered the Huanggang slope, inquired out loud after looking at the cool streetlights. This place was really cold at night, and it seemed to look very intimidating. My home is inside the village. Beautiful girl you put me down on this side on the line. Head leaning against the front seat holding a bottle to pour something on top of the towel or skinny man opened his mouth. Did not pay the slightest attention to a small tiger next to him has crept down. Claws in the dim environment emitted a dangerous light up. Big brother you do not have things right? Hearing this, Sister Honger gently tapped down on the brakes and pressed the active parking after. Turned her head to see the other party leaning against the front seat. Head hanging low body some trembling, as if very uncomfortable look concerned. The other party will not be unable to support to collapse in her car. Right? Then how should she explain to the other party's family? Thinking of this, Red Sister has some scalp numbness. This would not be any new type of bumper car set right. There's nothing wrong, just a little dizzy. Pretty girl can you please help me open the door a little? After slowly capping the bottle and stuffing it into his pocket, the skinny man asked out loud. No problem. Sister Honger heard this and went up and down from the driver's seat to the back to open the door. Pretty lady can I trouble you to pull me out again? The skinny man inquired with his right hand outstretched. The towel held in his left hand already poised, and behind him, Chang Hao was also ready to strike. Good guy, actually really dared to shade his breeder lady sister, when he is a vegetarian is not it? And to actually dare to give his back to a tiger when committing a crime, it had to be said that this guy was really brave. Okay, sister Honger sniffed and reached, hand and grabbed towards the man's arm, ready to assist the other party up. Good chance, the skinny man realized that his arm was grabbed by the other party, and his eyes lit up waving the towel in his left hand towards Sister Honger's face. What are you doing? Sister Honger, who wanted to help the other party up, 
did not expect the other party to come with this move, and without thinking, she pulled the other party's arm outward. At that moment, the skinny man's body, which was stepping on the car door frame, tilted forward uncontrollably, and the hand that was grasping the towel directly fluttered into the air. In the instant his body tilted forward, a figure directly catapulted to start, a bite to the back of his neck, for claws directly gripped his face with force, the whole tiger like a face-hugging bug, directly holding the skinny man's head in place, tear, the claws that landed on the man's face vigorously tore, and instantly large swaths of flesh and blood were ripped off, the man who was bitten on the back of his neck immediately let out a miserable scream, his entire body curled up like a prawn because of the severe pain, he could feel his lower body was gradually losing control, and a burst of severe pain came from inside the bone marrow, as if there was something pumping his entire body's strength in general, bite you to death you two girls, actually want to break the rice bowl of the laborer, do you know how hard the laborer has worked for this mixed food and drink waste life, you actually dare to lay your hands on Lousy's feeder lady's sister, in the face of the man's screams, Chang Hao didn't stop his mouth, but instead bit harder, this hateful guy actually wanted to destroy his good life, door is not even there, all the guys who dared to stand in his way of being a punk would be eliminated, little orange did a good job, sister really didn't love you for nothing, seeing this scene, sister honger was first shocked, then praised, as for the hubris squad hiding in the shadows ready to strike at any time, when they heard this miserable scream, their goosebumps rose, they could imagine how miserable that skinny criminal was at this moment, to be able to let out such a miserable scream, didn't the other party intend to use drugs to mesmerize the breeder? Why would he be in close combat with the breeder? The hoop squad expressed their incomprehension, but were greatly shocked. What happened? Why is that guy screaming? Could it be that he couldn't even defeat the keeper? I think it's possible. You guys wouldn't think that the breeder who carries such a heavy little orange pig every day would have no strength, right? I don't think so. At least think it's stronger than all of us. Thinking about the little orange pig that the other party held for a day and then thinking about the scenario that they usually trained without having to hold dumbbells for a day, they couldn't help but mourn for this criminal, you said that it's not good for you to find someone to fight one on one with, but what's the point of finding a breeder who's been hugging a small orange pig all the time, just that one fist down, how many people can carry it, little orange almost hurry to loosen the mouth, do not really bite him to death, otherwise at that time the two of us can be jailed off, hearing the screams gradually stop, sister honger hurriedly opened her mouth to let chung hao get up, and at the same time pulled away from the other party, lest the other party was pretending to be dead to take advantage of the opportunity to rise up and attack her. Hearing this, Chung Hao made sure that the guy under his mouth, whose bones had been bitten to pieces by him, couldn't get up afterward. Stepping on the man's head, he leapt up towards Sister Honger, who immediately hugged Chung Hao and said intimately, Little Orange is so good, really sister's little sweetheart ah, ow ow, aha. The hug Chung Hao nodded his head, gazing at the drooping man, and couldn't help but lick his blood-covered lips, just now when he bit this guy, he felt a warm current enter his body, exactly the same as when he bit the mouse cockroach, only this time it was a little more pronounced, it wasn't known if this was because the blood flowed too fast due to too much excitement, or if it was because the blood entered inside his stomach, save, save me, the skinny man who felt the pain disappear a bit, breathlessly whispered, if he was given another chance, he definitely wouldn't have stepped into this car, even more so, he wouldn't have ignored the unassuming looking tiger, he hadn't thought that a tiger so small would actually have such a sharp mouth, in a trance, it was as if he had already seen his deceased grandmother beckoning to him, how dare you call for help, I'll beat you to death if I don't beat you to death Irma, Chang Hao, who heard this voice, immediately jumped down from sister Honger's arms, stretching out his claws to the sprawling skinny man, as, Chang Hao's claw fell, the skinny man's head, which had just been screaming, suddenly drooped, little orange stop hitting, if you hit him again, you'll really kill him. Sister Honger hurriedly picked Chung Hao up when she saw this. She really didn't expect Little Orange to be so ferocious. Ow ow, oh whoa. Oh. Chang Hao, who was being held, honestly returned, his eyes still staring at the man lying on the ground, ready to go up and make up another slap once the other party was not honest. Dare to disturb his happy life. This is what happens. Tap tap, tap tap. Right at this moment, dense footsteps came from the surroundings. Chang Hao was instantly alert his eyes looking towards the surroundings, and he saw a single silhouette running this way, ow ow, run, Chang Hao's hairs instantly exploded, he saw that these guys were actually holding guns in their hands, most likely they were in league with the guy lying down, Miss Breeder's sister this can't be the daughter of some big family, right, how could someone come out with this kind of formation to kidnap, ha, huh? sister Honger who heard this, although she couldn't see who the people running around were, but still chose to believe Chang Hao, after stuffing Chang Hao into the car, 
pulling the soft and skinny man outside and closing the back door. She got into the driver's seat and started the car to run for her life. Ah, being heavily thrown on the ground. The thin and weak man who had less air coming in and more going out let out a miserable scream. He had just been knocked out by Chung Hao's slap. And was now. He woke up again. But he was smashed awake. He would rather he never woke up. Eh, what's going on here? Are we that vicious? Why did this misbreeder run away? You ask me? Who am I asking? It's not like I can read minds. The members of the Hornet squad who came running, looked at the little red car that brought up dust all over the sky, and the engine even made a roar like that of a racing car, and then all of them froze in their tracks. They were dressed like criminals. Why did the other party run so fast? They only wanted to come up to see if the other party was injured, and then check the situation of the criminals. What happened to the Hornet squad? Is something wrong? The commander, who was concerned about the situation over here, asked out loud. He hoped that the Hoop Squad's heroic rescue from the sky would bring a shocking feeling to the breeder, thus allowing the other party to join them. But the sound coming from the Hoop Squad side right now didn't seem quite right ah. Reporting to the commander, that guy who tried to make a move on the breeder, gave Miss Breeder a solution. The Hoop Squad that heard this weekly replied back, Oh, what? Is that guy so unbeatable? Can't even beat the breeder? When the commander in the base heard this, he couldn't help but hold his forehead somewhat speechlessly and said, Well, it's me who overestimated him what kind of combat power can a guy like this have? You go and tell Miss Breeder about your identities and invite her back to the base. Commander I'm afraid this request is a bit difficult. We just got close and Miss Breeder drove off. That speed is comparable to a cross-country championship. Looking at the little red car that had long since disappeared from the shadows, Hoop Squad spoke out. The heart cannot help but feel that people in the escape is really unlimited potential. You see they cannot see each other's taillights are. Why did you guys just get out of the car without reporting to me? Ha, huh? and also directly close to the target. With you guys dressed all in black and holding guns in your hands, but there's no way any sane person would have waited there and let you guys approach, right? Hearing this, the commander's heart is tired. Other people's breeders just encountered an attack. The result is that there are guys dressed as kidnappers. Others do not escape from the road but also stupidly stand over there today's can't it? Air. The hornet squad sniffed and looked at each other realizing that each dressed up is really not like any good person. You guys don't want to be over here either. Ah, uh, come and go. This matter doesn't need your meddling now. I'll find a way to get someone to contact him as breeder. The commander said helplessly. What should he do if his men are so stupid? He was so tired. He was really heartbroken. Commander, I think you might not need to think of a way. We've listened in and heard that Miss Breeder has already called the police. Should we just cut over to our side? The brown bears opened their mouths and inquired. They tapped into the keeper's cell phone and found that the other party was actually calling the police. Of course we do. Get it to me quickly. I need to talk to her. The commander sniffed and said without thinking. Okay, Lou. The brown bear heard this and immediately began to operate. Commander. I think we might need an ambulance on our side. Commander. The words had only just fallen. When the voice of the hornet squad came back to his ears. What's wrong? Are any of you injured? I can't believe an ambulance is still needed. The commander's face immediately became serious as he heard this. It's not that we need an ambulance. Commander. The hoop squad that was standing in front of the skinny man, examined the other party's injuries and said, It's that guy who tried to kidnap the breeder that needs an ambulance. He's been injured so badly that his back spine has been bitten off. And if an ambulance isn't sent, I guess it will be ready to open the banquet right away. What? Is MS? Keeper so powerful? Isn't her ability to communicate with animals and make all her body qualities stronger? It's actually possible to directly twist the spine of a criminal. The commander who heard this expressed great shock and couldn't help but bring in honorifics between words. Of course it wasn't done by Miss Breeder. Commander. The squad member who was inspecting the wound said, The rear spine of the criminal is an obvious bite wound. And the only one who could do that is probably Orange. Yeah, I can't see how little Orange is actually so powerful. Being able to easily bite off someone's spine at such a young age. Alright, next time you guys talk a little more clearly. The commander who understood what happened scolded in a bad mood. Those guys didn't speak more clearly, causing her to mishear. Oh oh. The team members who heard this nodded their heads and said, Then, commander, will you send a car over? If you don't, I think we can prepare for the opening of the banquet right away. Send. Of course. The commander sniffed in a bad mood and said, We have to keep a few gasping guys locked up. We can't go out on a mission and kill all the criminals. If you kill all the criminals on a mission, how will you write the report to the top? Always have to leave a few alive. Let them look not so ferocious it. Then I guess this guy can't be locked up. In his condition he can only lie down for the rest of his life. Yeah, guess we'll have to hitch another ride in to take care of him before that happens. Who be muttered. On this guy's appearance to save back. Estimate also waste. 
All right, get to work. Don't worry about anything else. The conductor said without a good mood. Those guys like to meddle so much, don't they? Then why don't they just go and taste how the village's turd tastes like? Understood. Understood. The team members who heard this immediately worked honestly and stopped talking too much. Greetings, is this the police station? Please, I need help. I'm in a dangerous location near Huanggangpo. Sister Honger said into her cell phone while driving. It was the first time in her life that she had encountered such a thing, and she didn't think of calling the police until she had escaped Huanggang Slope. May I ask this beautiful young lady, have you encountered a kidnapping and then a group of vicious thugs? As Sister Honger's words fell, a somewhat gruff voice of inquiry came from inside the cell phone. Yes, that's the way it is no mistake. Hearing this, Sister Honger nodded her head and said back, then with a jolt, she looked at the cell phone and revealed a surprised expression. May I ask this police officer? How do you know what happened to me? Although the other party's words were very brief, they were exactly the same as what she had encountered. Could it be? Sister Honger couldn't help but think of a terrifying possibility in her heart, and instantly felt that the road ahead was even darker. It's very simple. Because the gang that kidnapped you started following you some time ago, waiting for you to leave the tiger park. The commander smiled at his words and said, and we have been protecting you in the shadows. All those black clothed men with guns you just saw are all police officers protecting you, and the criminal you injured. His gang has all been captured by us. Surprised or not, doesn't it feel like this kind of thing that was guessed is very unbelievable? And this is the action capability that their newly formed department possesses. He, why are they staring at me for nothing? It's not like I'm a big star, and my family doesn't have any billions of dollars or anything like that. Upon hearing that she had long been topped by criminals, Sister Honger felt incredible. Obviously, she hadn't provoked anyone and wasn't a popular star. What were these people doing kidnapping her every time? And they were also on top of her early on. Ah, little sister isn't a rich white girl? Chung Hao sitting in the back seat couldn't help but froze when he heard this. Missy actually wasn't the legendary rich white beauty, so why would she attract kidnappers? This was really something that made people curious. Because you're an evolved person with the ability to talk to animals ah. The commander on the other end of the phone said with a smile. It's okay to be scared. That's how a normal person should react. Evolutionary? Sister Honger couldn't help but freeze when she heard this unfamiliar word. And when the other party spoke out about her ability to talk to animals, the whole person was even more shocked. Evolver? Sister Honger was in shock. And Shang Hao on the side also expressed his shock. There were actually evolvers in this world? No wonder Missy understood his speech ah. This is really amazing. After all. He had only seen this kind of thing in novels and TV before, and it was the first time he had come into contact with it in reality. Yes, two months ago, a very bright and white light appeared in the sky, although it only appeared for a split second, as long as the creatures that were illuminated by it would evolve. Simply put, it breaks the genetic lock and suddenly the creatures are now limited. The commander smiled and explained, if you want to know more, just wait for our people to bring you back at Huangang Slope. Come here to us and we will tell you details about the evolvers. This, hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but think, it shouldn't be a problem that she dialed the police's number, and the other party had also told her situation. As of now, she didn't know anything about evolvers, and she wasn't even sure why she was being targeted. So other than going to meet with the opposite party, it seemed like she didn't have much of a choice. Thinking of this, Sister Honger nodded and said, then I'll go back now. May I ask where your people are at Huanggang Slope, or is it the same place as just now? You just need to enter Huanggang Slope. Someone will take the initiative to find you. You don't need to worry. The commander said with a smile. Okay, I understand then. Sister Honger heard this and returned. I'll turn around and go back now. Well, I'll see you later then. The commander said, and hung up the phone. Light of evolution? Genetic lock? It sounds like it's very advanced. And I wonder what's going on in this world right now. Chung Hao plopped down in the back seat and thought in his heart. And the car had already turned around and returned to Huanggang Slope. I'll go. Why is this guy so miserable? Yeah, is there still a need for resuscitation? Bleeding so much. I think it's better to just open the seat. Not bad. Let's not waste medical resources on him, right? After sending the criminals inside the house who hadn't yet breathed their last into the ambulance, the many evolvers couldn't help but feel a jolt of excitement as they looked at the scrawny man whose bloodied bones were all exposed. The other guys had at most been punched a hole and bled a little. Why was this guy so miserable? They remembered that this guy shouldn't be inside the house, right? So what was the matter with this other person's injuries? He hasn't swallowed his breath yet. He'll have to wait for a while if he wants to have a seat. The doctor in the ambulance spoke out after examining him. He had been practicing medicine for so many years, but this was the first time he had seen someone bleeding profusely like this. But he hadn't died yet. So it was true that human vitality was tenacious. 
Really? That's a real pity. But how did he get hurt like this? Hearing this, the wolves said with some pity. Then their gaze looked to the hornet squad on the side. It's simple. He didn't succeed in sneaking up on Miss Breeder. Instead he was beaten up by Miss not to mention being bitten by the little tiger. Yes, the breeder who holds such a heavy little orange pig every day. He dared to fight the other side one on one. If he wasn't beaten up like this, who was beaten up like this? Hearing this, the Hornet Squad members spread their hands and said, indicating that the other party was to blame for this appearance. Why did he find trouble with the breeder for nothing? Could this breeder be an ordinary person? Hiss, a girl who holds a small orange pig with one hand really can't be underestimated. Yes, it's as scary as hell. I'm afraid I'll die if this punch goes down. Right? That's for sure. You're holding such a heavy little orange pig every day. A punch down has this kind of killing power. After listening to the explanation of the hoop squad, the crowd said that Missy was so powerful. She was simply the god of war in the world. They couldn't even hit someone like this with their hands. Okay? From here, one could see what it meant to be an expert in the field. Don't just focus on chatting over there. Miss Breeder has already turned around and returned to this. Side now. Go a few people to pick it up. Just as they were lamenting, the commander's voice came from the other end of the headset. Yes. The crowd that heard this earnestly replied back, and their gazes couldn't help but look towards the road of Huanggang Slope, where a small red car was gradually approaching. So many people ah, is this the police officers arranged by the police? Sister Honger could not help but be a little surprised when she saw the road was filled with a great number of black-clothed people with loaded guns and bullets. What exactly happened here? How could so many police officers be mobilized? Each one of them was also equipped with a gun. This is something that is hard to see in modern society. The gesture is really big. Are they fighting a boss? Chung Hao stuck to the car window and muttered in his heart. This scene has one thing to say. He really hasn't seen it with his own eyes. May I ask if it's MS? Breeder? We received an order from above and are specially waiting for you to come over here. Yes. The criminal gangs have all been caught this time. So you don't need to make any more moves. After the car slowly stopped and slowed down, the waiting evolvers and police officers immediately came up and said, when they saw Sister Honger unharmed, the heart shock is even deeper. The expert is the expert. The person beat into that way, actually body did not stain a drop of blood. Simply too horrible. Eh? Hearing this sister Honger couldn't help but freeze. To be honest she didn't understand what the other party meant. What did it mean for her to make a move? Just now that scene has scared her all. How can she still dare to make another move off? And this kind of thing should not be the police to do it. Why would need her to do? You guys, bring back the people as soon as they arrive. Don't stall me over there. The villagers are still waiting to go home. Do you know that? The commander overheard their conversation and scolded without a good mood. Do these guys know what time it is? Still over here with his guapi. The villagers who were arranged to go out don't need to go home and sleep. Right? They're just going to accompany them outside to drink the northwest wind. Right? Yes. Commander. The team members who were scolded couldn't help but shrink their necks and spoke towards Sister Hunger. Miss Breeder. Let's arrange for someone to drive for you. Otherwise, it's weirdly tiring for you to follow us. Then I'll trouble the officers ah. Sister Honger, who heard this, thought for a moment and said, she was fine with driving, but she had just been scared enough that she hadn't slowed down yet, and would always be unconsciously distracted remembering what had just happened. Now if someone was willing to help her drive, it was simply too good to be true. It's no trouble at all. You're welcome. The team smiled back and arranged for someone to drive for Sister Honger. Didn't Miss Breeder say that she wasn't some rich girl? Why are these guys so polite? Chang Hao sat back and watched Sister Honger. Sitting in the passenger seat was puzzled. He could see that these guys were simply not generally polite to Miss Breeder. But didn't Miss Sister say that she was just an ordinary breeder? Why would she be like this? This really made the tiger feel curious. Fat tiger. Fat tiger tiger. Just when Chang Hao was thinking so, a familiar voice suddenly came from outside the car window. Chang Hao turned his head and saw a twisted human face on the car window. The five senses were squeezed together. A living horror movie scene. Ow ow. What the hell? Seeing this scene Chang Hao was so scared that his hair exploded, and the whole tiger directly catapulted up and jumped. Ha ha ha, little orange, you little fat tiger, you actually have a day to be scared, really last me to death. Su Lele, who was stuck to the car window, saw this scene and immediately laughed happily, telling this little villain not to give her a touch. Now he was scared by her, right? You're the staff from the four pests removal company that day. Sister Honger turned her head when she heard the movement behind her and immediately recognized Su Lele. The other party's voice was very distinctive. Especially when she called out for Little Orange. She heard it right away. Yes. Breeder sister couldn't imagine that this was all recognized by you ah. Su Lele, who was pressed against the car window, said with a smile. 
The staff of the Four Pests Removal Company is nothing more than the identity we used to enter the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park for the survey last time. In fact, my real identity is a member of the Evolver Department. So it is like this. No wonder the garden manager told me that your company's charges are very low. Just like doing charity. It turns out that you are not a professional pest removal company. Hearing this, Sister Honger came to a realization. She said why the four pest removal company charges so low. It turns out that it is because the other party is a police officer in disguise ah. Yes, because we investigated that a large number of evolved rats and cockroaches have appeared in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park in order to prevent you from being harmed. So we disguised ourselves as staff members and used the name of the four pest removal company to help you solve your troubles. Su Lele pulled open the door of the car and drilled herself in, sat down on the seat and looked at Chung Hao and laughed. Little fat tiger, I told you we would meet again. This matter won't end like this. If you obediently let me touch you now, maybe I'll consider the previous things as forgiven. Ow ow, don't come over. Come over and kill you. Chang Hao waved his claws threateningly. He never thought that he would actually meet the other party here. And the other party was also some kind of evolutionary department member. But the other party shouldn't think that this look could threaten him anymore. He was the king of hundred shows. Still quite fierce. Let sister see if this little fat tiger of yours is really that fierce. Su Lele saw this and extended her hand a bad smile on her face, so round and chubby little tiger, born to be sister pain, nothing to pretend so fierce why, ow ow, don't come over ah, then come over I'm not polite ah, seeing the hands that pressed step by step, Chang Hao revealed his ferocious fangs, this was the other party provoking him first ah, if he bites him later, he can't be blamed, you should stop teasing Shao Tangerine, he really does bite, just now that criminal was bitten by Shao Tangerine in that way, sister Honger saw this and opened her mouth to stop it, this police officer doesn't seem to be clear about how powerful Little Orange really is ah? By the time she was bitten by Shao Tangerine, it would be too late to know. Although the small orange is still relatively young, but a mouthful of teeth is not a joke to set up with. Biting off the other party's hand shouldn't be much of a problem. After all, Little Orange was able to even bite off the spine of the criminal just now. Eh, wasn't that criminal just now beaten by you, breeder sister? Su Lele, who heard this, said with a slight lurch of her hand, she heard everyone say that the criminal was beaten by Miss Breeder. Ah, how come Miss Breeder said that the criminal was bitten by Little Orange? How could I be that vicious? He was bitten by Little Orange. Sister Honger couldn't help but say with a black line at her words. Just how ferocious did she have to be to beat someone into that state? But Chao Tangerine couldn't bite out that much blood, right? Su Lele sniffed and thought about how the other party was covered in blood, then looked at the harmless little tiger in front of her, and felt that it was a bit unbelievable ah. This is not more than two months of the little tiger just well. Can the person to bite like that? And the other side in addition to the back of the neck was bitten. Other places have not seen traces of bite wounds. So he must have been beaten up. And he must have been punched and bled. That's because he fell right before he was bitten by orange and got blood all over his body tricking me into letting him get in the car. Sister Homer gave a short account of what happened. That means that guy was covered in so much blood. Did he fall out himself? Su Lele heard this and revealed a look of you're teasing me. That someone wrestling can wrestle himself into that ah, it's definitely Miss Breeder who hit him right? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. After the evolver in charge of driving heard this explanation, his heart didn't believe it at all. What kind of person would be able to drop themselves like that? Not afraid of bleeding out and going straight into shock? Yes. Sister Honger nodded her head seriously. Fearing that the two still didn't believe her, she continued to emphasize, it definitely wasn't me who hit him. You guys mustn't think too much about it. I usually just hug Shao Tangerine for fun, so how could I be that ferocious? Although she wasn't a lady of the house, she wasn't a tigress either. Okay, how could she possibly do something that would beat someone up like that? So they thought that guy was beaten up like that by Missy, that's why they were so respectful. Chang Hao, who was listening to the two people talking, instantly reacted to what happened to their respectful looks just now. What happened to their respectful looks just now? If he had seen someone so vicious, he would have reacted the same way as them. Sure enough, that guy was the one who was beaten up, right? Hearing Sister Honger repeatedly emphasize, Su Lele and the evolved person who drove the car were even more certain that Miss Breeder had definitely done it. You two should be convinced after hearing my explanation, right? Sister Honger looked at the two of them to reveal their expressions, and asked with some anticipation. She had explained in this way, the two of them should understand that it really wasn't her own hands that beat up the other party, right? Believe. Of course I believe. Yeah. How could we possibly doubt Miss Breeder's words? The stared at Su Lele and the evolved person driving the car instantly got chills down their spines, and hurriedly nodded their heads and said, Great, finally the explanation is clear. Sister Honger, 
who heard the two reply, couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief, followed by a sigh of relief, there are also two people in the car, in just so a moment they also thought that their two people are going to be beaten up all, fortunately, the two of them reacted quickly, or now have to call two ambulances, ow ow, hungry, meat, right at this time, Chang Hao suddenly felt his stomach growl and immediately shouted towards Sister Honger, he had gone through a lot of effort to protect Sister Honger, causing his stomach to growl, Sister Honger had to reward him with three chicken legs tonight, and these three chicken legs couldn't be deducted from his food bank, they had to come from the young lady herself, alright, alright, sister knows you're hungry, hearing Chang Hao's voice, sister Honger said with a smile, reaching inside the bag and taking out the chicken leg, Chang Hao immediately jumped into sister Honger's embrace, biting down on the chicken leg and began to tear at it, worthy of being a brain evolved little tiger, it's true that it's just different from the other little tigers, the evolved person who was driving the car couldn't help but say with a smile after his gaze glanced at this scene, this evolved little tiger was just smart and came over with a casual wave, it wasn't like the stupid dog he raised, he just barked behind the dog and that stupid dog couldn't even find him, a brain evolved little tiger, sister Honger, who was hugging Chung Hao, froze at the words, then looked at Xiao Tangerine in her arms and said, the Xiao Tangerine you're talking about, yes, that's him I'm talking about, the evolutionary driving the car nodded, while we have been paying attention to you, Miss Breeder, during this period of time, we have likewise been paying attention to Little Orange. Through our observation during this period of time, we can determine that Little Orange is definitely not some ordinary tiger. He is simply too much smarter than other little tigers. That's why after analyzing it, we believe that Little Orange is also an evolved creature. And it's also an evolved animal with an evolved brain. Really? But I don't think Little Orange is like that. Sister Honger who heard this muttered, although it was nice to say that Kotaru was smart, but she felt that Little Orange's teeth were the most outrageous thing. Where could an ordinary little tiger possess such a mouthful of sharp teeth at a time like his? She felt that Xiao Tangerine was like a power evolution. After all, Xiao Tangerine's physical quality has far exceeded the other little tigers. Where would other little tigers be so powerful at this time of his life? Ah, Miss Breeder please believe that in this aspect, we are absolutely professional. The evolver who heard this spoke. In other areas they didn't dare to guarantee, but in this area he felt that they were still very experienced. There was absolutely no mistaking that this little tiger was brain evolved. Otherwise why would it be smart like this? Alright, may I ask what's the difference between a brain evolved creature and other evolved beings? Sister Honger sniffed and didn't want to argue with the other party. After all, the other party wasn't a breeder and wasn't aware of the tiger's situation at all stages. If they had researched in this area, they would know just how outrageous little orange was now? Of course there is. Brain evolution is the trend of evolution for most of the large animals nowadays because they have strong qualities in all aspects of their body, but their heads are not too smart, so after being irradiated by the light of purification, they will be the first to evolve their brains, Sulele listened and opened her mouth to explain, and Little Orange's situation is very much in line with this, that's why we dare to determine that Little Orange is a brain evolved animal, then is there a kind of evolution that is an all round enhancement, hearing this, Sister Honger asked out loud, Little Orange was definitely not just a brain power enhancement, this she could be sure as well as certain, that's also true, but Little Orange's case is definitely not of this kind, as his IQ is already equivalent to that of a 4 or 5 year old child. Su Lele sniffed and thought for a moment and said, although there were balanced growths amongst evolvers, they generally didn't grow too much in all indicators, and a tiger's IQ after it reaches adulthood is only around 2 years old according to modern research. So even if Little Orange evolved in a balanced manner, this was also a bit too outrageous. After all, the creatures under the light of evolution, the mutations produced at the beginning were all very weak, and even if two months had passed now, there was no way it would be outrageous like this. So, this was why they dared to determine that Little Orange was definitely a brain evolution animal. This way, Sister Honger nodded thoughtfully as she listened. Although they were professionals, she felt that there were exceptions to everything. Perhaps Little Orange was that exception? Yes, Breeder Sister you if you don't believe it, you can go back with us to check inside the department. There are detailed information and data inside the department that can prove that I didn't lie to you. Su Lele said with a smile, her eyes fixed on Chang Hao who was gnawing on a chicken leg, revealing a greedy gaze. Such a disobedient little tiger. It should have been sent to her side to jerk off a good behavior before releasing it. Ow ow, what are you looking at? Chang Hao, who was being stared at, opened his mouth and let out a low growl. Since he was now being treated as a brain evolved creature then he would just go along with this camouflage for now. This way, on the one hand, it wouldn't be easy for the young lady to discover his abnormality, and on the other hand, he would be able to explain to the outside how he was so smart. 
Of course his own family knew his own business, he knew that he was an evolved creature, but definitely not of any brain power evolved creature. Judging from his recent performance, he was at least in the aspect of physical enhancement as well. After all, he was able to lick the stainless steel bowl and spend it, where other little tigers had this kind of ability ah, obviously looks so cute, but the character is so bad, it's just too ill behaved. When Su Lele, who was being yelled at, saw this, she complained to Sister Honger, breeder sister, little orange is being mean to me, it's simply too bad, you should hurry up and spank his little butt to educate him. After saying that, he also stared at Chang Hao with a provocative gaze, revealing a look of, if you have the ability to beat me, hurry up and beat me ah, ow ow, bad woman. Upon hearing that the other party actually encouraged Miss Breeder to hit him, Chang Hao once again cursed, how could there be such a bad woman, actually letting the Miss Sister hit him, what a sinister and despicable guy, alright, little orange don't be cursing, if you keep cursing you won't even be sister's good boy. After Sister Honger heard this, she stroked Chang Hao's little head and said, after you eat the chicken leg, be a good boy and go to sleep, okay, when you wake up from your nap, we'll go home too, ow ow, oh oh, Chang Hao sniffed and nodded, then lay down on his back and continued to gnaw on the chicken leg, no longer caring how Su Lele provoked, anyway, as long as he ignored the other party, then whatever the other party did was useless, this little bad tiger, after realizing that his provocation was ignored, Su Lele couldn't help but beep her mouth, this evolved little tiger is just not good, not as cute as the other tigers that way, tigers are really still slightly stupid better, be a good boy and sleep, don't mess up, okay, sister Honger took a wet towel and wiped Chang Hao's mouth and the blood stains on his little paw, then she put Chang Hao in her arms and gently shook him, Chang Hao, who was being shaken, couldn't help but feel sleepy, and his eyes unconsciously closed, hoo hoo, soon Chang Hao's snoring came from inside the car, and when sister Honger saw it, she pulled her clothes to cover Chang Hao's rounded, little belly, breeder sister, does little orange still need to be held like a child to sleep? Seeing this scene, Su Lele asked curiously. This way of coaxing a baby tiger to sleep by the keeper's sister was something she had only seen on those baby moms. Of course you don't need to if you're inside the tiger park, but this is outside, and the tiger cub will get nervous if he's not held like this. Sister Honger, who had stopped wiggling her arms, explained, her leg gently raised in place of her right hand so that it could be free to take her cell phone and send a message to the gardener. She and Orange had run into such a big deal that there was definitely no way she would be going back at the original time so she had to talk to the head gardener lest he worry. So it's like this? Su Lele listened to a sudden realization nodded, and then curiously asked, then take care of the little tiger tired ah? Tired is definitely tired, especially during the time when the little tiger was just born. You have to feed him every 3 or 4 hours, and you also have to check on his physical condition, but after that it's slightly better. Sister Honger said as she typed. Taking care of a baby tiger was the same as taking care of a newborn baby, but it was much easier after a month, and didn't need to last as long as taking care of a baby needed to last. Like that huh? That's a lot of work to bring up a baby tiger. Once she heard that she had to get up several times a night, Su Lele instantly felt that a breeder was a hard profession. Hard work can't be helped. It's not easy to do any job nowadays. Plus the employment situation is so severe now. In fact, my job is quite good. There are quite a few keepers inside the tiger park. It's not that I need to bring a baby tiger every time one is born. Sister Honger smiled and said, and it's still a very fulfilling thing to watch the tiger cubs that you personally brought up grow into big tigers. Being a breeder was definitely hard work at times, but at the same time, you also gain things that ordinary workers could not. Like every time she goes to see the tigers in her care, they come over to her happily, and that's an unspeakable sense of fulfillment. And like this time when Orange came forward to stand up for her protection, it made her feel even more like her job was very rewarding. That's true. After all, taking care of the tigers is contributing to the ecosystem. Su Lele listened and nodded in agreement. If she could, she actually quite wanted to take care of the tigers. After all, for someone who loved cats, the tiger park was simply heaven. Okay? So many big cats there to suck as much as they want. It's simply not too comfortable. Clunk. Clunk. After the heavy iron gate was slowly pulled open, a solemn and grave atmosphere greeted them. This is the Evolver department? The location is so remote. Sister Honger sat in the passenger seat and surveyed the surroundings and said, the location of this department is just not in the suburbs, right? Even more than the suburbs, the suburbs have been extended to the village inside all. Yes, because now the evolutionary things have not been announced, so the department temporarily can only be established in a little bit of the remote place. Su Lele listened and explained with a smile, when it's announced later, the department will move to a more prosperous place. It had been more than two months since the Evolver had appeared, 
and although it was said that there had been quite a few incidents one after another, none of them had generally affected the general public yet. Therefore, for the sake of social stability, the above did not announce this matter to everyone, lest it cause panic and social unrest. However, if more and more evolvers appeared and the above really couldn't hide it anymore, it would be announced at that time. So that's how it is. Sister Honger nodded as she sniffed, her gaze looking towards the outside, noticing that there was really a lot of military equipment present inside the entire sector. Not only were there helicopters, armored vehicles, tanks and other weapons, there were actually missile silos built. She really couldn't figure out how an evolutionary department had all these things, it was just like an army. Breeder sister, we're at the place now, we have to go meet the commander. Just as sister Honger was thinking, Su Lele's voice came from her ears. Good, good. Returning to her senses, sister Honger got out of the car and followed Su Lele to the office building of the evolutionist department. Walking on the concrete floor, looking at the searchlights that were constantly scanning, sister Honger asked curiously, nowadays. There are evolutionist departments established everywhere in the country? Since there is one in Hontishan City, then it was reasonable that other cities couldn't possibly not have them. She didn't believe that only Hontishan City was special. Well, because there are evolvers everywhere, as well as evolved creatures, there are evolver departments being built in various parts of the country, in order to deal with the plants and animals that have been irradiated by the light of evolution. Su Lele, who was leading the way, nodded and said, Criminals like the ones who attacked you this time are typical criminal gangs of evolvers, and apart from them, there are also many dangers in nature. The most common of them are the incidents of evolved beasts injuring people, and evolved plants attacking people. It's quite common for animals to attack humanity, but why would plants attack people as well? Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but freeze and said, Could it be that the evolved plants have already grown arms and legs? How could they attack people? Moreover, why would plants attack people if they were not doing anything? Could it be that they were taking revenge on humans for destroying nature? Because they need to grow. They need a lot of energy. And the energy they get from inside the dirt is very little. So they aim at animals. Su Lele thought about what the commander had told them these days and repeated it to Sister Honger. There are evolvers from other countries in the world's largest tropical rainforest. And they found that the plants there have started hunting animals. Some of these plants would stick out their roots like syringes into the animals and suck out their flesh and blood. Some would strangle the animals with their vines, killing them and burying them under the root whiskers to absorb their energy. These plants are so terrifying? Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but panic. Subconsciously, she moved away from the trees on the side. Who knows if these trees would be evolved trees? When the time came, they would suddenly give her a tree root? Ow ow, what's wrong? What's wrong? Chang Hao, who was suddenly strangled awake by Sister Honger, asked in panic. The young lady suddenly hugged him tightly. Did she encounter something? It can't be that there's some guy that's going to be unfavorable to Miss Breeder again, right? It's fine. Sister is just scared. Sister Honger, who heard Chung Hao's voice, touched Chung Hao's head and said, Little Orange, you continue to sleep. Sister won't suddenly hug you tightly next. Ow ow, not sleeping, not sleeping. Chang Hao who heard these words yawned and gazed around to say back, This must be that what's his name evolutionary sector, right? and he still hadn't figured out what the hell was going on in this world right now, how could he still sleep? After all, his dream was to be a punk waiting to die. If this world was too dangerous, then he had to prepare in advance. At least he couldn't die that easily ah. He had come to this world for more than two months and had only just begun to enjoy his blessings. Alright, then would you like to eat a chicken leg? Little orange? Sister Honger smiled and inquired. And on the side, Su Lele took out the box inside her bag and prepared to take a chicken leg. Ow ow, want want. Hearing this, Chang Hao hastily nodded his head. This lunchbox was taken out. Where is the reason to take it back? Good. Sister will get you a chicken leg to eat. Sister Honger said with a smile, reaching out from Su Lele opened the lunchbox inside the chicken leg to raise Chang Hao mouth stuffing. Chang Hao saw a mouth to live the chicken leg to gnaw up. This little glutton appetite can be really big. This distance from just eat has not been long it. Seeing this, Su Lele couldn't help but say with a smile. Just now the little tiger had already gnawed on two chicken legs in the car, and now it hadn't even gotten to an hour yet, and actually started eating again. No wonder he could grow so fat. Sure enough there wasn't a single piece of meat that was eaten in vain ah. Little Orange has always had a big appetite since he was a child. Plus he is now in the middle of growing his body again, so it's normal for him to eat a lot. Sister Honger, who heard this, touched Chung Hao's head and said, If the little tiger couldn't eat, how could he grow to 50 or 60 pounds within 5 months? Plus now that it was almost winter, the tigers would desperately store fat for the winter, so they would eat even more meat. But there aren't any little tigers that eat so much from little oranges, 
right? It must be that the changes produced by his evolved body affected him, making him need to ingest more energy to support his body to continue evolving. Su Lele sniffed and analyzed seriously. Through the Evolver Department's investigation of them, it was found that they, the Evolvers, were now consuming much more food every day than before they were illuminated by the light of evolution. And the same was true for the evolved animals. So Little Orange being so able to eat must have received the influence of the light of evolution. The light of evolution. Can the light of evolution still affect a person's appetite? Sister Honger couldn't help but freeze at her words. She said how she had recently gained a huge appetite, but then how she hadn't gained any weight from eating. So it was because of this reason. She thought that she had turned into the kind of physique that wouldn't put on weight no matter how she ate. Yes, because an evolved body needs a lot of energy, and the energy that humans need is obtained from food. Therefore, evolved evolvers will all eat a lot more. Su Lele opened her mouth and said, in more common and easy to understand words, it was that the machine had drawings that were capable of big upgrades, and the condition for the upgrades was that it needed a large amount of energy. So it turns out that I wasn't born with such a big appetite, but it was formed after birth? Chang Hao who had finished his people leg in a few bites, nodded in realization after hearing this. He then said how could he be a rice bucket? Sure enough, external factors were influencing him ah. Lele, I asked you to bring Miss Breeder over. How come you're still chatting on the road ah? Can't you come inside the office to chat? The commander standing in front of the office said in a bad mood. The yellow flowers he was waiting for over here were about to get cold. But as a result, the other party was chatting and laughing outside. It's me who was asking Miss Lele one after another. I'm really sorry, sir. Sister Honger who heard this hurriedly stepped forward and said that the other party had explained so much for her. Now, being blamed for her own delay, she couldn't just stand by and watch. It's fine. It's reasonable that you'd be curious when you've just learned about evolvers. The commander sniffed. His face couldn't help but ease up a lot and said, come into the office and have a chat. I'll tell you everything about the issues you want to know. Okay, then please. Sister Honger said thankfully as she listened. She came over just because of this matter. You're welcome, Lele you come in too, the commander said with a smile. Okay, Su Lele smiled and followed in. There's jasmine tea here. I don't know if you like it, the commander said while pouring the tea. The reason why you were attacked this time is actually related to the fact that you didn't hide your identity during the live broadcast. After the emergence of evolvers, some people found that evolvers eating other evolvers would make their own evolution faster. So they started hunting other evolvers. They eat other evolvers? Hearing these words, Sister Honger couldn't help but turn pale, and her hold on Chang Hao couldn't help but tighten much tighter. If she was really successful in the sneak attack, then the consequences were simply unimaginable. Miss Breeder, although I know you're scared, but there's no need to hold me so tightly. I can barely breathe. Chang Hao, who was suddenly hugged, quickly stretched his claws and struggled, and only after Sister Honger felt it did she relax a bit. However, she still hugged Chang Hao tightly, as if this way she could feel a little more secure. Yes and it's still eaten raw with the need to keep the cells active. The commander sniffed and nodded as he continued. This group of criminals had already gotten their hands on you several times before they attacked you, so we especially wove a big net this time and waited for them to fall in. And eat them raw? Sister Honger's entire body couldn't help but commit nausea at the thought of that scene. Originally, eating one another's own kind was beyond the bottom line of morality, and they actually ate them raw? My god, this world is so scary. Luckily, I'm just a small unimpressive tiger that won't be noticed by others. Hearing this, Chang Hao was equally startled, not thinking that the evolvers in this world were actually so crazy, thanks to the fact that he didn't go out of the gate and was still inside the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Honta Mountain, which was full of tigers, or else he would probably have encountered the same thing as the Keeper Lady. Yes, that's why this kind of criminal is a key target for our evolutionist department to combat. I wonder if you are interested in joining us, Miss Honger? The commander smiled and inquired. Sir are you inviting me to join? But I can only communicate with animals ah, uh, I don't know anything else. Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but freeze. She could only understand the animal's speech. There wasn't any special skills at all. Was the other party really not joking with her? Yes, I am now inviting you to join us in a very serious manner. The commander nodded. Perhaps you think that your abilities aren't of much use. M.S. Honger, but what I want to tell you is that this kind of thinking of yours is a very big misunderstanding. In our opinion your ability is more important than all the other evolvers. Why is that? Sister Honger sniffed curiously. She didn't feel that her ability was powerful in any way, other than the fact that it was easier to communicate with Little Orange and the other tigers. She hadn't shown anything special at the moment ah, because you are able to communicate with animals. That alone beats many evolvers. Perhaps you are not aware of how significant the strategic value of your ability is. 
But what I can tell you is that the situation of the world right now is not as, as peaceful as it appears, especially in the middle of the dense forests, human technology can no longer probe over there, after those trees evolved, they emitted a special magnetic field blocking our technology, the commander said, pressing down the projection of his office, a virtual planet appeared, only to see the commander's hands pointing on top of the planet, and the buildings of Hauntishan City appeared on top of this virtual planet, but when the commander scratched somewhere else, the screen began to tremble up into a mosaic screen, it was impossible to see what was going on, see this image, this is the situation of the satellite observing the forest on the planet right now, the commander said as he spun the planet, if we send someone to infiltrate these places to scout for information, something might happen, but it would be much safer to let animals go, we need to know what's really going on in these places, so that we can better deal with any dangers that may occur, so what are the things I need to do after I join the evolutionary sector? Sister Honger asked out loud after reading it. The benefits of joining the Evolver sector definitely outweighed the disadvantages for her, especially after knowing that there were actually predators of other Evolvers in this world. She understood even more that this world was no longer safe. Ha, huh? Miss Breeder is going to run away? Then who will take care of me then? Chang Hao, who heard Sister Honger's reply, couldn't help but freeze, a strong sense of crisis bubbling up in his heart. He had bullied the other tigers in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, but he was not treated well by the other keepers. If the keeper's sisters left, he wouldn't be living a miserable life of being full and hungry, right? Thinking of this, Chang Hao couldn't help but rub up against Sister Honger's hand and look at her blearily, intending to use the long-lost cute technique to make Sister Honger come around. But Sister Honger, who was listening wholeheartedly to the other party, did not notice Chang Hao's dissimilarity. There's no need to do anything big. All you need to do is ask the animals that ran from inside the forest what exactly happened inside the forest. The commander smiled and said, Normally, you can still work inside the Hauntish and Northeast Tiger Forest Park. You only need to come over once in a while. It won't delay your work. Eh, after joining the Evolver Department, don't I have to quit my old job? Sister Honger couldn't help but freeze at hearing this. How did her joining the Evolutionary Department sound like a part-time job? Oh, you don't have to quit your job? That really scared me. Upon hearing that the young lady didn't need to resign, Cheng Hao couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Great. I almost thought that my job was gone, but it turns out it wasn't. As long as there was a day where Miss Breeder was around, he thought he definitely wouldn't go hungry. Of course you don't have to, after all, you are a strategic evolver, so you don't have to carry out particularly dangerous missions like them. The commander smiled after hearing this, but some defensive firearms, you still need to learn how to use them. After all, the current evolvers are even more powerful, they still can't resist the power of a pistol. Eh? Evolvers still have guns? Hearing this, Sister Honger froze once again. She thought that. Evolvers were all a group of people who fought with their bare hands like the superheroes depicted inside the movies, using all sorts of special abilities to fight with people, and hadn't thought that they were actually equipped with firearms? Yes. After all, the current Evolvers are just a group of people with some different abilities. They haven't yet reached the point where their bodies can block bullets and their hands can resist tanks, so it's very necessary to be equipped with firearms. The commander explained with a smile. That means that all the people I met were evolved? After Sister Honger heard this, she thought about those people wearing black clothes with helmet PS and holding rifles on their bodies and voiced out. Originally, she thought that all those people were police officers or something like that, but she didn't think that they were actually all evolvers. Not bad, all of them are evolvers, the commander said with a smile, and they are also all evolvers with special abilities or balanced growth and physical quality but even they all have to use firearms how should they be used, so you'll have to master that early on as well. But it seems a bit not so good for me to bring a gun to work inside the tiger park, right? Sister Honger said weakly, although it was quite good to bring a pistol for self-defense. What if the other keepers saw it? That's true, it's me who didn't think it through. Hearing this, the commander thought about it and felt that it was indeed not good. This being discovered was secondary. If it was stolen by someone, it would be a big problem. After thinking for a few seconds, he suddenly thought of something. He walked to the desk and took out a black baton like baton from it, and said to Honger, then you can take the stun baton. This stun baton is very powerful. As long as you press the switch to contact the target, no matter how strong the other party is, they will all fall down within a second. So powerful? Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but say as her eyes lit up, if it was to use the stun baton for self-defense, that would be a good idea. Having this in, as long as the other party didn't have a gun, there shouldn't be a big problem with all of her own safety. After all, she still had orange by her side for protection. Yes, this is the latest product from my evolutionary department's research. 
After the commander handed the stun baton to Sister Honger, he took out another form and said, Fill out this form, and after I transmit it to the intranet, you'll be an official member. In the future, the benefits that the other revolvers have, you'll have as well. Okay. Sister Honger nodded at her words, and began to fill out the form. Nini Nini, look over here. Sister Honger hugged Chung how as she filled out the information, and the commander on the opposite side hooked his finger and shouted when he saw it. He had watched this little tiger inside the live broadcast for a long time, and now that he had seen it with his own eyes, of course he was going to tease it. And now he is going to use his years of mastery one finger zen. Is this shouting at me? Chang Hao, who stayed in Honger's arms, froze at the words, and then his eyes couldn't help but show a retarded look. He, the king of all beasts, actually gave someone a kitten. Doesn't he want to lose face? Moreover, if you hook your hand and don't even give some benefits, the ghosts will pay attention to you. Ah, uh, the kitten is quite temperamental. Seeing Chang Hao turn his head, a lazy look, the commander could not help but froze. It was said that cats were arrogant to death, and all of them were high cold personalities, but now it seemed to be true. It is true that the police dog is better to tease ah. Whistling a hook hand ran over. Sir this is a little tiger not kitty. I think you should say meow meow is right. Su Lele on the side saw it and corrected out loud. Where is there a little tiger called me meow? At least it should be called meow. Okay? Are you sure? This is a cat's call. Right? Hearing this, the commander looked at Su Lele and said. Where is the tiger meow? This is obviously problematic. But Mimi is also calling out a cat's name. Little Orange isn't a cat. Su Lele sniffed and retorted. Even if what she said was wrong, what the commander said was also wrong ah. The evolution department has these two crouching dragons and phoenix chicks. I'm afraid it's a bit difficult to develop and grow. Listening to the conversation between the two, Chan Hao couldn't help but close his eyes somewhat intolerantly. Actually, no matter how much you two shout, if you don't give little orange meat to eat, he won't take care of you as usual. Sister Honger, who was filling out the form, finished writing and looked at the two who were arguing and said, Shao Tangerine has always not worked without giving me to eat. They want Shao Tangerine to care about them with empty gloves? It was estimated that they would have to change their target. But I guess it's also hard enough. The tiger cubs inside the tiger park simply won't communicate with people other than the keepers. So bluttonous? No wonder it eats round like a ball. The commander who heard this muttered and withdrew his hooked finger. Since he knew that Orange wouldn't pay any attention to him, he didn't bother to do anything useless. You little villain. You ate so much of my flesh but you ended up ignoring me. Su Lele sniffed and cursed, reaching out her hand to try to pick at Chun Hao. But soon Chun Hao stretched out his claws with a look of how dare you touch me? I'll let you taste the power of my cat cat fist. This angry Su Lele couldn't help but gnash her teeth, and could only continue cursing with impotent fury. All right, little red you can take this little villain away. Lest you go back late and your head gardener worries. The commander looked at this scene and said to Sister Honger with a smile. This sight of someone being even more wretched than him made him feel much more comfortable in his heart. Okay, sir. Sister Honger nodded at his words, patting Chung Hao as he waved his claws and educated. A good baby can't be this flailing. You know, you're not a good boy. Sun is not a good boy. Ow ow, she started it. Chang Hao, who was patted on the paw, voiced out that the breeder lady was clearly pulling the strings, and he was not convinced that he was not convinced. All right, be good. Seeing this, Sister Honger took out another people leg from inside the lunchbox and stuffed it inside Chung Hao's open mouth. Ow oh, ow oh, 555. With a chicken leg stuffed inside his mouth, Chang Hao's voice instantly changed from cursing to chewing. For the sake of Peepa's leg, I'll spare you first. Otherwise, I'll make sure you know what a cat fight is like. Chewing on Peepa leg, Chang Hao said that he was very busy right now and couldn't spare the time to deal with the other party. Otherwise he would definitely make the other party look good. Damn glutton. One day I'll jerk your head bald. Su Lele gritted her teeth, but Chung Hao, who was struggling with Peepa's legs, directly ignored her. Satisfied now, you little glutton. Don't keep cursing if you're satisfied. Sister Honger packed her backpack and picked up Chung Hao towards the commander and Su Lele said, Then I'll take little orange away first ah. If there's something, sir you can call me. Okay, okay. The commander said with a smile, watching Sister Honger carry Chang Hao away. Sir, don't you need to arrange someone to protect Sister Breeder from leaving? Su Lele opened her mouth to ask. There wouldn't be anything wrong with the Breeder Sister going back so late? Is there really no need to arrange someone to protect her? No need. Didn't you see how that criminal was beaten up by her? That was still with her bare hands. Now that she has a stun baton in her hand, I do think we need to worry about the safety of those guys. The commander who heard this spoke out. He had just received a picture of the criminal, and he was shocked to see the look on his opponent's face. 
just a fierce breeder like that? And Lele was thinking of protecting the other party? Who's protecting who here? We still don't know when the time comes. That's true. Su Lele nodded after thinking carefully. Little orange be good and obedient. Sit in the back and don't run around okay? Now sister is going to take you home to go oh. Disobedient children by then will not be able to drink the potted grandma that sister prepared for him. After placing Chang Hao on the back seat, sister Honger opened her mouth and admonished. Ow ow, promise to be good. Chang Hao sniffed and hastily nodded his head. Only then did sister Honger feel relieved and went to drive. Young man, right now I have a bad news and a good news to tell you. I don't know which one you want to hear first. Inside the emergency room of the Evolver Department, the doctor looked at the skinny man wrapped up like a mummy in front of him and said with a smile, I, I have good news now. The skinny man heard, the whole person is about to cry. The other side of the good news is finally investigated clearly he did not commit any crime. Immediately release him? Of course, so do you want to hear it? The doctor smiled and inquired, a mysterious smile on his face. Listen, listen, must listen. The skinny man said hastily, unable to contain his excitement in his heart. Then I'll tell you ah, after our diagnosis, you should only be able to spend this life in bed without any accidents. That's why you don't need to go to jail. You can live within the Disabled Persons Federation, the doctor said with a smile as he listened. This is considered good news? The skinny man who heard this couldn't help but ask with his eyes wide open. He had become disabled. Where was this something to be happy about? Sorry, I should have said the two paragraphs separately. First, I'll tell you the good news that you don't have to go to jail, and then I'll tell you the bad news that you've become a disabled person. The doctor couldn't help but slap his head when he responded. That still makes no difference ah. The skinny man sniffed and felt like his entire being was dumbfounded. Why did the heavens treat him like this ah? It was obvious that he had only just intended to be a bad guy. There is still a difference. At least the environment inside the cell can be much worse than here. The doctor patted the skinny man's shoulder and said with a smile. We on this side can at least arrange a comfortable big bedroom for you ah, and a beautiful environment. But what does that have to do with me? The thin man's eyes were hollow as he said. He couldn't even get up now. He was a complete wreck. So what use were the surroundings even better for him? That's true. The doctor nodded as he listened and said. Just look on the bright side. At least you've saved a life. Your companions won't be so lucky. What happened to them? The skinny man who heard this inquired. Speaking of which. He had been lying over here for so long that he wasn't sure what happened to Cohen and the others. Only two survived out of the bunch. The others were killed on the spot. The doctor shook his head and said. Ha, huh, so vicious? Slim sniffed the pupils of his eyes couldn't help but dilate. He had always thought that Cohen and the others were being just captured. He hadn't thought that they were actually shot down directly. Yes, one became mentally retarded. And one like you can't stand for the rest of his life. The doctor nodded and said. Who told you guys to commit the least of the crimes? If it wasn't for a bad file, you should all be finished by now. What's this about files? The skinny man asked in fear. Of course it's off. The top will have to look at it when the time comes. Can't say that the criminals are all shot, right? There has to be a few left alive ah. Otherwise it would look like our evolutionary department is too vicious and bloody, which is very bad. Do you understand? The doctor said, as if he was talking about a rare thing. Hearing this, the thin man's spine shivered and he nodded repeatedly, understand, understand, thank you to the Evolver Sector for having such unspoken rules, thank you to them for leaving me a way to live, tap tap, tap tap, inside the energy saving lighted dormitory corridor, Chung Hao took small steps and turned into a black shadow running towards the dormitory, followed closely by Sister Honger, little orange run slower, be careful of falling, Sister Honger shouted as she chased after her, little orange, this glutton, as soon as he heard that there were pots of milk to drink, he ran like crazy, fearing that the pots of milk would grow legs. There are no other little tigers to fight with him to grab it. So what's the point? Ow ow, oh whoa. Oh. Running Chang Hao back. But the limbs of the small short legs still did not slow down. Until rushed to the door of the Red Sister's dormitory. Which slowly and leisurely break. Squatting on the ground waiting for the Red Sister to come over. You this little glutton once heard there is food run so fast. The sister are forgotten is not at ah. Hong her sister, who had finally caught up with her arrived and knocked Chang Hao's head in a bad mood, saying, ow ow, no, pain pain, Chang Hao, who was knocked on the head, immediately pretended to be pitiful and looked at sister Hong Er blearily, a look like if you hit me again, I'm going to really cry out, don't give sister play poor, you this little bad egg every day to eat so much meat, sister just casually touch, but also can hit the pain you not, sister Hong Er saw and scolded with a smile, little orange this little bad egg witty is no one more witty than him ah, just gently knocked him on the head and began to pretend to be pitiful. 
Also do not take a look at his big head in the end how heavy how big? Ow ow, it really hurts. Chang Hao, who was pretending, revealed a look of I don't understand it just hurts. Seeing this, Sister Honger helplessly picked Chang Hao up. You this little villain just no bully sister love you. When you grow up, sister see you still to whom to pamper go? Ow ow, still looking for sister. Chang Hao, who was hugged, thoughtlessly replied, Miss Breeder is his nanny. Of course she is looking for Miss Breeder if she is in trouble. Come on, when the time comes, my sister won't dare to come close to this little glutton of yours, Sister Honger said while opening the door. Right now, sister can still bring you around. When you grow up to one year old, you have to enter the free range area. Sister will have to go to take care of the other little tigers. Don't bully the other tigers when you're in the free range area, okay? Ow ow. Obviously other tigers want to bully me, Chung Hao who heard this argued, he is a good tiger, how could he bully other tigers for no reason, other tigers bully him more or less, nonsense, sister has seen you grabbing other tiger cubs meat more than once, it's just that sister loves you and didn't say you in public, do you think sister is really blind, sister Honger slapped Chung Hao's butt and said in a bad mood, Shao Tangerine was there at the little tiger kindergarten, but he even snatched out the meat that the other little tigers had bitten in their mouths, and also said that she would not bully other little tigers at that time, who would believe this ah this, ow ow, it's definitely not me, sister, you're looking at it wrong, Chung Hao argued, the keeper's sister must have misread it at that time, there must be other tiger cubs that look like him, he was so well behaved, how could he possibly snatch the meat from other tiger cubs, really, then you bad guy don't get caught by sister next time, or sister won't be so biased in favor of you then, sister Honger stared at Chung Hao and said, Starting to add powdered milk inside the iron bowl to modulate the tub of milk. Ow, that's probably me. Upon hearing this, Chung Hao immediately conceded. Well, he actually did rob the other little tigers of their meat. But he was all worried that they would waste their food ah. He, a tiger, couldn't see the other little tigers wasting the most. So that's why he stepped in to help them. What do you mean it could be you? Then it must be you bad guy. Sister Honger laughed and scolded when she heard this. No such things are allowed in the future. If you don't have enough to eat then just tell your sister. Why do you want to go and grab the meat on the mouths of the other little tigers? It could still be him? This is definitely this little bad guy. Little orange. Okay? How could other tigers be as fat as him? Ow ow, got it. Got it. Chung Hao stared at sister Honger holding the pots of milk and kept nodding his head. As long as Miss Breeder gave him the pots of milk to drink. What Miss this says is what she says. You little villain. Do you need to keep staring at the pots and pans of milk? Is it that you don't give Poon Poon milk for you to drink? You little villain still don't recognize your mistake ah? After Sister Honger realized this, she tried to move the basin basin milk in her hand, and saw Chang Hao, who was sitting with his gaze moving along with it, and couldn't help but be speechless. The snacker really didn't listen to anything, and was just thinking about the pots of milk. Ow ow, no. No. Chang Hao shook his head while keeping his gaze fixed on the iron bowl. How could he be that kind of tiger? Miss Breeder definitely thought wrong. Forget it. Seeing this, Sister Honger let out a deep sigh and put the iron bowl in front of Chung Hao, who made Sister so unlucky to pick you out of a bunch of little tigers. Gulp. The only thing that answered Sister Honger was the sound of Chung Hao gulping down potted milk, and Sister Honger couldn't help but hold her head when she saw it. Others were talking to a cow, but she was reasoning with a tiger. Sure enough, when Chow Tangerine was eating, she couldn't listen to anything she told him. All right. Little orange you remember to go to bed after drinking. Sister is a bit tired right now and wants to get some rest. Ow ow, okay, okay. Chang Hao sniffed and nodded. So he continued to drink the tub tub milk. Drinking and pots of milk before going to bed would definitely make him grow stronger after he fell asleep. This little glutton. Sister Honger shook her head when she saw this before lying down to sleep. There were so many things that she had experienced today. And she needed a good rest to slow down before she could do so. It's so delicious. It's just a pity that the daily portions are prescribed ah. Chang Hao, who had finished drinking the tub of milk, looked at the milk powder can on the table with some lingering interest. If it wasn't for the fact that he was too small now and his paws weren't as nimble as his fingers, he really wanted to mix himself another pot of potted milk to drink while the young lady was sleeping. This way, he could be several steps ahead of the other little tigers. But this was just a thought. He couldn't do it at all. Thinking of this, Chang Hao couldn't help but sigh and burrowed into the cat's nest, and went to sleep. Z, squeak, on the grass in a corner of the calm home to mountain northeast tiger forest park, a small mouse sneaked across the lawn, and suddenly the whole mouse twitched like it was electrocuted, letting out a painful scream, only see in this little mouse's abdomen flow out of the scarlet blood, and in its body is a stand with a blood bermuda grass, like a sword like in the moonlight shining, painful little mouse looked at this erected grass, eyes cannot help but scatter a trace of fear, 
and then fled in a panic. After the little mouse ran far away, the blood began to flow into the roots of the grass along with the erected leaves, and was absorbed by the root system of the grass. Zip! As the blood disappeared into thin air, the grass under the moonlight seemed to grow a little taller, quietly waiting for the next animal that was destined for it. Ow ow! The subtle smell of blood soon drew the attention of the tigers in the free-ranging area, roaring to find the source of the blood odor, their eyes staring at the surrounding trees from time to time. Russell! Russell! When the moth fluttering its wings landed on the leaves of the camphor tree, the leaves suddenly looked like a net, wrapping up the unsuspecting moth, and when the moth wanted to break free, it could no longer break free from the leaves that were tougher than it was when it broke its cocoon, and it could only flutter its wings helplessly and sleep in the leaves. When the moth's wings finally did not stir, the wrapped leaves slowly loosened, and the moth's body fell on the black soil. At that moment, the soil suddenly trembled slightly, and tiny tree whiskers broke out of the ground and rolled the moth's body back into the ground. When the night breeze blew again, everything was calm once more. Russell, Russell, the bright sunlight shone on the grass. A chubby little tiger stepped on the green grassland with small broken steps, hanging his head while walking and sniffing around. Behind him was Sister Hunger who was holding up her cell phone for live broadcast. How old is Little Orange now? Little Orange is almost three months old now. Looking at the questions asked by the water users in the live broadcast room, Sister Hunger smiled back. Little Orange is only three months old now? But this head of his looks as big as four months are. Yeah, the difference between Little Orange's size and the other little tigers is too big, right? That's right, that's right. What kind of good food did Little Orange eat? The water friends in the live broadcast room said incredulously after hearing this. Little Orange was actually only three months old? They all thought that Little Orange was four months old. After all, it wasn't like they hadn't seen a three-month-old tiger cub before, but there was no one as fat as Little Orange. Of course they didn't eat anything good. We treat all the little tigers equally. As long as they are hungry they will definitely feed them meat. Sister Honger saw the statements of the water friends and said with a smile, in addition the different individual differences between the tigers are still very large, so it's not uncommon for the tigers in the same month to have a bit of a difference in weight. I see. Learned learned learned. The water users who heard this revealed a look of realization, then continued to ask after them. Then what is Little Orange doing on the lawn right now? It can't be looking for grass to eat again, right? Yes. What's the little tiger's favorite grass to eat? Miss Keeper. Do other tigers love to eat grass? They weren't sure. But what they did know was that this little tiger they were now watching was a notorious glutton, up to grabbing the meat of other tiger cubs, down to nibbling on wild vegetables. As long as there was anything that could be eaten, there was absolutely no way he would let it go. I'm not too sure about this. I'll have to continue following Little Orange along with everyone else to find out. Sister Honger said with a smile after seeing this. The water friends in the live broadcast room then followed the camera. Evolved Little Grass where are you? Hurry up and move yourself. Don't let me keep searching ah, or else I'll find it, but it's not good. Chung Hao carefully stepped on the ground, his eyes fixed on the surrounding grasses and trees, always on guard against these normally harmless looking plants suddenly attacking him. He hadn't forgotten the words of that what's his name officer who said yesterday that all living things were evolving. Especially the terrifying methods displayed by these evolved plants made his scalp feel numb. But even if his scalp was numb again, he still had to do something in order to do it ah. Since this world had already seen such a major change, he had to save for a rainy day in the future. Otherwise, if he was targeted by evolved people or evolved plants and animals, then he would be finished. It was not easy to come to this world without having to study or be a social animal and could enjoy the life of a top-notch waste, but if it ended early because of these guys, then how unlucky would it be, how unlucky would that be, therefore, after a period of deep thought, he decided to take the lead and go out to find other evolved plants and animals to eat, using this method to make himself a little stronger, to make himself stronger, of course, it would take a bit of time to find evolved animals, but to find these plants, there would be no problem, therefore, he immediately set his eyes on the grass that was everywhere in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, he didn't believe that in the entire Red Pagoda Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, only he and the Keeper's sister had become evolved creatures, there must be other guys, and inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, the most is not the tree nor the tiger but these small grasses, as long as the small grasses in here are evolved plants, then he can eat the other side, enhance their own strength, after all, a small grass cannot be powerful, will not be as scary as the evolution of animals and those evolved trees, but after searching in the grass for most of the day, he didn't find so much. Just when Chang Hao thought if there was something wrong with his guess, the faint smell of blood quickly caught his attention. He only saw a small plant on the lawn in front of him, growing sturdier and taller than the grass next to it, and the smell of blood intensified as he got closer. Interesting, actually really let me find it. 
Chang Hao was very happy in his heart when he saw it, but on the surface, he still didn't move and approached the grass, and this time he went even slower than just now, because he wasn't sure what this evolved little grass was capable of, was it like what that officer said that it would suddenly rise up and pester him, or use other strange means against him, but after circling around this little grass in a big circle, Chang Hao found that there didn't seem to be anything else strange about this little grass other than its original abnormality, and his heart was suddenly puzzled. This little grass shouldn't be unable to attack actively, only passive, right? Although it is said that this small grass body has been invisible blood, but his sensitive nose is not a pose ah, eyes more not blind, can be sure that this small grass he did move? Little orange you around to think about what this little plant of grass to do? You would not want to eat grass again, right? Sister Honger, who was holding her cell phone for live broadcasting, came over and saw Chang Hao stop over here to surround a small plant of grass, and couldn't help but laugh. This little glutton was really just like what everyone said, planning to be a little goat eating grass again. Chang Hao, who was pondering over the problem, heard Sister Hong Ah's voice and suddenly an idea was generated in his mind. So he called out towards Sister Hong Ah. Ow ow, Sister cut the grass. Doesn't matter if this grass is an evolved plant or not, as long as Miss Sister used her scythe to help him cut it down, then everything would naturally see the light of day. Do you want your sister to help you cut down this grass and eat it? When Sister Hong Ah heard this, she couldn't help but say in an unfavorable manner. When can you little glutton change this gluttony? Are you really going to eat grass? Little orange this glutton wants to eat also even if. Actually want her to cut good too. She really has not heard of this kind of request. And it's not just a little grass? Little orange had gone to too much trouble. Actually let her take a knife to cut? If she had the time, she would have pulled it down. Thinking of this, Sister Honger planned to reach out and pull it. Ow ow, don't use your hand. Use the knife. Seeing Sister Honger wanting to touch it with her hand, Chang Hao hurriedly ran to her legs to stop it. He was wondering if this grass was an evolved creature or not, but there was no thought of letting Sister Breeder disregard the safety to test it. Ah, did you discover something? Little Orange. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger asked out loud. Little Orange's movements were abnormal. Usually when she wanted to eat something she would just pounce on it. Today she actually went against the norm and let her cut it with a knife. Ow ow, there's the smell of blood here. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head back. There's a smell of blood? Sister Honger's heart couldn't help but tighten as she heard this. Her face couldn't help but look solemn. Xiao Tangerine's words made her think of those plants that Lele had said would absorb animal blood. Then from the pocket inside took out the telescopic self-timer rod toward the grass hit. Ding ding stainless steel material self-timer rod hit crooked grass above. Issued as if knocked on the top of what metal-like sound. This Bermuda grass is also too powerful. Right? The selfie stick knocked down decidedly just bent a little bit. All constantly falling. Yes. I have heard that the life force of grass is very tenacious. I am now considered to have seen it. Listening to the crisp ringing sound, the viewers in the live broadcast room couldn't help but be surprised. Although they knew that the grass that made the lawn was tenacious and hard, but they didn't think that it could actually be hard to such a degree. The selfie stick knocked on it actually only bent it and didn't make it break. This grass is wrong. Very wrong. Compared to the surprise of the water friends in the live broadcasting room. At this time, Sister Honger's vigilance had already been raised to the highest point. She could be certain that the grass in front of her was definitely not any ordinary grass, because if she went down with this much force, even a shrub would have to be broken by her. How could this grass possibly withstand it? The only explanation was that this grass might be an evolutionary plant, the entire grass evolving towards a harder direction, which was able to block her attack. Of course whether or not there was something else was less clear, and further verification was needed before that could be done. This grass is definitely an evolutionary plant with no mistake. And it's still an evolutionary plant that doesn't have the means to actively attack people. Chang Hao, who heard the ding ding sound, already had a result in his heart. And he wasn't distracted while the breeder sister was listening to the commander. From the other side of the narrative can obviously know one thing. That is, the evolution of evolutionary organisms in a single direction. The tree in order to obtain more nutrients toward the evolution of animals, evolved out of the roots can be moved to facilitate predation. Breeder sister when the breeder and the animals contact for a long time so we'll be able to understand the direction of animal language evolution. And this little grass evolved in the direction of being harder, which would mean that this little grass was not capable of anything other than being harder than other grasses. Luckily, he didn't bite down with his mouth, otherwise he would probably have his mouth pierced by this grass, and then he would be stealing a chicken. But now there is a young lady to help him after the test, then he can be unscrupulous to pull up this grass to eat. After all, no matter how hard the blades on top of this grass evolved, he believed that the roots underneath were still soft. Thinking of this, Chun Hao leapt and landed in front of the grass and took a bite. Then with a hard pull, the entire grass was pulled out. Ah, what are you doing? 
Little Orange? Sister Honger, who was pondering what to do with this little grass, saw the scene and couldn't help but ask in panic, why did this bad guy suddenly pounce on the grass and chew it up? Ow ow, eat. Chang Hao, who spat out the grass and nibbled its roots back, found a familiar heat flow coming from the inside of his mouth, and couldn't help but freeze the whole tiger. This heat flu was very familiar. He remembered that he bit the cockroach and bit the rat, even when there was that criminal there had been. Could it be that this was the evolutionary power inside their bodies? Then wouldn't he have absorbed a lot of evolutionary power? No wonder he was so powerful. So there was a reason for it. I had heard that this little tiger has a very powerful skill that likes to eat grass. Originally I didn't believe it, but now I see that it's true. Yes, this tiger is really good to feed. Please make sure to breed more. This way I will be able to realize my dream of raising a tiger. Plus one, plus one. The water friends who saw this familiar scene immediately rose up. Little orange you blutton. As soon as sister wasn't paying attention, you started eating something you shouldn't be eating again. Seeing Chang Hao dazed, sister Honger quickly squatted down and pinched the flesh of the back of Chang Hao's neck with one hand, placing her cell phone inside her, inside her pocket and didn't care if she was broadcasting live or not. She directly grabbed the small grass and pulled it outwards inside Chang Hao. You this bad guy quickly give sister loose mouth here? This grass is so hard. Be careful to cut your mouth. Little Orange this big glutton clearly know that this grass has a problem actually still eat, also not afraid to give him medicine to die. Who knows if this grass will be poisonous after it becomes an evolved plant. Ow ow, it's okay. Chang Hao, who was taken away from the grass inside his mouth, didn't resist. Anyway, the evolutionary power of this grass had already been absorbed by him, and the young lady taking it over was just getting a tougher grass. What a hard grass. Sister Honger, who had successfully taken over the grass from Chang Hao's mouth held the grass and couldn't help but be secretly alarmed. Then as soon as she threw the grass away, she examined Chung Hao's mouth, you little villain with such a gluttonous mouth, you know how to eat indiscriminately every day, one day you'll have an accident on this, be a good boy and open your mouth wide for your sister, let your sister take a look, has your mouth been pierced by this grass? Ow ow, no, no, Chang Hao, who had his mouth broken open by sister Honger, felt that his entire mouth was sore and hurriedly shouted out, however, the voice that came out was stuttering and somewhat inaudible. Be good. Sister is checking if your mouth is injured? Don't resist do you know? Or else sister will get angry. Noticing that Chang Hao was resisting, Sister Honger spoke out. Ow ow, hurry up. Chang Hao who heard this said, he actually pressed nothing at all. Miss sister this is really worrying too much ah. Got it. Sister is almost done checking. Sister Honger pulled Chang Hao's lips to make sure that there was really no wound and then released her hand. You're a glutton next time. You're not allowed to eat randomly, or else your sister will put up a mouth cover for you. Do you hear me clearly? Ow ow, oh whoa. Oh. Chang Hao, whose face was twisted with his mouth open and his facial muscles moving, nodded his head, and the keeper's sister was really hard on him, almost dislocating his mouth. That's good. Only an obedient little tiger sister will like it. Sister Honger smiled and touched Chang Hao's head, and finally suddenly thought of something, and hurriedly took her cell phone out of her pocket. No good. I almost forgot that it was being broadcast live. It's all because of this bad guy, Little Orange. That made my sister forget about this matter. Ow, blame me. Chang Hao, who was constantly opening his mouth, muttered. And after determining his mouth, there was nothing going on. Only then did he not continue to open and close it. Brothers, is this dark? Why can I only hear Missy's voice but can't see Missy Breeder's person ah? Brothers don't worry. It's definitely not dark. It's just that you're blind. Yeah. We can all see Miss Sister clearly. You must just be blind. Don't worry there's nothing going on. Really? That's really great. I thought my cell phone was broken. So it's just blindness ah. Then there's nothing going on. The water friends in the live broadcast room. Discovering that the live broadcast room had actually darkened. Only hearing the voice of the young lady and not seeing any picture. They immediately swiped the screen. I'm sorry. Everyone. Little orange. This bad guy is always messing with his food. In order to snatch the grass out of his mouth. That's why I put my cell phone inside my pocket. Just as they were discussing, the light was once again restored inside the live broadcast room, and Sister Honger saw the live broadcast room speaking, somewhat embarrassed. She said, it was obvious that she was live streaming, but she had forgotten all about her water friends, but ran to grab the grass inside Little Orange's mouth. I hope the water friends inside the live broadcast room won't blame her. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just take a break in the middle of the show. Yeah, Miss Breeder is really great actually able to seize food from the tiger's mouth. That's right that's right. Miss Breeder is really great. Hearing this, the water friends laughed and said, Miss Breeder is beautiful and sweet, but she also raises tigers. 
who wouldn't like a misbreeder like this? It's just that she's a little bit cold to them, but it doesn't really matter at all. Thank you all so much for understanding. Seeing that the water friends didn't get angry, Sister Honger couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Holding up her cell phone to give everyone a look at the little grass she had snatched from Chung Hao's mouth, author June in the chapter released a lot of fat tiger's eggs oh, you can look at it. Button reading readers if you cannot see it, you can come to the starting point to see. The photos of these eggs are what the fat tiger probably looks like. Breeder Miss Forever got ah, actually can snatch up the small grass from inside the tiger's mouth. It's really awesome. Yeah, Miss Sister is really great. The water friends in the live broadcast room couldn't help but say adoringly after seeing the small grass that Miss Keeper was holding in her hands. Just how protective of food was Little Orange? Through the previous live broadcast, they were able to understand one or two. At that time, with the little girl as the same breeder sister hugged the little orange, the little orange owl screamed, violently resisted, but did not think to the breeder sister, this side later turned into a good tiger. In fact, it's not as powerful as everyone imagines. Although the little orange is more gluttonous, he actually doesn't dare to hurt me. Seeing the compliments of the water friends in the live broadcast room, Sister Honger was a little embarrassed and laughed. Chang Hao on the side saw, sitting on the ground with complex eyes looking at the smiling red sister. As if to say miss you are great you hi, from my mouth to grab grass just to get other people's praise. Little orange what's wrong with you ah, why a look of moping ah. Sister although said rob you bite the grass, but this is for your good to know. Seeing Chung Hao looked at the eyes, red sister could not help but smile and touched Chung Hao's little head and said, little bad eggs do not be too sad. Sister later to get you meat to eat okay? Is meat not as delicious as little grass? Ow ow, okay. Hearing this Chung Hao reluctantly nodded his head although he said that he already knew that he had absorbed the power of this little grass, but Missy taking this little grass and not eating it, and not throwing it away over there to show it off, it was really a kind of behavior of occupying a pit and not taking a shit ah, moreover, for this evolved little grass taste in the end how, in fact, he is also still a little curious, after all, he just bit down, even the flavor is not how to taste out, the young lady will give him to snatch away, laughing me to death, little orange looks so pathetic, a look of wanting to curse but not daring to show it, almost like a pissed off sufferer ah, not bad, not bad, I have to save it quickly, I think I've got my source of happiness for today, I'm going to take it back and share my happiness with everyone, same for me, the other water friends inside the live broadcast room followed suit, saving the picture inside the live broadcast and giving the picture a string of text, that's good behavior, sister Honger smiled and got up, waving her hand towards Chung Hao, come with my sister, my sister will see which breeder is nearby, my sister will give you some meat to eat, okay? Ah, uh, Miss Breeder, you're still going to go along with the chicken legs brought by other breeders? Chang Hao heard, and felt that the breeder sister this and he robbed the meat of other tigers there is no difference, only that the sister this is in advance to greet people, he did not play just, what's wrong little orange, you don't want to eat meat, why do not you move? Sister Honger walked in front and after realizing that Chang Hao behind her didn't follow, she couldn't help but shout towards Chang Hao. Little orange this isn't even active in eating meat anymore. It can't really be angry. Right? Ow ow, coming. Chung Hao sniffed and immediately took small steps towards Sister Honger to catch up. And Sister Honger was relieved to see this and continued walking. Sister Honger was relieved to see this and continued walking. She said, how could little orange suddenly stop being a glutton? It was true that she had overthought it. This little tiger is so fat. You guys look. Yeah, it's so fat it's almost a ball. The tourists who were watching the tiger inside the tiger park couldn't help but say in surprise when they saw Chang Hao coming their way. They had seen a lot of little tigers, but this was the first time they had seen such a fat one. How can a bunch of guys with no eyesight be called fat? I'm obviously strong. Okay? Believe it or not I will slap your heads off ah. Chang Hao, who tilted his head back and strutted towards the front, listened to the tourists on the road spouting about him being fat, and didn't have curses in his heart. It's not like he ate their rice. Are these guys as far as so many things? Hello everyone, welcome to Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. This is our strongest little tiger, Little Orange, inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Sister Honger, who had followed closely, listened to the crowd's discussion and smiled as she introduced Chung Hao to everyone. For Sister Honger's behavior, Cheng Hao was helpless. The keeper's sister is really a work-oriented ah. At this time, she still doesn't forget to sell the Hongtashan Northeast Tiger Forest Park to everyone. No wonder she will be the most valued keeper by the director among the many keepers in the Hongtashan Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Very strong indeed. At such a young age, he is already about to collapse the Kong. Yes, so fat at such a young age. I wonder what it will be like when it grows up. 
The tourists who heard Sister Honger's introduction couldn't help but cover their mouths and giggle softly, taking photos with their cell phones. Seeing this, Chang Hao immediately ran away. A bunch of white whore monsters knew how to make fun of him over here, not even giving him any meat. He wasn't going to stay here to give them fun. He was going to keep going to find the evolutionary plants. Little orange don't run ah, sister will get you some meat to eat. Stop quickly. Seeing this, sister Honger didn't care about introducing herself to the tourists and hurriedly chased after them. Little orange now really grown up ah, actually have a temper. Was next to the person to say a few words, but also not happy. You should know that the Hongto Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park relies on tourists to make money. And this is not good for little tangerine. In Chang Hao running, suddenly appeared in front of a shadow, when he wanted to break when it was too late, straight into the up to the people hit, Agu, orange you bad guy what are you running for, the gardener, who fell on his butt on the ground, said in a bad mood after he got up, he was just about to go back to the office when this bad guy Shao Tangerine suddenly bumped into him, almost breaking his old bones, thanks to his regular exercise and various calcium tablets, this old bone is not so easy to break, ah ah, the gardener, hearing the familiar voice, Chang Hao couldn't help but feel a shock in his heart, looking at the falling figure and subconsciously trying to run away. But the head gardener's hand speed can be much faster than him. A hand grabbed Chang Hao's tail, you this bad guy bumped into grandpa after his not just wanna run away ah, I'm telling you things don't end so easily. A misbehaving little tiger like you must be taught a good lesson, actually running around and bumping into each other inside the tiger park. Fortunately the one who bumped into him was grandpa, otherwise if he bumped into someone else he wouldn't have to pay for his death? Ow, oh, I didn't do it on purpose ah, Chang Hao, who was caught by his tail, said that he was very unlucky today, and actually bumped into grandpa, the head gardener who hadn't gone out for a long time, and it's still the literal meaning of bumping into, now it's over, the head gardener's grandpa won't want to reduce his food ration, right, if that's the case, then he might have to face the crisis of not having enough to eat in the future, what's wrong with you, mister, Gardener, why are you sitting on the ground and grabbing Little Orange's tail? If you want to play with Little Orange, you don't have to play like this. Sister Honger who rushed over couldn't help but freeze when she saw this scene. The head gardener is too childish. He actually sat down and grabbed Little Orange's tail in public. Little Red ah, uh, I'm not playing. This little villain just knocked me over and is still trying to escape. If it wasn't for my quick eyes and hands catching him, he would probably have run out of sight by now. The head gardener who heard this took a deep breath and said, Usually he was the one who flirted with others. This was the first time he was flirted with by others. Really old face is going to be lost ah. Ha, huh? Sister Honger couldn't help but look at Chung Hao when she heard this, not thinking that in just a moment of her absence, Xiao Tangerine had caused trouble for her. Ow ow, sister save me. Chang Hao, who had been caught by the tail, shouted. Now the only one who could save him was Miss Breeder. The other party must save him. Otherwise, Grandpa Gardener might think of some means to punish him. You this bad guy broke into trouble is no let sister to seek help, just let you don't run. You bad guy just don't listen. Now it's good, right? Sister Honger smiled and said in a bad mood, squatting down and pressing Chang Hao's head. Master of the garden you quickly get up. The ground is not clean ah. Okay, Xiao Hong you give me a tight grip on the little orange this little bad guy ah. Hearing this, the head gardener let go of Chang Hao's tail, climbed up from the ground, patted the ash on his body and said, this little bad guy is running around in the park. Fortunately this time it was me who hit him, otherwise if he hit the tourists, what can be done? He must be made to learn a good lesson, but Xiao Tangerine is still a baby now, garden manager. Sister Honger listened and defended Chung Hao, it's the time when he's the most curious and likes to play the most, or else the punishment is even, right? Ow ow, yes, yes. Hearing this, Chang Hao nodded his head, he was still just a three month old tiger baby, how could the head gardener punish him? No, if we don't educate little orange properly, what if he bites someone in the future? The head gardener sniffed and looked at Chung Hao before saying, Xiao Hong, you put little orange inside the cage and let him reflect for an afternoon. Although Xiao Tangerine was not at fault for being a little tiger, he could not be spared just like that. There had to be some punishment for little orange. Otherwise there was no way little orange would realize what he had done wrong. Ow ow, don't ah, hearing this Chung Hao sent out a cry of grief. The director of the park is abusing the little tiger ah. How can you do such a thing to a three month old baby? Well, Small orange don't shout. Who let you run around in the garden ah? Sister Honger heard to lift up Chung Hao said. Good boy are inside the cage to stay for an afternoon no? When the garden manager's anger subsides, you'll be released. Ow ow, save me. Chung Hao sniffed and cried out pitifully. How small the cage was. Could the breeder's sister bear to watch him suffer inside? Be good. Little orange. Who let you bump into the head gardener for nothing? Sister can't save you. 
Sister Hongr looked at Chung Hao's pitiful eyes and sighed helplessly. In the end, she was just a laborer, and now that Xiao Tangerine had messed with the boss, there was nothing she could do to help. Little Orange will honestly stay inside the iron cage this afternoon and not think about anything else. Ow ow, 555, seeing that all his cute killing moves were useless. Chun Hao couldn't help but let out a miserable sound. Grandpa Gardner is also too petty. He has obviously already admitted his mistake ah. Why do you still want to punish him? This little villain screams quite miserably. After hearing Chang Hao screams, the head gardener couldn't help but pat his clothes and laugh, then walked towards the office. To the little orange so a delay. He almost forgot his own business R. Now the immediate return to work before the line. Now he has to go back to work right away. Orange you this bad guy. How to run to here today? Did you do something wrong and got caught? In the cage area where the tigers usually live. Sun Xiaoyi, who was taking care of the tigers, saw Chang Hao being hugged and couldn't help but say with a smile. Little Orange was specially allowed to go to the dormitory to sleep because he wanted to shoot the New Year's blessing. Why did he suddenly come back today? And it was still caught back by Sister Honger. It looks like she made a mistake. And only a little tiger that made a mistake would be treated like this. Don't talk about it. Little Orange this little fool had nothing to do but run around and scurry inside the park. And ended up bumping into the head gardener who was planning to go back to his office. Sister Honger said with a shrug of her shoulders as she sniffed. Wasn't that a direct run-in with a gun? So the head gardener directly gave Orange an afternoon deluxe incarceration package. Really? Even though it sounds so pathetic. I want to laugh. After hearing this, Sun Xiaoyi came over to Chung Hao and gloated. I told you, this little villain, to usually be so arrogant and rob the other little tigers of their meat to eat. Now you're getting your comeuppance. Ow ow, hit the wash and I. Chung Hao couldn't help but wave his claws and cursed. He was about to be locked in a cage. And the other party actually dared to taunt him. It was really hateful. AI AI. Can't hit. Can't hit. When Sun Xiaoyi saw it and shrank back, she easily dodged Chung Hao's outstretched claws. You little villain. You're about to be confined and you're still not honest. You actually want to hit your sister. What a bad guy. A little bad guy like you should be locked up a few more times to make you remember. Ow ow, big bad guy. Chung Hao sniffed and swung his claws even more. If it wasn't for Miss Breeder holding him, he would have said anything to make a cat cat fist and swollen the other's mouth. All right. Little E. Sister Honger hugged Chung Hao tightly and said to Sun Xiaoyi, If you irritate Xiao Tangerine anymore, I won't be able to hold him anymore. At that time, if you get beaten up by him, I won't care about you. Xiao Tangerine is not an ordinary tiger. The IQ is not lower than a 5 or 6 year old child. Xiaoyi teasing other little ones is fine. If you make Xiao Tangerine angry, then she cannot hold the little orange. Oh oh. Hearing this Sun Xiaoyi immediately stopped teasing. After all, she is not the breeder of Xiao Tangerine. If Xiao Tangerine is angered, but will really chase after her to bite. Xiao Tangerine you shouldn't be angry either. Xiaoyi is just having a little fun with you. Do you need to get so angry? Sister Honger stroked Chung Hao's head and soothed. Just stay in here obediently. Okay? An afternoon will pass quickly. Ow ow, then sister you? Chang Hao, who was stuffed inside the iron cage, asked. As he listened to what Miss Sister meant. Miss Sister couldn't be that she wasn't going to accompany him. Right? Sister of course there are still jobs that need to be done ah. You don't think that sister is like you little bad guy. Don't do anything right? Sister Honger knocked Chung Hao's head and said. Then took out her cell phone from inside her pocket again. In order to get little orange. This little villain. Back inside his cage. She had once again shut down her water friends. Hopefully this time everyone would still be able to forgive her. Otherwise, one could only go off the air for a while to calm down. Oh my gosh. Missy you finally remembered us. I thought we were forgotten. Yeah. I'm really touched. That's right. Miss Sister, just do me a favor and bring a toolman to help film it next time. If you really can't, I can go to Hauntishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park to act as a stand. Your abacus is still playing quite well ah, are fast hitting me in the face. That's it. Miss don't pay attention to him. I have long hands this kind of thing can find me. The atmosphere in the live broadcast room was unusually active, but did not take into account the matter of her shutting down the live broadcast room confinement, which made Sister Honger couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. She held up her cell phone and shot Chung Hao, who was locked up inside the cage, and said, Little Orange is now confined because of his rushing the headmaster of the garden, and next I'll take you all to take a look at the big tigers of our tiger garden. Ow ow, sister save me. Chang Hao who was lying inside the cage pitifully looked at sister Honger and screamed, The keeper Miss Sister is actually going to see the big tigers, so what can he do? Sister can't save you yo, just stay over here obediently, and afternoon will pass quickly. Be good, Little Orange. Sister Honger said, and left with her steps, left behind. Chung Hao stared at the cold cage and couldn't help but think of Iron Dora Iron Window Ah in his mind. 
Ding ding, ding ding. Rhythmic metal clanging sounds came from inside the empty tiger room. Chang Hao was lying on his back inside the cage, raising his paw and knocking on the iron bar, looking at the empty scene around him in his eyes, yawning in boredom. He had taken a small nap, and as a result, there was actually no one left inside the entire tiger room. It was really strange. I don't know where Miss Breeder had gone, why didn't she come to take a look at him? He had just woken up from a nap and was a bit hungry. Ow ow, hungry hungry, ow ow, is sister there? If not, I'll come out by myself. Cheng Hao fingernails pulling the cage above the latch shouting. He shouted twice, after two, if no one defeat him words, he will go out by himself. The keeper sister seems to be a bit underestimated him, actually use such a simple cage to imprison him. This is to look down on Hua, he can just walk out anytime he wants. Okay, this cage is practically a sham. As Chang Hao's words fell, there was no sound around to answer him. So Chang Hao used his claws to pick open the latch and pushed open the iron door. You're the ones who didn't feed me, so you can't blame me for going out on my own. Chang Hao, who had burrowed out of the iron cage, muttered, and easily drilled out by wrapping his claws under the iron lock's doorway. Since Missy wasn't by his side this afternoon, he would have to start exploring the entire tiger garden for food on his own. After all, Eating was the biggest thing in the world, and he knew that the place with the most food was inside the room of the young lady. He still remembered that there were a lot of chicken legs in the room of the keeper's sister, so there was definitely nothing wrong with going to look for food there. When he thought of this, Chang Hao ran towards the staff dormitory of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, and on the way, Chang Hao walked while carefully observing the surroundings. He was afraid of bumping into other keepers or tourists. After all, he didn't come out openly this time, but sneaked out. Although the reason for sneaking out was honorable, the other keepers wouldn't listen to his explanation. Therefore, it was better to avoid bumping into them as much as possible. Sasha, Shasha, just as Chang Hao was cautiously observing the surrounding advance, his ears heard a hint of an unusual sound, but looking back there was nothing to be found, not even a moving one. Strange, I clearly heard a sound just now, why is there nothing? Chang Hao muttered, his two ears spinning around like radar pots. Russell, just at this time, the sound came again once more. There. This time, Chang Hao completely captured the source of the sound, and in his surroundings, there was a vegetable field reclaimed by the canteen lady of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. The rustling sound just now came from there. After determining the direction of the sound, Chang Hao kept his eyes on the vegetable field and slowly walked over. While walking Chang Hao slowly approached the ground. Let me see which old six is hiding in the vegetable field. Want to steal vegetables? Anyone who can make this kind of noise in a vegetable field. The ones that make this kind of noise are usually frogs or some kind of locusts or something like that. But they actually stole and ate the property inside the tiger garden in front of him. It's really detestable. It really doesn't put him in his eyes ah. Let's see if he doesn't educate the vegetable stealing bastards and make the other party pay attention to it in their next life. Frog, you be a man you. My frog can still steal vegetables? If you want to find an excuse to eat me, just say so. Cheng Hao, no. I am a pursuit of the tiger. It is impossible to do such a dirty thing. My two eyes behind the ears have seen you eating vegetables. One step, two steps, three steps, Chang Hao closer and closer to the vegetable field, and at the same time the rustle sound cannot disappear. But Chang Hao did not panic at all, because he has determined the source of the sound in the end in which vegetables, it was too late for the thief to hide his figure, because he was facing a top predator. After turning into a tiger, his perception became very strong, and the whole world became a different picture in his eyes. His current state was countless times better than when he was a human, and he was so energetic that he didn't even get tired after running for several kilometers, so how could this little thief in the vegetable field fight with him? The only option for the other party is to honestly come out and give him a pad to offset the other party's sin of stealing vegetables. Under the sun, reflecting the sun's light in front of the cabbage, chubby round little tiger, tiptoe carefully came over, eyes fixed on the cabbage, revealing a look of a hungry tiger at any time to pounce on food. And when the little tiger kept approaching, this cabbage plant shook a little bit unnoticeably. Actually still hiding thinking you can't be exposed? What a naivety. You won't know what kind of enemy you're about to face. Looking at the cabbage less than a meter away from himself actually trembling. Chang Hao can be sure that this cabbage plant is definitely not simple. And probably hides a big bug. Otherwise, how could this 7 or 8 pounds of cabbage shake like this? Let him uncover the bad guy who stole the cabbage. Chang Hao lit out his claws and his saliva flowed indisputably. He was really a bit hungry after sleeping for a while, and now he had to find something to fill his indisputable stomach before he could do so. As for whether eating worms and frogs would have parasites or something like that, don't worry about it at all. Because the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park regularly deworms him. Without any worries Chung Hao leaped up high. 
then opened his mouth toward the cabbage to bite open. In his distance from the cabbage and less than two chopsticks, the cabbage was jumped up from the ground, and then stride with two white flower legs run away. Yes, it really jumped up and ran away. Chang Hao's eyes widened when he saw this scene. He could guarantee that he would run away the first time he saw a Chinese cabbage. And the roots of this Chinese cabbage were actually as thick as a radish. And walking on the grass was just like running. Mom yeah, cabbage will actually run ah. Chang Hao, who landed on the mound and pounced on it, still can't believe this scene. He has never heard of such an outrageous thing in his previous life. The Chinese cabbage actually grew legs and ran away, and still ran from in front of him. No, it's a good thing that it ran away ah. This proves that it is an evolutionary vegetable. Eating it will definitely be able to make me stronger. After being slightly stunned for a moment, Chang Hao immediately reacted and hurriedly chased towards the running cabbage. Although the cabbage had radish-like roots to support it, its large body was still a burden. And I don't know if he had just evolved and hadn't moved around much or what he was doing. Anyway, he ran very slowly. Summarized in one sentence is able to run, but can only run a little. And the consequence of it only being able to run a little bit was that it was called to the ground by Chang Hao's claw. Ka Ching. The cabbage that landed on the ground still wanted to jump and run away. Chang Hao bit up with one bite, and his two claws pressed tightly on the cabbage, not letting the cabbage with legs escape. Sha Sha, being pressed by the cabbage, still not honestly twisting the two radish legs want to run away, but with Chang Hao teeth tore open the outside of the leaves, biting the inside of the heart of the cabbage after. The struggling Chinese cabbage, the two waving radish legs became powerless until it slowly stopped. It's the familiar warm current again. It looks like there's no mistaking that this is the evolutionary power contained in this cabbage. Chang Hao, who was biting into the cabbage, could clearly feel a warm current entering inside his body, making his entire body very comfortable and also soothing the feeling of hunger in his stomach. But this was never as good as the feeling of having his stomach truly filled. So Chang Hao let go of the Chinese cabbage after realizing that the warm current entering his body gradually stopped. Although the cabbage can also fill up the stomach, it's still too far compared to meat. Chang Hao muttered as he chewed on the leaves of the cabbage, and took a step away. How could a tiger be satisfied with just eating cabbage? Of course it was only right to go for a little more lofty ideal, and his ideal was to eat meat, so he was going to fulfill that ideal now. After Chang Hao left the vegetable field, the motionless cabbage suddenly stumbled as if drunk and climbed up, and then dragged his broken body towards the pit he had originally jumped out of. After entering their own pit, cabbage roots immediately sucked the soil inside the nutrients. Broken leaves quickly gathered up, like that closed the buds tightly together in general. If Chang Hao had seen this scene, he would have opened his mouth wide in shock, but unfortunately he did not see this scene. Otherwise, he would have known why the ancients often said, you have to get rid of the roots of the grass. Little orange, sister came to see you yo, have you little guy stayed inside obediently all this time? At the door of the tiger room, sister Honger held her cell phone and happily pushed open the door, shouting, but as the door was pushed open, the scene inside made her whole person froze, only to see that inside the empty tiger room, where was Chang Hao's figure? Eh? Has the little fat tiger been stolen this time? How come we haven't seen him? Seeing this scene, the fans in the live broadcast room also froze, and then began to discuss. Yes, obviously he was still there when we watched just now. How come he disappeared in a while? It should be unlikely. Who would dare to come to the zoo to steal a baby tiger? This cannot be said. These days thieves in addition to worthless not to steal. What is not to steal ah? That's right. The little fat tiger must have been stolen by someone. Let's not speculate. Our tiger garden is equipped with cameras. If someone stole the little orange, it would have been caught a long time ago. After a brief moment of stupefaction, Sister Honger said as she looked at the speeches of her friends in the live broadcast room, and then began to call the monitoring room. It was possible for any other little tiger to be stolen. But if it was little orange, then there was absolutely no chance of that. Not to mention how smart little orange was, just that powerful strength that was far different from other little tigers was enough to make the other party drink a pot of water. What's the matter with you calling over? M.S. Honger, is someone causing trouble? After the phone was connected, a male voice came out. No, I wanted to ask about little orange being locked up inside the tiger room by me. Why is she missing ah? Sister Honger sniffed out a voice and inquired. The other party did not say that Xiao Tangerine had been taken. So it looked like the tiger room side should not have encountered any thieves. Miss Honger you are talking about Xiao Tangerine? Xiao Tangerine is walking towards the dormitory building right now? What's wrong? Could it be that little orange isn't going to the dormitory to look for you? In the monitoring room, after the security guard who heard this swept the many screens in front of him, he soon saw a thieving little tiger appear in the monitoring of the dormitory building. Little orange ran to the dormitory building? How did he get out of the tiger room? Sister Honger who heard this couldn't help but freeze in her tracks. Said, 
Little Orange actually touched the dormitory building side? Obviously she had come from that side. How come she hadn't seen Little Orange on the road? Just about 10 or so minutes ago. The security guard thought about his own 10 or so minutes ago. From the tiger room surveillance inside to see Chang Hao would drilled out from inside the doorway said. He ran out from inside the tiger room. Because towards the dormitory building to go cause. So I didn't say it inside the broadcast. Little Orange recently this period of time every day and Miss Hong are running around live. He saw Little Orange out towards the dormitory building to run. So also did not care. 10 or so minutes ago, after looking at the time, Miss Hongar immediately thought of a possibility. This little villain must have been hungry and realized that no one was over here. So he escaped from the cage on his own and went to look for food inside the dormitory. Eh, isn't Little Orange resting inside the tiger room because he's sleepy? How come it was locked up? The guard who heard this was puzzled. Sister Hongar said that Little Orange was escaping, then he looked different from what he thought ah. Because he, the little villain, bumped into the head gardener. So the head gardener decided to lock him up for an afternoon of confinement. Sister Honger explained with a sniff and left the tiger room with a stride. Well, I'm rushing to the dormitory to catch Little Orange now, so I won't talk to you much ah. Okay, M.S. Honger. The security guard heard back and the sound of the phone hanging up came from across the room. Everyone please don't worry. That bad guy Shao Tangerine wasn't stolen by anyone. It was only because he was hungry. So he escaped the cage. After Sister Honger ended the call, she immediately spoke to the water friends within the live broadcast about this news. The water friends who heard the news expressed great shock. Little Orange actually escaped from prison? It's really awesome. It's true that the power of food is strong. Yes, actually able to escape from the cage not to mention, but also from the locked tiger room inside the escape. Is really some did not think. That's right. That's right. Obviously so fat actually can still escape from the closed door. How in the world did Little Orange do it? Escape from the cage? It was because the keeper sister simply snapped the latch without locking it, which they understood. But how on earth did little orange run out of such a large iron door with only that small gap left? This made them feel a bit unbelievable. Eh, is there a possibility? Little orange is actually falsely fat? That's why it was able to escape from inside? Someone said speculatively, coming up with the only possible answer. Impossible absolutely impossible. I'd rather believe that little orange used the key to open the cage by himself than believe that he's fatty. That's right that's right. How could little fat tiger be falsely fat? It's definitely fake. It's definitely fake. The water friends who heard this immediately opened their mouths. They would rather believe that this world was fake than believe that little orange's fat body could be fake. Ha, huh? Miss Breeder is actually not in the dormitory? Inside the dormitory building, Chung Hao couldn't help but freeze as he looked at the tightly closed door of his room. He seemed to have missed one thing. That is, if Miss Breeder wasn't in the dormitory, there was no way to get in. There was no way to get in. Because the lady's door is locked. The doorway except cockroaches can go in. He seems to have no way to go in. Thinking of this mileage how the whole tiger is silly. A jump to look for where can go in. Just as Chang Hao was thinking of ways around the dormitory door. A miniature camera captured it all. Inside the Evolver department's monitoring room. A group of female team members couldn't help but laugh when they saw it. Little fat orange is dumbfounded now. Isn't he? Can't get into the house anymore. How pathetic. Yeah. Weak. Helpless and pitiful. But very capable of eating. Right. Right. How else could it eat so round? A little tiger jumping around was so cute. It was true that monitoring zoos and stuff was the most fun. It was so much more fun than staring at those criminals. It was just a bit of a pity that they couldn't touch the little tiger. Or else they were going to kiss this little fat orange's head bald. Bad luck. Bad luck. It looks like we have to go to the cafeteria to try our luck. Chang Hao looked at the tightly closed dormitory and left with helpless steps. There was no way to open this dormitory door. He couldn't keep spending time over here. He had to go somewhere else to try his luck. After all. His stomach was still crying out for meat to eat. Little fat orange left a. Eh? Looks like he knows that the dormitory door can't be opened and plans to change the place. Yeah, what a poor little guy. Seeing it makes me want to go and hug him. The female team members who saw the scene said with heartache. Look at how despondent this little guy's back was when he left. It was obvious that he needed to be hugged by them. Unfortunately, they couldn't run over immediately. Otherwise, they would definitely take good care of this poor little guy. Little orange. You little fool. You've got nothing, right? Didn't sister tell you that sister was going to see the big tiger? Just as Chang Hao was walking down the steps with a lost step, a familiar voice suddenly rang out. Chang Hao's lowered head immediately lifted up. Eyes full of surprise looked at the not far away back against the setting sun of the red sister. In this moment he really feel that the red sister in the light ah. And after a short period of surprise, Chang Hao immediately ran over towards sister Honger and screamed in complaint. Ow ow, hungry hungry. 
How did Miss Keeper's sister go and watch those big tigers for so long ah? It's almost starving him to death all. Good boy good boy. Is the sister is not good. Sister forgot you this little bad egg stomach is always easy to be hungry ah. Seeing this, Sister Honger, who was standing by the roadside, immediately picked Chung Hao up in a heartbroken manner and pacified him as if she was coaxing a child. Sister will immediately take you to eat meat. Okay? Ow ow, good. Chang Hao, who was being held, nodded his head back, and Sister Honger walked towards the dormitory with a smile. Pitiful. It's so pitiful. My heart is melting from watching. Little fat tiger is really pitiful. The water friends in the live broadcast room saw it and couldn't help but say with love. Yeah, never seen such a pitiful little tiger before. That's right, everyone cry for me know what? The little tiger is so pitiful. How can you all still laugh? 555. The little tiger is so pitiful. Quickly feed me to him, don't let the baby starve. If you want to feed it, feed it to me too. I'm 18 years old this year and my meat is more tender. Unlike you old guys who can easily stuff the teeth of the little tiger. Although we are older, our meat can be much sturdier than you see. You guys meat is not durable. That's right. Feed me. Don't let the child suffer ah. It should be fed to me. You guys don't grab it from me. No it should be me. Let me go. Everyone calm down a bit. Our side is a regular tiger park won't do such things. Sister Honger, who was holding Chang Hao and walking towards the dormitory, saw the water friends in the live broadcasting room actually fighting to give little orange as a ration, and couldn't help but say in a somewhat speechless manner. Nowadays, the water friends were really strange. Why did they think of making rations for little orange every day? Where did this bad trend come from? If the new water friends saw it, they would still think that their hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park was some kind of dark force. Ow ow, meat, Chang Hao, who heard Sister Honger speak, hurriedly called out. Breeder Miss Sister this talk on talk, do not stop ah, he is now his stomach can be straight grumbling ah. Well well, sister this will give you get meat meat. Honger's sister heard the urging, but also did not have much time to pay attention to the live broadcast room. Quickly stepping to the dormitory door, she opened the door and brought Chang Hao in. Is this the dormitory of Miss Breeder's sister? It's the first time I've come to a girl's dormitory. It's really exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's a long time to see, it's a long time to see. After the screen in the live broadcast room turned into a dormitory, a group of water friends finally stopped discussing the topic of becoming rations. At this time, Sister Honger was busy getting chicken legs from inside the refrigerator, so she didn't have the time to pay attention to them and directly placed her cell phone on the cell phone holder and aimed it at the cat's nest on the ground. Ow ow, meat. Seeing Sister Honger take out the chicken leg, Chang Hao's saliva immediately flowed down, and his stomach, which was already gurgling, growled even louder at this moment. This is a frozen chicken leg that hasn't been thought out yet. You know, be careful to eat it and get diarrhea. Sister Honger heard Chang Hao's voice, and squatted down in a bad mood and knocked on Chang Hao's head, who was like a follower, and said, Sister will thaw it out first and give you a pot of milk to pad your stomach, okay? Little orange this little glutton even if it is hungry, but also cannot eat frozen hard chicken legs ah, careful later cold diarrhea. Ow ow, good. Chang Hao, who had originally planned to tell Miss Breeder that he could actually accept the frozen ones, once he heard that Miss Breeder was planning to give him pots of milk, he quickly nodded his head. He's now three months old, and the chances of him being able to drink pon pon milk in the future will only become fewer and fewer. So he has to seize every minute and every millimeter of time to drink more pon pon milk. Otherwise if he didn't grow as strong as the other tigers, then when he enters the free range area, his days will not be easy. That's a good boy. Sister put the chicken leg on this side to thaw. Don't move you know? Otherwise, later on, sister won't give you pots of milk. Hearing Chang Hao's promise, sister Honger put the chicken leg into Chang Hao's iron bowl and then explained to Chang Hao. Aha. Uh -huh. Hearing this, Chang Hao nodded his head obediently. But when he saw that Sister Honger had gone to mix the powdered milk, he immediately stuck out his tongue and licked the frozen chicken drumstick, and when Sister Honger's gaze was about to come over, Chang Hao hurriedly withdrew his tongue. When Sister Honger's gaze was about to come over, Chang Hao hurriedly retracted his tongue. On the surface of the chicken thigh that Chang Hao had licked, a scratch appeared. It's not very hard to lick, either. Scraping his teeth against the meat foam brought down from the chicken thigh on his tongue, Chang Hao couldn't help but think to himself. His eyes then looked at Sister Honger dishonestly, and his tongue licked on the chicken thigh once again. As long as the breeder's sister didn't see his little action, then he wasn't licking the chicken leg. But what Chung Hao didn't know was that this small action of his had already been seen by the water friends in the Han Live broadcasting room, and the enthusiastic water friends were frantically brushing the screen at this time. Breeder Miss Sister quickly do not flush milk powder. I caught the little fat orange in secretly licking chicken legs. Nonsense. 
Obviously I was the first to see how to become Yukata. That's right. I was the first to see it. Who can prove it? You all don't talk nonsense. We were the first to see little orange licking a chicken leg. Little orange. You have to be obedient. You can't eat chicken legs that haven't been thawed. Okay? Otherwise, sister will beat you up. Just as the argument inside the live broadcast room was going on, sister Honger, who was carrying a warm kettle of water and rushing the formula, said, don't think that because sister is working, she can't see what you're doing? The water friends in the live broadcast room are all sister's eyes. Miss sister, you should take a look at your cell phone instead. That little fat orange just stole a lick of a, several mouthfuls of chicken legs. Yes, we can all see. The water friends who were just arguing heard this and immediately typed. Ow ow, no, no. Chang Hao, who was staring closely at sister Honger, replied back, his claws gently picking at the chicken leg to turn it over, lest it be seen by Miss Breeder when the time came. As for the guy inside the live broadcast, completely ignored by him, the little sister is now brewing milk powder. Which mood to look at the phone ah? And by the time the little sister had finished brewing the powdered milk for him, and then after he had finished eating the chicken leg, these guy's words had long been swiped somewhere? Little Orange is so good. I'm sure he's listening to his sister's words. After finishing the milk powder, Sister Honger turned around and saw the honest Chung Hao's obedient appearance. She couldn't help but walk to Chung Hao with satisfaction and touched his head, putting the tub of milk down. Chen Hao immediately stretched his head close to the pot 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 milk suck up. Red Sister Saw cannot help but smile with a small chair at one side sat down resting his chin watching. Unbeknownst to the water friends inside the live broadcast room at this time, is frantically swiping the screen to remind. Breeder Miss Sister. You were little fat orange to deceive ah. He has stolen chicken legs ah. Yes, only the little fat orange very chicken thief. The chicken legs to turn over. That's right. Miss you look at the live broadcast ah. The water friends in the live broadcast room watched the scene. The anxiousness in their hearts that wanted to tell Sister Honger the truth was so close to drilling out from inside the live broadcast room. They just didn't understand. Why didn't this breeder take a look at the live broadcast room? Have you eaten enough? Not hungry now? Inside the dormitory. Chang Hao had just finished gnawing on the last people leg when Sister Honger wiped his mouth with a wet towel. Ow ow, barely full. Chang Hao said with his mouth open. So he laid down and exposed his belly, stretching his paw and waving towards Sister Honger. After eating and drinking enough, of course he needs a massage ah. Miss sister hurry up and give him a massage. He's all ready. You this little glutton is quite good at enjoying it. After eating you want sister to help you rub your belly. Sister Honger saw the situation did not have a good temper. Said, threw away the wet wipes, then reached out and rubbed up Chung Hao's belly. Little bad egg now you are still small. There are sisters to take care of. You are a little bit bigger to send to the free range area to go. Sister would like to see who can give you a belly rub. In the end. She is still too spoiled little orange this little bad egg. Let her develop this bad habit. I really do not know by then. He participated in the wild training in the free range area inside the time to do. She couldn't continue to bring little orange along. Could she? Little orange still needed to learn to live independently. Ow ow, come out to find sister. Chang Hao, who had his eyes closed, said without thinking, isn't it just being locked up in the free range area? What's wrong with that? He's an evolved creature now. So jumping out of the free range area won't be a breeze. Come on, you still want to come out to find your sister? You want your sister to work two jobs, right? You bad guy. Sister Honger scratched Chung Hao's belly and said, Look at how big your belly is right now. It's troublesome for sister to scratch it. When you grow into a big tiger, won't you tire sister to death? Little Orange is just a little hairy and soft now. But if he grows up, it will be hard as a broom. If he grows up, his hair will be as hard as a broom. How can she scratch him? Ow ow, bath scratch. Chang Hao, who heard this? said, if the breeder's sister is usually unwilling to give him a massage, then wouldn't it be fine to give him a bath when he's in the shower? That way it wouldn't be so troublesome. Still want sister to give you a massage when you take a bath? You little villain really dares to think about it. Sister Honger sniffed and slapped Chung Hao's butt in a bad mood. You'll take a bath by yourself then. Sister won't help you. A little badass. You'll have to learn to take care of yourself when you become a big tiger. Ow ow, don't. Don't, Chung Hao rubbed sister Honger's hand and said, it's not easy to become a waste. You tell him there's still a deadline for being a waste? This cannot be ah. Don't and can't. This is the rules of the park. Sister Honger tickled Chung Hao's armpit and laughed. Little Orange this little bad guy now actually learns to be pampered. But it's useless to be pampered. When he reaches his age he will definitely go to the free range area. It turns out that she has taken care of a few sessions of tigers. Also very reluctant to go to the free range area. But the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park is not a zoo but a place to help the northeast tiger to restore the population as well as rescue wild northeast tigers. 
Every tiger cub born in Hontishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park has to enter the free-ranging area to receive rewilding training when it reaches one year old, so as to prepare for its return to the mountains and forests in the future. Ow, ow, I don't want to leave my sister. Hearing this, Changhao's heart wow cool wow cool. Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. What is this broken rules ah, if a poor, weak and helpless tiger like him enters the free-ranging area, will he not be bullied to death by other tigers? After all, he is a tiger that has been on the show. And how many guests has he attracted to Hongta Mountain Tiger Park? The tiger park cannot be unloaded to kill the donkey to cross the river to destroy the bridge ah. Little orange good boy you this is not still a few months in the sister's side? There is no need to worry so much. Sister Hongmer smiled and comforted. And after touching Chang Hao's head, her eyes inadvertently looked at her cell phone before she suddenly remembered that she was still broadcasting live. Hurriedly let go of rubbing Chang Hao's head hand. Went to get the cell phone over. Little orange you this bad guy. All blame you let sister help you rub your belly. Sister almost forgot that they are in the live broadcast all. Now the live room inside must be cursed over. Blame me. Hearing this, Chang Hao muttered in his heart. So he climbed up from the ground and walked over to sister Honger's feet to lie down. Miss Breeder hadn't finished rubbing his belly yet. Why did she care about those guys inside the live broadcast ah? Obviously taking care of him is the most important job. Okay? My god, Miss Sister is finally remembering us. I'm simply too happy. I thought this life will never see the day when Miss Sister pays attention to us. Yeah, Miss Breeder I'm going to snitch on Little Orange. Little Orange just stole a frozen chicken leg even after you said you couldn't. Right right, Miss Keeper hurry up and punish Little Orange. Little Orange is an honest little tiger. After seeing that Sister Honger was finally remembering them, the water friends in the live broadcast room couldn't help but cry with joy. Sorry, sorry, I forgot about everyone again, but it can't be helped. Taking care of Little Orange is my main job, and serving as a live broadcast is my side job. Seeing the water friends in the live broadcast room so excited, Sister Honger apologized repeatedly. It's fine, it's fine, we're not aggrieved at all. Yeah, we won't cry out, 555. The water friends who heard this said pitifully that Breeder's sister was finally thinking of them after talking to Fat Tiger for so long. They were not aggrieved at all. Really. I'm so sorry everyone. I'll definitely remember to pay more attention to the live feeds in the future when I'm taking care of Orange. Sister Honger Saw continued to apologize. Her hand could not help but pat Chung Hao who flipped his belly and wanted her to continue rubbing his stomach. Little Orange eat and drink enough you should also give sister work ah. Uh, this afternoon you are missing an afternoon of mad oh. Ah, uh, I that is not absent. I that is locked up ah, uh, Miss Sister how can you say this way ah, uh? exposed belly waiting for a massage by Chang how could not help but freeze, Miss Sister this way of dumping pots is also too outrageous some right, obviously, it was Miss Sister who ran out to play by herself after seeing her being locked up, favoring to say that it was him who was absent, alright, don't daze, while it's still dark, hurry up and go out with Elder Sister to show everyone how to climb trees, Sister Honger patted Chung Hao's butt and said, neglecting everyone in the live broadcast room for so long, now, of course, she had to make it up to everyone, the water friends who were sending out crying emoticons. Once they heard that Sister Honger actually asked Chung how to show them how to climb a tree, they immediately stopped brushing the screen. Little fat orange is going to climb a tree? Why don't I believe it? His round body won't roll down like a ball after he climbs up. Rolling down is not so bad, but I am worried about whether the tree will break? Little fat orange so fat fall down certainly will not be anything. In contrast, or that tree to be climbed. More should be worth worrying about it. Yeah, the tree is so sad. You guys are so unsympathetic for only caring about the little tiger and not the poor Shushu. Right, right. Unlike me who will only care about Shushu. You all don't have to worry anymore. The trees inside our tiger park are very strong and not as fragile as you think. And although little orange looks fat now, he hasn't reached 40 pounds yet. The trees inside the park can definitely withstand his weight. Don't believe me? I'll bring little orange down now to give everyone a show. Seeing the water friends in the live broadcast room, starting to worry about the trees in the Hontishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park, Sister Honger couldn't help but smile and explain. The trees of Hontishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park were accompanied by a small tiger growing up to a big tiger. If it would break, it would have already broken. So we don't have to worry about these trees at all. They won't be able to withstand the weight of the tigers. Miss, actually I think it's not advisable to exercise just after eating. It's bad for the body. Chang Hao, who had been lifted up. Wanted to explain the disadvantages of strenuous exercise after a meal to the keeper, but after thinking about it, he decided not to say anything, because if he said so, he would immediately be found out by Miss Breeder to be wrong. After all, he usually spoke to Missy very briefly, and still pretended to be only a child's intelligence. Little Orange quickly climb up oh, don't be over here to wear down the work oh, 
In front of a tree as thick as a bucket under the dormitory building, Sister Honger patted Chung Hao, who was standing on the ground with his legs and two front claws constantly grinding the bark, and said, she was letting Little Orange climb the tree, not letting Little Orange come over to sharpen her claws, Little Orange hurry up and climb up ah, or else the water friends will be waiting impatiently, let me sharpen my claws first ah, this bark is so hard, it's a pity not to sharpen my claws, Chang Hao, who was being urged, didn't panic at all, slowly grinding his claws, see how hard this bark is, it was really too suitable to be his cat scratching board, other trees had worn through his skin in a few strokes, but this tree had only made a few more scratches after so long, so he had to take this opportunity to sharpen his claws a few more times, by the way, observe if this tree was an evolved plant, if it was, then he would have made a big profit, judging from the hardness of this tree's bark, the direction of this tree's evolution must be to strengthen its own path, which means that the roots of this tree can't be moved, and it is an iron bastard tree, since it was like this, then he would not be polite, and would get the frying and cooking set all over, little orange is sharpening its claws, everyone don't be anxious, when little orange finishes sharpening its claws it will climb up, seeing Chang Hao's unmoved and still meek appearance, sister Honger walked a little awkwardly to the side in front of the cell phone supported by a tripod and explained to the water friends in the live broadcast room, little orange this bad guy obviously understand her words, but still over here grinding claws play, he didn't climb the tree fast enough either, if she had known, she would have brought a chicken leg down and put it on the tree, she wouldn't believe that little orange saw it and didn't climb upwards, it's fine, it's fine. Actually, we like to see Little Orange sharpening his claws. The viewers in the live broadcast room heard this and said without caring. Yeah, the Little Fat Orange is so cute. I really want to hug Miss Breeder to feel the life of Little Fat Orange. Plus one, plus one. The other water friends immediately followed and chimed in. And soon the live broadcast room was screened. For all of this Chung Hao wasn't clear. Of course clear he was also too lazy to pay attention. Because at this time his eyes were all on the tree in front of him. It's really hard but it looks like I'm still superior in the end. Chang Hao looked at the tree he scratched was very satisfied. Don't think in front of him the bark is hard enough on the line. His cat fist is also not vegetarian. Okay? Under his crazy scratching, the bark was finally broken by him. Now it was his turn to enjoy the fruits of victory. Aiming at the place where the bark was broken, Chang Hao bit down. Ka Chao. After his teeth came into contact with the tree trunk, there was a crisp ringing sound. Of course it wasn't that his teeth broke, but that they bit into the bark. After the teeth bit into the bark, a warm current surged into Chang Hao's body. This made Chang Hao very happy. It was just as he thought. This tree in front of him was an evolutionary plant. Miss Breeder take a quick look at Little Orange Ah. Little Orange started to gnaw on the bark of the tree. Yes, Miss Keeper you quickly take care of him. The big tree is so pathetic. It's too late. The tiger is eating the tree. The tiger ate the tree Ah. When the water friends in the live broadcast room saw this scene, their attention was instantly drawn. They knew that Little Orange definitely wouldn't be as simple as grabbing a tree. And indeed, he had already started gnawing on a tree out of hunger. Little Orange you bad guy, quickly let go of the tree. How can you bite the tree? You are a tiger is a tiger ah. Reacted to the red sister immediately ran to Chung Hao's side, reached out to Chung Hao's buttocks, and scratched up Chung Hao's armpit with her hand. Hopefully, after Xiao Tangerine was tickled, she could take the initiative to loosen her mouth. Or else the way Xiao Tangerine was now. She really couldn't directly pull Xiao Tangerine out. It wouldn't be good if Xiao Tangerine's teeth were pulled out. Laugh me to death. Laugh me to death. I knew that coming to see the live broadcast today would never be wrong. Yeah, make sure to record it properly. Let everyone see what the most greedy little tiger tiger sends something? That's right. Little fat orange mustn't let go of his mouth. I'll go tell my friends right now. Seeing this scene, the water friends in the live broadcast room were instantly happy. Some started recording videos and some notified their friends and relatives to hurry over to watch the fun. With this scene of Little Fat Orange gnawing on the tree, their source of joy these days was instantly available. Little Orange be good and obedient. Loosen your mouth, okay? Don't mess with this tree. The water friends in the live broadcast room were very happy, while Sister Honger looked a little headache, because she realized that this bad guy Little Orange just wouldn't let go of his mouth. Even if she scratched her armpit, it was useless. This bad guy to with a tree is not good? The big deal was that she wouldn't allow Little Orange to climb the tree. Miss, I'm in the middle of something very important. Please don't disturb me, okay? Biting the tree and feeling the constant flow of heat pouring into his body. Chang Hao was helpless. He was just biting a tree. Was the young lady as nervous as this? It wasn't like he was going to eat the big tree. It was also that he couldn't speak now that he was biting the tree. Otherwise he would definitely have to tell Missy that he really didn't want to cross this one. What are you guys doing? 
Sister Honger, is this little orange grinding his teeth? But there's no need to find such a big teething stick, right? Yeah, little orange's mouth is open so wide. Otherwise later ah, dislocated ah. Just when Sister Honger was at a loss, Sun Xiaoyi and the other keepers who had already settled the tiger cubs came over. And as soon as they came over they saw Sister Honger, who was gnawing on the tree and not moving. And Sister Honger, who was holding Chang Hao's butt, can't help but stop and ask curiously, if Sister Honger and the little orange whole living fruit, have to say, has achieved the effect, because they have not even thought of whole this kind of live, must now red sister inside the water friends have been happy over it, don't mention it, this little bad guy I let him climb the tree, he is now gnawing on the tree, I am about to die of a headache, listening to her co-workers teasing, sister Honger said somewhat helplessly, these guys were really watching the fun, not realizing how much of a headache she was having at all, although it sounds like it's outrageous, but if it's little tangerine, it's not surprising, not bad, it's possible for this bad guy orange to do anything. The breeders who heard this explanation first froze, then felt that it wouldn't be strange for this kind of thing to happen to little orange. After all, after little orange was born, the behavior and also the habits that it displayed were very different from other baby tigers. Little orange hurry up and loosen your mouth yo, or I'll be rude. After listening to sister Honger's words, Sun Xiaoyi walked to Chung Hao with a smile on her face. Usually this bad guy Xiao Tangerine treats sister Honger with one face and treats her with another. So today she finally found an opportunity for her, right? Taking advantage of Xiao Tangerine's inability to move. Let's see if she doesn't jerk Xiao Tangerine's head ball to let him grow a long memory and know that he can't be so fierce when he sees her in the future. Woman I advise you better go away. Don't touch me or I'll beat you up. Biting the tree and not letting go. Chang Hao waved his claws to drive away Sun Xiaoyi who wanted to get closer. The other party giving him a little respect. Otherwise his cat fist wasn't just powerful to look at. It was also very painful to hit his body. Yo, you little guy can't even move his mouth. Still not honest? Sun Xiaoyi was not the least bit flustered. As long as little orange's mouth was closed, then it's still not just for her to ravage? Today she will properly jerk off bad Xiao Tangerine. Bastard. Give me a few more seconds. I'll clean you up later. Feeling his body being ravaged by a pair of hands, Chang Hao cursed in his heart, but could only be patient first. This big tree contained too much power. There was no way for him to absorb it all at once. It would have to take some time to do so. Who is this breeder miss? She's so arrogant and cocky, actually daring to provoke little fat orange like this. Not quite sure, but since it's Miss Honger's colleague, little fat orange shouldn't dare to do anything to her by then, right? Is that so? That's such a shame. To be honest, I'm having thoughts of punching this young lady when I see her being so arrogant. That's right, such a cute little chubby orange. How can she keep it all to herself? It's only right that we should be allowed to touch it as well. That's right, little fat orange don't give him face. Hurry up and bite her. Stop gnawing on the bark. The water friends in the live broadcast room saw this scene and said that the other party's behavior was so arrogant and beat up, and wondered what the fat orange that got out of the trap would do to her later. If it was just a few screams of ow, then they would be very disappointed. Warm and fleshy. No wonder Sister Honger likes touching your belly and paws so much. Sun Xiaoyi said happily as she rubbed Chung Hao's belly with reckless abandon. Although she often touched the other little ones as well, compared to little orange. Those little ones were a bit skinny and bony. Taking advantage of the fact that little orange couldn't move right now. She had to rub it properly. Damnable woman actually bullied me for not being able to empty my mouth. After I finish absorbing the energy, there will be a good time for you. Feeling the wandering hands on his body. Chang Hao was very angry. But there was nothing he could do at the moment. He could only endure it for now. Xiao Yi almost just let go quickly. Otherwise you'll be finished when Xiao Orange loosens her mouth later. Seeing Sun Xiaoyi's face gradually twisting up with laughter, Sister Honger spoke out and reminded, Xiao Tangerine has a temper. Xiaoyi must have already made Xiao Tangerine angry by doing this. Later when Xiao Tangerine let go of her mouth and didn't chase after Xiaoyi to bite, she didn't even believe it. Isn't there Honger's sister you in? You will definitely protect me, right? Sun Xiaoyi, who was addicted to the tiger color and refused to pull herself out, said to Sister Honger with a smile, Xiao Tangerine wouldn't dare to hit Sister Honger even if she had a big temper. She believed that with Sister Honger protecting her, she would be fine. I can't say about this, although Little Orange won't bite me, it will definitely chase and bite you. Sister Honger listened with her hands clasping her chest and said seriously, and now that Xiao Tangerine has gained too much weight, I won't necessarily be able to stop him, so you'd better fend for yourself. She was indeed able to stop Xiao Tangerine, but the prerequisite had to be that Xiao Tangerine's weight was within the range that could be controlled. Ha, huh? the smile on Sun Xiaoyi's face that heard this immediately froze. At the same time, she was able to feel that Xiao Tangerine, who was grasped in her hands, 
had already loosened her mouth, and her entire body was no longer so taut. Little, orange, let's have a good discussion, don't move your mouth, okay? Sun Xiaoyi said stiffly, but the only thing that answered her was Cheng Hao's big mouth that had turned around. Sister Honger save me. Sun Xiaoyi was so scared that she immediately let go and turned her head and ran. You this bad woman wanna run to where ah? Wasn't you quite happy just now taking advantage of the tiger's danger? Now you actually want to run? Too late. When Cheng Hao, who had landed on the ground, saw this, he immediately chased after Sun Xiaoyi, who was running wildly. I told you not to mess with Little Orange, but you just don't. Don't listen. Sister Honger who watched the scene was somewhat helpless. She had already warned, but Xiao Yi just wouldn't listen. Hopefully when she rushes over, Xiao Tangerine will come down a little lighter. Ha ha ha, I knew that little fat orange wouldn't let her off so easily. You guys see this breeder sis being chased down and fleeing all over. Well, it looks like little fat orange isn't that obedient to every keeper. That's for sure. Little fat orange definitely knows the difference between the keepers that often take care of themselves and the ones that don't take care of themselves. That's right. Just by looking at this breeder's little sister, I know that she definitely doesn't usually feed little fat orange much. Although it was said that the scene of the young lady being chased away by little fat orange was very pitiful. The water friends in the live broadcast room said that they couldn't help but laugh already. Little orange you bad guy don't you forget that I even hugged you when you were born. How can you treat sister Honger with one face? Treating me later is a face ah, you bad guy. Sun Xiaoyi who was being chased looked at while running with her teeth and claws open and couldn't hold back her curses. Damn little orange obviously she also took care of her. But little orange this little bastard only remembers sister Honger and completely forgot about her. How can kittens treat each other differently like this? Having hugged me doesn't mean you took care of me growing up. It doesn't have anything to do with me chasing you. Hearing this in his heart, he belabored. His speed no longer showing the slightest sign of decreasing. He was a tiger with principles. He wouldn't let the other party off the hook if he said he wouldn't. Orange listen to me and stop chasing after Shaoi. Okay? She already knows she's wrong. So just let her go. Sister Honger, who was holding her cell phone in close pursuit, shouted as she ran. Luckily, Xiaoyi and Xiao Tangerine circled around seven times before Xiao Tangerine caught up with her. Otherwise she could only call an ambulance for Xiaoyi right now. Did you bad guy hear that? Sister Honger told you not to chase me. Do you not even listen to your sister's words? Xin Wang shouted around the pillar of Sun Xiaoyi. Can Xiao Tangerine stop chasing him? She will never dare to tease Xiao Tangerine again. Can Xiao Tangerine let her go? She really is about to run no more. Listening to Missy is one thing, beating you up is another. Chang Hao, who heard this, was unmoved and continued to chase after Sun Xiaoyi, with the air of not turning back until he hit the south wall. But every time he was about to catch the other party, the other party suddenly dodged away with a speed boost. He didn't expect that the other party looked thin and weak, but he could run so fast. And running around the pillar is also extremely flexible, even if he can't catch each other for a while. In ancient times, there was the king of Qin who walked around a pillar, but now there is Miss Breeder who walks around a tree. Yes, and it looks like the breeder lady is not generally nimble, actually able to hold little fat orange for so long. The water friends who watched this scene laughed happily. This scene was what they wanted to see the most. What's the point of just looking at the little tiger? It's most interesting to see the tiger cub interacting with the breeder. Sister Honger quickly saved me. I can't run anymore. Sun Xiaoyi was running and rescuing at the same time. She could hardly run anymore. However, Little Orange still had a alive and well. If this continued, she would definitely be caught up. If Sister Honger didn't save her, she would really be bitten. Got it. I'm here, aren't I? Sister Honger said helplessly as she listened, striding over to the side of the big tree that one person and one tiger were circling around, and scooping up Chang Hao, who was spinning in circles with Sun Xiaoyi, with one hand. Ow ow, let go of me. Chang Hao, who had been grabbed up shouted and struggled, but due to being held by Sister Honger, his struggling movements were obviously much smaller. Even the claws and mouth that had just been flailing were closed quite a bit for fear of hurting Sister Honger. The fact proves that the little fat tiger is too fat or affects the action. It actually couldn't even catch up with a breeder sis, and in the end, it was even caught by Miss Honger. That's right that's right, you see how much Miss Sister loves him. Feed him all into a ball all, how can he catch up with people? That's right, his stomach is almost drooping to the ground. It's strange that he can catch up. The water friends in the live broadcasting room couldn't help but laugh after seeing Chang Hao, who in the end didn't catch up with Sun Xiaoyi and was also caught by Sister Honger. Good boy, listen to your sister and don't bother with Xiaoyi. Okay, as long as you're good and obedient, your sister will give you another bowl of basin milk at night. Sister Honger, who was holding Chang Hao tightly, opened her mouth and said, 
Intending to use the basin basin milk as a condition to get Chung Hao to stop looking for Sun Xiaoyi's revenge, add a bowl of pon pon milk? Hearing this, Chang Hao's struggles couldn't help but be much smaller. But on second thought he wasn't a tiger that would give up for the sake of pots and pots of milk. So he opened his mouth and shouted, Ow ow, got to be two bowls. Adding only one bowl of pon pon milk. Who is this looking down on? At least two bowls must be added. Okay, okay, add two bowls add two bowls. As long as you don't continue to chase after Xiaoyi, sister will add two bowls for you at night. Sister Honger couldn't help but laugh at this. This little glutton really is. As long as there is food anything can be talked about ah. Little bad egg little glutton actually this way to me. On the side of the sun Xiaoyi saw Chang Hao in the arms of the red sister obedient appearance. Could not help but gnash his teeth. How could there be such a snobbish little cat? Treating her and sister Honger with actually two faces. Brothers may I ask if this is little fat tiger's live room? I just heard that the little fat tiger here is so ferocious and hungry that it even eats trees is it true? Yes. I heard that the little fat tiger even chewed the turf. Yes. Yes. Even the cement pile did not let go. Just as the water friends in the live broadcast room were having a good laugh. Suddenly the number of people in the live broadcast room increased. They were originally watching the live broadcast at the other anchors. But it turned out that someone who called himself the fat tiger army. Ran over to them and told them that there was a fat tiger that even gnawed on trees. As soon as they heard this, they immediately became interested. This meat chewing tiger had seen a lot. But it was the first time they had seen a tree chewing one. Of course it's true. With the video as proof can it still be fake? That's right. Our little fat tiger is invincible. He dares to eat everything. If you don't believe me, send two pounds of sheep scorpion over to try. That's right. That's right. Seeing the new water friends asked such an outrageous question. A group of people had no intention of explaining, but instead added fuel to the fire. Newly arrived water friends don't believe these rumors. Little Orange is just a bit of a glutton. Far from what they say. After pacifying Chung Hao's sister Honor, who finally had the time to look at her cell phone, when she saw them say this she hurriedly explained. Although the head gardener had allowed them to exaggerate a bit during the live broadcast, it couldn't be to such an outrageous extent. Little Orange gnawing on a tree was outrageous. As a result, now they were saying that little orange could gnaw on a concrete pillar. Really? That's such a shame. I thought the little tigers over here could really gnaw on trees. Yeah, no fun. No fun. Let's go. As soon as the newly arrived waterbenders heard this, they immediately planned to leave. These assholes false propaganda to trick them into coming over was just too bad. The little fat tiger here couldn't even gnaw on a tree. So what would they have nothing to come over and watch? It would still be better to go and watch the young lady dance. At least it was more eye-catching. I'm really very sorry for making everyone come all the way here for nothing. But Little Orange really won't be able to gnaw on concrete stakes in the grass. Seeing the new aquatic friends say they were leaving, Sister Honger said with embarrassment. Although they came over for a moment and were about to leave, they had to be thanked for a moment, causing the heat of their own live room to rise very much. Wait a minute. New brothers don't leave yet. Little Fat Orange seems to have made another move. Yeah, you guys can lose a lot if you leave now. Little Fat Orange will be the most whole job. The old water friends in the live broadcast room, looking at what Chang Hao was digging under the roots of the tree hastily typed, persuading these people who are ready to run to come back quickly, little fatty orange was probably going to do something again, and if they left now, it would really be a wasted trip, oh, really, then let's take another look and see what this little fat orange can fix up to do, not bad, if he lies to us again, we'll have to report him, the water friends who were planning to click exit heard this and retracted their hands, anyway, they had come, so let's see what this little fat tiger was planning to do, right? If they didn't have any new tricks after watching, then they couldn't be blamed for not speaking martial arts. Not to speak of martial arts. Don't worry, little fat orange definitely won't let you guys down. Yes, this aspect of the whole job. Our little fat orange is a professional. The old water friend said with a smile, just today little fat orange gave them two big jobs. To say that now little fat orange is not in the whole job, they do not believe it. Little bugs still want to run? See if I don't dig you out. Appear in front of me and still want to go. Where is it so easy? Chang Hao waved his claws and frantically plowed the ground. And in a matter of seconds he ran out of pit to come. This big fat worm appeared in front of him and still wanted to run? No way. It dared to run to the outside when it was a wakame. So it might be an evolved creature. So he couldn't let it run away easily. As the saying goes, it's better to kill a thousand than to let one go. He now looks at any plant or animal that's a bit out of place and thinks they're evolved creatures. Orange what are you doing? Sister Honger, who was holding her cell phone, walked over to Chung Hao's side and squatted down to inquire. Did little Orange find something good by digging the hole so frantically? Ow ow, worms. Chang Hao, who was sniffing the scent of the big fat bugs getting closer and closer, 
set back, and the speed under his claws became even faster. The little bug was competing with him for speed. Didn't he know that he had two pairs of sharp claws? Worms? Little orange you're digging for worms? Sister Honger, who heard this, said with a head full of black lines? She said how little orange would dig for no reason. And sure enough, it was because of the food. Ow ow, yes. Chang Hao replied back, his head suddenly poking towards the inside of the pit. And then a fat and big white worm was bitten out by Chang Hao. I'll go, this little tiger can actually catch worms? It's really awesome. Yeah, I've only heard of chicks catching worms, but this is the first time I've seen a tiger catching worms. Awesome, awesome, it's really awesome. The newcomers to the water said that they couldn't understand but were greatly shocked. Is it hard to just catch a bug? Let me tell you guys, our little orange is known as the king of rodent exterminators. That's right, you guys can go search for the video of little fat orange's rodent extermination bully. And you'll know how powerful our little fat orange really is? That's right. Look at what miss and play games ah. Come over to see our little fat orange whole live is the best. Looking at the new water friends with a look of not having seen the world. The old water friends could not help but say in an old fashioned manner. Now do you know how powerful their little fat orange is? To actually think that they were liars? Have they ever seen such a liar? Truly. Thanks for pointing out the way. Old brother. I'll go over to archaeology. I'll go too. I think I've found a treasure. Plus one, plus one. After the newcomers to the water were given guidance, they immediately went to archaeologize the past recordings. Blah blah blah. What's with the broken stuff? It's not an evolved creature? Then why are you running so fast? After biting down and realizing that there was no heat flow coming from it, Chang Hao couldn't help but spit out the bug in one bite. Damn big bad bug. Actually not an evolved creature? Wasted his strength for nothing. Bug, not running so fast. Waiting for you to eat it can't be? Little orange. Are worms good to eat? Is it better than meat? Eat it? Squatting aside. Sister Honger couldn't help but smile and ask when she saw it. Little Orange this glutton wants to eat everything. Today actually unprecedentedly grabbed a worm to eat, but did not eat two mouthfuls but spit it out again. It looks like this worm isn't that tasty ah. Ow ow, not delicious. The dry heaving Chung Hao spat out his tongue and said, This stinky bug wasted his expression and burst inside his mouth. If this bug was an evolved creature, he would have endured it. But this was just an ordinary bug. It was just too detestable. He was just a weak, helpless and pitiful little tiger. How could this bug do such despicable things? To actually disguise as an evolved creature to deceive him. A little tiger. Wouldn't the other party's conscience hurt? Ha ha ha. Don't be like this next time. Okay? Sister Honger was even happier to see this. She educated little orange. And little orange. The glutton. Didn't listen. Preferring to try it herself before learning a lesson. Now that she got the lesson. She knows that bugs can't be eaten in the future, right? Ow ow, got it. Spitting, Chang Hao nodded his head and said back. Next time he had to be absolutely sure before he put his mouth on it. After all, this worm tasted really bad. Little fat orange looks so cute ah, uh, which land is he in? I want to go and take a look. Yeah, he's so fat and round. I like it so much. It's in Hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park ah. Uh, everyone click on it. The shopping cart below will pop up tickets. Chang Hao's side was flooded with nausea. While the new water friends in the live broadcast room had stars in their eyes at this time, they had never seen such a naive, head so round, so cute little tiger. It had to be said that this little fat orange had successfully aroused their interest. Thanks to everyone for buying tickets to support Tiger Park. Tiger Park's development can't be separated from the help of the majority of water friends. Every time everyone clicks to like the coins, it allows the tigers to get a better life. Sister Honger said gratefully when she saw that the tickets in the live broadcast room were brushing reduced. Hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park is a non-profit tiger park. Although there are state subsidies and donations from enthusiastic animal care organizations. However, there are so many tigers in Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, which is only enough to maintain the daily expenses. Wanting the tigers to have a better life, the tiger park had to attract more visitors to make it work. It doesn't matter. Who made Little Fat Orange so cute? I'm going to go to the site to jerk bald him to. Yeah, at least jerk him off so he can't go. That's right that's right. Everyone remember to give free gifts for watching the live broadcast. And watch the video and click like to do it ah. Let's take it as a cloud to raise a cat. Aha, uh -huh, the tiger is so cute. It's just great. The water friends who heard this said unconcernedly. A ticket was only $30. About the same as the money they spent on a noon meal. Who could refuse to spend $30 to see a cute tiger? Moreover, it was still the kind that was so cute that it exploded. Thank you all. Thank you all. When Sister Honger saw everyone saying this. She couldn't help but be very touched. So she introduced the special activities inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park with everyone. When everyone comes inside the Tiger Park, 
not only can they watch the tigers, and only need to spend three dollars to buy with the people legs, you can shake paws with the tigers, finished, the camera is aimed at the still spitting tongue chung hao, of course, the small orange can also touch, we only need to spend three dollars on the line oh, really, to go to the tiger park to buy tickets only need three dollars can touch the little fat orange, my god, I can't be hearing it wrong, yes, there is actually such a good thing, bye bye, must buy, must buy ah, yes, yes, I'll take a plane to also want to see the little fat orange, personally touch such a fat little tiger, in the end what is the feel, hearing that three dollars to buy a people leg will be able to touch the little tiger, the water friends immediately boiled over, they quickly reached out to the shopping cart to buy tickets, anyway, this ticket will not expire, as long as you buy it will be able to use it all the time, even if they don't go themselves, it's good to give it to someone else, miss, this is really good at doing business, Chang Hao, who felt that there was finally no more flavor in his mouth, came over to Sister Honger's side and looked at the tickets that flashed within the live broadcast and couldn't help but mutter in his heart, thank you all for supporting Little Orange, thank you all, Sister Honger said with a smile, her hand unconsciously touched Chung Hao's round head that came over, Little Orange is awesome, helping Tiger Garden sell a lot of tickets, if the head of the garden knows that our Little Orange is so great, he will definitely reward Little Orange with beef to eat, beef, Chang Hao, who heard this, unconsciously licked his lips, after coming to this world for more than three months, he'd eaten nothing but chicken or pork every day, and had never really eaten beef, now that he heard Miss Breeder say this, he was really a bit nostalgic, you don't say anything, sister knows that you little glutton must be craving, look at your, saliva is dripping down, seeing this, sister Honger said with a smile, taking out wet wipes from her pocket and wiping Chang Hao's mouth, this little glutton hasn't even seen any meat, and he's already drooling just by hearing about it, if he really saw it, wouldn't he eat the bowl together, wouldn't he eat the bowl together, ow ow, no, no, the drooling Chang Hao hurriedly denied, he really didn't mean to eat beef, absolutely not, of course if Miss Breeder really brought the beef to his mouth, he could barely eat it too, after all, he was a good tiger that wasn't picky about what he ate, little fat orange's drooling looks even more adorable, seeing this scene, a water user couldn't help but say, little fat orange was so adorable that he definitely needed a kiss from her, hurry up and send it to her side so she can give it a good kiss, yeah, like my family's fat orange who will starve to death if he doesn't eat for a minute, the other water friends watching the live broadcast looked at their own orange cat that was guarding the rice bowl and typed with deep understanding, no no, your families can only be called a small orange, this is the real fat orange, that's right that's right, this is the real orange seat, who dares to say fat, big and so on in front of him, the water friends in the live broadcast room immediately pointed out when they heard this, they were comparing an ordinary little orange cat to little fatty. Isn't this bullying a cat this is? Where can an orange cat be compared to a little fat orange that is so fat and gluttonous? I admit that I am a bit gluttonous. But you guys as far as holding on to the fat and fat do not let go? Seeing the water friends in the live broadcast room constantly mentioning fat and fat, Chang Hao's face immediately collapsed. The tiger doesn't need to work or have a girlfriend. So what's wrong with eating more meat? It doesn't affect his life. And the stronger the animal, the more fearful it is of its own kind. Okay? These guys really don't have any common sense. It's not too early now. Our live broadcast carries on here. It's almost time to end oh. Thank you all very much for supporting Orange today. Let's see you tomorrow. Sister Honger said with a smile after looking at the time. Today's live broadcast viewer count was the largest number of people she had ever broadcasted live. And the number of tickets sold even reached more than 2,000. It could be said that today's work was completed very successfully. Don't ah. Don't ah. Miss Breeder don't shut down the live broadcast now ah, the beautiful nightlife has just begun, yes yes yes, let us see the little fat orange again, that's right, let's watch a little while longer, as soon as they heard that the live broadcast was about to end, the water friends hurriedly typed, it's only 6 o'clock now, okay, how come Miss Breeder is about to end her live broadcast, let's chat with them for a little while longer and see the cute little fat orange, sorry everyone, I really can't broadcast anymore, I have to go off the air, I broadcast from 9am to 6pm, I'm already a bit tired, now I just want to take a nice shower and do some laundry, clean my room, and go to bed, Sister Honger explained as she gripped her cell phone, she was already tired from broadcasting from early morning to late evening, she couldn't take it if she was allowed to broadcast any longer, then Breeder's sister rest early, 5.55, yeah, Miss Breeder remember to broadcast on time tomorrow morning, yeah, 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 right now. A day without seeing little fat orange makes me very uneasy in my heart. The water friends who heard this then stopped forcing themselves. As long as Sister Honger must start broadcasting on time tomorrow. Okay, everyone don't worry. 
I will definitely start broadcasting on time at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, Sister Honger said with a smile, then closed the live broadcast. Ow ow, sleep sleep sleep. Seeing that the annoying pop-ups were finally gone, Cheng Hao's crumpled face was then happy again. Fine, sleep, Sister Honger said with a smile as she heard this, then got up and walked towards the dormitory building. Cheng Hao saw this and immediately followed, jumping and shouting, ow ow, hug hug. Miss how this only focus on their own walk ah, but is holding him back ah. He is still three months of the baby it. Miss sister let him walk back like this? You this little villain. Sister so tired today is too lazy to hold you. And you are three months old. Every day to sister to hold shy ah? Sister Honger heard this and stopped to pat Chung Hao's head without any good reason. Then continued to walk towards the dormitory building with her steps. Little orange this little bad guy. Now are so heavy. Still want her to hug every day. Really think she is iron not? Ow, 555, Chung Hao. Who heard this? Immediately felt that the sky had collapsed. Miss Breeder actually really tolerate. Let him three months baby walk back ah. Oh my god, could this be the legendary love that fades away? Hungry, hungry. What rice rice? What rice rice? The early morning sunlight had just shone through the window into the dormitory when a crisp electronic sound resounded inside the dormitory. Hearing this, Sister Honger rolled over and yawned. Ah ah. Orange you bad guy are hungry in the morning huh? But sis doesn't want to get up ah. Why don't you sleep a little longer? Ow ow, bad. Get up get up. Chang Hao, who was pressing the buttons, immediately jumped up and down to the side of Sister Honger's bed, picking at Sister Honger's quilt as soon as he heard it. How can Miss Breeder's sister sleep? This isn't a good habit ah. Uh. You know he gets up so early. You little bad egg sister wants to sleep. You still don't let sister sleep? After being pulled by the red sister found that the quilt was pulled over. She reached out and grabbed Chung Hao's armpit and hugged it to the bed. Like hugging a doll bear, you little bad egg first accompany a little sleep. Sister will get you food later. Ow ow, don't ah. Uh. Chang Hao, who was being hugged, let out a protest. Since Miss Breeder's sister wasn't willing to prepare food for him, then he could go get the food himself. But Miss Breeder don't hug him ah. Uh. You little villain. What's wrong with sleeping with sister? It's not like you'll lose a piece of meat. And you're so chubby. Can't you be hungry twice? Sister Hong rubbed Chung Hao's belly and said in a good-natured manner, reaching out to cover the quilt. Ow ow, let go of me. Chung Hao inside the quilt stirred his legs and struggled. He is a good cat that always goes to bed early and wakes up early to eat regularly. He won't sleep. And the breeder sister should also be on par with him. Like this kind of sleepy behavior must be stopped to slam it. Be a good girl to sister lie down to not move. Or by then, sister will have to deduct your pots and pans of milk off. After discovering that Chung Hao was being dishonest inside the quilt, Sister Honger immediately threatened with a voice. She was so tired of taking care of him every day. What's wrong with sleeping with her? As for struggling so hard? Ow ow, bad sister. Upon hearing this, Chung Hao's struggling stuff immediately slowed down. Miss Breeder's sister was simply too bad, actually threatening him with this kind of thing. But it had to be said that what Miss Breeder's sister grabbed was indeed his weak point, because he could steal the chicken leg by himself. But he couldn't make his own pots and pans of milk. That's what makes you a good boy. That's what makes you a good kitty cat for your sister. Sister Honger said with a smile after realizing Chung Hao's struggles had stopped. And went into dreamland once again. One second two seconds three seconds. Almost. Miss sister has gone to sleep and can start eating. Chang Hao. Who was hiding in the quilt. Mumbled the time in his heart. And when he felt that the time was almost up. He carefully twisted his body to break free from Miss Honger's embrace. Tiptoed out of all the quilts and quietly groped and squirmed his way towards the refrigerator. Since Miss Sister is not willing to get up and prepare food for him, then he can only do it himself to have a good meal. Click, click. Chang Hao stood in front of the refrigerator, carefully picking at the door with his fingernails, and when the door opened a crack, he poked his head in to bite the chicken leg. After biting out the chicken leg, after biting out the chicken leg, he took a step towards the door. After being caught by the keeper on the spot last time, he had learned a lesson. That is, Never underestimate the vigilance of people when they are sleeping. So this is where he specially learned to be smart and ran to the doorway place to eat the chicken leg. It's always impossible for the young lady to still find out this way, right? Is this little villain that hungry? Can't wait to steal food like this? Just as Chung Hao was thinking this, Sister Honger had already woken up, squinting her eyes and observing Chung Hao, who was lying on his back in the doorway, placing the chicken leg on top of his paw and gnawing on it. Originally, she thought that when little orange ate up something, she would wolf down a mouthful, but it didn't occur to her that little tangerine still ate quite well when she ate, at least not like the other little tigers, who didn't care what was stuck on the chicken leg, she was devouring everything, if it wasn't for the fact that she had taken care of little tangerine since she was a child and knew that little tangerine was a boy, 
she would have thought that she had raised a little female tiger. The flavor is really good. It's just that the portion is a bit smaller. But it doesn't matter. Missy hasn't woken up yet she can eat it slowly. Chang Hao, whose attention was all on the chicken leg, licked his lips somewhat unfulfilled after finishing it, then climbed up from the ground and walked towards the refrigerator. It seemed like he hadn't stolen food for a while, so he had to take this opportunity to take a good look at what was suitable for him to eat inside the refrigerator. After all, you can't miss it if you're passing by. Thinking of this, Chang Hao was like entering a self-service supermarket, picking and choosing inside the refrigerator. This little villain stared at the refrigerator for so long and still didn't bite the chicken leg. What is this this doing? Sister Honger, who was lying on the bed pretending to be asleep, was a bit puzzled when she saw this scene. Didn't little orange just take the chicken leg out quite quickly? How come it's still not ready after coming in front of the refrigerator for so long now? What the hell is this little glutton doing? Just as she was puzzled, she saw Chang Hao bite into a piece of packaged synthetic steak and come out. At once, the whole face darkened. He he he, miss actually both still hiding steak. This is really great. I haven't eaten steak for a long time. Just so I can have a taste. Chang Hao was very happy after a treasure hunt inside the refrigerator. And after rummaging around inside the refrigerator, he actually found a piece of steak at the very bottom of the refrigerator. And looking at the steak frozen so hard, the breeder's sister must have ignored it for a long time. And when he finished the steak, then quietly climbed up the window to destroy the corpse. Miss Keeper wouldn't know about the steak still existing inside her refrigerator. Little Orange you put that steak down for me. That's synthetic, not real beef. You little fool. Just as Chang Hao was thanking the big refrigerator for the gift of steak, allowing him to eat it, Sister Honger's shout suddenly came over. Chang Hao's hair immediately exploded in fear, and his entire tiger jumped up. What was going on with Sister Breeder? Could it be that it had awakened the hearing color hegemony? Why was he discovered every time he was stealing food? If you little villain wants to steal the chicken thighs inside the refrigerator because you're hungry, it's fine. Even if it's to take a chicken breast, sister won't blame you. But you little villain, actually taking synthetic beef and eating it? Be careful of salting to death you little villain. Just as Chang Hao was dazed, sister Honger had already gotten up and snatched the synthetic steak from Chang Hao's mouth. Little orange, this bad guy really doesn't fight for three days. Letting him steal food and actually doesn't look down on ordinary chicken thighs, wanting to pick the best stuff to eat. But was this real steak? This is a synthetic marinated ah. Eat as salty not die him. Ow ow, synthetic? Chang Hao, who originally thought he had picked up a great bargain, froze, and the elation in his heart was immediately washed away. If he had known that he had searched for half a day and woke up the young lady only to find such a thing, then he might as well have just ended people legs nest. Yes, synthetic. It's not real beef there's also soy fiber in it. Be careful of diarrhea after eating it. Sister Honger was relieved to see that the synthetic steak in her hand wasn't broken, and squatted down to start educating Chung Hao. Do you know that you shouldn't eat this kind of packaging with color? This if you really want to eat beef, sister will apply to the head of the garden. You've been performing very well lately, selling a lot of tickets for the tiger park, and if you want to eat a few meals of beef, the head of the park will definitely agree. Ow ow, good. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head, saying that he learned learned learned, so this thing is a synthetic steak. He used to think that this kind of steak is made of pure meat. That's a good boy. Sister will now mix pots and pans of milk for you to drink. Sister Honger touched Chung Hao's little head and said, after stuffing the synthetic steak into the refrigerator, she took a step to mix pots and pans of milk. Seeing this, Chung Hao also took a step to the refrigerator door and bit into a chicken leg and came out. Since Missy didn't blame him for stealing food, that meant Missy was allowing him to take food from the fridge by himself. You bad guy can eat as much meat as you want. Just take as much as you can know, you're not allowed to take too much meat out at once, or else next time sister won't allow you to open the refrigerator by yourself. Sister Honger, who was mixing pots and pans of milk, saw it and warned. She didn't stop little orange from taking chicken thighs to eat, but little orange shouldn't take so many chicken thighs out at once, otherwise it would be contaminated with a lot of bacteria if she couldn't finish it and refreeze it. Oh, Chang Hao, who was biting into the chicken leg, nodded his head. Then came to the iron bowl and put the chicken leg down, slowly gnawing on it. Since Miss Sister had already woken up, there was no need for him to eat it secretly. He could gnaw on it openly. Seeing this, Sister Honger was satisfied and continued mixing the pots of milk. Ding ding, ding ding. Just at this time, the doorbell suddenly rang, followed by Sun Shoei's voice, Sister Honger are you up yet? Someone came over to look for you. Someone is looking for me? Mixed pots and pans of milk Sister Hong Air heard. Then put the pots and pans of milk in front of Chung Hao said, Sister now to go out for a while. You obediently stay in the dormitory inside. Do not make trouble no? Ow ow, good. Hearing this, 
Chang Hao nodded his head and replied, he's too busy with his mouth right now, how could he still have time to make trouble? Miss is really overthinking it. After seeing Chang Hao nod, Sister Honger then opened the door and went out with peace of mind. Little E, who's looking for me? It's a girl, right under the dormitory building, wearing overalls, Sun Xiaoyi said, pointing her finger at Su Lele standing downstairs, and Sister Honger came over when she saw this. When Su Lele downstairs saw this, she immediately reached out and shouted, Sister Honger good morning ah, can I go up to see the little fat orange ah? Of course you can, you come up, Sister Honger said with a smile. She said how come someone came to her early in the morning? It turned out to be Su Lele coming over. I also wonder how the analysis of that little grass they took over last time went. Is it an evolved plant or not? Good. Su Lele heard immediately ran towards the stairs. Some days did not see the little fat orange. Can really want to die her. Also do not know the little fat orange that little bad guy. Now is not still so snobbish it? Sister Honger then you and your friends have a good chat ah. I'm going to work now. Sun Xiaoyi saw this and spoke. Well. Xiao Yi you go. Sister Honger nodded and Sun Xiaoyi went downstairs. Sister Honger, little fat orange is still eating meat? Su Lele, who came up, scanned the circle before staring at the closed dormitory door and asked. Little fat orange this little glutton actually did not follow red sister out. Then certainly in the inside to eat meat. See her go in and not catch him hard to ravage him. Yes, he shouted hungry early in the morning. Sister Honger said with a smile. Then she pushed open the dormitory door. Gulp. Chang Hao who was drinking pots of milk, was immediately alert, of course he wasn't alert to sister Honger, but to the guy who followed her in, this woman was always trying to plot against him, and if he didn't pay attention he might let the other party get his hands on him, little fat orange you continue to drink pot pot milk ah, I will not steal with you, you have nothing to be so nervous why ah, Su Lele said with a smile, her gaze fixed on Chung Hao's belly next to it, it's really a little glutton, how much time has gone by, and actually gains so much weight, it looks like she needs to rub it properly before she can do it. Get out of the calf. Drinking milk does not give you the opportunity to grab. Hearing this Chun Hao, or still do not understand what the other side of the bad idea ah, biting the iron bowl. He ran towards the bottom of the bed. He didn't believe that if he drank milk under the bed, the other party would still be able to sneak up on him. You bad guy. Quickly get up from under the bed. Under the bed so dirty. You go down will become a dirty cat ah. Seeing the scene Su Lele immediately shouted anxiously. This year's kitten how this kind of careful ah, drinking milk actually have to hide under the bed to drink. Does she look like the kind of person who would rob a tiger cub's pot of milk? Nonsense. The breeder lady obviously cleaned the bottom very clean. Not dirty at all. Do you think I'm a fool? And ran out from underneath to give you a chance to go around the back. Chung Hao couldn't help but despise in his heart. The other party saw that the plan had fallen through. And this was all furious. It was because of this that he was even more unable to go out and give the other party a chance. Lele forget it. Little Orange can be very smart and won't give you a chance to get close to him. Seeing this, Sister Honger smiled and pulled over a chair for Su Lele to sit on and said, You came over this time to tell me that that grass is an evolutionary plant? Seeing how there was no way to force Chun Hao out Su Lele nodded. Yes, but I also returned to Sister Honger this time. You brought something more important oh. Oh, what is it? Hearing this, Sister Honger said curiously, Lele had actually come over not to tell her about that grass, but had something important to give her. Ha! Huh? Dang, of course it's the evolution potion no. One developed by our evolution department. Su Lele smiled and took out a stainless steel box from inside the school bag she was carrying. Evolution potion number one? Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but freeze. Not having thought that the evolutionist department actually possessed an evolutionist potion. It still sounded as if it was something unimaginable. Chang Hao, who was lying on his back under the bed and drinking pon pon milk, similarly froze, his two little ears spinning like satellites and even his movements of drinking pon pon milk stopped, he finally heard the thing he wanted to hear the most, and now he had to listen to this thing properly, whether it was the same as what he had imagined or not, also had to find out about the evolver sector, just how far had it developed this potion, yes, this is a potion developed by the experts of our evolutionary department, who extracted the sap from the evolutionary plants, this potion can accelerate the speed of our evolution, and it has no side effects at all, Su Lele opened the box and took out a green test tube and said, Ever since the discovery of Evolvers, the country had begun to think of ways to develop a potion to speed up the evolution of Evolvers, and through experiments, it was found that extracting evolutionary energy from plants was currently the most secure and best method. Therefore, the evolutionist department collected evolutionary plants on a large scale for cultivation, and extracted the juice from their bodies to develop evolutionary potions. 
So powerful, it's actually possible since it can accelerate the speed of evolution? Hearing this, Sister Honger couldn't help but say in surprise, it was unexpected that the Evolver sector was so powerful that it could actually even make potions to speed up the evolution of evolution. That's of course, otherwise wouldn't it be too ridiculous to join the Evolver sector and not even have this benefit? Su Lele listened and handed the evolution potion to Sister Honger and said, Sister Honger, you should take this potion quickly. It's one of the few ways you can quickly increase your strength. Know that strength is what keeps us evolved people alive. Okay. Looking at the evolution potion no. One that was handed over. Sister Honger nodded, then opened the cork and took a sip. Chun Hao heard this and immediately crept out quietly from under the bed. Although he was also able to draw on the evolutionary power inside the bodies of evolved plants and animals, he wasn't sure if the evolutionary department's potion was even more powerful than his ability. That's why he had to listen to Miss Breeder and how it was after taking it before he could do so. How is it? Did you feel anything? Sister Honger? After watching Sister Honger take evolutionary potion no. 1. Su Lele held her chin and waited for Sister Honger's answer. Thinking that she had been excited for a long time when she first took evolution potion no. 1. She wondered what Sister Honger's reaction would be. I feel a tiny stream of heat running through my body. Sister Honger, who had taken the evolution potion opened her mouth after feeling the abnormalities coming from her body. After taking the evolution potion number one, a warm current was traveling inside her body, and it began to slowly dissipate over time. Oh, that's similar to me. Chang Hao, who had his little ears perked up, muttered in his heart. So after drinking this evolutionary potion, a heat current will also appear in your body? That's similar to him biting those evolved plants and animals. It looks like joining the evolutionary sector is still quite good. At least there are still evolution potions to drink. So it's not like working for nothing. That's right. This is the normal reaction of evolution potion number one being taken. Su Lele smiled as she listened and said, Sister Honger do you feel any changes in your abilities? Usually there will be some changes after taking an evolutionary potion. Thinking that after she drank the evolution potion at first, her body immediately reacted. And after testing it, she found that her power had become much stronger. Right. Right. It's no use just feeling the warmth it has to be able to promote evolution as well. Chang Hao, who was muttering in his mind, heard Su Lele ask and his attention once again gathered to Sister Honger's side. It was important to know that after he absorbed the evolutionary power of the evolved plants and animals, he felt that he had become stronger. His claws had become sharper. He jumped higher. And his sense of hearing had become more sensitive. I wonder how much Miss Breeder has grown now after taking the evolution potion. It doesn't feel like much. It seems about the same as usual. Sister Honger felt it carefully and found that she hadn't changed much, but it was also possible that there was a change, just that she couldn't feel it. Is that so? It's possible that it's because Sister Honger you evolved as a special evangelist who communicates with animals. That's why it's not that obvious. If it's in terms of physical enhancement and so on you can feel it. Su Lele guessed as she held her chin after hearing this. The human evolvers that were discovered now had three main categories, physical, mental, and special abilities. Sister Honger is the special ability evolution category in this regard. Like this aspect of the evolved person usually do not show mountains and not show the water extremely low profile, but once they strike are some strange ability, let a person can not be defended. For example, hair control, not afraid of electricity, high temperature resistance, able to control all parts of the body and so on. Just the ones discovered now. There were about a hundred strange ones, some of which had duplicate abilities, but some were different. And that's what most of them said after taking evolution potion 1. So this is what it looks like? Scared me to death. I thought it was just me. Sister Honger couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief after hearing this. She thought that she had drunk a fake medicine or was too wasted for her own abilities to feel it. It turned out that it wasn't her reason ah. That would be great. It turns out that the special department to develop pharmaceuticals is not good. I thought it was black technology. Old powerful thing it. Chang Hao. Who heard this? Instantly lost interest. The breeder sister said that there was no feeling of getting stronger. So there must be none. Knowing that he is also an evolved creature and also has special abilities. But after he absorbed the energy of plants and animals, he could feel that he was getting stronger. But the young lady didn't have any reaction. Which meant that the evolution potion developed by the evolutionary beings department was just a slag in front of his ability. Thinking of this, Chang Hao became uninterested in evolution potions. Of course not. Sister Honger you don't worry too much. Su Lele said with a smile. Her eyes looked at Chung Hao who poked out his head. Her eyes couldn't help but show a crafty look. And she wanted to go over and grab the back of his neck. But what she didn't expect was that Chung Hao, who looked dumb and silly, quickly shrunk back with a whoosh sound when she was about to stretch her hand over. This, Su Lele, who had reached out for air, froze at the sight. 
She hadn't thought that she would fail in her attempts to be so careful and give Chung how the slip. At once, her face revealed a look of annoyance. Little bad guy. Darn little bad guy actually didn't give me a touch. At the expense of me giving you so much meat to eat. Want to grab me? With just you? Daydreaming. Shrinking his head. Chang Hao couldn't help but despise. Just her slow speed. Did she really think his ears were fake? As for the other party's claim of giving a lot of meat. Please their deal is already over. Okay? The other party shouldn't keep focusing on this kind of thing. Okay? Lele. Don't be angry. Little Orange is like this. You've been in contact with him several times. Aren't you still clear? Seeing this from the side. Sister Honger smiled and said. You want Xiao Tangerine to be intimate with you and give you a touch? It'll take a bit of time and patience. You know even Little E can't touch him casually if she wants to. She knew that Xiao Tangerine's round and chubby appearance was very popular. But Xiao Tangerine didn't actually like to be touched by people. Especially those who didn't know in strangers. Is that the breeder who just left? Little Orange can be really bad. Actually even the other keepers can't just touch it. Hearing this, Su Lele muttered her mouth. But her heart felt a little better. At least this little fat orange wasn't targeting her. Yes, because little tigers recognize people. Who is good to them? They actually know very well. Sister Honger said with a smile, reaching out and waving her hand towards the bottom of the bed. And the round head poked out, rubbing against the inside of her hand. Damn it. Su Lele who saw the scene couldn't help but gnash her teeth. The little fat orange was really treated differently. Actually on Sister Honger's side was this way. Ow ow, going to work. Sister. Rubbing against Sister Honger's hand Chung Hao called out, his nose gently sniffing Sister Honger's hand. He was able to smell a fresh scent of grass and wood. It looked like this evolutionary potion was really extracted from inside the evolutionary plant, but the effect was also a little too bad. He really doubted whether drinking a test tube was useful or not. It couldn't just be a taste, could it? I know. You little glutton actually rushed your sister to work. Can't you wait to go outside for extra food? Sister Honger said with a smile bending down to carry Chang Hao out from under the bed. Little orange this little bad guy. Must be this period of time as a fortune cat. By other people to feed people legs to feed the habit. Now actually began to urge up her to go to work. Otherwise, the original time that was to be as lazy as possible. Sleep as long as possible. Where would it be unprecedented to urge her to hurry up and go to work? Ow ow, no. Chang Hao who heard this shook his head. How could he be such a little glutton? He was clearly doing this for the good of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. After all, without tourists, Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park doesn't have money to give them money to improve their food. He is for everyone's sake. Still saying no. You little glutton's mouth is watering. Sister Hong rubbed Chung Hao's belly and said in a bad mood. The little glutton's mouth is very hard. But the body is very honest. Ow ow, there is well. Hearing this, Chung Hao immediately sucked up his saliva. Of course. Sister Honger said in a good-natured manner. Looking up to Su Lele and asking, Lele, what else do you have to inform me? If not, it's getting late and I have to take Little Orange to work. Of course there is. Hearing this, on Su Lele's face, a smile immediately appeared. And she said with some complacency, Sister Honger has some good news to tell you. Oh, after the commander's approval, I've now become the animal inspector stationed in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. She didn't just come over to deliver the evolution potion to Miss Keeper. She also had to inform the keeper to settle for a good news. That is, from today onwards, she became Sister Honger's bodyguard. Once a guy with bad intentions wanted to get close to Sister Honger, then the one who would face it would be sanctioned by her iron fist. Eh, what's an animal ombudsman? Sister Honger couldn't help but froze at her words. She had heard of animal wardens. But what was this animal inspector? They had this position in Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? It seems that there is no it. She stayed here for a few years have not heard of it ah. It's responsible for observing the health of the tigers in Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, and whether the keepers are working seriously, and whether the money of the tiger park is spent on the tigers and so on. Su Lele said with a smile, her gaze looking at Chung how as she opened her mouth, especially a chubby little tiger like you. At first glance, you've eaten a lot of meat. Hurry up and come over and let me check if this meat of yours is real or not. Ow ow, rolling. Chang Hao, who heard this, immediately waved his claws. What inspection? This guy had come to this house clearly to fake publicity for private gain. He wouldn't fall for such a vulgar trick. Eh, that means to monitor the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, right? Sister Honger opened her mouth after hearing this. What zoo inspector? Isn't this just here to monitor the tiger park? It's not surveillance to be precise. It's mainly for me to come over to protect Sister Honger's safety. Seeing Chang Hao waving his paw, Su Lele explained while teasing. The top wasn't too worried about your safety inside the tiger park. So after discussing it, 
they notified the department that finances the Hauntishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park and placed an identity for me to come over. Eh, there's no need to be so troublesome. If I really can't, I can quit this job to go to the department ah. After Sister Honger heard this, she couldn't help but feel that this was a bit of a fuss. Was it really good to specially engage in this identity for her? It always felt as if she had brought a great deal of trouble to the Red Tower Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park and the Evolutionist Department. Especially for the director of the park. The director must be having a headache right now, right? An inspector was suddenly parachuted down from above. And it was also the kind that was stationed for a long period of time. Who else would want to? Must pressure would all be very high. This can't be done. Oh, Sister Honger. The reason why the above did this was after careful consideration. There was consideration. Su Lele, who heard this, opened her mouth and said, Sister Honger your ability can only be better developed in a place with many animals. If you go back with us, it will instead be detrimental to your ability. Although special abilities were different from physical mental evolution, there was one thing in common, and that was that abilities could only become stronger with repeated refining. If Sister Honger left the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, if you want to find such a suitable place to exercise one's abilities, there would not be many. Abilities can still be developed? Hearing this, Sister Honger asked curiously, abilities can actually be developed? She had always thought that only abilities were unchanging. Of course, the light of evolution unlocked our body's genetic locks, allowing us to produce special powers. And as long as we do it through constant exercise, then the ability will grow. It's just like running. As long as we run every day, then the distance we can run will get farther and farther. Su Lele said, taking out a book from inside his pocket and handing it to Sister Honger. In it, there is a record about the Evolver Department. All the research about Evolvers at this stage. If you are free, Sister Honger, you can take a good look at it. Her mouth is ultimately shallow. If Sister Honger wants to know more, it's better to take a look at this book. Inside this book written by the experts of the Evolver sector, the description of all these are very detailed. Okay, I will definitely read it when I have time. Sister Honger nodded back after receiving it, placing the book under her pillow. How is this evolutionary so much like an ability? Or is this Evolver's cultivation just the same as an ability user? After Chang Hao, who was being held in Honger's arms, finished Su Lele's words, he immediately felt that these words were a bit familiar. And upon careful consideration, wasn't this the way that ability users became stronger? This is really outrageous. However, after thinking that he could turn into a tiger even if he died suddenly, things didn't seem so outrageous. Sister Honger, are you tired of holding this little chubby guy? Do you want me to help you carry it? Just as Chang Hao was fuming, Su Lele rubbed her hands together and asked with some excitement. The little fat orange's dazed look was really cute, just like a plush doll. Looking at it, she wanted to ruthlessly ravage little fat orange. I would like to let you hug me, but there's no way little orange would agree. Sister Honger shook her head as she sniffed and said, if Xiao Tangerine was willing to give the other party a hug, it would be easy for her in the future. But this was probably impossible. How could Xiao Tangerine be so well behaved? Ow ow, don't come over. As if to verify Sister Honger's words, Chun Hao waved his claws towards Su Lele with an open mouth look. Are they familiar? The other party should not lean so close. Obediently give him to skim off the unrealistic thoughts in his heart. Otherwise don't blame him can have to be ruthless and merciless. Little bad guy. I am willing to hug you this is your blessing no? Such a beautiful young lady like me. Do you know how many little tigers are lining up outside waiting for me to hug them? Su Lele said without a trace of anger. Little Orange this big bad guy still dare to threaten her. Does he know that he is threatening a pretty young lady? Whether it's pretty or not has nothing to do with me. I'm a tiger that only recognizes meat and not people. Chang Hao heard this and couldn't help but slander. What's the point of being pretty? Can being pretty fill your stomach? He is a small tiger without feelings. Don't think that you can tempt him with beauty. He has long since gotten out of that kind of vulgar desire and only has meat in his heart. Little Orange is obedient. Don't be mean to Lele. In the future we will all be together off and oh. Sister Honger held Chun Hao's waving paw and said. You have to learn to be a civilized and polite tiger. You can't be so fierce you know. Ow ow, oh whoa. Oh. Hearing Sister Honger's words, Chun Hao put away his claws. And for the sake of Sister Honger, he was too lazy to bother with the other party. But if the other party dared to sneak up on him again, then he wouldn't be polite either. This is only sister's good kitty cat. Sister Honger saw this and complimented. Alright, now we're going to work. Little Orange. Work? Is it to go live? Sister Honger. Su Lele, who heard this from the side, voiced out, I can help with the cell phone. This way Sister Honger you can focus on taking care of Little Orange. This way? Then I'll be troubling you Lele. Sister Honger sniffed and pondered for two seconds before saying, No need to be polite. 
I originally came over to also serve as a bodyguard for you. Sister Honger, if I don't do something, I would rather feel bored. Su Lele said with a smile. How fun was it to take care of a little tiger? Wasn't it more interesting than being an evolutionary? And now that she had this additional identity, if little fat orange wouldn't let her touch it, then wouldn't she still be able to touch the other little tigers if she wanted to? Good morning everyone ah. Welcome to Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Today by me for everyone live oh. Honger sister is going to start tree climbing training for little fat orange. Su Lele, who was holding up her cell phone, was very familiar with the water friends in the live broadcast room. As an old friend of the live broadcast room, she has always been at work, secretly watching Sister Honger and Little Fat Orange live broadcast room. Now that Sister Honger's live room was managed by her, she instantly realized the feeling of having power in her hands, and how to live next was up to her. Ha, huh, is Miss Breeder already a big anchor now? Actually started having assistance. Yeah, it looks like Miss Breeder is about to become a big anchor on the platform. The water friends who came and heard this and couldn't help but say with seven parts flirting and three parts joking. That's for sure. Who made our little fat orange a favorite tiger? Su Lele said with a smile, gazing at Chung Hao standing in front of the tree and continued to mutter. It's just that his personality is just a little too harsh. He won't touch anything until he gives it. Ha ha ha. It looks like Miss Assistant is very dissatisfied with little fat orange which recognizes meat but not people. That's right. Little fat orange is only obedient in front of Miss Breeder. Everyone else can't control him. As soon as they heard Su Lele's bitter and hateful tone, the water friends could think of what the other party had gone through. It must be that they couldn't forcefully jack Little Fat Orange, which was why they complained inside the live broadcast room. Little Orange, today sister prepared for you the pork you want to eat the most oh. You cooperate with sister to climb the tree today, okay? Sister Honger stood next to the tree, grasping a piece of pork in her hand and said to Chung Hao, little tigers at this age should be trained to climb trees only, or else they won't be able to train well when they grow up in the future. Ow ow, well, Chang Hao who was staring at the meat, nodded his head repeatedly, as long as there was food to eat everything was fine, isn't it just climbing a tree, it's easy, Miss Breeder hurry up and put the meat on the tree, he can't wait to climb the tree, well, that's good, Sister Honger, who heard Chang Hao's reply, praised him, then held the meat and placed it on the tree trunk to lure him, this is the usual trick of training the tigers to climb trees in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, but for the tigers of this age group, it works very well because this age group of tigers, in addition to eating only play, and for little orange, the little glutton, the killing power is even more needless to say, Chun Hao immediately popped out his fingernails and began to pull the tree in preparation for climbing upwards, when the fingernails of one paw were set into the tree trunk, Chun Hao realized what was the difference between a human and a tiger climbing a tree, when a person climbs a tree, he has to hold the trunk tightly and climb up with the help of protrusions, while a tiger can climb up as long as its claws are pulled, it felt so good to be able to climb without so much effort. Moreover, the claws were embedded to give him a sense of security, just like putting on a layer of insurance. After realizing this, Chung Hao detached himself from the ground and climbed up the tree trunk in three or two moves, rushing towards the meat wielded by Sister Honger. Ka ka ka. And as he climbed, the tree quickly swayed, making a crisp ringing sound. As a tree it couldn't figure out what virtue or ability it had that it could be patronized by a tiger. Obviously there were so many trees next to it. How did it pick on it? If it could speak, at this time must be shouting, you do not come over ah. Little fat orange is so heavy. Su Lele heard the sound from the tree, immediately smiled and said to the water friends in the live broadcast room, did everyone hear anything? If not, we can listen to it again from a close distance. After saying that, he held his cell phone close to the big tree. This time, all the water friends inside the live broadcast room heard it and began to talk about it. See I told you, little fat orange collapsed the cone right? The soup bowl thick tree was shaken by his climb. That's right. This tree is so pathetic. I can't imagine it was treated inhumanely so soon. Yes, I hope that little fat orange will be able to lay his hands on it lightly. Ah, don't overwhelm this tree directly. I guess it's a bit difficult. I see that this tree has grown for several years. It might be about to break down here this year. Little orange is awesome. Come, come, come. Keep climbing upwards. Sister Honger saw Chang Hao climb more than a meter high and waved the pork in her hand to continue encouraging. Little Orange was finally climbing the tree honestly. Not gnawing on the tree was really too much for her to be happy about. Her biggest worry was that Little Orange was gnawing on the tree for her like yesterday. Ow ow, neat. The crawling Chang Hao sniffed, picking at the tree even faster. The tree underneath him once again made an unbearable sound and shook even more. It was like it might die a violent death at any moment. The water friends who saw the scene couldn't help but close their eyes and sighed in their hearts. 
Tree Tree is really hard to actually be targeted by Little Fat Orange. Hurry up. It's almost here oh. Sister Honger wasn't clear about what was happening inside the live broadcast room. At this time, she was still luring Chang Hao to continue climbing upwards. And after Chang Hao adapted to climbing the tree, he soon climbed to the position where Sister Honger was grabbing the meat, took a bite on top of the meat, and began to chew on it. So good. So good. Sister Honger touched the head of Chang Hao who was gnawing her hand and praised. The little orange was really good today. Actually really honestly climbed up and didn't give her a whole lot of trouble. Can't see that the little fat orange is so fat. Actually climbing the tree is still so flexible. Really this is the legendary flexible fat? Although some heart take this big tree. But when Si Chang Hao climbed the tree after the water friend's attention. Instantly from the tree to Chang Hao body. Of course. You think the name of the king of all beasts is blown out ah. The tiger can climb trees and go down to the water. In addition to flying won't be. It's simply an all round hunting player. Yes. But he's not enough in front of one of my slide shovels. My humble self has never missed a shot with a professional slide shovel for over 30 years. Funny, I very much agree with the sentence upstairs, because he won't have a chance to miss, only a chance to miss. A tiger doesn't stare at your hand specifically. That's just it. You could make a little fat orange cry with a sliding shovel down there, and he wouldn't know how to eat you in one meal. Nonsense. Facing little fat orange, I at least have the power to fight. The professional sliding shovel water user said that he couldn't shovel the big tiger. Could he not shovel this little tiger? Look at him with a slide shovel. It's quick. In one go, he could shovel the little fat orange to tears. You have the ability to say this sentence two months later to try to see. On the little fat orange's current growth rate, two months later, a slap can slap your brain out. That's right. Bullying little fat orange counts for something. If you have the ability to find little fat orange's parents to try, the water friends who heard this voiced out. Little fatty orange is so cute. How can there be such a bad person who actually wants to shovel little fatty orange to cry? If you have the ability to find little fat orange's parents to try, try it and die for real. I'm not going to find that kind of big tiger. The water user who specialized in slide shoveling said, but if Miss Breeder agrees, I can go skid shovel little fat oranges. Bah, just bad guys who will bully little fat oranges. We despise you. You don't even dare to skate shovel a big tiger. And you're a professional skate shoveler. That's right. I think your slide shovel is fake. Want to get close to the little fat orange is real. The water users said in a good natured manner. Little fatty orange was so cute. It was everyone's common property. This guy actually wanted to use this despicable way to get close to little fatty orange. They were the first to disagree. Ow ow, neat. Chang Hao. Who climbed down the tree. His gaze fixed on the bucket placed at sister Honger's feet. And voiced his urging. Miss Breeder's sister must be very tired carrying such a bucket of meat. Right? Hurry up and give it to him to eat so that he can help lighten the load a bit. Moreover, this meat is not fresh after sitting for a long time. It had to be fixed right away for it to work. And he felt obligated to help the breeder. Miss Sister with this favor. These meats are not for you to eat all at once oh. You bad guy. Sister Honger heard this and squatted down to touch Chung Hao's head and said. You have to go through sister's training before you can eat these meats. Ow ow, hurry up then. Chung Hao sniffed and stared at the meat and shouted. What tricks does Miss Sister have? Just feel free to use them. He'll take them all. Today these meats must definitely be his, and they must be his as well. Don't be hasty, little orange. Seeing this, Sister Honger beckoned towards Chung Hao sniffing and smiling. You come over with your sister. My sister will take you to a good place today. Good place? Hearing this, Chung Hao could not help but freeze, and then saw the red sister carrying a bucket toward the distance. Immediately took steps to follow up. I don't know what kind of medicine the breeder sister is selling inside her gourd. Why did she suddenly bring him here today for tree climbing training? Sister Honger is going to take Little Orange to train somewhere else, so we have to quickly follow up now. When Su Lele saw this, she said as she followed up, and soon heard the sound of cooing coming from the distance, and instantly understood what Sister Honger was talking about in terms of training. Laughing, he said to the water friends in the live broadcast room, Did everyone hear that sound? This is the item that Little Orange is going to train next oh. I've already heard it. Isn't this the sound of only cause? The water friends who heard this spoke up. They weren't deaf to such a loud cooing sound, so how could they not hear it? Yes, it looks like the breeder lady is going to train the little fat orange's predatory ability. I don't know how the little fat orange's predatory ability is so gluttonous? A new aquatic friend asked curiously. Little fat orange to so big. It is indeed time to start its predatory training. Just do not know how the predatory ability of the little fat orange? Will it run straight away when it sees an attack? After all, he had watched the video of the breeder's live food training for the little tigers and realized that these little tigers didn't have the big tigers to teach them, so they didn't know how to kill the roosters at all? 
Some of them were even given a scare, all in all looking very wretched. Of course it's very strong. Our little fat orange is known as the king of rodent extermination. That's right. And the little fat orange is not looking fat and stupid. He is very fierce ah. Old water friends to see the new water friends. Actually doubt the ability of small fat orange. Immediately voiced back. Think of the beginning of the small fat orange but one against a hundred took out a lot of rats ah. From here you can see the small fat orange in the end how powerful. The other side actually doubt the small fat orange predatory ability. Looks like it really is a newcomer. You guys just care about little fat orange? Like I'm all concerned about poor little on lion. Little on lion is also life. That's. That's right. Do you know how hard little on lion tries to lay eggs for us to eat every day? That's right. That's right. You guys are so cruel. Be careful that in the future. Little only and won't lay eggs for you to eat. Just as the water friends in the live broadcast room. Discussed whether Chang Hao could prey on chickens or not. A third voice appeared inside the live broadcast room. Isn't it just not laying eggs for us to eat? No matter. We'll go buy eggs to eat ourselves. That's right. If we eat the eggs late only because of it. We might dance uncontrollably. That's right. That's right. The two sides that were arguing voiced out. And the inside of the group was suddenly filled with a cheerful atmosphere. It seems like the training that Missy is talking about is to clean up this rooster. Then that's the kind of training I'm willing to do. What was going on inside the live broadcast room was not clear to Chung Hao. At this moment, he looked at the fenced-in chicken coop in front of him and couldn't help but lick his lips. He hadn't thought that the tiger park actually had walker chickens inside, and it looked like it was still specifically used to train their predatory abilities. That feeling's well. He hadn't eaten a ground chicken for a long time. He just took this opportunity to have a good time. Little Red you came over here for Orange's predation training huh? The cafeteria aunt who was feeding the chickens with vegetable leaves. Saw Sister Honger come over and asked out loud. The auntie who normally burned rice and came over to feed the chickens when she had time in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. She was already not surprised to see the keepers bringing over tiger cubs and picking chickens for live food training. Yes, auntie. Sister Honger smiled and nodded her head as she said. Little Orange is now more than three months old. And it's time for him to be trained in the ability to hunt for food. So I brought him over. Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park in order to make sure that when each little tiger is trained. The live food has a certain lively ability, not the kind of caged chickens that just get caught. Therefore, all will be in the chicken bot for a period of time after the chicken on its loose. The purpose is to let the tiger cubs predation. Not so easy to predation success. So, then go pick a chicken out yourself. The cafeteria aunt who heard this said with a smile. Okay. Sister Honger nodded after hearing this. Her gaze then scanned the ten or so chickens surrounding inside the fence to see which one would be better to pick for Chang how to train. Puff. Just as Sister Honger was thinking this, Chang Hao had already jumped up and crossed the one and a half meter high fence, entering the five acre sized chicken coop. Ah, how did you jump in by yourself? Little Orange, quickly jump out for Sister. Sister Honger, who was attracted by the sound, immediately shouted when she saw the scene. She did not think that Xiao Tangerine actually jumped in by himself, but this chicken coop is not a place for him to hunt. This is just a place to pick chickens. If Xiao Tangerine scared these chickens to death, it would be over. The head gardener would definitely have to manage Little Orange's confinement for a few weeks. Little Fat Orange is really powerful. Su Lele, who was holding her cell phone, couldn't help but be surprised when she saw this. She had seen a lot of keepers put live food to train the tigers. But those tigers were overwhelmed when they saw the chickens. But not only would Little Tangerine not do that. Instead, she took the initiative to jump inside the chicken coop. Ah, evolved creatures are evolved creatures. Their intelligence is much higher than the other tigers. Look at how powerful our little fat orange is? This action of jumping in. It's called a nimble awe. Yeah, yeah, right, right. This is only because they are finished. Little fat orange is not a good person. After the water friends in the live broadcast room saw this scene, they immediately discussed happily. Their eyes were glued to the live broadcast room, afraid to let go of a single second. Ow ow, I'll just catch one. Don't worry sister. After stepping on the weeds, Chang Hao's eyes scanned a circle of the chicken coop before shouting towards sister Honor. He's already in. Isn't it a waste of time to go out now? He guaranteed that he would just grab one chicken and go out. And definitely wouldn't grab a second one more. Little glutton. Sister Honger, who heard this outside the fence, chanted, and then let go of her lifted heart. Little Orange was just catching a chicken then? That would not be a problem. Goo goo. Goo goo. After the chickens inside the fence saw Chung Hao jump in, they immediately fluttered their wings in panic and ran towards the chicken nest next to them. Looking like they were scared by Chung Hao. Chickens are chickens, they're really timid, they ran so fast before I even did anything. Seeing this scene, Chang Hao muttered and took a step towards the chicken coop. The chickens inside the coop had all run into the chicken coop. 
He wouldn't be able to catch the chickens if he didn't go inside. Goo goo. But before Chang Hao could get close, a shadow jumped out of the chicken coop with fluttering wings. I'm going. Chang Hao, who was approaching, couldn't help but be startled at the sight, and hurriedly braked his steps and stopped in place, only to see a large rooster with a large crown and an oily body shining under the sun appear in front of him. And after this large rooster came out, a pair of rooster eyes stared tightly at Chang Hao. The little fat orange is finished, bullying the little hen. And as a result, the little hen went home and called the rooster came out. Yeah, this rooster is really strong. At first glance it's an extraordinary guy. That's right. You guys take a look at the way he's holding his head high. He's definitely a bully among chickens. Seeing this scene, the atmosphere in the live broadcast room was once again lively. The water friends hadn't thought that this live food training would actually be able to organize such a pile of work. It was simply fantastic ah. They loved watching this kind of ups and downs bizarre and twisted live broadcast the most. Auntie, when did we get such a big rooster in our chicken coop? Sister Honger who saw this big rooster come out couldn't help but ask in confusion. She remembered that the head gardener raised hens in the chicken coop. How could such a big rooster appear here? And it also looked very ferocious. This rooster was sent over by the head gardener some time ago. He said that recently there were no baby tigers for live food training, and that it would be a waste to put these hens over here. So I got a rooster to come over to see if I can get the hens pregnant. So when the time comes, the chickens will be able to lay eggs and the eggs will hatch chickens to reduce the expenses inside the tiger garden. The canteen auntie who was asked opened her mouth to explain. She didn't have the guts to raise a rooster inside the chicken coop privately. It was all arranged by the head of the garden. So that's how it is. I wonder why there's suddenly an extra rooster. Hearing this, Sister Honger nodded her head. Her gaze then once again looked towards the rooster inside the chicken coop that majestically looked like it was not to be messed with and shouted to Chung Hao. Little orange you have to be more careful. This big rooster isn't that easy to deal with. If you can't win the fight then come back. Sister will catch you a small little hen to bully. This big rooster is not a good fight at first glance. And Xiao Tangerine also saw a big rooster for the first time. She didn't know how to deal with a rooster at all. If she was pecked by a big rooster, it would not be good. For the sake of Xiao Tangerine's safety. She felt the need to change a chicken for Xiao Tangerine's training. Ow oh, ow, oh, no need. Chang Hao who heard this shook his head. He was at least a tiger. Okay, even if he hadn't grown up yet. But isn't it easy to deal with a rooster? There was no need for Miss Keeper to be so worried. Let's see how he can easily take down this strutting rooster. Koku, Koku. The big rooster poked its head and stared at Chang Hao, walking over step by step. Seeing this, Chang Hao carefully stepped back, avoiding giving the rooster a chance to approach. The same low-lying body around the big rooster. This big rooster flip around on the three axes. As long as to avoid the big rooster fluttering wings of the flying peck and chicken claw scratch. Then he will be able to easily solve the other side. Although it was said that he wasn't too afraid of a hard fight. But if he could get himself hurt less. It was better to get hurt less. My god. Little fat orange actually wimped out. It looks like facing the big rooster. Little fat orange doesn't have the confidence to fight and win. Yeah. It's true that Big Rooster's reputation as a bully in the village isn't for nothing. The water friends in the live broadcast room were surprised to see this scene. They originally thought that after Little Fat Orange saw the rooster, he would immediately pounce on it to start a tiger in Phoenix fight. But they didn't think that Little Fat Orange would actually shrink back in fear when he saw the attack toward the front, which was simply too disappointing for them. Sure enough, a bred tiger is a bred tiger, not as fierce as a tiger in the wild. If it was replaced with a wild tiger? A big cockerel like this that doesn't know how many times it has died. Sister Honger, is little orange scared? Su Lele held her cell phone and walked over to Sister Honger to inquire. In her impression, little fat orange was very fierce. So how could he be scared back at the sight of a rooster? This was clearly not right. But she wasn't a professional breeder. So she couldn't see anything. She could only ask Sister Honger what was going on. Sister Honger definitely knew more than her as a breeder. Little orange isn't scared. He's looking for an opportunity. Sister Honger sniffed and looked at Chung Hao, who was backing up and circling around the rooster, and couldn't help but show a pleased look in her eyes, saying, Tigers aren't just hard fighting animals. When faced with unfamiliar prey, they'll try to observe it first. This is what Little Orange is doing right now. He didn't attack rashly, but is observing to find an opportunity to surprise attack. If Little Orange was really scared, he wouldn't be circling around the big rooster like this, but would just run away. This was a good thing. Proving that Little Orange was a bold and careful tiger. One should know that tigers don't have anyone to take care of them in the wild. If they get injured, they will at most be left with disabilities if they are a little bit light. But if they are a little bit heavy, they will lose their lives. So that's how it is. I thought Little Orange was really scared. After listening to Sister Honger's explanation, Su Lele said with a sudden realization, 
she said that Xiao Tangerine, this glutton, was so fierce, how could she be scared by a large rooster? It turned out to be looking for an opportunity to sneak attack ah, really a little tiger that doesn't speak of martial virtues. Breeder sister said that the little fat orange is not afraid, looking for an opportunity to sneak attack. You say this is not true ah? It should be true. After all, Miss Keeper is a professional. It's normal for amateurs like us to not be able to see it. That's right. What the breeder lady said is definitely right. We just need to keep our eyes open to see the little fat orange show on the line. The water friends who heard this discussed, their eyes continuing to stare at the live broadcast room. Goo goo, goo goo. The large rooster that stood in place made an impatient sound, and its claws began to restlessly rub against the ground as it approached towards Chung Hao. When it was less than two meters away from Chung Hao, it suddenly rose up and fluttered its wings towards Chung Hao. Good guy, more go than me. Watch my cat cat fist. Seeing the big rooster's sudden sneak attack, Chang Hao called out an insider's voice, stomped his hind limbs and the whole tiger detached itself from the ground, waving his two thick claws towards the big rooster and slapped it down. Ka Ching, the flying big rooster's probing head, 30 centimeters away from catching Chang Hao's tiger's face, was waved by Chang Hao's claws and flew out, landing on the ground with a heavy rattling sound. Not waiting for the big rooster to have any reaction, Chang Hao, whose claws landed on the ground, then immediately pounced on it, pressed the wings of the big rooster with both claws, and bit the big rooster's throat directly. My god, little fat orange is so powerful. Yeah, actually really waiting for a chance. The water friends in the live broadcast room saw this scene and couldn't help but open their mouths wide in surprise. The battle between little fat orange and big rooster was really too fast, and they even reacted a bit before the battle was already over. Goo goo. Goo goo, the hens beside the chicken nest saw the scene and couldn't help but let out a sad sound. The water friends who heard this sound couldn't help but sigh. The hens are so pitiful, they have to watch the rooster die in front of their eyes like this. Yeah, it's really cruel. 555. You'd better say cruel instead of gluttonous. While many of the water users were grieving, there was also someone who stood out and sang the opposite tune. That said, you guys need to look like this big rooster's death is worth it. At least he made little fat orange strong. He didn't die in vain, but another form to live in our hearts. Not bad, the big rooster lived a great life and died an honorable death. Let's just watch little fat orange properly. The water friends stopped caring after two seconds of silence for the death of the big rooster. Who made this big rooster not as cute as little fat orange? They were a bit sorry, but they were a bunch of face watchers. This big rooster is actually an evolved creature. No wonder it dares to be so brave. But you're no good at this. Isn't this fighting me asking for death? Biting the neck of the big rooster. Chang Hao could feel a warm current entering his body, and immediately realized that this big rooster was not some ordinary rooster, but an evolved creature. No wonder this big rooster didn't run away when it saw him, and even dared to rush up. Even if it was an evolved creature, there was no way for it to directly transcend the limitations of biological races. Wasn't it a matter of minutes for him, the king of the hundred beasts, to clean it up? However, this also showed that there were really too many evolved plants and animals nowadays, and even a chicken was an evolved animal. It looked like this world was becoming more and more dangerous. He had to raise his strength as soon as possible before this world went berserk. Little Orange quickly come out ah, you bite the big rooster don't sit inside and continue to stay. It will scare the hens to death. Sister Honger saw Chung Hao still staying inside the chicken coop after he got his hands on it, and immediately shouted out. Little Orange didn't see the hens so scared, he quickly came out from inside. If he scared the hens to death, the head gardener won't spare him. Ow ow, oh oh. Hearing this. Chung Hao bit the big rooster and ran from inside the chicken coop, and jumped out with an easy leap outside the fence. Little fat orange is quite powerful. Holding such a big rooster in his mouth can actually jump out. Looks like you're not really fat. Standing outside the fence, Su Lele saw this scene and couldn't help but say with a smile. With a step, she walked towards Chang Hao. Ow ow, what do you want? Chang Hao, who had just landed on the ground and was preparing to perform undressing services for the big rooster, saw the other party walking over with no good intentions and immediately stared at Su Lele with vigilance, letting out a low growl. This woman was always bothering him, and now she was even more unscrupulous in walking over to him. I don't know what the hell she wanted to do, could it be that she was planning to take revenge on him from the tiger's mouth? If this is the case, the other party would have to ask his paw if he agrees first. When Su Lele saw it, she was instantly happy, and looked at Chung Hao and said without a trace of anger, Do you little fat orange need to be so protective of food? So protective of food? I don't eat raw food. Why are you so nervous? I just want to get a little closer so that my water friends can see it more clearly. Then you have to be careful too. Chung Hao sniffed and grabbed the big rooster on the ground, then ran away with small steps. He wouldn't believe the other party's bullshit. 
Does this little wit need to be so cautious? Su Lele was speechless at the sight. She really just wanted to get close enough to shoot. Why was this little villain guarding her like a thief? That's how the little tigers are. You'll just get used to it. Sister Honger on the side said with a smile, taking a step towards Chang Hao. Ow ow, mine. Seeing Sister Honger walking over, Chang Hao put down the large rooster and tilted his head to roar. But his voice was obviously a bit lacking in midair. Not as fierce as when he had just roared at Su Lele. To put it simply, he was goaded, but had to swear sovereignty. Sister knows that this is yours, and sister has no intention of stealing the food from you. Sister came over to teach you how to pluck the feathers of a rooster. Sister Honger smiled at the situation and said, Not angry. A tiger wouldn't be called a tiger if it didn't protect its food. And little orange wasn't exactly fierce right now. Instead it was very cute, like a living emoji. The fact proves that the words of the old ancestors are not wrong. One thing leads to another. The brine points tofu. Even if the little fat orange is ferocious again, in front of the keeper's young lady sister, she wouldn't dare to make a fuss. Yes, look at the way he is fierce and wimpy, really laughs me to death. Aha, uh -huh, I've already taken a screenshot and will be able to post a love package soon. The water friends who saw the scene couldn't help but laugh. Look at how little fat orange just yelled at Miss Assistant, now how did he yell at the breeder sister? The contrast was simply not too great, and they were dying of laughter. They wanted to know how big the psychological shadow area of the assistant sister is now. Little orange watch. You have to grab the big rooster's hair like this and pull it down before you can do it. Otherwise you can't pull it out cleanly. You know? Sister Honger squatted beside Chang Hao, very sweetly undertaking what a nanny should do. Teaching the little tigers how to pluck the feathers after catching the prey. How exactly should they pluck their hair? Ow ow, oh. Hearing this, Chang Hao nodded his head. In fact, even if Miss Breeder didn't tell him. He knew exactly how to pluck the feathers of chickens. After all, he had seen a lot of this kind of thing in his previous life. Not only do you have to pluck the chicken's feathers a little bit towards the bottom, but you also have to do it while it's still hot. Otherwise it won't be easy to pluck them off after the chicken's blood has solidified. Well, little orange you pluck it quickly. Seeing Chang Hao nod his head, Sister Honger smiled and urged, her gaze carrying some encouragement. Chang Hao sniffed and started pulling out the hairs. Speaking of which, the difference in senses between different species was really big. If he had plucked the feathers of a rooster when he was a human, he might have started to feel nauseous because of the smell of the feathers, but now that he has become a tiger, not only does he not feel nauseous, but he also smells more and more delicious, just plucking the feathers. His saliva was already flowing out from the corner of his mouth. Little orange, pull out the hairs carefully, the hairs haven't been pulled out yet. Why is your saliva coming out? Sister Honger was happy to see this. This little glutton is really greedy. How can a little tiger drool while plucking chicken feathers? It was also fortunate that she was teaching from the side. Otherwise she was really worried that this little glutton, Xiao Tangerine, would even eat the chicken feathers. Ow ow, no. No. Chang Hao who heard this spat out the chicken feathers while replying back. He was the king of all beasts. How could he drool carelessly? Little sister must have misread it. You little glutton has a hard mouth. It's just a pity that your body is honest. Sister Honger didn't have the good sense to say, reaching out to pluck the floating down chicken feathers from Chang Hao. Sister Honger, do you want to code the chicken now? We're in the middle of a live broadcast, and it's not good that Xiao Orange is going to disembowel the chicken right away, right? Seeing the large rooster being stripped naked and lying bare on the ground, Su Lele held her cell phone and came over to ask, doesn't the live broadcast platform have rules that it can't broadcast gory content? They're about to turn this into bloody content, aren't they? Well, the live broadcast has a coding setting. You point a little bit to check the big cock of the little orange bite on the line. Sister Honger said with a smile as she listened. She didn't want to cause the live room to be blocked for a few days because of this kind of thing. Okay, Sister Honger. Su Lele sniffed and immediately did what Sister Honger said. Coding? Why do we need to code? We're watching a proper live broadcast. That's right, we're watching Little Tiger Eat. What's not to broadcast about this? That's right, quickly remove the coded part. Upon hearing that this watching live actually had to be coded, the water friends were instantly unhappy. They were just watching the little tiger eat. They weren't watching anything that couldn't be watched. On what grounds should they not be allowed to watch it? Sorry, everyone this is what the platform requires ah. I hope everyone will forgive me. The image of little orange eating really can't be broadcast out. Sue Lele, who was holding her cell phone, explained. She didn't want to just take control of the live room and see it banned ah. So, could only say sorry to everyone. The way little fat orange ate could only be seen by her with her own eyes. Damn it, there's actually this kind of broken rule. Yeah, obviously this is normal. Why should it be coded? The water users who heard this cursed, 
Their gazes staring at the thick coat on the live broadcast couldn't help but gnash their teeth. This flavor is really a bit on the nose. Chicken intestines don't want it. Chicken gizzards don't want it. Eat some chicken hearts. Chicken cashews are almost as good. While the water friends in the live broadcast room were raging with impotence, Chang Hao was doing open heart surgery on the large rooster. And when the rooster's stomach was broken open, Chang Hao picked and chose to eat the clean ones that could be eaten. Those that didn't taste good and looked dirty were directly pulled out by his claws. Although it was said that after turning into a tiger, he had been able to accept eating raw food. And the smell of chickens had also become much better. But it was better for him to eat chicken intestines with Ali's help. The little fat orange looks quite smart. Actually only picked the clean internal organs to eat. He didn't eat the chicken intestines and gizzards. I thought this glutton would not miss anything. Watching from the side, Su Lele said with her chin in her hand, although the water friends in the live broadcast room had no way to see the process of little fat orange gutting the large rooster, but she still had no problem giving a live commentary. Really? Then our little fat orange really loves hygiene. So that sister won't kiss those dirty things. Yeah, our little fat orange is so clean. Of course, this is our favorite little chubby orange. Is it the same as other tigers? That's right. Our vision won't be bad. Here this water friend said proudly. If the little fat orange eat Ali give words, then they cannot accept some. After all, they want to kiss with the little fat orange ah. But when they think about it, little fat orange's mouth has eaten Ali give. Little orange. Fresh chicken is good to eat ah. Sister Honger stood at the side and looked at Chun Hao. Nibbling on the chicken and asked with a smile. Little orange. The glutton was unexpectedly very hygienic, saving her a lot of trouble. Otherwise if she were to clean up for little orange, I'm afraid it would still take a bit of effort. Ow ow, delicious. Chang Hao, whose mouth was stained with sacrificial blood, nodded his head. The meat of this evolved rooster was different. Not only was it firm and tasty, it was much more delicious than that frozen chicken leg. Moreover, just the smell of it gave him a huge appetite. If Missy didn't object, he would be able to eat it. If Missy didn't object, he could have had another chicken, as long as it tastes good, as long as little orange is good and obedient, and helps sell more tickets for the tiger garden. Sister will go and talk to the director of the garden to provide you with live chickens every day. Okay? Sister Honger said with a smile, such a smart little tiger like Shao Tangerine, as long as he is good and obedient, then he will definitely be able to eat good food every day. Ow ow, good. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head without thinking, who would want to eat frozen chicken if he could eat live chicken every day? This live chicken can be much more nutritious than frozen chicken. Not to mention that there's still a probability of evolved live chickens appearing. Our little orange is so good. Sister Honger sniffed and touched Chang Hao's head and said, and a familiar voice came to her ears. Little orange is the treasure of our Hontishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Not to mention the fact that little orange looks round and chubby and is loved by tourists. Just his smartness. There is no keeper who doesn't like him. Really? If what you said, Mr. Park Director. Is true, that would be great. We're looking for a tiger cub just like this. Ha, huh? the head gardener actually praised me in an unprecedented manner. It can't be that the sun is coming out of the east, right? Chang Hao, who heard this voice, muttered and raised his head to look along with the voice. He saw the head gardener and a group of unfamiliar guys walking over. And what he found most unbelievable was that there were actually foreigners among this group. It looked very high class at this glance. No wonder the head gardener had been putting in a good word for him. Ha, huh? isn't this the park director of the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Why did he suddenly run over here? Is this little fat orange getting into some trouble? Definitely not. Didn't you just listen to the director? The little fat orange is the cutest and smartest, right? The headmaster definitely didn't come here to apologize. That's right. It sounds like he's bragging about little fat orange. Maybe this group of people is some kind of observer group. Very likely. I've heard that state-funded tiger gardens like this one have people who regularly come over to inspect the tiger's living conditions, and once they find out that the tiger garden is mistreating the tigers, they'll open them up. Like that? No wonder the director of the garden is so hardworking to introduce Little Fat Orange. Among all the little tigers, only Little Fat Orange grows the fattest, right? That's for sure. Are you joking with you when you're contemporary. Orange? For the gardener, the water friends in the live broadcast room were still very impressed and they still remembered the matter of Little Fat Orange knocking the gardener down not long ago. It was also because of this matter that Little Fat Orange was confined for an afternoon. Head gardener, these guests are? Sister Honger, who had gotten up, looked at the people brought by the head gardener and asked with some confusion. The head gardener didn't introduce their identities, and she didn't know what to call these people. These are the production team of the Treading Snow and Seeking Tiger documentary. This is Director Lee. The garden director smiled as she smiled and introduced them. Turning around to introduce Sister Honger with the production team that had come, 
Director Lee and everyone else. This is our escorts Li Honger, Little Red. Xiao Tangerine has been taken care of by Xiao Hong since she was born. So she listens to Xiao Hong very well. Heard that. Heard that. Director Li, who was leading the group, smiled and said, Old Wu from the TV station has mentioned Miss Honger, and we need to trouble Miss Honger for help with this shoot as well. Eh, I don't know what favor I need. Sister Honger who heard this finally did understand what was going on. It turns out that the documentary director introduced by the TV station's director had found her. It's just that I don't know what I need her to do. It's simple. It won't be too troublesome. Director Lee, who heard this, smiled and said, It's just a scene of a baby tiger frolicking in the forest. And a hunting scene. Since it was a tiger hunt, then there definitely had to be baby tigers for it to work. After all, apart from popularizing tigers, their documentary was more about publicizing the protection of tigers. If there were no cute little tigers in it, how could it arouse the love of the viewers? Just filming these words? It's not a problem. Little Orange can easily do it. Sister Honger said with a smile, she thought it would be difficult and troublesome. After hearing this director's words, she felt that it was actually just like that. The requirements that the other party said, Xiao Orange could easily do it. Really? That's great. The director who heard this said with a smile, his gaze glancing over at the orange donut lying on the ground behind Sister Honger. Is that the little orange from your home to Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? It looks very round ah. Chubby rounded little tigers have seen a lot, but like so rounded or the first time to see. If he hadn't seen it moving, he would have thought that the big orange somewhere had become a spirit. Yes, the little orange is very gluttonous. So as long as it can eat something, it basically un won't let go. Sister Honger smiled helplessly. It was true that everyone who saw Little Tangerine would say that Little Tangerine was fat ah, but it couldn't be helped. Little Tiger was just gaining weight like crazy at this stage. No wonder it was able to grow so fat. Director Lee smiled and said, Can we take a closer look at Little Orange? Since we need to shoot a documentary, we need to make sure that Little Orange looks the same, and that there are no problems with the various indicators. Since it was a documentary filming, it definitely needed to be a bit more rigorous. Just like picking the main character of a TV series. One couldn't say that they were picking the prettiest one, but at least they had to make sure that their facial features were neat, right? Of course there's no problem. Everyone please feel free to take a look. Our little orange is definitely the most handsome and beautiful one. The head gardener at the side smiled and said, although little orange was a bit chubby, his appearance was definitely that of a little handsome guy inside a tiger. Aha! Uh -huh. Hearing this, the director and the people from the film crew came towards plopping down Chang Hao. They were very curious about the director of the TV station introducing the little tiger in the end what kind of little tiger is it what kind of tiger is it that can make the other party say that they will never lose money if they come over to see it and also very confidently said that if this little tiger wasn't qualified then there would be no qualified tigers in the whole country so this group of people came over to make a documentary on tiger members i thought they came over for an inspection yes so it seems that our little fat orange is going to be completely famous that's right our little chubby orange is so adorable doesn't that mean it's a normal thing? Who wouldn't like such a cute little chubby orange? After the water friends in the live broadcast room heard the words of the gardener and the camera crew, they realized that the people who came with the gardener weren't coming over for an inspection, but were the camera crew that was filming the documentary. Ah, my gosh, this little guy this really fat. Yes, and the face is blushing. You guys look at how fat this little round face looks. The camera crew staff went from Chang Hao's back, around to the back of Chang Hao's face, and couldn't help but say in surprise. It turned out that the back already looked fat, but it didn't occur to them that the front was even more surprising. Other little tigers didn't have much meat on their faces at this time. But you see this little tiger this chubby face and hair gills the same not to mention. That round belly appeared primitive bags. It was the first time they had seen a primordial pouch on such a small little tiger. From which they could see just how well this little tiger was treated. Ow ow, get over there, I'm eating. Seeing the group of guys getting closer and closer, Chung Hao loosened his mouth and growled in a low voice. Even if this group of guys were from the camera crew, they still weren't able to disturb his meal Ah, Little Orange is good. Don't be so fierce. Seeing this, Sister Honger, who was following the camera crew, immediately ran up and pressed Chung Hao's head, saying, These uncles are coming over to shoot nice videos for you. You can't yell at them like this. Otherwise the head gardener won't give you beef to eat at that time. Said here, the voice could not help but increase to the beef two words above. Little Red. You really know how to give me a hard time. When the head gardener who was listening heard the word beef, his face immediately turned bitter. If he gave little orange beef, he couldn't possibly not give it to the other tigers. Could he? Their home to mountain northeast tiger forest park emphasizes on fairness and justice, since Xiao Tangerine has beef to eat. 
then the other tigers must also be added. Just thinking about this expense, the garden manager felt his heart dripping blood. All right, for the sake of the beef. Only then did Chung Hao, who heard this, stop his low roar and continue to gnaw on the chicken. This little tiger is really a glutton. As soon as he hears about the beef both eyes are glowing. Yeah, no wonder it grew so fat. There's really a reason for it. The camera crew that saw the scene couldn't help but laugh. Miss Honger, how many months old is little orange now? After observing the circle and determining that the little tiger in front of him was very much in line with his requirements, Director Lee asked out loud. Little orange is now three months and eight days old. Sister Honger smiled as she smiled back. Three months? But he doesn't look like it with this appearance. How much does little orange weigh now? Director Lee couldn't help but open his mouth wide when he sniffed. Would an ordinary baby tiger be this big at over three months? Is it because he has seen too few baby tigers? Or was the baby tiger in front of him an isolated case? Although it's true that little orange doesn't look much like a three month plus tiger cub right now. He's really only three month plus. Sister Honger smiled and said. She knew that everyone didn't believe that Xiao Tangerine was only over three months old. But this was the case. Three months and eight days? My goodness. This little guy weighs a lot. Yeah, this weight must be reached at least in five or six months. Although they didn't know how much the little tiger in front of them actually weighed, but they could be sure that other tigers could only reach this level in at least five or six months. Because of that, they had prepped their homework before coming here. Is M.S. Sue still used to staying inside the tiger park? The hygiene of our Hauntishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park, as well as the physical condition of the individual tigers, dare not say it's the best amongst the tiger parks in the country, but it's definitely ranked. After seeing the camera crew and the director discussing Shao Tangerine, the park director immediately walked over to Su Lele and said with a smile. The words were filled with a pleasing tone. Fearing that Su Lele would say to the top that there were problems with the hygiene of their Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park and the health status of the tigers. Mr. Director, please don't worry. How is the tiger park? I've seen it all in my eyes. And I definitely won't say those things that are not true. Su Lele said with a smile as she held her cell phone. The gardener's look looked like this could be really fun. She is not some dark heart. Definitely will not say those bad words. This point the gardener can put a million hearts. That's good. That's good. The gardener said happily. If you need anything, M.S. Sue, you can tell me directly. Really? Hearing this, Su Lele looked at Chung Hao, who was looking at the chicken on the ground and said, Head gardener, can you let me take care of little orange? She didn't need anything else right now. The only thing she needed was to ruthlessly jerk off this dastardly little villain. What exactly was the consequence of letting this little villain offend her so well? Uh, that's a little difficult. I'm afraid. The head gardener first froze at her words, and then a look of difficulty appeared on her face. Little Orange was cared for by Little Red since she was a child, and won't accept the care of strangers. If you really want to take care of the little tiger, M.S. Sue, otherwise, let's wait a little longer. There's a tigress inside the tiger park who will soon go into labor. When that time comes, I'll let Little Red take you by the hand to take care of the tiger cub. Ha ha ha, I'm just joking with you. You can't be serious. I don't have any experience in taking care of tigers. Upon hearing that you have to wait not to mention that you have to personally take care of the baby tiger yourself, Su Lele immediately dismissed the idea. She even had problems taking care of herself. How could she possibly take care of a baby tiger? The reason why she told the director that she wanted to take care of the little fat orange was because she knew that she could run away after she finished jerking off and she could still let Sister Honger take care of it. But if she was actually asked to take care of a baby tiger growing up, not to mention if she could handle it on her own, it was also unlikely that the commander would agree once he knew about it. Eh, I thought Miss Sue also wanted to personally take care of the tiger cubs and experience the life of a breeder. The head gardener smiled as he wiped the sweat from his forehead and said, I would like to experience it, but I don't know much about this, so it's better not to cause trouble for Sister Honger. Sue Lele said with a smile, her eyes looking at her cell phone, she realized that the aquatic friends in the live broadcast room were already in an uproar at this time. My god, I always thought that breeder sister was already invincible. I didn't think that assistant sister was even better. Actually even the head gardener has to look at assistant sister's face. Yeah, miss assistant sister is really powerful. I wonder if there's a shortage of pendants on the thighs. Same question. Plus one. Plus one. The audience in the live broadcast room originally thought that the one who followed the gardener was the leader. It didn't occur to them that the assistant young lady who had been immobile was the real leader. And even the gardener had to look at her face. Don't misunderstand. I'm just an animal inspector sent from above. It's not as outrageous as everyone says. Su Lele explained helplessly. Everyone mustn't go around talking nonsense. It will bring a lot of inconvenience to my work. As the saying goes, a rumor opens one's mouth and an explanation breaks one's legs. 
these guys give her a little quiet. She didn't want to spread the rumor that she was some kind of big leader. Even the director of the tiger park had to nod his head when he saw her or something like that. Don't worry, Miss Assistant. We will absolutely keep our mouths shut. Yeah, I'm known as the honest little Longjuan. The water friends swore with conviction. Su Lele saw this and rubbed her head with a headache. It was fine if these guys didn't talk about this. As soon as she said it she felt that these guys weren't reliable at all. Little one come come, look this way. The cameraman held up the camera and hooked his hand towards Chung Hao, saying that the appearance of this little guy had already met their requirements, and now it was time to see if this little guy would be on camera. If it was photogenic, then the most important problem would be solved. Little Orange stop what's going on in his mouth first, okay? Let's listen to the cameraman uncle first and look down that way. Hearing this, Sister Hong rubbed Chung Hao's head and coaxed. Little Orange had something to eat and simply ignored the other people next to him, which wasn't good. It's not good to know that the camera crew is here for Xiao Tangerine's image. How can Xiao Tangerine ignore people? All right, for the sake of Missy, just barely pay attention to them. Chang Hao, who was chewing and eating slowly, raised his head towards the cameraman's side. The cameraman's side looked over. Ka Ching, seeing Chang Hao raise his head, the cameraman immediately pressed the shutter, and soon a photo was fixed, only to see a round and chubby little tiger, raising its head to reveal a naive expression, looking very cute and adorable. Not bad, not bad, little orange is very photogenic. This look is just too perfect. I've rarely seen such a good looking little tiger. The cameraman fiddling with the camera couldn't help but laugh. What an interesting little tiger. It looks like too much fun. Very nice looking indeed. The other camera crew members couldn't help but smile as well after they came over. Really? Why do I feel like you guys are all laughing badly? Chang Hao, who heard this, felt that there was something in their words, and it wasn't as simple as saying it. But with the food in front of him, he didn't bother to bother with these guys. He might as well eat two more bites of chicken if he had the time. Really? That means orange passed, right? Sister Honger on the side smiled and asked, not really noticing any abnormalities in their words. All she knew now was that the camera crew were praising Xiao Tangerine, so filming the documentary should be a sure thing. She knew that the difference in treatment between a tiger with no fame and a famous tiger would be very big. If Little Orange could become a star tiger, not to mention living a life of fine clothes, but eating beef and live chickens every day would definitely be no problem. Yes, Xiao Tangerine is very photogenic and very attached to our requirements. Director Lee smiled and nodded his head as he said, I don't know when Xiao Tangerine is free, we've decided to shoot for Xiao Tangerine sooner rather than later. Otherwise, if we wait until it really snows, I'm afraid Little Orange will grow into a medium orange by then. There was still some time before it snowed, but Little Orange's growth rate made him not dare to continue delaying. Otherwise, the shooting wouldn't be Little Tiger by then. Free ah, free now. Sister Honger listened and spoke. I wonder if it's okay to shoot inside the park. The free range area inside the park is one that simulates the environment of a wild forest. Simulating the wild living environment? That's good. Director Lee's eyes couldn't help but light up when he heard this. If the clip could be filmed in the Tiger Park's free range area, it would naturally be more than suitable. After all, it wasn't easy to find a suitable filming location. It's good for the director to shoot it directly inside the tiger park, but it's not time for snow yet. We'd better get some green cloth to spread on the ground, and just use the computer to synthesize the snow scene at that time. The cameraman on the side who heard this spoke up. What they were filming was treading snow in search of a tiger, so there definitely had to be snow for it to work. And since it wasn't time for snow yet, then they could only use a little bit of technology to try to recreate the scene of the little tiger running on top of the snow as much as possible. Well, that's what I was thinking. Looks like we've thought of a piece. Director Lee said with a smile as he listened. His eyes glancing at the people in the camera crew. Everyone tune up the machines and go get the green cloth. Fight for a handful of direct passes. Then go shoot the rest. Okay, director. The camera crew that heard this nodded and set off to work. Director, what do you need me to do then? Sister Honger, who saw this scene, asked out loud. Miss Honger can you little orange first put aside what's on your lips and then cooperate by running up and letting me take a look? Director Lee who heard this, looked at Chang Hao who was gnawing on the chicken and said, it wasn't without reason that this little guy could grow so fat, look at the way he gnawed on the chicken, almost directly gnawing the bones, okay, no problem, sister Honger smiled and nodded, then hugged Chang Hao and got up, little orange, let's not eat the chicken first, okay, is it okay to move around a bit first, let the head gardener buy you beef to eat later, ow ow, beef, that's fine, Chang Hao, who was nibbling on the chicken, had his eyes light up when he heard that there was beef to eat, and hurriedly climbed up from the big rooster again. Although the flavor of the large rooster was very good, he still wanted to eat beef. 
Ha, huh, did little orange here understand what you said? Director Lee on the side was surprised when he saw it. There were definitely smart little tigers, but there weren't many that were able to understand the keeper's words in three months and were willing to obediently do as they were told. It looks like this little fat orange in front of him is not just long and strong, but also has a very high IQ. Yes, although the little orange is relatively young, but has a very good head, and will be willing to cooperate as long as he is spoken to, Sister Honger said with a smile and a nod, and then asked Chung Hao to quickly go and run for a bit. Chang Hao, who had received Sister Honger's instructions, then took a step and ran. Only his appearance was a bit too perfunctory, taking small broken steps d -d 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 -d, as if he couldn't muster any energy. Uh, is little orange not feeling well? Seeing the scene director Lee could not help but froze. Obviously this little fat orange body is very good ah, uh, how to walk to swing ah. Uh. If this is filmed as a documentary, I'm afraid it will be laughed at by their peers that they have found a sick tiger. Little orange even if there is no meat to eat, cannot be this perfunctory no? You can't be like this. Hearing this, Sister Honger turned her head to look and immediately understood what was going on. Little orange rolled over and she knew what he was doing? Now this appearance. It seems that because there is no food in the perfunctory, ow ow, not eaten, cannot raise the spirit. The perfunctory Chang how justified, he is willing to cooperate has been very good. Miss don't ask for so much ah, he is still just a baby? Little orange this is because I disturbed him to eat. So in the perfunctory well? Director Lee on the side heard this and felt even more rare. This little tiger actually still throws tantrums. This is really something. Yes, little orange understands everything. It's just that he's not willing to cooperate. Sister Honger nodded at her words and said helplessly, How could this little fool, little orange, be so ill-behaved for so long? He has to know that the benefits of becoming a star tiger are very many ah. If you eat one less bite of meat now, you can eat a lot of meat in the future. Little orange, as long as you're willing to cooperate with me obediently, later on I'll have someone bring 200 pounds of beef for you to eat, okay? After understanding the cause of the matter, Director Lee smiled and tempted. 200 pounds of beef? Upon hearing this Chang Hao, his eyes immediately lit up. His steps immediately changed. Had he said there was meat? If he had said it earlier, he wouldn't have been so perfunctory. Good good. Although the age of a little younger, but this running up the momentum already have. Seeing Chang Hao, whose mental state had suddenly changed, Director Lee couldn't help but smile with satisfaction. The little guy in front of him is really a snacker. As soon as he hears about food he immediately comes into the spirit, completely different from the sickly and wobbly look he just had. You little villain is so energized once you hear there is food, isn't it? Sister Honger on the side saw this and scolded without any good reason, but in her eyes was a look of appreciation. Little orange this little villain. Head is quite smart. Actually no to use this way to ask for food. Not worthy of being the little villain she raised. Otherwise, if you want the head gardener to buy beef, you still don't know when you'll have to go. Ow ow, no. Just didn't wake up. The running Chang Hao heard Sister Honger's reproach and hurriedly opened his mouth to explain. As long as he didn't admit it, then he just didn't wake up from sleep. He was a good tiger. How could he possibly do such a thing? Little sister couldn't wrong him for nothing. It's okay, Miss Honger. It's normal for a little tiger to be greedy. You don't have to blame him. Director Lee on the side said with a smile, putting in a good word for Chang Hao. What does a little tiger at this age know? He doesn't just want to eat something. What's wrong with that? Director Lee, you don't know. Little Orange is a glutton, but he'll give you an inch. Once you fulfill his request, he won't cooperate if you don't give him meat next time. We must not spoil him like this and let him develop such a bad habit ah. Sister Honger listened and opened her mouth, her face still looking like she was blaming Chang Hao. It's fine. It's just meat. Director Lee listened and laughed unconcernedly. Just how much meat can Little Orange eat at this size? As long as we're filming, we'll make sure he eats until he's full. Doesn't Chow Tangerine just want to eat meat? Could it be that their large theater group couldn't even afford to provide this much meat? This was really a bit too underestimating of them, wasn't it? And how much time could it take to shoot a few minutes of footage? It's not possible to bankrupt them with more food. So don't worry, Miss Breeder, as long as Little Orange cooperates with the shooting, meat is not a problem. Little Orange, did you hear me clearly? Uncle Director has said that he will give you a full meal of meat. You can't be perfunctory anymore. Hearing this, Sister Honger shouted towards Chang Hao. This little villain has heard the director's words, as long as he honestly cooperates, but he can eat beef to his heart's content. Ow ow, must be serious. The running Chang Hao heard this and immediately showed his skills with all his strength. He wanted to let the other party know that although he ate a lot of meat, his work was also very skillful. The other party paid so much money, it was definitely worth every penny. Not bad, good at climbing trees and jumping. Although he looks fat, 
but his hands are surprisingly sensitive. The director who saw this said with satisfaction, Little Orange is so smart and has such good hands, shooting a documentary should not be a problem. No wonder the TV station's old Wu would recommend this little guy to him. Now he only needed to wait for the staff under him. After bringing all the things that needed to be used, he could start filming. Ow ow, can we stop yet? Sister. After running for a small while and showing off his skills, Chan Hao came to Sister Honger's side and asked. Such a strenuous exercise couldn't be done often. It would consume a very large amount of his fat. Knowing that the weather was about to turn cold and snowy, in order to raise this body fat, he had put in a lot of effort. But he couldn't consume it here. Director Lee you see that little orange still has to run here? Sister Honger inquired after hearing this, touching Chang Hao's round head. Of course there's no need. I already know what little orange is capable of. He can take a break now. Director Lee said with a smile, reaching out and hooking his hand towards Chang Hao. But Chang Hao who had already plopped back down in front of the chicken didn't see it at all. Jogging for a while really exhausted him. He didn't even know how much fat he had consumed. He had to hurry to make up for the fat he had consumed before he could do so. This little glutton. Seeing that he was actually ignored. Director Lee couldn't help but withdraw his hand in embarrassment. He practiced for so many years or encountered this situation for the first time. Before which person does not flatter him ah. But I did not expect that today he took the initiative. Actually ate a closed door. But after thinking about the rejection of his own is a small tiger after also relieved. After all. Felines are notoriously arrogant. Not to mention him. Even if the king of heaven came, the ignore you or will not ignore you. Therefore, this was not a disgrace for him. Little fat orange looks really arrogant with this look of ignoring people. Yes, but I just like little fat orange's look. Not bad. If little fat orange is so affectionate to everyone, this will make me feel very disappointed. That's right. A tiger should act like a tiger and not respond immediately to anyone who calls. Of course, if I call, little fat orange better ignore me or I'll cry out. 555. The water friends who saw this scene violently disgust. Little fatty orange ignored this director Lee is really good. This is their arrogant little fatty orange. If all the guys pay attention to words, then little fatty orange is not to no face. Moreover, they would be very sad if little tangerine was so enthusiastic about a strange guy. It would be like their high and mighty goddess, who ignored them but smiled and played a little with other guys. Did orange see the director waving at you? How can you not react at all? The director has prepared beef for you all. You're being a bit rude. Seeing this, Sister Honger patted Chang Hao's head and said, Ow ow, there's a shout for me? Chang Hao, who was addicted to the big rooster's body, heard this and couldn't help but raise his head suspiciously to stare at Director Lee, who was awkwardly in place. Did the other party call out to him? How come he didn't hear it? Miss Breeder's sister couldn't be swindling him, right? Alright, there's nothing going on anymore. Little Orange, you continue to eat yours, don't worry about mine. Seeing the little tiger in front of him tilting his big head, Director Lee couldn't help but smile and say, even if you have a big fire, looking at a little stupid cat, looking at you like this, all your anger has subsided. They say that cats are very healing. Now it seems that the little tiger is the same. Oh, 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 so there's nothing going on. Then I can continue eating. Chung Hao sniffed and lowered his head to do battle with the big rooster's flesh. The selfless big rooster contributed his own body. He couldn't let the other party sacrifice like this. He had to make good use of every inch of the other party's body. Oh, my god. I'm not going to be able to hold on. Who's going to help me up? I now finally know why some people can't withstand the crooked head kill. Little fatty orange crooked head kill. It's directly killing me ah. Who says otherwise? With such a good looking little fat orange. What other dramas to watch? What other male anchors to watch? Just as director Lee was overwhelmed by the crooked head kill. The cat controllers in the live broadcast room couldn't hold out much longer at this point. They were saying that if they had 7,000 blood now, then Little Fat Orange's crooked head kills decimation line was at least 10,000. Is it necessary for these guys to speak so exaggeratedly? Where is Little Orange so powerful? Seeing the speakers in the live broadcast room, Su Lele was speechless. Did this group of guys have to be like this? Like she was full-blooded to carry a small orange crooked head kill? Nothing at all. Is the handsome uncontrollable want to pinch the small orange face? Is not really so chubby? Shao Tangerine eat quickly. After you finish eating, We'll be ready to start shooting the documentary. Looking at Chang Hao still struggling with the big cock's body. Sister Honger pinched Chang Hao's butt. This little fool knows that there's cow meat to eat. Why is he still eating the big rooster? This little fool knows that there's cow meat to eat. Why is he still eating the rooster so vigorously? The rooster is his if he chews it. And it won't fly. But the beef that director Lee bought back is different. Who knows how long it will take to shoot the documentary. In case the filming was completed in less than an hour. The garden manager would definitely distribute the beef evenly to each tiger cub. 
After all, in the head gardener's opinion, all the tiger cubs are the treasures of the tiger garden. As the head gardener he has to treat them equally. Ow ow, what are you doing? Sister? Chang Hao, who was pinched on the buttocks, turned his head and looked at Sister Honger in an aggrieved manner. Why don't you eat chicken anymore? You little devil, are you full? If you're full, Sister will carry you to the site for a walk. Okay? Hearing this, Sister Honger laughed without explaining and got up with her hands under Chang Hao's armpits. Ow ow, I'm not full. Sister, Chang Hao, who was picked up, immediately shouted at the top of his voice, pawing Sister Honger's shoulder in an unfaithful manner, hoping that Sister Honger would put him down quickly. He had only just patted his stomach a little and nibbled on some chicken ribs. How could he be full? Miss Breeder don't pit him ah. You little fool, nothing to eat your stomach so full for? Can you still stuff down the beef later? Hearing this, Sister Honger tightly hugged Chung how to prevent him from struggling, and waited until she was far away from some directorly before she said in a bad mood, Little Orange's little fool wouldn't use his brain once he had food, and he needed her to remind him, if in the future when he grew up, without her by his side, I don't know how this little badass would live. Ooh hoo, Miss Sister's wise and mighty cover is unrivaled. After figuring out why Miss Breeder suddenly interrupted his meal, Chang Hao couldn't help but rub against Sister Honger's shoulder. He said that Miss Breeder had watched him grow up. How could she not let him eat for no reason? It turned out that it was all for his good. It looks like you little glutton isn't too stupid. Now first move around to empty your stomach, and then eat more beef later. Okay? After realizing that Chung Hao didn't struggle anymore, Sister Honger said with a smile, Ow ow, no. No. Chang Hao sniffed and nodded his head. So Sister Honger let go of her hold allowing Chang Hao to jump down and run to digest some food. Sister Honger, what is little fat orange going to do? Su Lele, who was holding her cell phone and followed closely over, inquired. She had just wanted to sneak up from behind and take the opportunity to pinch little fat orange's face, but it didn't occur to her that Sister Honger was walking a bit fast, and she hadn't kept up for a while. Missing this great opportunity, little orange ate a little too much and is now taking a walk. Hearing this, Sister Honger smiled and explained her eyes glancing at Chang Hao who was jumping up and down, picking at the trees from time to time and nodded. Little fatty orange ate so few bites and actually got full? Su Lele, who often watched the live broadcast, was filled with skepticism in her eyes when she heard this. She was aware of Little Orange's food intake. That big rooster hadn't even finished half of it. So how could Little Orange be full? But if it wasn't, with Xiao Tangerine's gluttony it was impossible for her to suddenly walk away. This was really a strange thing. I bounce. I jump. I bounce. On the sun-drenched grass, Chang Hao took small broken steps on it, running around to consume his food. It didn't take long for him to feel that his stomach was already much lighter. But after looking around and realizing that the camera crew who had gone to buy something hadn't come yet, he slowly stopped his steps. Little fat orange. Why did you suddenly stop ah? Hurry up and continue running to eliminate food ah? Look at the meat on your stomach is about to droop to the ground. Su Lele, who was holding a cell phone to follow the camera saw it and immediately spoke out. Little Orange, how can you be so enthusiastic for just three minutes? It had only been running for how long and actually stopped. Ow ow, don't need you to care. You go away. Chang Hao, who heard this, immediately, shouted at the top of his voice. Just by running for such a short while, he felt that his stomach was much emptier. If he ran any further, he would be really hungry, and then the other party would buy him meat to eat? Sister Honger, little fatty orange is being mean to me. Hurry over and take a look. Seeing Chung Hao's open teeth and claws in a scolding manner, Su Lele immediately turned towards the walking sister Honger and shouted, Little fat orange don't think he can curse can be useful. As the so-called brine point tofu, one thing to one thing, she can know that the little fat orange is the most afraid of the red sister. Chang Hao, who was cursing, heard Su Lele, actually tattled with Honger sister, first froze, then gritted his teeth and cursed. You are really go. He turned into a little tiger had never done such a meticulous thing. How on earth did the other party do it? Little Orange can't be mean to people. You have to be a civilized and polite tiger baby. Sister Honger, who followed her over, shouted, and Chang Hao ran away with small steps. He couldn't afford to mess with such a meticulous person. But he couldn't afford to hide from such a meticulous guy? Assistant sister is really too bad. Actually directly moved breeder sister out to scare little fat orange. Yes, the little fat orange is so poor. I want to give the little fat orange to do justice. Assistant Miss Sister Watch. I want to draw a circle to curse you. Well, I'm also going to help little fat orange get justice. Assistant Miss Sister ate my big curse art. I curse Miss Sister to drink milk tea without a straw. Eat with only one chopstick. Bathe without shower gel. And can't sleep when I want to sleep on the side. The water friends who saw this scene said that the little fat orange don't be sad. 
They have already begun to help him seek justice through the screen. As for whether there is any effect, it depends on whether God has opened his eyes. Hey hey hey, you guys are also too outrageous. Cursing me to drink milk tea without a straw. Eating a chopstick is not even a problem. Sleep asleep you actually want to make me insomnia? Sulele said in a speechless voice after seeing her friend's curses. These guys are really strange enough. There is such a beautiful young lady chatting with them. Their focus is actually all on Xiao Tangerine. And for the sake of Xiao Tangerine since they still had to put such a bad curse on her. Wouldn't their conscience really hurt? Who let you? Miss Assistant. Bully our cute little fat orange? If Miss Assistant you are a bit more sensible and go coax little fatty orange we will let you go. Not bad. Otherwise I'll continue to curse you. Miss Assistant. After seeing that the curse had already disturbed Miss Assistant's state of mind, the many water friends continued to speak. Then you guys just curse slowly. I'm not going to go won't coax little fat orange. Seeing this, Su Lele couldn't help but feel amused and said, These guys wouldn't think that curses really work, right? Now as a civilized society is about science. Okay? This kind of trick of theirs is not useful at all. HM, what's that smell? After running past an iron tree, Cheng Hao's body suddenly stopped, starting to slowly move backward to the side of the iron tree. Poking his head and sniffing, he smelled the stench of rotting animals emanating from this iron tree. This was very unscientific, unless this tree was an evolutionary plant almost. Thinking of this, Cheng Hao was immediately on guard. His eyes scanned the tree in front of him to see what exactly was wrong with it. Soon he discovered the source of the rotting odor, the source of the rotting smell, only to see that on top of the iron tree's jagged leaves, there was actually a frog that had been pierced through. Interesting, surely a frog can't jump this high? Then it looks like this must be made by this iron tree. Cheng Hao thought as he looked at the rotting frog, his two ears swiveling like radar pots, paying attention to the wind and grass around him, afraid that this iron tree would suddenly sneak up on him, just like that old six rooster. Russell, Russell, just as Chang Hao was sizing up this iron tree, the branches of this iron tree slowly twisted, and a spiky leaf approached Chang Hao's back, like an arm suddenly bending over, and the spiky leaf was like a sharp claw, catching, just as the sharp claws emitting a cold aura were about to approach, two large furry claws cut through the air, and the approaching branch fell to the ground, how dare you shade me, do you know who you're picking on, really don't know how to die, Chang Hao looked at the falling iron tree branch, his eyes filled with delight, it was unthinkable that inside the tiger garden, it actually possessed so many evolved plants, which was really great, saving him the trouble of going outside to look for them. Sha Sha, Russell, the trunk of the iron tree, which had broken a branch, couldn't help but tremble, as if it had encountered something horrible. And just when Chang Hao thought that the tree was scared and would be at his disposal, then the remaining branches suddenly flew and stabbed towards Chang Hao like a tentacle. Do you want to compete with me even with this trivial skill of yours? You really don't know how to die. Isn't it good to honestly let me suck your evolutionary power? Why must you resist? Chang Hao waved his claws and slandered. Through the short encounter just now, he found that although this iron tree was an evolved plant, and its branches could move to sneak up on other animals, its body was still as fragile as the original. Otherwise, it wouldn't have had its branches broken by one of his claws. And this tree actually didn't surrender after suffering a loss, and was still thinking of resisting. He didn't even know who on earth gave it the courage? Ka Chao. Ka Chao. The iron tree waved its branches under Chang Hao's claws without the slightest ability to fight back, and after receiving Chang Hao's claws, it directly broke apart. Immediately, the entire trunk of the tree shook even more, but it wasn't able to get up from the ground in the same way as that big cabbage. It looks like this tree just has branches that are able to move, or that each evolved plant has a single direction of evolution. Seeing this scene Chang Hao gradually understood in his heart, from the very hard grass, the cabbage that could run, to that big tree that couldn't move. All proved that these plants had evolved in a very single direction. If they chose to be able to move, then they couldn't have a strong body and could only retain their original fragile trunk. And if they chose to be strengthened in other aspects, then they also lost the ability to move. Thinking of this, Chang Hao began the action of clearing the branches, not sparing any of the raised places on this iron tree. He didn't want to be suddenly sneaked up on by this old six tree later on when he took a bite. Only by stripping this tree bare would he be able to rest assured. My god, what are you doing? Little fat orange. You little villain? How did you take down a tree? As Chang Hao stripped the iron trees naked and prepared to get down, Su Lele finally came over. And when she saw the bare iron tree on the lawn, her entire body froze for a few seconds. Afterwards, a scream was let out. This bad guy, little fat orange, had actually demolished the tree. What a super bad guy. I'll go. Scared me. Chang Hao, who was surveying the bare iron tree, where in the end it was good to get his mouth was startled by this sound, but after reacting, 
he took a bite directly on the trunk of the iron tree. Since Su Lele Le has already come over, then Miss Breeder must be at the back, and by the time the other party came over, he wouldn't necessarily have the time to bite this tree and absorb the power of evolution. Therefore, it was necessary to strike first. Sha Sha, Sha Sha. As Chung Hao's teeth bit into the inside of the tree trunk, the iron tree immediately stopped trembling, and the hole seemed to bite back to the time of an ordinary tree. But Cheng Hao knew that the bare iron tree in front of him was a proper evolutionary plant. How tragic. Another tree has suffered the poisonous hands of little fat orange. Yeah, and with its body stripped bare. This winter is definitely going to be hard. The water friends who saw the scene couldn't help but lament. That's right. Iron tree is so pathetic. If little fat orange is angry, you can come to my house. I'll give him a good hug and kiss him and touch him. This way one way or another he won't be so sad. Are you sure? I'm afraid that you'll give the little fat orange not even a bone crumb left by then. That's right. Do you want to enter little fat orange's stomach in one step? The other water friends laughed and said, This guy still wants to let the little fat orange go home? This guy still wants to let the little fat orange go home? Look at the small fat orange this amount of food. The other side enough small fat orange a few meals to eat? Sister Honger, little fat orange is tearing down the tree. You quickly go over and stop him. Otherwise little fat orange is going to chew the tree to death. Su Lele ignored what the water friends in the live broadcast room said. After seeing Sister Honger walking over, she immediately said, I've already seen it, but the little orange bites all the way up. What can be done ah? Hearing this, Sister Honger helplessly sighed. She was gone for just a moment. It didn't occur to her that Xiao Tangerine had stripped an iron tree bear for her. Luckily the head gardener hadn't followed her over. Otherwise she would definitely have to confine Xiao Tangerine. It is imperative to find a way to help Xiao Tangerine to cover up the crime before. After all, is their own brought up the little fool? They do not hurt who hurt? Then we can't let little orange keep biting the tree. Hearing this, Su Lele said, she knew that it wouldn't help now, but she also couldn't let Xiao Tangerine keep biting the tree ah, otherwise later on, it would be bad if the head gardener saw it. It's okay, little orange he will let go after he bites a few times to vent his anger. We have to think of a way to help little orange cover up the crime now. Sister Honger walked to Chung Hao's side, touched Chung Hao's big head and said, Little Orange sees the time to bite oh, or wait for the head of the garden to come over. You will be finished and have to be confined again. If you let go of your mouth earlier, my sister can still find a way to help you deal with the scene of the crime and find a pretext to put it off. Sister Honger, who had already seen process how bite the tree, said that the situation she was facing now was just a drizzle, and that there was no use in being anxious after all the biting. How to deal with what comes next is the top priority. Ha, huh? is young sister planning to harbor me? Hearing this Chung Hao's eyes couldn't help but light up. He didn't think that Miss Breeder was actually able to say such words. He knew that Miss Breeder was the best for him. If it wasn't for the fact that he was currently absorbing the evolutionary power of this iron tree, he would have wanted to go and rub Miss Keeper's nose in it properly. Eh, Sister Honger, you're planning to help Little Orange cover up his crimes? Hearing this, Su Lele froze for a few seconds before opening her mouth. She hadn't thought that Sister Honger would actually defend Shao Tangerine so much opening her mouth to help cover up Xiao Tangerine's crimes, becoming the messenger of justice in principle she refused to cover up the crime, but there was no way, who let the little fat orange be so cute, one could only put justice aside first, what else can we do, stall a little fool like this, sister Honger helplessly, spread her hands and said, Lele, hurry up and help me think of an excuse that's easy to explain for the head gardener to believe and doesn't seem so fake, Lele don't follow her on this one, hurry up and help her think of exactly how to say it in order to put it off ah, eh, that would require some thinking, after hearing this, Su Lele opened her mouth and said, a variety of excuses began to emerge in her mind, but after thinking about it, she felt as if she couldn't put off the head gardener, so she pondered once again, my god, we heard this kind of thing shouldn't be silenced by the young lady, right, is this kind of thing something we can hear, yes yes yes, it always feels like I'm involved in the middle of something incredibly bad, so excited and thrilled. Right, right. Everyone stopped talking and quickly helped think of excuses to help little fat orange get through this. The water friends who heard this also opened their brains and began to think of excuses. Little fat orange was so cute. They couldn't just stand by and watch little fat orange get confined. Otherwise, how about saying that it's almost winter now? And when the time comes, we're worried that the snow will crush the branches of the iron tree. So how about relieving the iron tree of its burden in advance? After pondering for a short while, the water users in the live broadcast room spoke out a program that they felt was the most reliable. Now it's November. It won't be long until it snows. Then the snow will definitely break the branches. Isn't it perfect to use this excuse? This approach is good. But I have a better way. That is, 
36 plans to run for the best strategy, as long as there is no surveillance around there are no witnesses, then this thing is not a small fat orange to do, with a small fat orange does not have a penny of the relationship, the other water friends sniffed and opened their mouths, nothing so troublesome to explain so much why, directly run away can be, moreover, the location of this iron tree is so remote, the head gardener will not necessarily go this way, right, even if it is, then I do not know when to go, so now run away is a good opportunity ah, the breeder miss sister has to hurry to take the little fat orange run away ah, directly run away, this idea is not bad, after seeing it, Su Lele said to sister Honger, sister Honger, let's run away directly now, as long as no one sees this iron tree become like this, it has nothing to do with little orange, eh, run away directly, sister Honger sniffed and pondered for two seconds before nodding and saying, that's not a bad idea, little orange can you let go now no, otherwise it won't be good if we don't run far enough to be discovered later, right away, right away, Chang Hao, who heard this, immediately increased the speed of absorption, he could feel that the power flowing into his body from the iron tree was weakening, and would soon be absorbed by him, eh, what are you guys doing, director Lee, who was strolling around with nothing to do, after following the footsteps of the two men and a tiger over, couldn't help but freeze when he looked at Chun Hao, who was biting the iron tree and not letting go of it, and subconsciously rubbed his eyes, he shouldn't have blurred his eyes, right, why would little orange bite such a big iron tree, ah, ah, Sister Honger and Su Lele who heard this could not help but be startled, not thinking that Director Lee would actually come over as well. Those who were also startled were also the water friends in the live broadcast room. They also didn't expect that someone would actually follow them over. No good. It's over. Now there's an eyewitness. Miss Breeder has to take care of him right away. Or else it'll be leaked as Little Orange's crime at that time. Have you watched too many movies? Which one is heavier and which one is lighter between destroying a tree and killing someone? Can't you tell the difference? That's right, are you out of your mind? Nothing, little orange's mouth has been a bit itchy lately, so we brought him here to sharpen his teeth. After slightly freezing for a few seconds, Sister Honger spoke out a somewhat skittish excuse. Eh, but isn't this teeth grinder a bit too big? Hearing this, Director Lee voiced out, he knew that felines needed to grind their teeth, but wouldn't this teeth grinder be a bit too big? Who uses this kind of thing to grind their teeth? I wish you all a joyous welcome to the year of the rabbit. All the best for a peaceful year. Happy year of the rabbit. No, little orange has a big mouth and likes to bite such a big teething stick. Hearing this, Su Lele on the side immediately followed blindly, regardless of what the real situation really was, but surely he couldn't be told just that. It would have to be made up. So it's like this? Then I've kind of gotten a long view today. Director Lee, who heard this, nodded his head in disbelief, although it sounded as if it was a bit outrageous. But since it was said by the staff of the Hauntishan Northeast Tiger Forest Park, then it was also explained. After all, he was just a director making a documentary, not very specialized in these things. But little tangerine this was also a little too ferocious. Right, just grinding its teeth would require an iron tree. This was still when Xiao Tangerine was so small. When Xiao Tangerine grew into a big tiger, wouldn't it be necessary to grind its teeth with a water tank? Ow ow, sister. We can go now. Right at this moment. Chang Hao who had finally finished absorbing energy, spoke out. Sister Honger, who heard this, immediately picked up Chung Hao and opened her mouth towards Director Lee. Little Orange wants to drink potty milk now, so we'll leave first ah, Director. After saying this, without giving the Director a chance to react, she carried Chang Hao and ran away. When Su Lele on the side saw it, she also quickly followed. What's wrong with them? Director Lee who saw the scene was a bit puzzled, not quite understanding what was going on but then thought about how it didn't have much to do with himself, so he bent down and picked up the iron tree branch from the ground and pressed it, realizing that it was quite hard, he couldn't help but mutter, this is also quite tough well, small fat orange in the end how to pull it down, and so thick iron tree, little fat orange teeth can bite, said director Lee then used his hand to pinch the iron tree, and found that this iron tree is even harder ah, director Lee what are you doing, just at this moment, when director Lee let go of his hand and kicked the iron tree with his foot, experimenting with the strength of the iron tree, a voice came from his ear, and it was the head gardener who followed him over, the head gardener at this time looked at the bare iron tree, as well as holding the iron tree branch in his hand directorly, could not help but slightly froze, this director is idle nothing, there is this mess break iron tree branch problem, it couldn't be because the work pressure was too great, so this situation occurred, right, that said, the other party had damaged the park's property, should he claim compensation from the other party, cough cough, Seeing the other party staring at him directorly, he hurriedly dropped the iron tree branch in his hand, 
retrieved his foot that was kicking the tree, stood up straight and said with some embarrassment, Mr. Gardner, if I tell you that this iron tree was like this when I came here, will you believe me? It was really embarrassing, actually being bumped into by the gardener at this time. The other party would be damned if they didn't think it was him who dismantled this iron tree into this state. Eh? The gardener who heard this first froze for a few seconds, then nodded with a complicated face and said, Since you, director, have said it like this, then of course I believe it. Although the gardener was tempted to say that the evidence was all there, so I believe the hell out of you. But after thinking that the other party was going to make a documentary, which could help the tiger garden raise its popularity, he felt that this point, sacrifice or can barely be accepted. After all, shooting TV always have to damage some props, he will be treated as this iron tree, because of this kind of damaged props well, that's good, director Lee said awkwardly, although he could see that the other party's face was full of disbelief, but things can only be like this now, he couldn't possibly make a point of explaining that it wasn't him who damaged it, it was little fat orange and the others who did it, right, this instead had the implication of being a thief. The expression on that director's face just now tells me that he shouldn't believe the bullshit that the young ladies are making up. Yes, but he still didn't reveal things even if he no longer believed them. From this aspect, this director is still very good in terms of being a human being. That's for sure. If you don't know the ways of the world, how could one possibly be able to be a director for so long? The water friends in the live broadcast room discussed after Sister Honger and the others slipped away. Sister Honger, you said that director wouldn't tell the head gardener about what he just saw. Right, Sue Lele, who had walked away, looked back in the direction from which she had come, and said somewhat sheepishly, this kind of feeling of running away after doing something bad is really exciting, but they are now gone, but there are still witnesses in awe, the other party will not directly tell the director that they sold them, right, this I am not too clear, hearing this, Sister Hong or hugged Chung Hao and said with some uncertainty, how could he be sure about something like this, what if director Lee suddenly remembered this matter when he was chatting with the gardener and talked about it, he could only say that he hoped Director Lee wouldn't suddenly bring up this matter. Otherwise, Little Orange would definitely not be able to escape the confinement. Ow ow, sister, put me down. Half of his body hanging in the air Chung Hao shouted. Miss sister this hold him instead of a good hold ah. Do not strangle his armpits this way holding him. He felt a little tired of the lower body. You little villain. Still have the nerve to open your mouth. Sister Honger, who was talking to Su Lele, slapped Chung Hao's butt in a bad mood and said. It's because you're this bad guy. Nothing to tear down the tree demolition out of so many troublesome things, by the time the head of the garden if you know, this bad thing is you do, you little bad guy will wait for the confinement you, ow ow, sister save me, Chang Hao who heard this immediately stopped struggling and hurriedly rubbed against sister Honger pleasingly, although he stripped that iron tree, but this is also forced, okay, who let that iron tree does not speak of martial arts actually want to sneak attack him, if not his quick eyes and hands, almost caught a whole R, can only say that this iron tree is his own damned? not he specially destroyed, isn't this what sister is doing to save you, if it wasn't for you, this little villain, would we have to tell so many lies, sister Honger said without a good breath, her arms fighting to hold Cheng Hao a little tighter, you little villain, really getting heavier and heavier, at this rate sister can't hold you this little fat pig anymore, ow ow, I'm a tiger, Cheng Hao, who was being held, opened his mouth to retort, although he is slightly so some strong ah, but is not a pig okay, miss cannot be insulted like this, you still know that you are a tiger ah, there is a tiger like you who does not move to gnaw on trees, sister Honger held Chung Hao's big belly with one hand and held Chen Hao's big butt with one hand and said, you're just a little orange pig, and it's still that kind of stupid and bad little orange pig, ow ow, not, being hugged Chung Hao voiced out, playful to playful, don't say he is an orange pig ah, in fact, sister has been lying to you, you are an orange piglet, only born in the tiger garden. Do not believe to see you and the other little tigers are not very different ah, the other tigers aren't as fat as you? Sister Honger, who heard Cheng Hao's argument, spoke up. Sister Honger, although you make up good stories, I wouldn't be less stupid. Even though he looked naive and stupid, it didn't mean that he was really the same as his appearance. Okay, if you're going to fool him, you should find a better excuse, not one that doesn't hold water. Happy New Year. Everyone, for everyone to recommend to read the new year can be very rich book, the end of the big brother reborn modern city, the beginning of the inheritance to become the world's richest man, yeah, this little orange pig of yours really is a pig then, I can prove that sister Honger's words are true oh, hearing this, Su Lele at the side immediately chimed in, ow ow, get lost, Chang Hao who heard this cursed, it's fine for the breeder's sister to flirt with him for fun, what's the other party doing coming along with nothing, 
Is she the one who called the little orange pig? Are they familiar with each other? Don't make a messy relationship, okay? Your little orange pig's face has changed too quickly, right? It's okay for Sister Honger to say you're a little orange pig, but it's not okay for me to say it, is it? Seeing Chang Hao with his mouth open and waving his claws in a fierce manner, Su Lele said in a bad mood, that's right, a little bit does not give our assistant sister face, careful assistant sister at that time, directly break you this little orange pig's food, that's right, our assistant sister but even the head of the garden, all have to be courteous three big people, the water friends in the live broadcast room saw it, and immediately said, little fat orange really do not understand the world, like the assistant sister so powerful characters, actually do not give half face, we must know that this is even the hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park director are afraid of the existence of awe. That said, if you guys really dare to cut off the little orange pig's food, I feel like the entire tiger park can be demolished for him. Seeing the group of water friends above who spoke for Su Lele, other water friends spoke out. Not bad, the little orange pig is a tiger that dares to gnaw on trees. If it gets fierce, it can probably even bite through iron. That's right, it's okay to starve other animals, but never starve a tiger. Isn't this asking for trouble? Alright, little orange don't be so excited. Sister is joking with you. Can't you hear it? Sister Hong a rubbed Chung Hao's belly and soothed. Now let's go back to potting milk. Okay? Ow ow, good. Upon hearing that there are pots and pots of milk to drink, Chung Hao also didn't bother to continue to be mean to Su Lele. After all, nothing can be gained by being serious with the other party. Or listening to the breeder's sister has many benefits. Greedy little bad egg. Seeing this, Su Lele muttered. Then she followed Sister Honger to the dormitory and went to make pots and pans of milk for Chang Hao. Director you don't seem to look too good. Did something happen? The staff member who let the pickup truck drag a carriage of green cloth over, after looking at his own boss's face that didn't seem too good, voiced his concern. There's a small problem, but it's not serious as all. Hearing this, the director took a deep breath before saying, Go ask Mr. Gardner where the free range area is. Set up all these green cloths come on. Okay, I got it. Boss. The staff nodded at his words and went to do as Director Lee said. When Director Lee saw this, he took the leaves he broke off from the iron tree branches and raised his eyebrows in depression. What bad luck! I've been a director for so long. This is the first time I've been pitted by a little tiger. And the key is still to get it together myself. He had been a director for so long. What big storms hadn't he seen? But it didn't occur to him that he would actually be pitted by a tiger one day and become the murderer who destroyed the iron tree. He didn't even know what to say about this depressed mood. It's good that not many people know about this matter. It was good that there weren't many people who knew about this matter. Or else his worldly reputation would be gone. Sister Honger, is little fatty oranges potty milk made with milk powder? Inside the dormitory, Su Lele held up her cell phone and looked at Sister Honger, who was making pots and pans of milk, and asked. She had always thought that the little tiger was fed with fresh goat's milk after it was born. But she hadn't thought that it was actually made with milk powder. Yes. The pots and pans of milk that the tiger cubs inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park drink are all made with milk powder. Sister Honger, who was scooping up the milk powder, nodded her head and looked at Su Lele's face with a curious gaze and said with a smile, You guys don't really think that the tiger cubs inside the tiger park are all drinking fresh milk, right? How is this possible? If all the pots of milk in Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park were fresh milk, not to mention how much it would cost, the storage conditions alone would be troublesome, right? Then would the nutrition contained in this powdered milk not be as good as fresh milk? Hearing this, Su Lele continued to ask. After all, milk powder is just milk powder. Right. The nutritional value is not as good as fresh milk? Actually it's about the same. The domestic tiger park has been built for so many years, and has a lot of experience in this area. Sister Hong rushed the pon pon milk, gazed at Chung Hao under the table and said, If you look at Xiao Tangerine like this, You'll know that the difference between fresh milk and milk powder modulated pon pon milk is actually not that big. Is powdered milk potted milk actually good compared to fresh milk? Wouldn't you be able to tell by taking a look at the little tiger being fed? Then it seems that the powdered milk prepared by poon poon milk is still very good. Hearing this, Su Lele looked at Chung Hao, who was sitting on the side, and said, Take a look at how fat little orange has gotten. It seems that there isn't much difference between the powdered milk made potpourri milk and fresh milk. Yes. At least the tigers in Hauntish and Northeast Tiger Forest Park like it. Sister Honger put down the iron basin, touched Chung Hao's round head and said, Be good and drink no? Don't lick it. If the eating bowl is rotten, sister will have to get you a bucket. This bowl is already the thickest she picked, but Xiao Chang always licked after drinking milk. Licking the bottom of the iron bowl or spent thin. If Xiao Tangerine was like this again, she would have to go get a stainless steel iron bucket for Xiao Tangerine to drink milk from. 
ow ow, oh oh. Chang Hao who heard this carefully came closer to the potted milk and slowly sucked it up. He didn't want to turn into a real rice bucket by drinking potted milk from an iron bucket. Although he had become a tiger and didn't care about his reputation anymore. But if he was always called a rice bucket in the Hongto Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, he would also have a headache. He would also have a headache. Little fat orange is really fat. He even needs a bucket to drink milk. That's for sure. Do you think the name Little Fatty Orange Seed is for nothing? Add 10 buckets of potted milk to Little Fat Orange. Who are you looking down on by using such a small bowl and filling it? Let people abroad look at it and think that our Little Fat Orange can't afford to drink tub tub milk. That's right. Little Fatty Orange's potted milk will be paid for by Ben Gongzi. The water friends in the live streaming room heard this, and you said one thing and I said another, stating that they would quickly go and change Little Fat Orange's potted pots of milk into buckets and that they wanted to see Little Fat Orange drink from the sea and devour it. Everyone, since you want to see Little Fat Orange drink pon pon milk from a bucket so much, then hurry up and use your hands to click on the shopping cart at the bottom of the screen to buy tickets. Every support you give will allow Little Fat Orange to drink pon pon milk from a bucket at the earliest possible time. Su Lele said with a smile at the sight, although she was halfway to taking over Sister Honger's live room, she had seen the live broadcast for so long that she still knew what to say now. Taking advantage of the fact that everyone was making requests now, it was just the right time to help sell a wave of tickets for the Hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park. As Su Lele's words fell, the tickets in the live broadcast room were swish refreshed. Do you hear me? Hurry up and buy them for me. Let's work together to let little fatty orange live a life where he can drink buckets of potted milk. Charge. Brothers. Buy tickets. Let's work hard for little fat orange's pungent life. Ali give. Charge charge. I'm going to buy 10 tickets to support little fat orange. I'm going to buy 20 tickets so that poor little fat orange can drink buckets of potted milk. Sister Honger, the water friends in the live broadcast room for the little fat orange with a bucket of milk are very much looking forward to yo. In order to support the little fat orange can drink on the bucket of milk as soon as possible. We all enthusiastically buy tickets. You see when you can give the little fat orange arrangement ah? Seeing the live broadcast water friends to buy tickets enthusiasm so high. Su Lele smiled to the red sister asked. Yes yes yes. Miss Breeder went to the little fat orange arrangement ah, I promised to buy 20 tickets to support then. What's 20 tickets? I'll buy 30 tickets to support the little fat orange drinking potty milk. Who are you looking down on? It should be called bucket milk now. Okay? Let him drink. Let him drink. The teammates in the live broadcast room once again erupted with strong voices when they heard this. As the saying goes, no matter how poor you are, you can't be poor in education. And no matter how bitter you are, you can't be bitter to your children. How can Miss Breeder not let the little fat orange drink enough milk? Take a look at the small bowl is not enough for the little fat orange to drink two mouthfuls. Uh, little orange is still a child. Can't drink a bucket of tubs of milk. Sister Honger, who heard this, couldn't help but laugh somewhat helplessly after looking at Chung Hao. Xiao Tangerine does love to drink milk, but she can't drink a bucket of milk. Look at Xiao Tangerine's stomach now. It's just like an iron bucket, and it's not even as big as an iron bucket. If you really let Xiao Tangerine drink milk, this little glutton will still be stretched to death. You have to know that for a tiger of this age. Where is the concept of satiety? It will eat all the time if it can. That's why they need them. The breeders, to take care of these little gluttons, to make sure they don't eat too much per meal to hurt their bodies. Ow ow, sister. I can actually do it. Chang Hao, who was on the side, heard this and said with his mouth open. Although it was said that a bucket of milk couldn't be drunk all at once, but it was still no problem to give him a day's time and he felt that this matter could actually be discussed. Can what? Sister Honger slapped Chung Hao's head in a bad mood and said, You'll do whatever your sister says. No refuting. Okay? What do you know about this little tiger so small? How can you joke about your body? You should know that the body is the most important. Not because of gluttony to drink their own can not drink pots of milk no? This little glutton really has a greedy mouth. Lele just casually said just, He really dare to want ah. See she does not give this little villain a little lesson so that he grow a long memory. Ow ow, hit again. It's going to become stupid. Chang Hao, who was slapped in the head, shouted, Do not give a drink. Do not give a drink. Nothing to do why. Sister Honger isn't afraid to slap him into an idiot? He is still a baby. The brain is still developing. Cannot withstand this kind of slap. Dumb is better. Will not steal food. Sister Honger said in a good-natured manner and began to pack up the iron basin. A woman's heart is like a needle in the bottom of the sea. It's really hard to understand. Chang Hao lay on the ground, muttering in his heart. After rubbing his head against his paw and realizing that there wasn't anything going on with his head, he let out a sigh of relief. And when the water friends inside the live broadcast room saw it, they instantly felt sympathy. Little Fat Orange is so pathetic. 
His heart is in the right place and he was hammered by Miss Breeder. Yeah, Miss Breeder is too brutal. Unlike me, will only pinch the little fat orange face shaking left and right and said, little fat orange to be good oh? Then again, the Breeder sister is not to understand what the little fat orange said ah. I only saw the little fat orange screamed a few times after the beatings, a water user asked curiously after watching. She always felt that Miss Sister had a special ability to hide it from them. Otherwise why did Miss Breeder always speak before and after? Nonsense. Isn't it normal for Miss Keeper, as a tiger keeper to understand a few tiger words? It's just like I've been an electrician for three years now. Like if a wire has electricity or not, I can tell once I touch it. That's right that's right. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. I've been killing fish inside the supermarket for seven years now. My heart is as cold as a knife. Hearing this, the other water friends couldn't help but speak out. At first glance, this is a new water user. Like them, these old water users are all used to it. Okay? It's not just about being able to communicate with tigers. Breeder sister can also old tigers. You see them have a big fuss? This group of careless guys really did not find the problem? Sister Honger has been exposed so obviously, and they actually didn't even realize it? Sue Lele, who was watching the chatting of the live streamers, was speechless. It was true that people these days were carefree and did not have any sense of crisis and vigilance. Of course, it was also possible that they had watched too many live broadcasts and videos, thinking that what Sister Honger was carrying out right now was a script, and hadn't even thought about this layer. After all, who could have thought that in just three months' time, the entire world would have begun to change drastically? But there is a say one. Honger's sister this live at all did not hide their ability is to let her did not think of ah, and so on sooner or later will still be exposed. Luckily, there she was at the side of Honger sister to act as a bodyguard, to help suppress all the troublemakers. What's wrong, you little devil want to sleep? Sister Honger who had washed the iron basin and put it inside the sterilizer. Seeing Chung Hao, who was lying on the ground yawning and stretching his limbs lazily, she asked, this little bad guy sleeps when he's full, and thinks about eating when he's full. No wonder he's on the road to fat oranges. It's also that it's almost winter now, or else she'd say anything to take this little bad guy to set up a training program before she could do so. What kind of tiger cub is as fat as him? Don't be like other tiger parks when the tourists uploaded the network. It became some kind of pig farm. Shang Hao, miss, you didn't raise me to be so fat? Why don't you think about yourself? Otherwise how do you call it say a little fat orange is really fat? Sleeps and crushes the bed? The sight of Su Lele smiled and squatted down and said, Little fat orange do you want sister to help you rub your belly ah? I heard that the little tigers that have been hugged by a beautiful young lady's belly will be very lucky oh. Ow ow, roll. Chang Hao, who was lying on the ground, sniffed and waved his paw and screamed, then moved his body towards sister Honger. Just the two words beautiful lady are worthy of each other, only the breeder's sister is a real beauty, okay? She will sing to him and lull him to sleep, she will make pots of milk for him, and she will massage and comb his fur. The most crucial thing was that after he got into trouble, she would also help him figure out what to do. Poor Miss Assistant. She ate the door on little fat orange's side again. Yeah, it's really miserable. But stop. Missy don't be sad. My embrace is warm enough to be a harbor for you to recuperate. Is that you trying to nurse Missy's wounds? I'm too embarrassed to point you out. In addition to that I have a body temperature of 37 degrees. If there is any poor young lady who needs a body warmer in this winter, you can look for mine. Seeing the little fat orange who would rather wriggle like a caterpillar and crawl to Sister Honger's side than accept the assistant, the water friends said that the assistant's sister was really pitiful. They have said that their shoulders are broader and can provide a place for the assistant's sister to cry. Damn little fat orange. Su Lele muttered and clenched her fists, obviously looking so cute. How could her behavior be so bad? She must jerk off this little fat orange. Make the other party's own henchmen beg for their lives and beg for their deaths. Sticking to her all day long and not wanting to go away and then ruthlessly abandoning this abominable little villain. This guy is not going to get angry and plan to jump over the wall, right? Listening to the other party pinching his hand, Shang Hao's face could not help but be vigilant, fearing that the other party would suddenly rise up and sneak attack. Your little bad eggs wanna let sister help you rub your stomach have to relax before line. You this little paw raised so high to. Sister how to help you rub ah? Just at this time Chan Hao on the defensive. The ears came the voice of Honger sister. Heard this Chang Hao only then realized that he held up his paw and posed, and hastily put his paw down. It's all because Su Lele this melon skin scared him, causing him to pose, fortunately did not accidentally hurt the breeder sister. This is a good boy. Want sister to help you massage words, paw cannot be raised so high. Have to be honestly put down only. Seeing this, sister Honger said with a smile, one hand kneading Chang Hao's stomach, one hand on Chang Hao's face. Her fingers kept moving to pinch his big round face. Aha. 
It's so comfortable. Chang Hao, who was being needed, couldn't help but close his eyes, relaxing his body and enjoying himself, his nostrils emitting grunts from time to time. Come over here. When Sister Honger saw this, she needed her fluffy stomach and waved towards Su Lele, signaling Su Lele to hurry over. When Su Lele saw this, she immediately smiled with joy, tiptoed over, and stretched out a hand on top of Chung Hao's belly but didn't fall down. Okay. Seeing this, Sister Honger gently raised her hand and gave an okay. Su Lele then immediately put down her hand and took over Honger's hand position in Chung Hao's belly kneading up. Stinky little orange bad little orange. Although the temper is very bad, but the skin is really comfortable and soft ah. After casually pinching a few times, Su Lele then felt that she wasn't that angry anymore, seeing that this little fat orange rubbed her belly. She felt that she could temporarily forgive this little bad guy. Is little orange comfortable? Sister Honger said as she scraped her hand on Chang Hao's nose, letting the smell of her own body be smelled by little orange all the time, lest he find out that he's already changed. Ow ow, very comfortable. Hearing this Chang Hao nodded his head, a broken humming sound came out of his mouth. The breeder's young lady's massage technique and heart was really fine, and also used her hands to help him knead his cheeks to help put him relaxed. He felt that after this set of processes were done, he would definitely be able to have an extra meal of beef when the time came. Comfortable is right. Small orange you slowly enjoy do not move off. Or else if sister gets scratched by you later, she will never help you rub your belly again. Sister Honger saw the crazy smile on Su Lele's face that she couldn't hide and smiled as she continued to pacify. Lele was also really pitiful. Having been tricked by Xiao Tangerine for the first time, and then having to be ostracized by Xiao Tangerine all the time. Looking at her, she couldn't even bear to. I'm sorry, I'll take this opportunity to make up for Lele. Lest by then, Lele will give herself to be angry and dizzy. And the water friends in the live broadcasting room after seeing this set of stealing the beam process, cannot help but be surprised to open their eyes wide. They did not think that there is actually this kind of play. I finally know what is called lycanthropy. Poor little fat orange at this time does not know. Touching his belly has changed all. The words are so no wrong, but I think you should change the expression. What is called wolf and lousy? Do the young ladies look like wolves and wolves? That's right. The assistant young ladies are so gentle. This is clearly a case of working together in solidarity to help Miss Han take revenge. Right. Right. Let's work together to defeat the evil little fat orange and defend Miss Sister's smile. Although little fat orange was very cute. They felt that Miss Assistant was really pitiful at this time. So they decided to defend this hard one smile of Miss Assistant and not let little fat orange know what was happening now. Strange how Missy's two hands don't feel like they're the same size? Could it be that Missy this is the legendary big and small hands? Chang Hao, who was squinting his eyes and relaxing wholeheartedly to enjoy Miss Honger's massage. After enjoying it for a while, he suddenly found something not quite right. That is, the breeder's sister's hands. How come the two aren't the same size ah? Although he said he knew that the human body organs and hands and feet are not necessarily symmetrical large and small, but the hands of the young lady is a little too outrageous. Thinking of this a bad feeling emerged from his heart, and all of a sudden Chang Hao was not in the mood to enjoy Sister Honger's massage. What's wrong? Little Orange. You don't want Sister to give you a massage anymore? Why did you suddenly wake up? Sister Honger, who realized that Chang Hao's breathing had suddenly changed, hurriedly grabbed Su Lele's rubbing hand and flicked Chang Hao's belly with her fingers. Su Lele who was happily drooling, first froze after her hand was pulled up, but after hearing Sister Honger's words, she hastily retreated carefully, if she was discovered now, then it would be difficult to touch this little fat orange again in the future, therefore, she absolutely could not be discovered by the little fat orange, so that she could keep playing the trick of secretly touching the little fat orange with Sister Honger, moreover, the sneaky touching could be much more exciting than touching openly, the key was that this little fat orange didn't know yet, she really wanted to see the little fat orange know that sometimes, touching him is not the red sister that surprised expression. This kind of thing is very exciting and relieving when you think about it. Okay? Calling this little bastard not to give her a touch. Not to give her a touch useful? Sister Honger was on her side. Ow ow, wait. Chang Hao, who heard Honger sister's words, naturally wouldn't enjoy the massage honestly anymore, and gently raised his two paws to hold Honger sister's hand away from his face, and his body stood upright to look towards the front. You this little bad guy again want to do what demon ah? Could it be that sister is still not happy about giving you a massage? Seeing Chung Hao in this state, sister Honger pulled out her hand from Chung Hao's clasped paw and pressed and pinched Chung Hao's big round face. But the pressed Chung Hao didn't pay attention to what sister Honger was doing. Instead, he held sister Honger's other hand with both paws. And he wanted to verify an idea right now. That is, was it sister Honger's hand that just touched him? Why was the difference in the size of the hand so obvious? It wasn't very scientific. What's wrong? What are you doing holding this hand of sisters for nothing? 
You little villain, is it because you want your sister to reward you with a big violent chestnut with this hand? Seeing Chang Hao's hugging hand sniffing around, Sister Honger finally did understand why Chang Hao suddenly woke up. It turned out to be that her hand wasn't the same size as Lele's, and this little villain had found out the problem ah. She knew that Little Orange was so smart and wasn't as easy to fool as the other little tigers. US Comic, The Red Lantern Demon Returning from Arad. Recommendation, if the prison blood demon god from Arad obtains the Red Lantern Ring, which is powered by anger and madness in the DC world, what kind of sparks will collide? Little Fat Orange actually smart to this point? Sue Lele, who had also seen this scene, looked at her hand holding the cell phone and couldn't help but be a little thankful. Little Orange you little devil. Holding sister's hand and sniffing around for what ah, you little bastard wouldn't be craving to the point that you want to eat your sister, right? Sister Honger, who was sniffing her hand, said in a bad mood, grabbing Chung Hao's armpit and then flipped Chung Hao over. Ow ow, no, no. Hearing this, Chung Hao quickly shook his head. This meal can be eaten indiscriminately. Words cannot be said indiscriminately ah, he is a good tiger. How can he eat people? How could he eat a human being? Since there is no words, you this little bad guy kept sniffing to sniff what? Sister didn't eat any delicious food behind your back. Sister Honger didn't have the good sense to say, be good and lie down again. Sister help you rub your little belly again. We are about to go see directorly. Ow ow, oh oh. Chang Hao, who didn't catch any substantial evidence, nodded his head and honestly lay down. From time to time, his eyes glanced at Su Lele, who was standing on the side, trying to find any breaks from the other party's face. Little fat orange you're looking at me like this. Do you want me to hug you? If you want me to hug you, just say so. There's no need to look at me like this. Seeing this scene, Su Lele said with a smile, stretching out the hand that was just holding the cell phone, and reaching towards Chang Hao. Ow ow, roll. Chang Hao, who was lying on Sister Honger's lap, would cover his paws and reveal a vicious look when he sniffed the other party's hand without his own odor. Now it was certain that this guy hadn't touched him just now. It looked like he was a little too paranoid. You little villain don't let it be touched just don't let it be touched. What's the point of being so fierce? Su Lele saw this and pretended to be angry and scolded. It looked like this little fool didn't sniff out that she had touched him with her other hand. This means that she can later play the trick of stealing the bean with the regular Honger sister. Fierce is you woman who doesn't know the sense of boundaries. Chung Hao listened and belabored in his heart. Then he no longer bothered with Su Lele and continued to enjoy sister Honger's massage. The water friends who saw the scene said with some pity. Little fat orange is so smart. It's just a pity that he was a hundred times too close to sniffing only one hand and not the other. Yes, who let little fat orange usually very anti-assistant sister. Otherwise if he had smelled the other hand, he would have definitely found the clues. Right, but shouldn't our focus be on the assistant sis? Why are you thick-eyed guys starting to rebel again? They had just clearly been saying that Miss Assistant had finally gotten her revenge. But then they turned around and this group of guys were actually pitying that little fat orange hadn't found out the truth of the matter. Were these guys on Miss Sister's side or not? He then wanted to ask. We didn't mutiny. It's only because Little Fat Orange is too cute. So we subconsciously want Little Fat Orange to discover it. Right. Right. That's how it is. The waterbenders of the question ones looked for skittish excuses to say back. It's true that men are. Are fickle you guys? This group of unreliable guys. The female waterbenders in the live broadcast room cursed. Ow ow ow. Ow ow ow. Right at this moment. Sister Honger's cell phone rang. And the ringtone was none other than Chang Hao's classic voice Hungry. Hungry want meat. Want meat. This is little fat orange's voice? Sure enough the breeder. Missy loves this little orange pig the most. The ringtones used are all his grunts. That's for sure. Don't you know that there are only two kinds of pigs in the world? One is the one brought up by grandparents. And the other is the one brought up by Miss Breeder. Right. Right. Well said. The water friends who heard this voice laughed. And the live broadcast room was once again filled with a cheerful atmosphere. Head gardener are you looking for me is the venue set up yet? After pulling out the phone and connecting it, Sister Honger asked out loud. Yes, the venue has been set up. You quickly bring Little Orange over. Looking at the venue that was covered with green cloth and the ground was full of green wheat grass ends opened her mouth. As expected a professional is a professional. Not only did they use the green cloth to spread all around the free range area, they also called a large truck to come over loaded with green wheat grass and to simulate a snowy ground full of snow. Okay. I'll bring little orange over here. Sister Honger sniffed and nodded back, then hung up the phone to put Chung Hao down. Little orange follow sister to eat beef. Okay? Ow ow, good. Chung Hao sniffed and nodded his head back, then followed sister Honger. That said, can we watch the process of filming the documentary? This won't involve leaking the source of the movie, right? In theory it should be fine. 
didn't you hear that director say to utilize special effects? What we're seeing now is just little fat orange. The footage without special effects before filming. It's not like we're watching the original movie from his side. That's right. So many of us are helping him watch it. We can also help him publicize it. Speaking of which he still has to thank us. And how could he possibly refuse ah? Not bad. How many people will watch this kind of documentary nowadays? How many people would watch this kind of documentary nowadays? All of them have time to brush small videos and watch anchors. It's good that we're willing to watch it. The water friends in the live broadcast room watched Chung Hao's little tail wagging as they discussed the matter of filming a documentary. Don't worry everyone. I'll try to discuss it with the director. If he thinks it's okay, we'll be able to live broadcast the process of little fat orange filming all over the place. If he minds, then I'll just shoot the video down then. And wait until after their documentary airs. And then I'll show you all the behind the scenes story. Seeing the water friends in the live broadcast room discussing this matter Su Lele said with a smile. Ordinary TV and movies couldn't divulge the filming process. But whether or not this documentary was like this. She really didn't know. However. She would soon be meeting the director. And asking the director would tell her if it could be live streamed. Aha. Uh -huh, sure enough. Assistant Miss is the most reliable. Yes. Is your home short of pets? Miss Assistant, there's a poor dog in my house that no one is keeping. The poor dog you're talking about. Wouldn't it be this single dog of yours? It's definitely him. I've seen this kind of routine before. The water friends in the live broadcast room voiced out. Saying who doesn't have a single dog in their family? Little Orange you came over ah. Quickly come over to see what good things we prepared for you ah. Inside the grid enclosed free range area. A dozen or so staff members had already worked on the shooting site and were waiting for Chang Hao's arrival. Upon seeing Chang Hao follow sister Hongren, the blonde-haired, blue-eyed young lady immediately took out a small piece of beef from the bag on the side and shook it up. Beef ah, so fragrant beef. As the beef shook in the air, the delicious odor made Chang Hao lick his lips, and his steps immediately quickened, rushing towards the staff shaking the beef. Sure enough, it's a little glutton who rushed over when he saw the beef. After seeing this, the blonde blue-eyed young lady had a happy smile on her face, so she squatted down to prepare for Chang Hao's piggy flight such a fat little tiger. It must feel very good to touch, right? Under the gaze of the blonde blue-eyed young lady, Chang Hao directly ignored her embrace and went straight for the beef inside her hand to take a bite, and then ran away directly without looking back. This, finding her hand empty, the blonde blue-eyed young lady pinched the air and froze the whole person. Why this little tiger is not according to common sense ah, uh, should not be the other party directly rushed over, and then she held and needed a meal, and then give him beef to eat? How this greedy little guy, directly grab beef away, laughing me to death. There's one more young lady who has been hurt by the little fat orange. I think this short few seconds, young lady may need a long time to heal herself. Yeah, you guys take a look at this young lady's dazed look. I guess it's the first time she's encountered this kind of situation. The water friends who saw this scene laughed and said, although this blonde haired, blue eyed young lady was very cute, forgive them for still wanting to laugh a little unkindly. It's okay, you'll get used to it. Little fat orange is just like this. When Su Lele on the side saw it, she smiled and comforted. Finally, there was someone like her, enjoying the taste of being benched. Although there was some bloating, she did feel happy now. Yes, the staff lady who heard this looked at Chung Hao who was gnawing on the beef. Her lips moved to say something, but in the end, she didn't make a sound. Director, we're live streaming right now. Can this process of filming a documentary be live streamed? If it can't, I'll have Lele turn off the live broadcast. After Sister Honger glanced over at Su Lele's side, she found Director Lee who was explaining to the staff how to pick the filming angle later on. Live streaming the shooting scene? Of course there's no problem. Hearing this, Director Lee smiled and said, What we're filming now is only part of it. Tell the viewers in the live broadcast room that after they watch the live broadcast, if they're interested, they can watch us filming on the first day of the Chinese New Year. They can watch the documentary on Treading Snow and Seeking Tiger that we filmed on the first day of the New Year. He was also worried that not many people know that their crew shooting snow searching for tigers documentary. Now the live broadcast of someone curious about the shooting process. That is naturally the best. After all, the fragrance of wine is also afraid of deep alley ah. Especially in contemporary times. There are too many entertainment options. People do not have much patience to watch documentaries. They all went to brush the short video to watch the anchor to go. Okay, no problem. Sister Honger nodded at her words and said not expecting the director to agree so painfully, which was good news. The water friends could watch the entire filming process without having to worry about turning off the live broadcast. Ow ow, more, more. After eating a small piece of beef, Chang Hao licked his lips, and after circling around for a bit, he ran to Sister Honger's side with small broken steps, just a small piece of beef, which made him recall what it really tasted like. 
was not enough to fill his stomach, and he and these guys are not familiar with, can only come over to find Red Sister to get him meat. Little Orange you finished a piece of beef so quickly? Sister Honger, who was planning to go tell her water friends the good news, sniffed and squatted down to touch Chung Hao's s big head and asked, ow ow, yes. Chung Hao heard this and immediately nodded his big head back. Just that small piece of beef is also called beef. It's just for him to stuff his teeth. He can't eat it at all. Little Orange want to eat beef to him on the line. Originally this beef is also for him to prepare. Director Lee smiled at the situation and said, waving towards the staff, beef don't put it over there. Hurry up and prepare it on for our main character ah. If the little guy is starved, you guys came to be the male lead right? Take it right away. Take it right away. The staff who was watching the fun heard this and immediately went to bring the beef over and placed it in front of Chang Hao. All right, little orange you can eat as much as you want. Eat your fill and we'll shoot slowly. There's no rush, Director Lee said with a smile, squatting down ready to see how the little orange pig in front of him planned to wolf down his food. So good? I'll be polite then. As soon as he heard this, Chang Hao began to open his mouth to dry beef. Sister Honger, what did the director say? Su Lele, who had come over? Asked towards Sister Honger after scanning down Chung Hao, who was drying rice. The director said it can be broadcast live. Sister Honger said with a smile, so we don't have to close the live broadcast room. We can let everyone watch how the documentary was shot together? Really? That's great news. Su Lele said happily, holding her cell phone and slapping Chang Hao to open her mouth. Did you hear that we don't have to close the live studio? We can witness the whole process of Little Fat Orange shooting the documentary. Hear it, hear it. The assistant lady's voice is beautiful and sweet. How can I not hear it? Yes, yes, yes. Miss assistant doesn't need to speak so loudly. Please protect your voice. Can't in case if your voice goes dumb then I will be sad. Hear this water friend sent pop up said. Eyes looked at the big mouth dry beef tiger eyes full of envy. This year is really not as good as a tiger ah. Tiger eat can be much better than them. Where they can eat so much beef in one meal? They don't realize that they are not only not as good as the little tiger. It's not even comparable. Little Tiger has free medical insurance and is a national protected animal. All day long do not have to work only responsible for selling cute on the meat to eat. There is a package to assign the object and the house it. They have? Little fat orange beef is good to eat ah, but this meat is not for nothing. Oh, later you have to help cooperate with the shooting. The director looked at Chung Hao, who was gorging himself, and said, It's really a greedy little tiger. Look at his eating face eating can be really fragrant ah, look at him or someone to eat beef ah. If he can't be cute when he grows up, it would be nice to be an animal food broadcast. That's right, little orange. You can't eat so much meat for nothing. You have to cooperate with the shooting. Okay? Sister Hongmer on the side sniffed and followed. Ow ow, got it. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head. It's not just shooting a video? What's so hard about it? It was simple. As long as the other party was willing to give meat, everything would be fine. This little guy really understands words ah. Director Lee who saw the scene was slightly surprised. Didn't he say that after the founding of the country, it couldn't become a spirit? How come this little tiger is only a few months old and is already so smart? It looked like the shooting this time would go smoothly and wouldn't be as troublesome as he thought. Right. Director you haven't told me what you need little orange to do? Sister Honger heard this and opened her mouth to inquire. Director Lee kept saying that he was shooting some footage, but up until now he hadn't told her what exactly he was going to shoot? It's very simple. It needs little orange to slowly walk on the snow and then just bounce to show the lively side of the little tiger. And this footage will also be the opening credits of our documentary on trekking through the snow in search of the tiger. Director Lee smiled and said, he had thought of many documentary openings, but the idea of using Chang Hao as the opening credits suddenly popped into his head just now. Since it was a tiger documentary and it was the year of the tiger, of course it was necessary to choose an auspicious little tiger for the opening credits, and the round and chubby little tiger in front of his eyes was the best credits wasn't it? Sasha. Shasha. The sound of snow being trampled came from inside the snowy forest under the warm sunlight. With the camera running, a chubby, round tiger cub suddenly appeared. He poked his head out and looked around, seemingly looking for something. When he saw a big bird flying over his head, he jumped and chased after it in the direction of the big bird. On the snowy ground where he ran, he left a series of footprints. And when the footprints were enlarged, a row of red letters appeared, treading snow and searching for tigers. What an awesome special effect. It's made just like the real thing. Honger looked at the screen on the computer. Then at Director Lee, who was running on the green wheat grass, chasing after the beef on the fishing line, and admired the realistic special effects. Using the green grass end to make the snow also even if, actually can use the beef to make the fluttering wings of the bird. Really professional is professional ah. How is it? How's the special effects coming along? Any problems? Director Lee, 
who was pulling the fishing line, inquired. He let his men change the grass end into white snowflakes, then wiped out the fishing line, and replaced the beef with special effects as a bird with fluttering wings. It shouldn't be difficult, right? Report boss, everything went smoothly just like the real thing without any difference. Even if people see that it's a bit fake, it doesn't matter. What we're doing is a science documentary. It's not a big movie. Knocking on the keyboard of the staff said with a smile, this kind of color change P-chart special effects. Simple and simple now. And because it was a real life shooting mixed with special effects, this picture was just like the real thing when it came out. It was guaranteed that the viewers who watched this image would not think that it was actually a special effect. That's fine. Hearing this, Director Lee nodded his head in satisfaction, and then let go of the fishing line. The hanging beef then moved in free fall, and when Chang Hao, who was chasing after it, saw this, he jumped and immediately bit down on the falling beef and began to feast on it. The staff on the side saw this scene, immediately excited, immediately raised the fishing rod intends to come to a catfishing, but biting the beef Chang Hao will not let the meat to the mouth again flew. After the claws pressed the fishing line, no matter how hard the staff, couldn't even lift the fishing rod. It's true that fishing guys never have an air force, they catch everything but fish. Yeah, this director is really a fucking genius to think of using a fishing rod to catch little fat oranges. That's right, this is the first time I've seen this kind of tawdry operation. Water friends who saw this scene, said director Lee's operation is really tart. Simply outrageous his mom to outrageous open the door. Outrageous to the home. Other anglers who can't catch fish can only fish for cows. But this director Lee directly fished for tigers. They have reason to suspect that this director is not filming a documentary, and is definitely here to play. Boss, can you see the effect after the shooting? On the other side, Director Lee came to the computer, so the staff clicked play and played back the footage that had just been shot directly. It's okay, very natural. The special effects don't look out of place either. The viewers definitely won't be able to guess that the bird and the snow are fake. Director Lee, who had watched the video, nodded, nodded and said, Director. Can little orange just shoot this one shot? Sister Honger asked curiously from the side after seeing the crew save the video. That crew worked for so long just to shoot this one shot? It always felt like a bit of a big deal. Yes, because it's treading snow in search of tigers of course it's impossible to film all of the baby tigers. Director Lee smiled as he said, This set of shots of little orange is perfect. It's just a pity that what we're filming isn't a tiger growth story. Otherwise, we definitely have to give little orange a single tiger documentary. Treading snow in search of tigers was of course to shoot tigers living in the wild, not bred tigers, otherwise how could it be called treading snow in search of tigers, instead of searching for tigers inside the tiger park, like this, that's really a pity. When Sister Honger heard that this was really the only footage that was filmed, she couldn't help but say regretfully, then if you want to film a documentary on the growth of tigers next time, director, be sure to come and find Xiao Tangerine, our little tangerine is the best behaved and smartest and is guaranteed to be the most worry-free one. Originally, he thought that Director Lee said that the filming time would be about 10 minutes, so that the audience could remember Little Orange, but he didn't think that it would be just this much time. The only thing to be thankful for was that the footage shot by Kuju was used in the opening of the documentary, which would be very impactful and impressive. That's for sure. After all, there aren't many little tigers as cute as Little Orange. Director Lee smiled as he looked at Chung Hao, who was gnawing on beef, and then shouted to a group of staff. Everyone clean up the trash, the green cloths are all pulled up, get ready to call it a day. Okay, boss. The staff members who heard these words then began to pack up their things. Ha, huh, we're calling it a day? What did we just see? It seems like we only saw the little fat orange chasing beef, right? Yes, and that wasn't even for a minute. The water friends who were paying attention to how to shoot next, once they heard that director Lee actually wrapped up, they couldn't help but freeze one after another. What in the world had been filmed in this damned documentary? Why couldn't they understand it? Hey hey hey, even if you're a documentary director, not a movie or TV show director, you can't shoot like this. Let them watch such a paragraph without a beginning and end. Who are you looking down on? Hurry up and show them the whole documentary. Otherwise, if they see it next door, they'll think they're looking down on them. Director, our documentary was filmed here? The water friends in the live broadcast room are very interested in the next clips. Seeing that the water friends within the live broadcast room were making a lot of noise, Su Lele immediately held her cell phone and came to Director Lee's side and asked, letting Director Lee take a look at the lively atmosphere within the live broadcast room, which of course referred to the fact that the water friends were cursing the crew. Ha ha ha, everyone don't be anxious. Our documentary crew has only just filmed. The rest of the footage is really not there. If you are interested, you can pay attention to the first day of the new year. We filmed the documentary Treading Snow and Seeking Tigers. 
Seeing that they were being greeted frantically in the live broadcast room, Director Lee not only didn't get angry, but instead said very happily, if the atmosphere inside the live broadcast room was that quiet, then he was really a bit worried, but now that he saw that everyone was very excited about their documentary, he instead put his heart down, since it's like this, what are you still delaying over here for, hurry up and go filming, that's right, why don't you go quickly, what's the point of fishing for our appetites all the time, upon hearing this, the water friends cursed even more vigorously, all right, all right, we're going to shoot, if you all want to know our shooting schedule and what images we're shooting next, you can just follow our public number treading snow and seeking tiger, director Lee said with a smile, taking the opportunity to give his public number a wave of advertisement, there were actually 430, 000 people in the live broadcast room, not bad, not bad, as long as there was a 1 for 10 th that followed him, then by then the ratings for the first day of the new year wouldn't be too dismal, after all, in this year, the first day of the new year has long since disappeared, and with such a strong new year's flavor in the past, there are even fewer people watching tv, got it, got it, hurry up and get the hell out of there and go filming, that's right, actually dare to advertise inside our kind and beautiful young lady's live room, did you pay for the advertisement, that's right, if you don't send out the eggs from the shoot within the next time period, we'll make you look good, the water users heard this and cursed while going to search inside the public number, if this crew dared to lie to them, then they would let the other party know what would happen if they angered them, they actually dared to whet their appetites, okay, okay, then I'll see you all later, director Lee said with a smile and left with the crew, after filming in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, I never thought that I would be able to gain so much attention, but it was an unexpected pleasure, sister Honger, don't you need to clean these grasses, looking at the green cloths and the grasses left behind, Su Lele walked over to sister Honger and asked, after she saw the head gardener and sister Honger say something to the crew, the staff stopped cleaning up, and she didn't know what the hell was going on. The head gardener said that these green cloths can be used to winterize the trees inside the tiger garden when the time comes, and then these grass froths can be used as green fodder for the chickens to eat. Sister Honger, who was organizing the green cloths, explained that the garden manager had just seen the staff working on the green cloths and rushed over to ask them what they were going to do with the green cloths. Upon learning that they were planning to throw them away like garbage, they immediately put a stop to it, it's a pity to throw away such a good green cloth, if you cut these green cloths, they can be used as clothes for the trees in the tiger park, whether the remaining green grass is used as fertilizer or given to the chickens to eat is a very good choice, but to throw it away is garbage, isn't this a waste, the head gardener is still thrifty ah, Su Lele who heard this froze and then spoke out, but did not think that the head gardener actually thought of the subtle, yes, I can't imagine that the head gardener is really frugal, it makes me think of my grandparents who passed away, they were also so frugal when they were alive, well, people of the older generation all have such frugal qualities, the water friends in the live broadcast room couldn't help but speak out after hearing this, the quality of thriftiness of the older generation was really embodied in the gardener ah, ow ow, sister, the meat is all mine, right at this moment, Cheng Hao trotted over and said, now the crew all ran away, then the ownership of this meat can be said clearly to ah, he contributed the most, how to say this meat should also be placed in the room of the sister, at any time to him to eat it, can't withhold his beef and feed it to the other tigers, right, he has made a contribution to the tiger garden, the tiger garden can't treat him like this, sister knows that it's all yours, but specifically, this still depends on the head of the garden to allocate it oh, sister Honger, who heard this, squatted down to touch Chung Hao's big head and said, sister doesn't have the right to deal with this kind of thing, although she was said to be little orange's keeper, but after all, she was the tiger park's beater, and she still had to listen to the head of the garden for these things, she didn't have the right to decide on this matter, so it was useless for little orange to talk to him about this, useful, ow ow, sister help me, chang hao, who heard this, immediately looked at sister honger pitifully, he believed that sister honger would definitely have a way to help him, and wouldn't sit back and watch his meat get gobbled up by the other little tigers, whom, sister honger, who was touching chang hao's head, thought for a moment before her gaze looked at Su Lele on the side, little orange, it's useless for you to beg your sister, the head of the garden is her direct supervisor, you should have gone to beg Lele on the side, Lele she's the inspector sent down from above, as long as you let Lele speak for you, she'll definitely be able to help you leave the beef behind, not bad, as long as you this little fat orange obediently come to sister to pamper yourself and make sister orange happy, sister can consider making an exception to open a golden mouth for you, once Su Lele on the side heard this, she immediately raised her white swan-like neck in triumph, the damned little fat orange finally had something to ask her for, right, 
This time she didn't ruthlessly jerk this little fat orange ball to how else to say? Do you want me to bow to you in a low voice? As soon as he heard Miss Breeder say this, Chung Hao immediately lifted his proud head and ran away with his steps. He was at least the king of all beasts. Was he so shameless? The district was just beef. The other party wasn't willing to send it to him. Sooner or later, someone else would send it to him. My god, I didn't see it wrong. Little Fatty Orange actually had such a tough day. That's beef ah. Little Fatty Orange is actually filled with a look of not caring. Yeah, this is just a bit too outrageous to believe. That's right. My entire body was dumbfounded when I saw this. The water friends who had always thought that Little Fat Orange was very gluttonous and could not care about his face and skin in order to eat were dumbfounded when they saw the scene. Little Fat Orange you don't want beef to eat? Are you sure you don't want it? You just need to lie down and let me touch your head. Nah, you just have to run to me and turn your belly. Seeing Chang Hao turn his head and leave without saying a word, Su Lele immediately followed. This was unscientific, very unscientific. Little Fat Orange in the previous meet will be able to buy a, why is it so arrogant now? Could it be that someone's price was higher than hers? Making this little fat orange's appetite difficult to feed? Damn it. Which asshole is it? Don't ruin the market like that. Why do I feel that our beautiful assistant sister is like a licking dog? And our little fat orange is very arrogant. Yes. My lovely assistant sister high cold image and my heart broken. Assistant sister do not care about this little fat orange. Let him starve ah. Right right. Can't spoil the little fat orange like this. Seeing this scene of water friends. Said assistant Miss Sister do not care about this little fat orange? Quickly restore the image of high cold ah. Eh, this is now difficult to do. Sister Honger couldn't help but sigh when she saw this. Originally she wanted little orange to get a little bit closer to Lele. But she didn't think that the situation wasn't going the way she thought it would. It looked like it would still take a long time for Lele to successfully touch little orange. What do you guys think of this little tiger? Does it meet the requirements of that big boss on the black market recently? Round and chubby is very popular at first glance. I think it should fit in well. Right. Right. It's just that this little tiger is a bit hard to catch right now. Inside the dimly lit room. The image of Su Lele being chased after Chang Hao was playing. And the few people sitting in the room voiced out after seeing it. Is it hard to go to work? Is it hard to enter the factory? The world knows that money is hard to earn and shit is hard to eat. But for the sake of life. Don't they all have to do it? Hearing this. The bald man who was playing the video. Pointed at the people sitting in the room without a good mood and said. Do you want to go home for the new year this year? Do you want to give out new year's money? Just going into the factory to work can earn a few dollars. Want to earn big money without risking a little how can you? And you this guy. All day to eat and lazy. Not to follow me. You are now long ago starved to death. And you mother solo more than 30 years. This time there is no money to go home for new year's eve. Which girls look at you. You do not want to spell it out? The last thing to say is that you guys still smoke. Put out the cigarette to me. Didn't you run away from home just to prove that you're capable? Now the opportunity is in front of you. Do you do it or not in a word? These guys are lazy and want to get rich without taking some risks. How can they? They do not have the brains to do business. Working and cannot eat that bitter. The only thing they can do is only crime. After all, this road to money fast and not tired. And now there is a multi-million dollar opportunity in front of their eyes. Depending on whether they can catch in the end. There's nothing wrong with saying that. But this is a tiger park. What if we go in the wrong way aren't we serving food to the tigers? Yeah, even if it's a captive bred tiger, this thing recognizes people. They admitted that this boss's words made sense, but they were breaking into the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park this time. Not some church company ah. Can this tiger recognize people? In case they jumped inside the tiger this wasn't going to be a refill? That's why we have to go step on the spot first. Okay, you idiots don't have any brains at all. You just know how to smoke and drink all day long. The bald man pointed his finger at the live broadcast room that was cast out of the screen and said, All of you go and pack up your things for me. Let's go offline to step on the spot and take a look at the park layout of this Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. It's best to be able to know where this little tiger sleeps at night? What manpower is the most vacant in the entire Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Of course he knows what the tiger park is. If there is no preparation he dare to go? Of course he wouldn't dare. He only has one life. He doesn't want to lose it for nothing. Therefore, they have to step on the spot beforehand. If they can get the layout of the whole tiger garden, it would be better. Even if they don't have it, they have to find out whether the tigers in the tiger park go back to sleep in the tiger house at night. Don't say that when they climbed over the barbed wire fence, they would fall in front of the tigers. At that time, they would really be screaming for help. Yes, boss. The people who heard this, nodded and said. Although they were very reluctant to take such a big risk and go to Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park to steal a baby tiger. But this is almost New Year's Eve. How can they go home without making a big fortune? Well, 
I'll go pack up your things. After the bald man saw that the group of guys finally had some energy, he turned off the projector and said, One hour later, we will set off to Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Each and every one of you dress up like a tourist. Don't be so. Don't be so disheveled as to look like a vagabond. They were going to the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park to step on the spot. If these guys were too unkempt, those who didn't know would think that they were going to steal something. At that time, once these guys were targeted by the staff of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, then even if they got their hands on it, there was no way for them to take this little tiger to the border place to deliver it. After all, nowadays, surveillance is so advanced, they just need to show their faces, and they will soon be caught. Oh oh. A few people listened back and went to pack up their things. By the way, they cut their beards and hair, shaved, and took out their new clothes that they hadn't worn for a long time. After they packed and walked out, they finally had a personal look. You this guy bag put so big machete why? We are going to steal a small tiger not to rob. Back so a knife by the traffic police to check the car how to do? And you, this idiot, why did you put the air gun in? You don't want to die fast enough, do you? If we get caught stealing, we'll be out in a few months at most, but you're going out with this thing. You want to be locked up for 10 years to start with, don't you? Watching his men finishing up their clothes and dressing up like a man, the bald man just breathed a sigh of relief. And after turning around and discovering the gifts they brought with them, he couldn't help but yell at them. Do these idiots know what they are going for? They were going to steal a tiger, not to rob it. What's the point of bringing these things? They were thinking that this operation was too smooth and were planning to make things a bit more difficult for them, weren't they? Aren't we worried about encountering a tiger when we enter the tiger park? Boss. The men who were scolded explained as they took their weapons out from inside their luggage. They were going to a tiger park with tigers this time, and they always felt a bit less confident if they didn't prepare a bit of self-defense weapons. There are no tigers inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Where are there tigers? And will it be useful for you to bring these things? If a tiger wants to kill you, it won't be a matter of seconds? The bald man who heard this said somewhat speechlessly. Using these things for self-defense? Would a tiger be afraid of these things? Don't tease him, okay? If these idiots saw a tiger of several hundred pounds and had the guts to hold a machete and rush over, he would rip his head off and give them a kick. As for the airsoft guns, don't even joke about it. When they are all weak in the legs, how can they shoot? Not to mention whether they can hit the tiger or not. Even if they do, they will only provoke the tiger's ferocity. So these idiots, what's the point of bringing these things? Disgusted with their own death is not fast enough is not with shooting to take machete kung fu, all can run a few meters away all, then, what to do, boss, hearing this several people immediately some panic, since even these things cannot protect them, that or cancel this action, after all, there is only one life ah, if you don't even have a life, what's the point of asking for more money, we can't just burn it to them when the time comes, right, what should we do, when the time comes, just listen to me, you guys just need to act properly according to what I said, it's guaranteed to work, the bald man saw his man, this has not yet begun to work on the look of fear is very speechless, on how they look like this can do great things ah, if it wasn't for the fact that he couldn't find any smart men, he would have gotten rid of this group of idiots long ago, yes, boss, although a few juniors were a bit skeptical, but in order to follow the food and drink, they still chose to follow the bald man and left the place where they lived, heading to the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park to step on the spot, this is the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, it looks so big, Yes, I don't know if the road inside is difficult to walk. What if I go the wrong way then? After the black commercial car stopped at the entrance of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, the juniors looked at the gate of Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park and couldn't help but be surprised. This Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park looks not small ah. Just this one day's work. Can they remember the route? When the time comes, don't say that when they come over at night to steal the small tigers, they will directly run to the big tigers. How big can this Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park be? Can't you remember the route with one day to spare? You guys are idiots, right? The bald man on the side said somewhat speechlessly. How could this group of idiots ask such stupid words? They are walking on the road that the people in the park walk on, and not running to walk on the Tiger Life Place. Just this little bit of the road a few more times will be familiar with it, right? We are going to stay in this Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park for one day? Hearing this, the little brothers could not help but froze. They stayed in this Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park for a day. Is the boss serious? They don't need to find a place to eat, nap and play cards? Otherwise, can you guys remember the road with this little pig brain? The bald man scolded in a bad mood. Now all of you walk in with me. Give me every road to that direction? Go to what place all memorized? Yes, boss. The little brothers nodded their heads at the words and said with some frustration. 
They originally came to the Tiger Garden for a trip to walk through the process and take a look at it. They didn't think that the boss actually wanted them to stay inside for a day's worth of work. So how boring would this be? Just as they were walking forward with this thought, they suddenly bumped into the bald man standing in front of them and couldn't help but ask in confusion. Boss what are you doing standing over here and not leaving? Yeah, we almost knocked you down all right. I ask you a few fools a question ah. Uh, you a few guys in the pitch black environment to see clearly not? The bald man looked at the poles close to the Reddison Northeast Tiger Forest Park wires asked. This wire straight to the Reddison Northeast Tiger Forest Park inside. Absolutely is the power supply of the entire Tiger Park no error. If this wire to cut off the words, not only the whole tiger round the camera does not work, even all the lights cannot be used. Then when the time comes to steal a baby tiger, wouldn't it be an easy task? Of course we can see clearly. Boss, have you forgotten what our nickname is? Yes, not to mention it's pitch black. Even if we can't see our fingers, we'll still be able to work. The little brothers who heard this voiced out. The boss actually asked them if they could see clearly in pitch black? Had the boss forgotten the nicknames of the few of them? They were the famous Black Knight F4. Black Knight was their main battlefield, like in the dark environment inside the lock, but also their skill. Like the door of the room in Hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park, they only needed to touch it with their hands to know how small a wire to use. Since it's like this, then I can rest assured. I already have a plan. You guys just need to do what I say. The bald man looked at the wire, laughing. Since his little brother had this ability, there was no need to worry about not being able to find the way in the dark. Yes, boss. The crowd that heard this nodded their heads and said, swinging their collars and swaying, they followed the bald man towards the Northeast Tiger Forest Park in Honta Mountain. Hello, have you all bought tickets? Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park Skate. The staff responsible for checking the tickets, looking at the five people in front of them to subconsciously asked, but when you see clearly the appearance of a few people, could not help but hastily backed up a few steps. Good clanking bald head. Good big scar ah. And then look at the four people followed behind him flowing. Hand without a proper appearance. It will not be to find their Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park trouble. Right? These guys. The security guards who were standing guard saw this scene. Their faces couldn't help but be solemn. Their hands tightly gripped with electric batons now. Guys like this could do no wrong. Definitely not good people. Looking at the other party, he had memorized at least one murder case. Yes yes yes. Of course, this into the zoo inside to see the tiger. Where is the reason not to buy a ticket ah? Uh, the bald man said with a smile, taking out the ticket from his pocket and handing it to the ticket inspector. After glancing at the security guard standing on the side, his eyes lingered for a few seconds on the electric baton on the other side's waist. The so-called know yourself and know the enemy. A hundred battles will not be dangerous. Since the preparation for work, that naturally is the first to take a look. The other side in the end wearing what equipment? Lest at that time, encountered was caught off guard. Good. Ones, everyone can go in. Ticket inspector looked at the sunlight exposed hideous bald man, could not help but send a chill and said, good horror ah, uh, the other side does not smile up okay, this smile up to follow the time to pick a fight hands like, thank you ah, uh, everyone with me. Hearing this, the bald man laughed, and led his minions inside. You watch the surveillance on this side, the others follow me into the park to inspect it. These guys don't look like they're kind people. When the security chief saw the group leave, he said to his team members and followed with his men, it's not good, Mr. Park Director, our Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park is being targeted by bad people. The ticket inspector who stayed behind saw this and immediately pressed the intercom to report the situation. What, bad guys? They have nothing to stare at our Tiger Park why ah, uh, is inside the office leisurely drinking tea Park Director. Heard this cannot help but froze. Their Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park poor only left this piece of land. What is worth the bad guys to stare at? It must be because they see that our tiger park is developing too well. So they have bad thoughts. The ticket inspector said, and then told what had just happened. Even if someone else is bald, you can't say that someone else is a bad person anymore. This kind of profiling is very undesirable you know? Maybe someone else is just a little bald. The gardener who had heard the ticket inspector's words spoke out but, does a bald head necessarily mean a bad person? Who said that? Maybe it's just some hereditary baldness. I'm sure I wouldn't say that just because I'm bald. The key is that that person's face has a big scar. It's definitely cut by someone. Hearing this, the ticket inspector continued to say, it was definitely not that she was judging people by their appearance, but that the other party's temperament said that he wasn't a bad person, she didn't even believe it. It's not unusual to have a knife scar on his face ah. It means that he's most likely the victim ah. The gardener continued, a bald head with a scar is a bad guy. Don't be ridiculous. How can you judge people by their appearance like this? Mr. Gardner, 
I'm telling you I don't think it should make sense anymore. I suggest you take a look at him yourself and you'll understand what I'm saying. Hearing that the gardener just didn't believe his words no matter what, the ticket inspector said somewhat helplessly. That's fine then. I'd like to see what kind of guy is it? It can scare you like this. The head gardener spoke after hearing this, and then put down the intercom and left the office. The little girl's family is not insightful. Like him so old what people have not seen ah, still bad guys, he would like to see how bad. Boss, I feel that just now those guys look at us in the eyes of some not quite right ah. We came to the tiger park stepping things are not exposed ah, the yellow haired little brother asked out loud. Just now he saw the ticket inspector and the security guards looking at them not quite right. Could it be that they had discovered their intentions? Otherwise, they should just stay here for a while and leave, right? Yeah, boss. That ticket inspector stuttered when he saw you just now. The little brother who combed his big back hair followed suit, always feeling that something wasn't quite right, and it wasn't a wise choice to continue staying over here. You bunch of idiots haven't even done the job yet. So you're scaring yourselves aren't you? Those guys can read minds? They have two heads? Hearing this, the bald big man cursed without any good sense of humor. This group of lazy bastards, following him to eat and drink is afraid of being left behind. Want them to work but one by one to shrink back. It's just a tiger garden? What's there to be afraid of? These idiots are afraid of tigers. The tigers are now locked up inside the cages. And now these staff members are looking at them. And they're just wimping out like this? Tap tap. Tap tap. Just at this time, the security guards behind them came from the distance with neat steps. After hearing this sound and turning around, the little brothers saw the explosion-proof shields and pitchforks held by the security guards. They immediately changed their faces drastically and said, Boss, those security guards are following us behind. We are really being watched. Yes, boss. Why don't we just forget about it? There was absolutely no mistaking it. These people were definitely here to arrest them. Otherwise, if they just came in through the front door, why would these people follow them here? Forget it. It's just a bunch of security guards. Maybe they are just out on patrol. Are you guys so panicked? The bald man glanced at the security guards who were striding towards this side and said calmly, We didn't do anything. What are you guys afraid of? Relax and don't panic. They're probably just on routine patrol. No big deal. You idiots. Don't scare yourselves. They haven't done anything here yet. The other side wants to catch them? How to arrest what to arrest with their heads? Moreover, these guys are just security guards, not police. Who gave them the power to arrest people? But the equipment they're carrying. It's like they're here to arrest us, boss. Yeah, yeah. The little brothers who heard this saw their own bosses looking calm and collected. The panic couldn't help but reduce quite a bit. But looking at the security guards getting closer and closer to the explosion-proof shield, there was still some panic. Do not be afraid to walk slowly on the line. Everything has me. The bald man who heard said, hands in pockets walking slowly, as if he did not take the approaching security guards, as if they were a matter of fact. This guy is so calm, is he really not here to cause trouble? The security chief who walked in could not help but be skeptical when he saw it. However, when he saw the four cowering and somewhat averted gazes of this guy, he felt that things didn't seem to be, be that simple. But this is no evidence, much less catch each other in flagrante delicto. It is not good to do anything? So he led the team members to continue walking forward. Phew, really scared me to death. I just thought I was going to be arrested all. Yeah, yeah. After seeing that the security guards didn't do anything to them and just left after glancing at them, the four of them couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. In that moment just now, they had all planned to run away all. I told you guys not to panic, as long as we don't blatantly rob the little tiger. Nothing happens, you see these guys just looked at us and didn't dare to do anything. Seeing the little brothers breathing heavily bald man said, words full of teaching, bringing this group of fools is really tiring ah, do not teach them, I don't know what will happen in the future. As the old saying goes, not afraid of godlike opponents but afraid of pig-like teammates. When this job is done, he must go and find some smart henchmen. Otherwise, sooner or later, he would be screwed over by these idiots. Captain, those five guys definitely have a problem. With their eyes averted, they look like guys who would steal chickens and dogs. Yeah, should we keep an eye on them? On the other side, the security guards spoke up after walking out some distance. Just now they sized up these guys, except for the leading scarred man. The rest didn't dare to look at them. To say that these guys don't have ghosts in their hearts, they don't believe it. There's no need to monitor. There are cameras everywhere in the park. If there's something, Little Lee will tell us. Hearing this, the security chief opened his mouth after glancing around. They were just security guards. They didn't have the right to just arrest people. Unless these guys really jeopardized the safety of the other tourists, or did something to harm the little tiger. Otherwise, even if they knew that they were not good people, there wasn't anything they could do about it. That's true then. 
What are we going to do next, Captain? The guards who heard this nodded and then asked out loud, Continue patrolling around the protectorate. Whatever these guys want to do, all of them must be made to understand that the Hongto Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park is not a place for them to spread their wildness. The security chief spoke. Yes. The team members who heard this nodded, and followed the captain to continue patrolling. These guys really don't look like good people. After the head gardener came out from his office, he jumped at the sunlight clanking bald head and the fierce scar. Instantly his whole old face trembled. He had lived for so many years, and had seen so many people, of which the good guys were all strange, but the bad guys were all basically the same. And this bald head in front of him and the little brothers following behind him made him think of the bullies he had seen when he was a child, and his lapdogs. What's wrong with you? Gardner, is there something uncomfortable? Just at this moment, Sue Lele, who had returned from outside with beef, asked suspiciously. As soon as she came over here, she saw the head gardener standing over here with a somewhat complicated look on her face, and she didn't know what the hell was going on here. Could it be that the head gardener's stomach is not feeling well, but couldn't take a step? I don't have any place that is uncomfortable. I just feel that those few walking guys in front of me are a bit suspicious. Hearing this, the gardener came back to his senses. He looked at the beef that Sue Lele was carrying in her hand and said, Miss Sue, are you going to buy beef for Shao Tangerine? It's really hard for you. In fact, you don't need to make a special trip. I'll have someone centralize the purchasing. It's still cheaper that way. But didn't you, the garden manager, say that the garden has recently experienced financial difficulties? Sue Lele, whose eyes followed the direction the head gardener was heading towards and surveyed, spoke up. These guys did look a bit strange. It seemed like they had to let the top check them out. Originally it was indeed a bit difficult. Isn't it true that recently Little Orange sold a lot of tickets? Plus, once the top heard that Little Orange helped film the New Year's Blessing and the documentary, they specially allocated money down. So now the finances aren't as tight as they were originally, and can allow the little tigers inside the garden to eat beef. The head of the garden smiled and explained. This has made achievements, and did not make achievements, but it is a big difference ah. Uh. Once the above heard that their hauntish in Northeast Tiger Forest Park's tiger cubs were not only going to be on the news, but also filmed a documentary, of course they were willing to give more funding. So it's like this ah, uh. I thought the director of the garden you encountered what a big problem. After listening to the gardener's time are explained, Su Lele nodded and said, then I will first go to the little fat orange side ah, uh. that bad guy temperament is really strange. In the red sister next to the so good behavior, to my side with the gunpowder is the same. Normal. Little tigers are like that. It'll be fine when he's familiar with you, the head gardener said with a smile, and Sue Lele stepped away. Oh oi, I coyote, can you hear me at the base? There are five strange guys coming inside the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, can you see them through the surveillance? Check the identities of the five of them. Sue Lele looked at the front looking around, do not go to see the Red Pagoda Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park animals, everywhere towards the building cameras and lights looking at the line of people, immediately dialed the base of the phone. These guys come to Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park inside do not go to the tiger. Everywhere looking at these things, if they say they are not bad intentions, she didn't believe it. Then you'll have to wait a little while here ah, we are now hacking into the surveillance of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Inside the information department of the telephoners department, after hearing Sue Lele's report, the staff immediately started the action, and soon a series of connecting screens in front of them appeared on the scene inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. Eyes on a piece of continuous screen, swept through the staff opened his mouth and said, Coyote you are talking about that big bright bald head and a few guys behind him? In the tiger garden to say who like bad guys, then that big bald head is definitely. Look at his bald head and that scarred face, completely is a bad guy dress. That's right, I'm talking about him. A few of them don't go to see the tiger looking around at the building to see the monitor. Su Lele looked at the several people who walked away in the distance and voiced out. Then wait a little ah. I'll use face recognition to identify them now. The labor, the staff said, then began to pull a few people's photos into the database to compare. Not long after their information, file home address came out. Looking at the information of the big bald man who was leading the group, the staff called out to the insiders. Coyote you really didn't look wrong. This guy is really not a good person. He followed the gangsters and scoundrels to hang out, flew a car to rob them, and was arrested. Then after he came out, he was sentenced to 10 years for armed robbery and only just got out recently. According to his recent browsing record, I found that he has been browsing a foreign website recently. You wait a little longer. I'll help you to check what he this guy has nothing to do to go to the internet? Then you have to be faster. I'm still waiting to take care of little fat orange. I don't have much time to pay attention to them. Su Lele who heard this spoke up. Okay Lil Well Lu. You wait a little bit soon. I've already entered this extranet. 
The staff member whose fingers were rapidly tapping on the keyboard said, his eyes looking at the content displayed on the screen and opened his mouth. This guy in prison inside locked up for so long, actually still on the extranet can be really powerful, and he not only on the extranet not to mention, actually also outside the black market inside the browsing. It looks like this guy is planning to do something bad again. He browsed the black market on the internet. I can understand, but he did nothing to run to the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park to do? Could it be that there is something very valuable in the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Hearing this, Su Lele looked at the penniless Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park and muttered. She had stayed in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park for several days, and she knew exactly what was valuable inside. To put it simply, the most valuable thing in the entire Tiger Park is only the freezer. But who steals that thing, even if it was stolen, without a few people to lift it? It couldn't be lifted away ah. There is ah. Of course there is ah. A small tiger worth 10 million dollars ah. The staff looked at the browsing record and said. On the black market of the internet, someone offered $10 million to buy a cute baby tiger, and the requirement is that it must be cute and lively enough. How could the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park be poor? Every tiger there was a priceless treasure. Okay? The coyotes had also underestimated the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park too much, right? $10 million for a baby tiger? Or a cute and lively one? Su Lele sniffed and said repeatedly, Yes, based on my observation, the only one who seconded this is Little Fat Orange. The staff member who was tracing the buyer's IP address said, To say which tiger cub is the most adorable inside the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Of course it has to be the little fat orange. Look at the little fat orange that round face, and that chubby body. Just like a plush doll. Who would not want to pinch a couple of rubs off? What? These guys hit on an idea and actually hit on my little fat orange? Upon hearing this, Sulele's clenched fists couldn't help but click, I'm going to go and break these guys' bones, so that they know what will happen if they dare to think about my little fat orange? You mustn't, they haven't even made a move yet. They're just browsing the extranet. You'll have to get a lawsuit in time if you injure them now. The staff member who was tapping on the keyboard, advised, as long as the other party hadn't committed a crime, then they couldn't arrest the other party. Not to mention such dangerous behaviors as breaking their bones. Coyote was a bit too impulsive. Wasn't she? These guys hadn't even made a move yet. So did she have to be so ferocious? Then is it possible to wait until they steal little fat orange and then clean them up? Su Lele gritted her teeth and said, Since these guys dared to think this way, they definitely intended to do so. But what kind of crap rules are these above? Not to strangle the evil within the cradle. Do they still watch them commit crimes? Of course not. These guys want to steal the little fat orange to trade. That certainly want to catch live off. And Hongtishan city from the nearest border. There are thousands of kilometers. These guys cannot take away the small fat orange. The staff knocked on the keyboard and said with a smile, so you don't need to worry about little fat orange at all. In addition this matter I will report to the commander. The commander will definitely assign a solution. Alright then, if there are any results, you remember to tell me. By the way, help me tap the cell phones of these bastards. When they come over to steal little fat orange, I'll loosen their bones. After Su Lele calmed down, she rubbed her fists and said, a group of hateful bastards actually dared to hit little fatty orange's idea. She wouldn't let these guys off the hook. If she didn't beat them half to death this time, she, Su Lele's name would be written backwards. All right, all right, when they're going to act, I'll be sure to notify you. At that time you can clean them up with self-defense and protecting the safety of people's property. The staff laughed and hung up. When Su Lele heard that, she fumbled for the tiger's teeth inside her pocket. It had been a long time since she had used this thing to beat up someone. And this time, it finally came in handy once again. Hoping that these guys would be a bit tougher on the bones and wouldn't just give her a few punches and then get wasted. Ha, huh? isn't this the assistant young lady inside the Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? Why is she smiling so happily? Could it be that little fatty orange has recently given her an upper hand to touch? It should be unlikely. Yesterday's live broadcast inside. Little fat orange is still fiercer. Then this assistant. What is this laughing at? Who knows? Maybe it's thinking of something happy. The water friends who had bought tickets inside the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park couldn't help but talk to each other after they passed by Su Lele. Looking at the happy smile that appeared on Su Lele's face, they watched the live broadcast in the past few days. They all got to know this assistant lady. The other party has recently been trying to break through the defense of the little fat orange. Let the little fat orange obediently give her a touch. But it seemed like the results were not very effective. And it was not known if they succeeded today. Actually making the other party so happy. Ha! Huh they recognize me? That's a good way to keep up appearances. Su Lele, who was thinking of keeping the little chubby tangerine by herself and educating the criminals to be valiant. As soon as she heard that the tourists coming and going by the roadside actually knew her, 
she hurriedly put away her smile, lest she make herself look too naive. Little fat orange is really fat, crushing the Kong at a young age. In front of Chang Hao's dedicated fortune cat position, a row of tourists were laughing and holding up their cell phones while singing a song. They originally thought that little fat tangerine, just in the video, they had originally thought that little fat orange, just looked a little chubby inside the video and live broadcast, but they hadn't thought that after seeing it offline, it was even fatter than they had imagined. This squatting in front of the cabin, just like a big stone lion, this group of guys are so boring ah. Uh. Chang Hao, who was looking at this behavior of the tourists, was somewhat speechless. Those tourists seem to be a bit not too smart look ah. Uh. Nothing in front of him sang up the song, really boring enough. He knows that he is now very strong, but soon it will be winter. This does not fatten a little bit can? And these guys cannot sing first. Give him the chicken legs on the whole okay ah. Uh. He stayed over here. If it is not rushing to the chicken legs to come, long ago slipped, where there is still a mood to accompany them fooling around ah, uh, ha, huh, little fat orange did not react at all, eyes also drooped up, like to sleep, you guys say he couldn't be thinking that we, are singing him a lullaby, right, most likely, do you guys think that little fat orange's figure came out of nowhere, it must be caused by eating and sleeping, sleeping and eating, that's right, you guys look at the other little tigers and then look at him, it's totally a different world, okay, after the uproar, the tourists looked at Chung Hao's drooping eyelids, as if he was about to fall asleep at any moment, and couldn't help but discuss it. How come this little fat orange didn't move at all after they laughed at him? This is also too lazy a little right. See them are a little uncomfortable all. The other side at least give them a little reaction ah. Do not look like this lazy looking at them. Let them feel like a group of clowns ah. Lullaby a hammer. I just feel that you guys are boring. Listening to their words, Chang Hao's two small ears also drooped down so as not to continue to hear the nonsense of this group of guys, they don't give him a small chicken leg and in this side of the nagging, listening to him ahead are fast too big r, if they don't want to come over to give chicken legs, then don't disturb his business here, you know there are still a lot of people waiting in line to give him little chicken legs, little fat orange quickly wake up ah, you do not really fall asleep ah, do you not want to eat small chicken legs, yeah, yeah, we have your favorite chicken legs in our hands, wake up, the tourists who were discussing saw this scene and immediately shook the chicken legs in their hands and said, how did this little fat orange sleep for good reason? Instead, open your eyes and take a look at them. Could it be that this little fat orange recently tastes become tricky? No longer interested in chicken legs? If you guys just yell and don't give him food, the little fat orange won't be able to care about you guys. You have to pull food on him before they'll care about you. Sue Lele, who carried the beef over, saw this scene and said with a smile, shaking the beef inside his hand in the process, little fat orange I've brought beef over here oh, you little villain don't want to eat beef if you don't jerk my stomach this time, beef, when Chang Hao, who was napping, heard this, his ears, which were drooping down, immediately stood up, his closed eyes also looked towards the approaching Su Lele, although this woman was more annoying some of the time, it had to be said that she was at least, least a lot better than the guys in front of him who were shaking chicken legs and not giving him any, little fatty is little fatty orange, as soon as he hears that there is beef to eat, look at the eyes which are instantly different. Yes, no wonder he's not interested in our chicken legs. So it's because little fatty orange's food has gotten better recently. The tourists on the side saw this scene, looked at the hands of the people legs, and then looked at the gaze fixed on Su Lele's little fat orange. Instantly understand why they are over here to say half a day is useless. Feelings is the assistant miss. The little fat orange's mouth to raise a difficult. Lele you really went to buy beef for little orange to go off? In fact, it is not necessary, he eats pork is enough, you will spoil him in this way, sister Honger who was guarding the cabin saw this and said with some tears and laughter, Lele this in order to touch the small orange also do not need to be like this, right, how expensive is beef nowadays, even if her salary was higher, she couldn't afford to build it like this, and still, with the department not subsidizing it, she didn't have to do this at all, I can't wait that long, sister Honger, I must make orange fall under my beef cannonball, hearing this, Su Lele firmly said, although living with little fat orange for a long time, she would definitely be able to make little fat orange give her a touch, but when would that be? She is not such a patient person, so she intends to feed the little fat orange some beef every day, so that the little fat orange knows exactly who is good to him? In this way, she would gain the trust of the little chubby orange, she believed that sincerity was the key to success, and with so much beef, she would definitely be able to overcome little fat orange's defenses. Ow ow, cheer up. Work hard, Chang Hao, who stayed in the cabin, immediately cheered when he heard this, is this what a cat slave should look like? This is what a cat slave should be like, unlike these tourists in front of him, 
who are just drawing him a big cake and refusing to give him food. Little orange you bad guy. Red sister smelled some speechless said. Small orange this bad guy recently in the end have learned what things are, actually even know to refuel all. As a matter of fact, kittens of this age should not be allowed to watch TV, or else they will easily learn to be bad. That, I can ask Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park. There is no beef for sale? Yes. I told you earlier that if you give beef to be able to touch the little fat orange's belly, we will bring beef over. That's right. Miss Keeper hurry up and bring out the beef. The tourists on the side saw the little fat orange that didn't take care of them, actually took the initiative to take care of the Sue Lele who carried the beef, and immediately understood that the people legs they were holding now, already couldn't attract the attention of the little fat orange, and had to change the same beef to be able to do it. Moreover, listening to the assistant lady's meaning, with the beef can also touch the little fat orange's stomach. So what's the point of hesitating? Hurry up to bring out the beef to them. They also want to touch the belly of the little fat orange. As the saying goes, if you touch the tiger's head in the year of the tiger, you don't have to worry about anything. Touch the tiger's face in the year of the tiger, and you will be happy and full of happiness. Touch the tiger's mouth in the year of the tiger to drive away evil spirits. Touch the tiger's claw in the year of the tiger, and catch the wealth. Touch the tiger's tail in the year of the tiger and you will have a smooth and prosperous year. They also wanted to touch the tiger cub early in the new year to usher in luck ah. Eh, everyone calm down first ah. Our park did not launch. This activity, I hope everyone can sympathize. If there is this activity in the future, we will definitely notify everyone first. Hearing this, Sister Hong hurriedly opened her mouth to explain. This is even the park director has not sent word of the activity. How dare she say there is ah. If the park director knows it will not scold her to death? No, it's not. M.S. Breeder. Your home to Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park can't do it. Like this kind of activity should be organized earlier. Yes. We all want to help the tigers in the park to grow happily. You can't give us no chance like this. Right. M.S. Breeder. You have to suggest this to the director of the park. Upon hearing that this touching the belly of the tiger cubs was actually a treatment only available to the staff of the park. The tourists were immediately up in arms. Some even directly intend to go to find a look for the director to personally talk about this matter. They are in the tiger park to send money at. How the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park has money not to earn ah? Will will. I will definitely talk to the director of the park feedback everyone's opinion. Sister Honger smiled and said. Looking at the piles of tourists a little helpless. There were so many just for Shao Tangerine to touch her paws. If everyone came for Shao Tangerine's belly, one day down Little Orange's belly would not be wrapped ah. Remember to be sure to tell the gardener. Miss Breeder. Yeah, I can't wait to touch Little Orange's belly when I come back next week. That's right that's right. It's best to go and speak to the head of the garden about this matter right now and ask him to open up the program of touching the looking fat orange's belly right away. As Sister Honger's words fell, the tourists once again clamored. Is this our target this time? It's really fat looking ah. Uh. Yeah, it looks just like a stuffed animal. The boss will definitely like it. Not far away from the corner. After wandering around in the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, the group of five finally came to Sister Honger's side. Inspecting the target they were going to take action on this time. After seeing Chang Hao for the first time, they were sure that there was absolutely nothing wrong with the target they picked this time. Look at that furry round body. Just like a stuffed animal. Who would believe that it's not cute? Alright, stop nagging. We should go. Sweeping eyes lying on the ground exposed belly. In order to beef and sell the body after Chang Hao. Bald man said. Then he turned toward to continue to go. He has to take these fools to thoroughly memorize. The whole Red Tower Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park Road. Not to mention to the action of the time lost on the road to the end of the calf. Boss don't be in a hurry ah. Uh. We are not just finished watching it? Yes. Stop and look at the target ah. Uh. Otherwise, what if we steal the wrong tiger by then? That's right. The four people who were still planning to look at it a few more times. When they saw that their own boss had even left directly. They hurriedly followed up and advised. Why is the boss in such a hurry if he's fine? They were still over here watching the little tiger interacting with the pretty young lady. Instead they stayed over here for a little while longer. Letting them feed their eyes. Anyway, there is a day's time. There is no need to be in such a hurry ah. On the body of this little fat pier we can still steal the wrong. Do you think all five of us are blind ah? The bald man heard his man. Man's words. Took a deep breath and said. That little tiger's features were so obvious. How blind would they have to be at night to steal the wrong little tiger? But let's stay over here for a little longer. It won't affect anything ah, boss. Yeah, boss. Let's just watch here for a little while longer. The few people who heard this continued to speak out. They were all tired of this walking around without the boss bothering them. And with so many young ladies here, they wouldn't be doing anything by stopping. You bunch of idiots. The longer we stay over here, 
the greater the possibility of being remembered. Do you guys want to be remembered by others and arrest you when the time comes? The bald man said in a bad mood. They stayed here to watch. They were afraid that these people couldn't see what they looked like, weren't they? But even if we leave, when the time comes to be remembered is still not to be remembered? Yes, there is surveillance here. A few people listened to the weekly open mouth. How can they not be remembered? The Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park has surveillance everywhere. It's still easy to find them by casually checking. You group of fools, the monitoring is definitely monitoring. But we do this, can beat them a difference in information, will not be found so early. If you guys get together now and are memorized by them, then we'll be directly traced at that time, and we won't have a chance to run to the border to make a deal even if we get our hands on them. The bald man said with hatred, this group of idiots really can't think straight. They need him to teach them everything. Can't they just save him the trouble? They have to know that when the time comes, they cut off the electricity of the whole tiger park. The monitoring will become a setup. Even if the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Park people found that the tiger was stolen, then for a moment surely we'll only call the police to find a way to catch them, and we'll not go to check the monitoring, waiting for the police to come over. That are a few hours later? By the time the power to check the monitoring, they have long been unknown how far away, and wait for the police to investigate and then analyze the lock them. They have got the money out of the country to get away with it. Then the other side of that they do, still can only dry eyes? So this group of fools, brain in the end will not think things? How even so simple and easy to understand the truth. Do not know ah. So boss you are playing this idea ah. Then you told us earlier. We do not understand? Yeah. We didn't know that you made this plan boss. Otherwise we definitely wouldn't have asked such a stupid question. After listening to their own boss's explanation. The four of them then understood why the boss told them to get less into the crowd. So it was for this reason ah. What's the point of telling you guys earlier? What do you understand? Now go on with me to familiarize yourself with the road. The bald man cursed and left with the four of them. These guys actually ran over here. It looks like they've already set their eyes on little fat orange. Sue Lele, whose eyes were scanning the back of the departing several people, couldn't help but narrow slightly. And the hand that was touching Chang Hao's belly couldn't help but stop. After Chang Hao realized it, he immediately got out from under Sue Lele's hand. After touching her for this, for her to touch it for so long, it had already cancelled out the money for the beef, and touching it again was a different price. Little fat orange what are you doing? I bought you 10 pounds of beef, why don't you let me touch it again? Su Lele, who found her hands empty, looked at Chang Hao who ran away and said, she had only touched it for a few minutes. Why did the little fat orange run away? And this time to touch the time is not even half of the last time to ah. Do not bring this kind of pit ah. Ow ow, trading time is over. Chang Hao, who ran to Hong her side, said out loud, if it wasn't for the sake of letting those guys know that he wasn't easy to fool and that only delicious beef could attract his interest, he wouldn't have given the other side the chance to touch himself. Sister Honger, what is this little villain? Little fatty orange. Talking about? Su Lele inquired towards Sister Honger after hearing it. She wasn't sure what little fat orange was saying, and could only know through Sister Honger's translation. This doesn't even need breeder sister to translate. I understand it all. Yeah, little fat orange must be trying to say that the beef you gave is enough to touch that little bit of time. That's right. That's how it is. The tourists watching the show from the side saw it and opened their mouths with a smile. For this kind of small thing, did they still need Miss Breeder to translate? They could all guess what little fat orange was saying. Okay, is it really like this? Sister Honger. Su Lele sniffed. Although she had long been prepared in her heart, she still wanted to hear Sister Honger confirm it. Yes, little orange pretty much means this. Sister Honger sniffed and nodded her head and said, touching Chang Hao's big head, you little villain, Lele gave you so much beef to eat. Why did you only give her such a touch? Ow ow, I'm more expensive than beef. Chang Hao who heard this retorted. What's the point of the other party giving more beef? Do you know what it means that things are more expensive than beef? He is much more expensive than beef. You're a little devil. You've got a point? Sister Honger smiled and patted Chang Hao's head's hand. Suddenly grabbed the flesh of the back of his neck and said to Su Lele. Lele you continue to come over and touch it. I'll help you hold down this little villain. Okay. Sister Honger. Su Lele who was originally all set to resign herself to her fate. Once she heard this, immediately ran over happily, her hands once again rubbing up Chang Hao's belly. Ow ow, don't. Chang Hao who was suddenly sneak attacked immediately struggled. He didn't think that Miss Breeder would actually sneak attack him. This is really too much of a lack of martial arts. Little orange be good and don't move. Let Lele touch you for a few more minutes and I'll let you go. You as the Tiger Park's fortune cat, Lele bought you so much beef. How can you let someone else touch you for such a short while? Sister Honger pressed Chung Hao to open her mouth and coaxed. Moreover, 
Lele gave you so much beef and you can only touch it for a short while, if the other tourists just buy a little bit of beef, don't they even have no chance to touch it? That's right, you bad guy. Last time you swallowed so much of my pork and only gave me a moment to touch it. I haven't counted it for you yet. Su Lele, who was touching Chung Hao's belly, followed, her hands continuing to knead. Little chubby orange belly kneaded up really comfortable ah, just like soft cotton candy, like this cute little chubby orange, absolutely can't let anyone steal it. Little fat orange is so pathetic, actually betrayed by the breeder lady. Yes, this time the little fat orange should be long memory, know that even the closest people can't be too trusting. That's right, otherwise today's matter is the little fat oranges forewarning. The tourist onlookers held up their cell phones and videoed. Little fatty orange actually had today? It's really a great pleasure. Let this little fat orange usually bully the assistant lady sister. This time it's good. Was the breeder lady sister to catch let the assistant lady sister jacked. Ow ow, miss sister let go of me. Or I'm going to resist ah. Chang Hao, who was being jerked off on the ground by Su Lele and sister Honger, shouted that miss breeder had better let go of him quickly. He could be about to show his real strength. It would be bad if he hurt Miss Breeder. You little villain don't make any noise. Be good and eat the beef. Su Lele, who was jerking Chang Hao's belly, saw Chang Hao's nagging and unfaithful appearance, grabbed a piece of beef and stuffed Chang Hao's biting mouth. Chang Hao, who had just planned to fight back and let the two young ladies see how powerful he was, immediately became honest and started chewing the beef in large mouthfuls. Well, eating is the greatest in the heavens and the earth. Wait for him to finish eating this piece of beef before continuing to struggle. Otherwise, it would be bad if the beef inside his mouth fell out. Sister thought that the beef couldn't plug the mouth of a glutton like you. Sister Honger, who saw Chang Hao's harsh words come to an abrupt end, said without a good mood. The little glutton is just greedy. He can't care about anything when there's food. Otherwise, how can we call the little fat orange collapsing the cone? Yes, with meat to eat, little fatty doesn't care about anything else. The tourists on the side saw the scene and couldn't help but laugh. Their eyes looking at Su Lele who was rubbing Chang Hao's belly with both hands full of envy. If they were able to touch the little chubby orange's belly, they would definitely bury their heads hard into it and rub it desperately. Ow ow, let go of me. Just as the tourists were envious, Chang Hao, who had finished eating the meat in three tries, called out once again. Seeing this, Su Lele, who was jerking his belly, reached out and took out the beef from inside the bag and stuffed it into Chang Hao's mouth, blocking his mouth. Be good and give me meat meat don't make noise. Here's so much meat meat casually you eat. You just be honest. Let sister touch belly on the line. Ow ow, smash it smash it. Chang Hao, who had his mouth blocked, once again came down honestly and chewed up the beef. It looks like there are quite a lot of tourists who came for little orange today. The head of the garden, who was walking with his steps, saw the scene and said with great satisfaction. Sure enough, technological progress is good ah. If there is no live broadcast, where there are so many people know they home to mountain northeast tiger forest park, actually have such a cute little tiger? This grandpa, you are the director of the home to mountain northeast tiger forest park, right? Just as the gardener was thinking so, a tourist suddenly appeared in front of him. Yes, I am the garden manager of the tiger garden. May I ask what you have to do? The gardener who heard this, nodded and said, I can't imagine that there are actually tourists who know him. When did he become so famous? That's good. Then I haven't found the wrong person. The tourist who opened his mouth to inquire, laughed after receiving a positive reply from the gardener. Behind them, the tourists who were looking at Su Lele jerking her little fat orange belly instantly turned their heads and surrounded the gardener. Instantly, the smile on the gardener's face stiffened. Looking at the tourists who surrounded themselves stammered. Big. Everyone have words well well say. Never hands ah. Impulse is the devil. We cannot because of a moment of anger put down irreversible mistakes ah. If there is something we do not do right in the tiger park, we will certainly change. What the hell is wrong with these tourists? Why did they inexplicably surround him? Ah, what was going on? Could anyone tell him a bit about it? Director, when exactly can you buy beef at Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park? We also want to touch the belly of the little fat orange. Yes, a program like this should have been launched a long time ago. Why hide it for nothing? Are you still afraid that we won't be able to afford it? That's right, head gardener. You have to let us touch the little fat orange's belly today. The tourists who surrounded the gardener directly ignored the previous sentence of the gardener, and only heard the gardener's words that he would definitely change, and immediately demanded that the gardener open up the program of touching little fat orange's belly. You guys don't want to beat me up, just want to touch the little orange's belly only? The head gardener, who heard this, froze and asked. These guys originally did not want to beat him ah, said ah, almost scared him to pee all. We. Nothing to beat the director of the garden why you? We do not have any enmity with you. Yes, 
we are all civilized people. How could we suddenly beat up someone? You are afraid that you are overthinking it. Surrounding the director of the tourists said, they are full of nothing to see before they will beat the director of this old man to go ah. They are not worth tens of millions of dollars of people. Avoid the director of the garden is not too late. Where dare to beat the director of the garden? The gardener this to the ground a lie. They can not run. Not is good. Not is good. After hearing this, the gardener looked at the crowd and said, everyone wants to touch the idea of the small orange belly. I'm already clear. This thing I will help you implement as soon as possible. To ensure that every visitor will be able to touch the small orange. The head gardener. You this as soon as possible to implement down cannot be useful. We cannot have the patience to wait for so long. You hurry to the collection code to show it. Beef how much money you directly say on it. We now want to touch. Hearing this, the first tourist who recognized the head gardener said, he's only here at the zoo because he's free during the holidays. You're asking him to wait for the next time? Don't joke about it. Okay? He wanted to jack the tiger today. Yes, zoo director. You did say you would change it as soon as possible. We have big opinions now. You can't just sit back and do nothing. The other tourists sniffed and followed suit. They are all rushing to the little fat orange. Not only want to touch the paw of the little fat orange, they also want more. For example, touching little fat orange's big round face, burying their heads in little fat orange's stomach, and flicking little fat orange's indescribable parts. Everyone please calm down a little bit ah. Uh, your opinions. I'm already clear. Go back and think about it and I'll give you all a reply. The head gardener looked at the dense crowd and said with his head in a cold sweat. So many people want to touch Shao Tangerine, although it is a good thing to be able to bring good revenue for the Tiger Garden. But the little orange is a life with its own ideas, not a money-making toy with its own ideas, certainly will not be willing to be touched by other people all the time. So this matter must be considered carefully, not for the sake of money, regardless of the mental health of the little orange. Mr. Head Gardener, I've taken the day off today to come over specifically to see Shao Tangerine. You're not going to think about it until tomorrow, are you? Yes. Mr. Head Gardener you don't need to think about it. Just agree to it. What's there to think about this kind of thing? That's right. We have touched the tangerines. And the Tiger Park has increased its income. Isn't it a win-win situation? The tourists heard this somewhat perfunctory words from the director of the garden and said. But this really won't work. Little Orange has his own temperament. We can't force him to do this in the Tiger Park. The director of the garden. Who heard this? Said with some helplessness. He knew that everyone loved Shao Tangerine and wanted to interact with Shao Tangerine, but this would only work if Shao Tangerine was willing. Otherwise, even if he agreed, when they got tired of touching Little Orange, what if Little Orange turned around and gave them a claw? Then he couldn't afford this responsibility. So he would rather not earn this money than take this kind of risk. Everyone, don't make things difficult for the gardener. The gardener is also doing it for everyone's good. After seeing this scene, Sister Honger, who was holding Chung Hao down, had no way to continue pressing Chung Hao anymore, and hurriedly ran over to help and said, Little Orange's temperament should be understood by everyone watching the live broadcast, he doesn't like to let strangers touch him unless he's given something to eat, but he's about to get full now, he won't necessarily be happy to continue letting everyone touch him, and the place he's especially touching is still one of the tiger's most vulnerable parts, had she known that things would turn out like this, she wouldn't have given Lele a small meal, we all understand the reasoning, but we really want to touch Little Fat Orange Ah. Miss Keeper. Yes, Little Fat Orange is ignoring us now that he's eating beef. We came all the way here. You can't let us just watch, right? Seeing that Sister Honger had personally stepped in, the tourists' emotions eased quite a bit and said, they were the water friends who watched the live broadcast in the live broadcast room, and this time they personally came over is also rushing to the Little Fat Orange. Now Sister Honger has opened the words, they are naturally willing to give this face, but willing to give face is willing to give face, should fight or have to fight ah. Then how about this look everyone see if it's okay. Touching the paw for a bit now becomes touching the stomach for a bit. But you can only touch it for a bit. You can't touch it more. Touching it too much will cause little orange to resent it. Hearing this, Sister Honger, after thinking about it, spoke up. There's no problem. Just follow what breeder sister said. Right right. Everyone just touch a little bit can't touch more ah. Otherwise the little fat orange to touch annoyed. Then no one have to touch. Hearing Sister Honger change touching her paw for a bit to touching her stomach for a bit, the tourists couldn't help but say happily. They were looking for the head gardener because of the little fat orange's stomach. Now being able to use a people leg and touch the little fat orange what's not to be satisfied with? Since everyone agrees, then everyone wait a little bit. I'll go and speak to little tiny orange. Or else if everyone touches him at that time, they'll probably be scratched by him. Sister Honger saw this and spoke. Finally, everyone had been pacified. 
Now it was just a matter of little orange's side. Hopefully little orange would be a little more obedient. Breeder sister hurry up and go put. We believe you will be able to do it. Yes, yes. Little fat orange can listen to your words the most. With you out of the way will definitely work. The tourists sniffed and cheered. Breeder miss willing to let them touch the belly of the little fat orange, but also have to agree with the little fat orange ah, or the little fat orange is not willing to cooperate. They touch up also fearful. Early to know the little fat orange that paw can have their fist thick, if the bright nails to the cold to give them a take, ask them who can eat, okay. Sister Honger nodded, and headed towards Chung Hao who had his mouth stuffed with beef. Little orange listen and be good and cooperate, okay? Just touch your belly, as long as you're willing to cooperate. Sister will immediately go to the head of the garden and apply to add 3 pounds of beef to your day. Ow ow, gotta be 5 pounds. Chang Hao, who had a bulging mouth, let out a muffled sound. Although he had been concentrating on drying his meal, his ears were not idle. What exactly was the situation now? He was very clear about it, and of course he was willing to help solve it. But the payment given by the young lady here was a. 3 pounds of beef is too little. Who are you looking down on? At least 5 pounds. Okay? 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 5 pounds is 5 pounds. As long as you are willing to be good and obedient and let everyone touch it. Sister will apply to the garden manager to give you 5 pounds of beef every day. Sister Honger nodded at her words and said, Little Orange had sold so many tickets for the Tiger Garden and attracted so much foot traffic. It was impossible for the garden manager to not even spare 5 pounds of beef, right? She believed that the head gardener would definitely be willing to give Little Orange beef now that he had seen how horrible the tourists were for the sake of Little Orange's belly. Ow ow, M. Chang Hao who heard this nodded his head and spread his belly, revealing a look that said, If you want to come, hurry up. Do you have to look like this? Put your paws over a bit. Seeing this scene, Sister Honger said in a bad mood, grabbing Chang Hao's paw and placing it on top of his belly. Isn't it just for him to be touched by someone? Why do you have to act like this? Miss Breeder, how's your communication with little fat orange going? Can we come over and touch it now? The tourists lined up by the fence saw this scene and asked with some nervousness. It's already possible. I've discussed it with Little Orange, but you guys can't be too hard when you touch it. Sister Honger, who was fiddling with Chung Hao's paw, spoke up when she heard this. Aha, we'll definitely be careful touching Little Fat Orange's stomach, and definitely won't hurt him coming. Yes, yes, Sister Breeder, don't worry, the tourists assured after hearing this, somewhat impatiently wanting to squeeze in. That's fine, you guys come in, Sister Honger said, and the tourists stepped forward in line. My god it's so warm. How come little fat orange's little belly is so soft? The tourist who touched Chung Hao's belly said with some surprise. It was the first time he had ever touched this kind of feel. It was just fantastic. Really? Hurry up and let me touch it. I also want to touch what the little fat orange belly really looks like. The tourists in the queue behind them couldn't help but speak out and urge them once they heard this. Got it. I'll let you guys touch it. Are you in such a hurry? The tourists who were being prodded said, and then stood up from the ground, his hands still scratching a bit back. This kind of hand feeling is really something. The little fat orange's little tummy is so nice to touch. Very great touch indeed. It's the first time I've touched such a soft kitty. Yes yes yes. Obviously it's a little tiger. Why does it feel so soft? It's even softer than my kitty's tummy. It's very unscientific. That's right. I suspect that this is a fake tiger. It has to be brought home for me to check it properly. You can try to bring the little chubby orange back. And then we'll see if the police find you to talk to you and be done with it. The tourists who had finished touching Chung Hao's stomach gathered together, their eyes looking at the lying Chung Hao one side as they spoke excitedly. Ow ow, there's no one, right? Chang Hao, who had suffered the ravages of the tourists, climbed up from the ground and spoke out. He had been touched for so long, shouldn't it be over? Don't tell him that there are still guys who want to touch him. Then he will not do. Keeper Miss Sister know how hard this grass? Lying on his back or sore all. Aha, no more it. Hearing this, Sister Honger, smiled and said, Little Orange is awesome today really obedient. Sister go back and mix more pots of milk for you to eat. Okay? Ow ow, okay. Want two pots? Chang Hao, who was shaking his body, sniffed and spoke out. He had been busy for such a long day. Surely he had to give more milk, right? One must know that he had saved the entire tiger garden today. From fire and water. If it wasn't for his heroic sacrifice, how could the matter just now be resolved so easily? Fine. All according to you. Sister Honger hugged up Chang Hao and laughed, her eyes looking at the tourists. It's getting late now. Little Orange got to the end of his shift and had to say goodbye to everyone. Aha, goodbye little fat orange. Goodbye Miss Breeder. We'll come back to see you when we have time. Little fat orange remember to eat well. Don't starve yourself thin ah. If you starve yourself thin, 
The little belly touch-up is not good to touch. Yeah, we'll bring beef to see you next time. The tourists who heard this said with a smile, and left the tiger garden one after another towards the gate. Sister Honger, let's go back too. There's something I need to tell you. After seeing the tourists leave, Su Lele opened her mouth and said, Something to tell me? Sister Honger, who was hugging Chung Hao, couldn't help but freeze at the words. Then as if she thought of something, she smiled and nodded. Then let's go back to the dormitory first. It just so happens that Little Orange is also very tired after working all day today. Aha! Uh -huh. Su Lele smiled and nodded, and the two of them walked towards the dormitory building. Boss they returned to the dormitory. Should we follow them? The few people who had skipped around a few times and came back here asked out loud. Miss Breeder had returned to the dormitory with that little tiger cub, so shouldn't they also follow them to have a look? Lest they drive out of the dormitory at night ah. You guys are following up because you don't think you're conspicuous enough aren't you? Hearing this, the bald man said in a bad mood. Now all the tourists are heading out the door. Only you idiots are following the keeper over there. Do you really think others are blind? If we don't follow the keeper, how will we know which dormitory she's in? Yes, boss. The several people who were scolded said they were very aggrieved. They also did this in order to investigate the keeper's residence ah, uh, otherwise how to catch the little tiger? You guys told you to watch the live recording screen properly before coming here you don't watch it. You would actually ask such a stupid question. The bald man sniffed and said somewhat angrily, didn't I send the video of the room where the keeper resides to you idiots to watch? Did you guys watch the video or not? Ha! Huh? The several people who were being scolded froze when they heard this. Did the boss send them the video of the breeder? How could they not remember it? A bunch of idiots didn't watch it again. You never do what you're told to do. Seeing a few people with a frozen look, the bald man scolded in a bad mood. I'll give you half an hour. Later if I ask you which dormitory the breeder lives in with the little tiger, how many floors and where do you go up? If you guys can't answer, you won't eat at night. Ah, no way. Upon hearing this, the four of them hurriedly looked up the video that the boss had sent them. This man is iron and rice is steel. How can they carry on without eating? The boss couldn't treat them like this. A few idiots. The bald man took a deep breath, rubbed his temples, resisted the urge to cut these fools a meal, and then walked towards the door. It looked like relying on these idiots could no longer be relied on. Luckily he had prepared night vision. Even if these idiots did forget the way, he could still act alone by himself. Once he had gotten his hands on them, he would drive himself to the place of the deal and leave these idiots alone to take all the reward. Anyway, these idiots only knew the rough plan and didn't know exactly where the deal was going to take place. Joy you wanted to tell me about the evolution department? After returning to the dormitory, Sister Honger placed Chung Hao on a cushion and inquired. No, what I'm going to tell you is about Little Orange. Su Lele glanced at Chung Hao, who was desperately trying to squeeze into the cat's nest but just couldn't, and said, I've just received the news that a group of guys have their eyes on Xiao Tangerine, and they want to steal Xiao Tangerine to sell it for money in the black market. Eh? Stealing Xiao Tangerine to sell it in the black market? Are the outlaws nowadays so blatant? Hearing this, Sister Honger first froze, then said in surprise, What? Steal me to sell for money? Chang Hao, who was trying to enter his own warm nest, suddenly paused in his body movements when he heard this. Are you kidding me? In today's rule of law society there are still people who want to steal him to sell? Does he really think he's a vegetarian? If the other party dares to come over, look at him a hand not to put the other side of the pace to the wall to go. Actually dare to steal him to sell, and also want to sell to the black market. Yes, and the price of the little orange is quite high. Su Lele said with a nod at his words. How high can it be? Could it be even higher than prison food? Sister Honger listened and muttered. This has even more money, and you can't spend it even if you break the law. Right? HM, how much did the black market offer to buy me? Chang Hao, who was standing next to the cat's nest, couldn't help but perk up his ears, also wanting to know just how much he was being offered on the black market, to actually be able to make those guys rise to the occasion and trample on the law. If you look at the income level of people today, I don't think most people would be able to resist that temptation. Since they're offering 10 million dollars, Su Lele held up a finger and said, 10 million dollars? Both Sister Honger and Chang Hao who heard this couldn't help but be shocked. Is Little Orange so valuable? Who on earth has lost their mind? He actually offered 10 million dollars to steal Xiao Tangerine. Sister Honger spoke out after her surprise, not thinking that Xiao Tangerine's price on the black market was actually so high. It looks like these guys still have some eyesight, knowing that I'm worth more. Chang Hao, who was on the side, was a bit smug when he heard this. $10 million wasn't a small number. At least he hadn't seen it with his own eyes in his past life, except for what he had seen on TV. After he turned into a tiger, he was now actually worth $10 million. Who would believe it? Yes, to be precise, it should be $60 million. 
because the other party is giving foreign currency. Su Lele continued, once again throwing out an even more explosive news. 60 million? Sister Honger, who had just calmed down her heart's surprise, was shocked once again. She looked at Chung Hao and said, Little Orange, you're really worth money. It looks like in the future, my sister will have to hide you well, not letting others steal it. Of course, even if I'm not valuable, you can't let me be stolen by others. Chang Hao, who heard this, belabored in his heart. Don't worry, Sister Honger, since we know about this matter, of course we won't stand idly by. Su Lele at the side spoke up. That group of guys staring at little fatty orange is already under our department's real-time monitoring. Once they make any moves, we'll know right away. Definitely won't let that group of guys harm little fat orange. Speaking here, Su Lele couldn't help but clench her fists. I'm so valuable right now. They're not going to hurt me until they're full, right? Hearing this, Chang Hao belabored. He was now a walking $60 million. Those guys couldn't even wait to offer him as a grandpa. Would they still hurt him? Su Lele don't tease him, okay? The department monitors those guys, so I'm relieved. But I still don't understand why those guys are staring at Shao Tangerine. Although Shao Tangerine is said to be a little famous, but it hasn't caught fire abroad, right? Sister Honger asked curiously. She knew that Shao Tangerine was smart or an evolved creature, but that wasn't enough to make the black market abroad offer such a high price, right? It's true that there's no way for Little Orange to fire to foreign countries. Even foreign countries don't know what Little Fat Orange looks like. Then why do these guys have their eyes on Little Orange? Because Little Fat Orange is very much in line with the conditions opened above the black market. Little Fat Orange meets all of them. Oh, what conditions? Cute and lively. Su Lele looked at Chung Hao and said, Look at Little Fat Orange's appearance. Who doesn't say cute when they see him? But even if it's like this, it's not such a high price, right? Sister Honger sniffed and muttered. Who knows, maybe this is the joy of the rich? After all, Sister Honger, you should also understand that people abroad raise large beasts as small animals. Su Lele shrugged her shoulders and said, According to my guess, the guy who offered this price to want the cute little tiger this time is definitely a woman. Why? Hearing this, Sister Honger asked suspiciously, wondering if Lele was so sure? Because girls' aesthetics are all uniform ah, uh, a cute little tiger like little fat orange. Who wouldn't like it? Su Lele said with certainty, if it wasn't for the fact that this was the country, she would have wanted to steal the little fat orange and raise it at home. Eh? Sister Honger, who heard this, couldn't help but froze slightly, then spoke. Then how does the department plan to protect little orange's safety? Of course it's me who will protect little fatty orange. I'm famous for my invincible divine fists. These few nights I'll stay inside your dormitory with little fatty orange and sister Honger. As long as that group of guys dare to come over, I'll instantly beat the hell out of them. Su Lele said waving her tiger-like fists. Wasn't it just a few petty thieves? Let her, a boxer who had been practicing for more than 20 years, properly clean them up. By the way, she could deter little fatty orange, letting little fatty orange know how she treated him in the end. Orange know how good she was to him. Even when she was fooled she didn't beat him. Eh, Lele you can? Sister Honger asked with some skepticism when she saw this. A criminal who could do such a thing as stealing a baby tiger in the tiger park is definitely a vicious outlaw. Right? Although Lele said that she was an evolutionary in the evolutionary department and had practiced boxing for a few years, she didn't feel very relieved ah. Otherwise, they'd better apply to the department for some more people to come and assist. Of course there's no problem. With my stance three or four people won't be able to get in. This is still the case when I was an ordinary person. And now that I'm an evolved person, it's even more so after my physical qualities have gotten stronger. Waving her fist, Su Lele said. She understood Sister Honger's worries. But she believed that by the time Sister Honger saw her punch a petty thief, she would withdraw the suspicion in her heart and choose to believe her. All right then. Seeing this, Sister Honger reluctantly nodded. Since Lele was so confident, she couldn't punch Lele in the face. She could only say that she would send a text message later to ask the commander to see if he could send some team members over to help. Otherwise, if it was just Lele, she was really a bit relieved. Isn't it just boxing? I can do that too ah. And my fists are even more powerful. Chang Hao who had seen Su Lele waving his fists, raised his paw and muttered, isn't it just that he knows a bit of boxing? He could do it too. And he was still an authentic tiger fist, guaranteed to beat people up. He didn't even need the other party's protection. Okay? The other party was afraid that he didn't know how powerful he really was. What's wrong? Little Orange you little villain also want to compete with me. Then you definitely won't be my opponent. Seeing Chang Hao raising his claws, Su Lele said, waving his fists and slowly moving towards Chang Hao's head. Seeing this, Chang Hao immediately prepared to give Su Lele a lesson. 
letting the other party know that underestimating him was the biggest mistake of the other party's life. All right, you two stop fooling around. Seeing this, Sister Honger smiled and stopped in the middle of one person and one tiger and said, Lele you go to the cold storage side. Help me bring the pork over. I'm going to mix pots and pans of milk for Shao Tangerine to drink. Okay, Sister Honger. Hearing this Su Lele nodded and looked at Chang Hao and said, Little fat orange I'll compete with you later. Right now I'm going to go get the pork for you. You should be thankful that Sister Honger stopped it early. Otherwise you would have been hugged and dropped to the ground by me by now. Chang Hao, who had his paw raised, belly ached, put away his cat cat fist, and watched Su Lele leave. All right, this is the time to call the commander. After seeing Su Lele leave, Sister Honger took out her phone and dialed the commander's number. Boss do you think the tiger is asleep at this hour? If we just go over like this, we won't disturb the tigers from sleeping, right? Yes, boss. Otherwise let's do it a little later. Inside the van under the streetlight, several people looked around and spoke. Was it really alright for them to pick this time to come out and steal the tigers? Why did they feel a bit panicked? It's already 2 in the morning. What time do you want to pick? Honestly. Honestly give me to go out and hold the ladder well to cut the wires to me. The bald man who looked at the time did not have the good sense to say. These guys want to wait a little bit. Do they want to wait until the daytime to do it ah? Uh? This time period is the least people on the road. But also people sleeping the most dead time. They pick this time period to cut the entire Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park wires. For one thing, it is not easy to be discovered. And for another, even if it is discovered, the staff of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park will be too lazy to come out to check it. Good, good. Although the four people who were scolded were very reluctant, they still had to get out of the van and took the folding ladder on the van with gloves towards the pole. I say you guys have to hold the ladder steady. Don't let it suddenly fall down later when I'm in the middle of cutting wires. After repeatedly confirming that there was no problem with the yellow-haired youth who had gloves on and was wearing an insulated suit, he looked at his companions and admonished them. Don't let him not be electrocuted by electricity, but fall down the stairs and die off. If this is the case, he will really crumple special. Don't worry, the three of us will help you press the ladder, to ensure that nothing will happen to you. Yeah, just go cut the wires without worry. The companions below who had also brought their gloves said, indicating that the other party should go ahead and leave the rest to Providence. They would definitely hold the ladder. Ka ka ka. Hearing this, the yellow-haired man, who was then relieved to hold the large electrician's pliers, carefully climbed upwards. Of course when he reached the top and bottom of the pole, he raised the hydraulic electrician's pliers and aimed them at the wires. ZZ, ZZ, all the streetlights went out at once, leaving only an arc of electricity dancing in the darkness of the night. Good job. The bald man, who was standing far away, nodded his head in satisfaction at this scene, slipped the night vision device from his head to his eye sockets, and gazed at the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park on the side. When he saw that the lights of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park had also all gone out, he shouted to his minions, Don't just stand there, hurry down, we're going to start moving. After saying that, he climbed towards the barbed wire fence next to him. Hey hey, you cut the wire but hurry up and come down. Why are you staying up there and not daring to move? Our hands are getting sore from holding it up. Yes, don't dawdle. Hurry down. Otherwise it would be bad if we were discovered. After the three held the ladder and saw their own boss move, they immediately urged their companions on the ladder. You guys wait a little longer. My eyes were flashed by the electric light just now, and I can't see a bit clearly now. The little brother standing on the ladder blinked his eyes and said, Just now that light suddenly flashed for a while, causing him to be a little hard to see now. Then you have to hurry up ah, the boss have gone in. Yeah, hurry up. The three of them sniffed and urged. I know, I know, I'll go down now. Yellow hair said, and carefully stepped down the stairs. This guy's life is really big. Using this method to directly cut the high voltage electricity didn't electrocute him. Yes, it looks like he doesn't deserve to die. He still needs to be cleaned up by the coyotes. Then I think he might as well be electrocuted. Coyotes are really ruthless when they beat people up. That's right. Breaking a few ribs is light. The silhouettes lying on the earth slope in the distance muttered. Originally they were ready to watch the human fireworks when they stayed over here. But it didn't occur to them that the guy was actually not electrocuted to death. It looks like the other party is destined to be beaten up. Hopefully by then the other party will not regret why he was not electrocuted. All right. You guys don't nag. Follow up nimbly and be ready to support the coyotes at any time. Just as they were talking, the commander's voice came from inside the headset. Yes, the black shadows who heard this then immediately ran down from the dirt slope and chased towards the direction where the five were climbing the barbed wire fence. Boss, there's no problem over here, right? We're not coming to the wild training area of the Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, are we? 
Yes, boss, shall we go over there now? The four people who landed on the ground inquired towards the bald man standing in front of them. The Honta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park was divided into two parks. One was the rewilding training area that was visited by bus, and the other was the feeding area that was like an ordinary zoo. And it seems like the place they are now arriving at is the rewilding training area, right? Is it really okay for the boss to bring them here? It wouldn't be a night snack for the tigers, right? What are you idiots afraid of? I've inquired clearly. The tigers within the rewilding training area will return to their respective tiger houses at night. And now the entire rewilding training area is empty. The bald man who watched the four people land on the ground cursed in a bad mood and walked towards the front with his steps. The four people saw the situation then immediately followed up. The silent wild training area then rang up the sound of rapid footsteps. Sister Honger are you still sleeping? Inside the dormitory. Su Lele opened her eyes and asked after receiving the commander's message. She had thought that the guys would take a few days to make their move, but she hadn't thought that they would do it so soon. No, I'm already awake. Sister Honger who was squinting her eyes opened her mouth when she heard that. Once she heard that someone was planning to steal Shao Tangerine, she couldn't sleep at night and was always alert to her surroundings. That's good. The thieves have made their move. They cut the wires connecting the park to the outside and are now coming over from the wild training area. Su Lele said, Climbing up from the bed and putting on a sharp finger tiger. Sister Honger, why don't you hold little fatty orange on the bed so that she doesn't hurt you later on, and just leave these stupid thieves to me. Okay. Sister Honger nodded at her words and turned on the flashlight function of her cell phone, then walked towards Chen Hao who was lying on the blanket and returned to the bed holding the sleeping Chen Hao. Seeing this, Su Lele pulled over a chair and sat next to the dormitory door, waiting for the furry thief's visit. Sha Sha. Sha Sha. Inside the silent Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, the trees moved imperceptibly, and the few people advancing on the road couldn't help but sweat their hairs when they saw it. Boss, just next to the tree is not moved ah? Yes, I feel that this tiger garden is so abnormal, or else we'd better forget about it. They could be sure as well as certain that the trees on both sides just now seem to have really moved a bit, and that was even when there was no wind blowing. This instantly made them think of all the horrible scenes within the movie, and they were instantly scared. Forget the hammer. There's no turning back after already taking this step. After the bald man sniffed and looked at the surrounding trees, he continued walking towards the dormitory building without caring. Where did these trees move? It's obvious that these idiots are just scaring themselves. These idiots must have watched too many horror movies, and they are already unconscious and hallucinating. Boss, boss, don't go so fast. Wait for us. Seeing that their own boss didn't pay much attention to them, still walking towards the dormitory building, several people hurriedly followed. There seems to be some problems with the trees in this tiger garden. Yes, it should be due to being irradiated by the light of purification. After they left, a dark shadow looked around and said, they had night vision devices with them that could determine the trees, and there was no mistaking that they had indeed moved. It looked like there were quite a few evolved plants and animals in the entire Hongta Mountain Northeast Tiger Forest Park, so they would have to clean up these evolved plants over here sometime. Tap tap, tap tap, inside the darkened dormitory building. A few people touched the staircase railing and walked up cautiously, and when they arrived at the entrance of Sister Honger's dormitory, the group couldn't help but stop in their tracks. Look at you guys. After confirming that there was no mistake about the dormitory he came to, the bald man whispered to the little brothers behind him. As the saying goes, raise an army for a thousand days. He raised this group of fools for so long, now we have to look at their skills in the end do not rely on it. Okay, boss. Hearing this, the four people nodded and squatted down to stick to the dormitory door. So they pulled out the guys they ate with from their waists and interviewed them in the lock hole. Coming. At the same time, Su Lele, who heard the sound inside the dormitory, couldn't help but raise her head, holding her finger tiger waiting for the dormitory door to be opened. Lele can do it? Sister Honger, who had also heard the sound, couldn't help but hug Chun Hao in her arms tightly. These four guys are picking the lock? But looking at them it doesn't seem like they're very good at it. Yes. It's been three key changes and they haven't been able to open it yet. On a patch of grass directly opposite the dormitory building, the team members with sniper rifles set up couldn't help but be surprised when they saw the scene through the infrared light. Are these guys good at their craft? How does it feel to be very fished out? This has changed a number of keys, but look still not able to open the lock. Cannot say is outrageous, can only say is very outrageous. You a few in the end cannot ah? In the beginning, didn't you say that you have followed the lock king? Standing on the side of the bald man saw a few people picking the lock for most of the day. That dormitory door still smelled not moving. At that moment, it felt that these guys were a bit unreliable. Boss you don't want to be anxious ah, we just too long did not have hands. So it seems a little raw. 
and then give us a little while of effort will be enough ah, yes, boss, don't be anxious, wait a little longer. The several people who held their ears to the door and tried the keys one by one whispered, this is not to follow the boss for so long, a long time without practicing it, besides this lock opening is not a simple job, have to try one by one to be able to ah, they want to really have a few seconds to open the lock of kung fu, this still need to follow the boss to mix it, early their own rich to go, if you wait any longer, the people inside are going to be alarmed by you, you bunch of idiots, the bald man who heard this forced down his anger and whispered, he shouldn't have put his hopes on these four idiots, he should have looked for the people squatting inside the prison as companions, those people's abilities he had actually seen, no matter what lock, those people could open it in less than two seconds with a wire, don't worry, there's no movement inside the boss, the keeper must be sleeping very hard, yellow hair, whose ear was pressed against the door, said, continuing to twist the key inside his hand, this is not right ah, obviously they follow the lock king master learning, master is holding the key gently stab a twist door opened ah, how do their hands will be so difficult, commander, that group of fools are still opening the lock, should we directly shoot ah, yeah, I feel like if we wait any longer until dawn, these idiots won't necessarily be able to open the lock, looking at the guy's rusty movements, the team member voiced out, they had been on the ground for so long, and those idiots still hadn't been able to open the lock, if they couldn't do it simply they could just shoot them, anyway, this time the load was also anesthesia bullets, it wouldn't kill the people, just wait a little longer, don't be so hasty, inside the evolver sector's base, the commander spoke, it's not easy for coyote to have a chance to strike, you guys are just going to give her no chance like this, when the time comes, she will definitely have a big opinion, we're all aware of this, but we can't be made to wait over here all the time, right, yes, commander, you can't be biased, the team members who heard this said, they knew that coyote wanted to clean up this group of stupid thieves, but they couldn't take their time for the wrong time, what time was it already, they were still lying down here, if they could settle these stupid thieves earlier, they could also call it a day earlier, all right, then wait for another two minutes, if these stupid thieves haven't gone in after two minutes, you can do it, the commander thought about it and then spoke out, he had already given coyote the opportunity, but if coyote couldn't grasp it, he couldn't be blamed, no problem, the team sniffed back and went on waiting, ka ka ka, click click click, after a while of experimentation, the dormitory door finally made the sound of it being twisted open, and the four people who heard this sound had trouble hiding the excitement on their faces, it proved that they had managed to get the dormitory door open even though it took a little bit of effort, all right, gently pushed the door open, the bald man voiced out upon seeing this, finally the lock was opened, if this didn't open after a while, he was about to be pissed off at these idiots, okay, boss, the few people who heard this whispered back, and then reached out and gently pushed the door, but to their surprise, the door only moved forward a short distance, and then it once again got stuck and couldn't move forward, what's wrong, continue to push forward ah, why stop, has pulled out the sack ready to load the bald man, saw the voice asked, this group of guys do not continue to push forward, nothing to stop doing, did not see him all the sacks have been pulled out, boss the inside is fastened with chains, there is no way to push, push the door of the yellow hair out of the voice said, not he does not want to push the door to open, is really no way to push off, the inside is chained up, he simply cannot push, then find a way to get the chains off, the bald man said, yellow hair then reached inside the doorway and touched the chain, wanting to take off the chain, this guy, Su Lele, who was sitting on a chair behind the door, saw this and resisted the urge to give the other guy a punch, watching the other guy take off the chain, GA, as the dormitory door was opened, the bald man couldn't help but show a look of relief on his face, after putting in so much effort, they had finally opened this door, and it was finally time for them to reap the fruits of victory, thinking of this, the bald man was very happy, without waiting for his little brothers to explore the way, he couldn't wait to walk in, it's a pity, ah, they were a few seconds late before it was our turn to play, yup, ah, I hope they're still laughing so hard later, the players on the grass couldn't help but say regretfully when they saw this scene, it's not good for these guys to be hit by their anesthetic bullets, right, why did they have to open the door to get that flesh pain for nothing, do they know what they are about to face, boom, just as they were discussing, the bald man who had walked into the room under their watchful eyes one second, flew out the next, directly hitting the minions who were about to enter. Boss, what the hell is going on then? The four people who were hit by their own boss sounded out, not quite understanding what the hell is going on. There, is an ambush, deadly pressure on the chest. Face reveals the color of pain bald man out of the voice said, he had just walked into the room a second before, and didn't even look at what it was like inside. 
and a fist directly hit his chest, and in an instant, the feeling of huge pain spread throughout his body, buried, ambush, hearing this, the four people couldn't help but reveal a look of horror in their eyes, yes, are you stupid thieves going to honestly tie your hands by yourselves, or are you going to wait for me to beat you to the point where you can't take care of yourselves, Su Lele shook her hand and walked out from inside the dormitory and said, it's really comfortable, it's been a long time since I let go of my hand and punched someone, you do not say that this punch down in the small fat orange side of the grievance is held, instantly on the venting of clean all, I, we surrender, four people sniffed immediately raised their hands, even the boss easily planted in the hands of the other side, how could they be the other side's opponent ah, you group of fools give me on, I was not prepared to be successful by her sneak attack, now that you guys have defenses, you can't even win with four against one, the bald man who tightly pressed his chest heard this and was almost so angry at them that he sprayed out a mouthful of old blood, how could these fools be afraid of a woman with four people, can they be a little outstanding or not, but even you, boss, can't beat someone, how can we possibly beat them, yes, boss, the four who heard this said, although they had four people, the four of them were useless, they should know that the boss alone could beat the four of them, and now that the boss was injured by the other party, it proved that the other party could beat at least eight of them, facing this kind of enemy, they only went on if they had a pit in their brain, didn't they see that the boss's voice changed when he was beaten, you bunch of losers give me on ah, usually eat my use my, this time want to surrender, the bald man grabbed the minions beside him and pushed towards Su Lele, intending to use these guys as meat cushions to resist Su Lele's attack, ah, the little brothers who were suddenly thrown out as tools couldn't help but let out a horrified voice, and then met Su Lele's fists, instantly realizing what had just happened to their own boss, it's useless for you to stop me with these guys, packing them up is much simpler than packing you up, Su Lele, who had sent yellow hair flying with one punch, said with a cold smile, these guys still want to stop her, it was simply a fool's errand, don't be too arrogant, you yellow haired girl, the bald guy clenched his fist and cursed, and came towards Su Lele, Su Lele, Lele saw this and smiled as she extended her fist to meet him, you guy is going to fight me hard, the bald man, who originally thought that the other party would dodge, couldn't help but rejoice when he saw this scene, the other party is so young to fight with him, moreover, he was still a man, and the other party was a woman, and had just knocked him out, only taking advantage of sneaking up on him, he would let the other party know exactly what would happen if they dared to go against him, in the bald man's delighted eyes, the fists of both sides met, and then, then the entire dormitory building, resounded with the bald man's miserable screams, what's going on, what's happening outside, why is there a fight outside, the keepers who were awakened by the miserable screams opened their eyes at the same time, reached out and went to press the light switch, but realized that there was actually no electricity, so they dismissed the idea of getting ready to come out, and honestly stayed inside the room, you, inside the corridor of the dormitory building, the bald man whose arm looked like a broken willow branch collapsed on the ground, the whole person curled up into a prawn because of the pain, looking at Su Lele gritted his teeth and revealed a hideous color, I'm sinister and despicable aren't I, Su Lele looked at the blood on her finger tiger and said with a cold smile, you guys actually dared to steal my cute little fat orange, this is just a small lesson for you, the real punishment is still behind, this idiot just ate her fist without holding a finger tiger without any injury, did he think he was good again, it didn't occur to him that she only wore the finger tiger on one hand and didn't have it on the other, in order to paralyze him, this is what the master often teaches, real and false, false and true, you, when the bald man who heard this heard this, his pupils couldn't help but widen, and for a moment he forgot about the pain coming from his arm, he didn't know why the other party knew so clearly about their plan to steal the little tiger, could it be that, thinking of this bald man, he couldn't help but look at his four little brothers, boss, we didn't betray you, yes, we are all on the same rope with you, how could we do such a stupid thing, the little brothers who were looked at hurriedly spoke out to explain, if they weren't really stupid, how could they possibly do such a brainless thing, if the boss was captured, then they wouldn't have a meal ticket, they would do such a stupid thing only if they wanted to starve to death almost, alright, you guys don't have to guess, later, you guys will know why, seeing the five stupid thieves who were guessing at each other, Su Lele said with a smile, put your hands on your head and put your backs against the wall for me, don't make any small movements, otherwise, I don't mind hitting you guys halfway through your bodies, yes yes, the four people who heard this immediately and honestly complied, only the bald man was left curled up on the ground, staring at Su Lele in death, what's wrong, you guys aren't going to do as I say and want to eat my fist again, is that it, Su Lele saw the situation and clenched his fist with a finger tiger and said, really stubborn guy ah, it looks like not to beat the other party into submission, 
The other party is unlikely to honestly cooperate. You this guy. The bald man who clenched his teeth tightly heard these words, forcibly endured the pain in his arm and used his other. One hand on the ground, supporting his body to stand up. You still want to fight? Su Lele couldn't help but be wary at the sight. Don't think you can defeat me by pulling these little tricks. No one can stop what I'm going to do. The bald man pulled out his dagger from his waist and said, if he didn't reach this guy in front of him today, not to mention whether or not he could steal the little tiger, he didn't even know if he could walk away from here. He had already had enough of living inside the prison. He didn't want to go back in. Life doesn't have a few decades. Dagger? Su Lele said with some amusement at the situation. You don't think you can beat me with a dagger, do you? She admitted that the other party's dagger was indeed longer than her finger tiger. But the other party just had one hand that was hard to even keep her balance. Could she really be able to fly and wield a dagger? Won't you know if you try? The bald man holding the dagger said with fierce eyes. His body's aura couldn't help but become dangerous. It looks like you've even practiced. Su Lele also became serious after he found out. Reaching out from his waist and drew out the folded self-defense stick and threw it out with force. And a one meter long stick came out in his hand. You. Seeing this scene the bald man once again froze. He looked at the dagger held in his hand. And then looked at the stick held by the other party. For a moment suddenly stopped the trend of attack. Honestly raise your hands. Don't make any movements. Otherwise, don't blame us for shooting ah. Uh. Right at this moment, the sound of dense footsteps came from the stairs, and a group of team members dressed in black appeared inside the corridor, clutching their guns. After seeing Su Lele and the bald man fighting, they ran towards the dormitory building, and when they saw the bald man holding a dagger in an attacking position, they immediately aimed their guns at the bald man. Once the other party had any misbehavior, he would invite the other party to eat anesthesia bomb. You, you guys, being pointed at the muzzle of the bald man could not help but hold his face red. He did not understand why things would develop to this point. Obviously he had planned very smoothly at the beginning ah. Why would it turn out to be like this? 